Welcome back. I am thrilled to be back. How are you doing? I have lots of plugs, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> what are you going to be talking oh, about look, today? I forgot you have food. I wouldn't have spent money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. Well, not bad. <laughs> it's been gotten. So what are you going to be talking about today? Okay, what? where are we going? Right here. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Melissa trying to adopt a child. Really? Yeah. And what about uh, winning Celebrity Apprentice? Oh, we can discuss that. But I'm not going to say anything bad. I, Howard's going to always You're not going to? No stories for Howard? Uh, oh, sure, stories. But not about Donald Trump. I'm not stupid. No, of course not. Yeah, no. But uh, oh, glad to talk about people. All right, John. Okay, good to talk to you. We'll see you in a little bit. Joan Rivers is here. She's performing stand-up this Thursday night at the Gramercy Theater in Manhattan. I can't wait to talk to Joan. Uh, Joan Rivers, of course, has been around the block. I'll ask her about the death of Ed McMahon. Yeah. Among other things. And too. how she killed him. That's right. Uh -huh. I didn't know she killed him. That's interesting. <laughs> well, fact. this is an interesting alibi. She's here. Right. Right. Okay. And he died out there. Well, there's, you know, you could hire somebody. <laughs> Anyway, Joan Rivers also was just on The Celebrity Apprentice, which I have to ask her about. Did, didn't she win? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. i got to ask her. I didn't even watch it, but I know she called a professional poker player a Nazi. Hello. And worse than... Oh, what are you eating? Wait, you almost fell over. Oh, man. <laughs> Beware of Jews bearing gifts. What do you got? A baby? You're carrying a baby? Did you have a baby? Yes, it looks like you're a holding a baby. I had a baby. It's so wonderful. I'm so proud. What do you think of these women who are of advanced age and they go to these doctors, years 60 old. years old, and they have babies? It's crazy, right? That's advanced to you. To me, that's a kid. Right. You wish. <laughs> what are you holding there? Because it's making a lot of noise. I know. Joe. I'll get rid of it. I hate when people... Oh, you're going to Howard Stern. Give me gifts. Who said that? Uh, somebody get... But it's from God's Love We Deliver, so... Which is my charity. I give to them. I he can afford food, John. Yeah. I know. Don't bring me food. In fact, you know, I contribute to God's <laughs> love right. we deliver. That's why I think it's an um, apron or something. Yeah, can I tell you something? I always go crazy if they send out uh, a letter to me or, uh, or, or, or send a gift. P give it to the people who need it. Thank you. I used to be head of cystic fibrosis, and they would send me 69 roses, and I'd say, you know what that count costs? You're right. You know, send it, keep it for the... the can I tell you what I thought that was going to be when you were carrying it? I yeah. thought it was Ed McMahon's head. Uh, was he dead? He yeah. died, Ed McMahon. He died this yes. morning. Did he leave me anything? Uh, I, I don't think he left himself anything. <laughs> I don't anything. think they cracked open the will just yet. He left you the Tonight Show. How they need you, you back. How do you feel... God bless you, my darling. How do you feel about the death of Ed McMahon? I want you to truly? think about this. Yeah, truly. Truly, he was the only one when Johnny Carson was a shit... Right. And wasn't talking to me and putting out all these lies that he came over to me once in the Beverly Hills Hotel and said hello. He was a lovely man. You know, I was reminding people of lovely your history man. with The Tonight Show because a lot of people don't understand who you really are. Yeah, well. You were the greatest. You filled in. Oh. Let's remind people why you are the greatest. You we used to go on the... No, listen to me. What do you mean? Why are you waving me off? You know off? this Who is cares? all written and yeah. you planned for him to say this. No, you love yeah, when I, I say this. No, this is, I'm trying to refresh your own memory. I know you're a little Oiva Boodle. Uh, well, this is... Listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. You're Goyesh a cup. You understand Oiva Boodle? Yes. Right, okay. So listen to me. Now, you're sharp as a tack, but listen to me. The, the reason I'm bringing up this old history... You were the a guest on The Tonight Show. You were so good. Johnny put you on as a guest host. Right. When you started the guest host, your ratings were higher than Johnny's. Right. And so they said to you, you're now the permanent guest host. You would have replaced Johnny Carson, but you moved to Fox. Because they had a letter out saying, here are the 10 people that can replace Johnny. And it was all men. I wasn't on it. And a friend of mine slipped it to me from NBC. So I left to go to Fox. So you're saying after all that went down and Johnny badmouthed you yeah. and everyone was mean to you, yeah. you are saying that Ed McMahon was man enough to come up to you somewhere and say, you know what, Joan, I don't feel this way about you. Yeah. But please he, don't tell Johnny. And that right. truly, to do that in public, Johnny was very vindictive. He was not this warm, fuzzy guy. He was a mean, tough killer. That's why he got what he got. Was Ed McMahon good? Was he a talented man? I think in what he did, he was brilliant. Right. In other he words... He set the form for that, which is, look at these sycophants you have here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> these guys, they know how to kiss Don't talk face. to Howard that way. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you... In other words, how what you're saying you? is, like, like, Stuttering John, who used to work here, has now become the announcer on The Tonight Show. He had aspirations to be the Ed McMahon. You're saying it might not be as easy as it looks. Oh, it's not. You know, you got to know when to laugh, when to shut up, when to move over, when not... 
Oh, it's not. Yeah, and you got to always be second fiddle and know your second fiddle. Right, and be satisfied with that. Shouldn't Ed have spoken out about you publicly rather than do it in a supermarket? He couldn't. He would have lost his job. He would have lost his job. Do you believe that Ed was worth $80 million? At one point, I remember reading that before all the wives and all that other stuff. Well, you know, there were we wives all know. In between there. So let's make it forty million. You okay, know, we right. all know already. It's a little high. Yeah. yeah, but he also married every, you know, one ass after, you know, one little piece one, of ass after right. the next. He liked hot chicks. He liked hot chicks. He was right. trying to keep up with Johnny in that way. Yeah, well, <laughs> and he, he should have beaten them up. <laughs> did Ed ever try to? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right. Ooh. I Did about Ed that. ever try to come on to you to put his finger inside of you? <laughs> or, if I may Even be my own husband didn't come on to me. <laughs> yeah. I am the only one. No, you had your book, tr- you had your slew of suitors. I had a few slew of. Uh, <laughs> I had one now that just dumped me. Yeah, I heard you got dumped what? again. Got dumped again last Sunday. And how old was the guy? Seventy-five. Can you believe seventy? I mean, you He's look good. Dumped me. I showed you a picture. Seventy-five year olds are dumping you. I just showed yeah. you a picture on David Letterman, and even David Letterman said, "Boy, she looks good." I showed a picture from my wedding. Yeah, uh, uh, I didn't see that. That's, see, nobody does any nice things. Well, of course not. Why you, would they tell you I that? I just want to do a sidebar. If they had, if you had said, "Here's Joan Rivers," doesn't she look like a pig? I would have had nine phone calls the next day saying. Howard Stern showed your picture and said you look like a pig. No, even Dave said you look good. Oh, well, Dave, he's got cataract. And the, <laughs> fact, that, <laughs> yeah. and the fact of the matter, he, he still doesn't have you on, does he, Letterman? Never. Unbelievable to me. Yeah. Why won't Letterman have you on? You're so good. You were great on this Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah, thank God. You and you great. won, right? I won. Yeah, you're the I won. victor. And guess what I got? What did you get? Nothing. Nothing, because it goes to charity. Great. That's just what you need. Nothing. Nothing. Are you in financial trouble yourself? Are you Sort of. You are. And I'll get yeah. back to this Again? guy who dumped you. Yeah. What is going on now? I wish I could say Bernie Madoff. <laughs> you don't even you don't even have that luck. Ruth. Ruth, Ruth made off. <laughs> oh, Ruth. You went with Ruth. No, Joan, explain to me. You were you came out of bankruptcy. You, you worked very hard to get back to where you were. I live very high, Howard. I, I have know. a great life, but I live very high. What is high? I mean, okay, high clothes is, you wear. I I spent a, my apartment is gorgeous. This outfit you're wearing is spectacular. It's this a leather great jacket. Outfit. That's you expensive. You own yeah. that apartment though. You're not renting. I own it, but you know, you, the maintenance is so high cuz only yeah. eight of us in the whole building. Uh you're so, selling your apartment now. Theoretically, I. And you're I like asking to, twenty-five million. Twenty-five million. It's not beautiful worth beautiful it. apartment. It's not worth twenty-five million. I am looking for a foreigner that doesn't understand that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been to your apartment. It's quite beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. It's not worth twenty-five yeah. million, but um, I think what somewhere think there's it's a real- Russian. What do you think it's realistically worth? May, I don't know. I I don't know, but I do know there is a rich Russian out there somewhere. That is going to go da. Why are you selling? You are the quintessential New Yorker. Are you looking to move to Los Angeles to be near your daughter? I want to do half and half. Melissa actually said to me, which I found, wait till you, with your daughters. I was out there doing the play last year, and she said, it is so wonderful to have you in the same city. Right. Finally. Finally, it respects <gasps> you. Isn't that funny? It is so uh, wonderful. It's wonderful for uh, Cooper. So I said, you know what I'll do? I'll get a smaller place in New York. I'm a New Yorker. Right. So I'll get like a beautiful... A real apartment, right? Know? And because um, this apartment's a fantasy, right? Apartment. This is this is a home, yeah, you know, a big, yeah, it's three floors and whatever. Yeah. And I'll get a small house in L.A. Right. And uh, be able to be able. To, I like. Be, I I flew out there to do Passover for uh, Cooper right. to remind him that he's Jewish. So are you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Did you sell? The, I mean, is the idea that you're overextended? And if you I'm overextended, get a, I have. I think. I have a house in Connecticut. I have foreign help up there. Wow. Doing. They're there now, even though yeah. you're not. Doing. Mo- nothing. N- doing nothing. What are they doing in Connecticut? You're not even there. Well, I thought I was going to be more. You you claim that you want to teach Cooper that he's Jewish. Uh, to a point. Yeah. I mean, How is he going to figure this true? whole thing? Didn't he, make, to... didn't he make anti-Semitic remarks to you, and that's when you decided to start teaching him about yes, his Judaism? Yes, well, yeah. he called me a big fat Jew. <laughs> Jew pig. So I said, you know, Cooper. We might have to teach I'm him. Not- 
Yeah, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Uh, no, he, he told you you lived in Jaime Town, didn't he? <laughs> what are you doing in Jaime Town? <laughs> All right, get back to this for a second. I'm going to yes. get to your finances in a minute because I want to understand how you went horribly wrong. I also want to talk about Melissa's adopting another child, we think. You're kidding, a from click. Malawi? No, because we're also we're so jealous of Angelina. With all, all suddenly, like, she's the big mother in the You're right. going to get a black grandchild? We're going to get a child from Australia, we think, from a click tribe. No kidding, a pygmy. So, its name is a pygmy. Yeah, well, I don't know. We, we said it's a. You must be having a, a riot with this one. Yeah, well, every time it talks, the garage doors open. <laughs> Why does she want another kid? What is, is that this, about? This is a joke, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a joke that it's a pygmy. Will you accept? <laughs> will you accept the adopted grandchild? Or will Not you be, at all. I thought so. You're very, you're very I, judgmental. No, I think it's great. It can work for me. But haven't you always said looks are the most important thing? In totally. The world? So I don't want an ugly grandchild. That's what I'm saying. These don't children you? can be beautiful. Yeah. Show me one beautiful pygmy name. <laughs> No, but you're right. You're never going to know if the child's going to be beautiful. It's a supermodel. That's right. You don't know. If it says to me, I want plastic surgery, how do you know what it's saying? (laughs) Let me ask you something, Joan. You say you got dumped by a 75-year-old man. Is that an incredible blow to your ego? I mean, that has to be. At this age, how can you dump me? Um, well, I mean, what goes on? What do you do to these men? Uh, very little. <laughs> how did he dump you? And how I did think he tell when you? I was faking orgasm, I did it in the, the bad ear. Where did you meet he this guy? Hear. Where did you meet this guy? I was introduced to a friend, and right. we had two amazing dinners. Right. Amazing. What would make an amazing dinner? I mean, just you click, and you, even at this age, it's all just chemistry. Right, and chemistry, and talking. And would, and would you kiss at your advanced age uh, and, and stuff? Well, if, if the nurses could stand this up. <laughs> Do you have a full-time nurse now? Yes. You do? Yeah. You really do? You're not joking. <laughs> You're not kidding. She gave up on managers. Just get her a nurse. Yeah, that's right. Where does a your nurse stay? Nurse. Is your nurse always in the apartment? She sleeps at the foot of my bed. <laughs> no, come on. I, I heard you have a full-time no, nurse. Do you really have a nurse? Think that? I'm going to tell you. I'm not making that up. Why would I have a nurse? Yeah, I heard you have a nurse. Listen, Who this is tells the, you these I'm things? I'm going to tell you in a minute. A <laughs> nurse. You have a nurse. That, Howard. That, I'm telling you. <laughs> Every eight hours, this woman has to inject Joan with Botox. Uh. <laughs> Joan has a live-in caretaker. No, that's called a housekeeper. Oh, is that obviously what we're calling it? Oh. Obviously, that's some surf that wrote that that doesn't right. understand you have a housekeeper All right. so named you, Debbie. So your caretaker is a housekeeper. Yes. All right. So let me understand something. This guy, 75 years old, lucky enough to be going out with a superstar, Joan Rivers. And I was very charming. I bet. And you were on good behavior. You didn't insult Great him. Stories. You weren't sarcastic. <laughs> no. No. And so, he, sorry about his dead wife. So you go out two times with the guy. You go to dinner with him. Yeah, really good times. No sex, I, I would assume. At not that yet. Point. All right, not yet. Have you gotten your top off at least? Well, yes, but only in the restaurant. <laughs> how, how do you hold out at this age? You ought to do it on the, on the yeah, table. Joan, I mean, how much time date? do you have? <laughs> Put out. <laughs> Did you not have... I mean, there was no kiss. No. There was no so kissing. my friends oh. all said, I was in town for one extra day. I was going to go to England. So my friends all said, call them and say your plane is delayed, which it was. Right. So, so I thought... And they say to me, like you said, you haven't got time to be cute. Yeah. You better hurry. Get call. to it. You're already coughing and sneezing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, love you is better. in the air. Seize it. Seize the moment. <laughs> seize, seize the moment. Right. So I called him up, and he was so cold oh. on the phone. Jewish and, guy? Uh, no. No. Well, uh, you could never have gotten married anyway. No, we couldn't have gotten married. <laughs> why, and did you say to him, why are you so cold? No, I was so taken back that I got off the phone very quickly. And then you want to say, you know, how dare you? Or right. I was calling it, I was saying, Mike Painsley, do you want to have a cup of coffee? And he was like, uh, no. No, no, why are you calling? I said, well, I'll see you when you come back to New York. Well, I don't know when I'm coming back to New York. I said, I, then you start to, I didn't say, when are you coming back to New York? I said, wow. I'll see you when you come back here. Well, he, I don't know when I'm going. Oh, shut up. He oh. turned into a giant asshole. Turned into, yeah, very, very Do you think sad. another chick was with him? Do you think that's what was going uh, on? Somebody said another chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another I, hot chick? An old hen. <laughs> <laughs> another old hen? <laughs> you think some old bag was with him? Some old bag was clucking around What do you there? think you did wrong? Do you ever self-analyze? Do you ever get critical of yourself and oh, say? Oh, I think I do everything wrong. I mean, you look clean. Glamorous as ever. Yeah, but then I open, you open your mouth. I, I always go for the joke. I know. You don't <laughs> you know how to know. be Can demure. you ever just be... Can't no, be a lady. Can't. 
What is your problem? I don't know. Why can't you just lay off the fucking material for a few minutes? <laughs> because I sit I there see, like a lady. I see life funny. I know. I went to see Peter Pan with Prince Charles last week. Wow. And when they said, and he's so elegant and darling, and he's there because they're giving money to his foundation, and he's right. in the royal box, and I'm there with him. <laughs> All right, it's a big deal. Okay. So when they say, do you believe in fairies? So I leaned over and said, you want it alphabetically? <laughs> <laughs> so, and he can't laugh. You know, he goes, no, 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 no. And uh, <laughs> so let, let me role play a date. Pretend I'm one of these old geezers. Hello. Yeah, I, I, is that the voice you put on? <laughs> let me hear your voice. Let me hear your sexy voice. Hello. <laughs> Can I help you sprinkle your wife? <laughs> I don't know. So tell me. Are uh, you lonely? Are you only when I'm having an MRI? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the that's truth. But I like that. I like a woman with a sense of humor. Uh, you were on Celebrity Apprentice, and this, I never heard of half of these celebrities on Celebrity Apprentice. I mean, you're a legitimate, bona fide celebrity. Well. I was yeah. even surprised you agreed to do it. I wanted to see. You wanted the truth? Yeah, I mean, you're a big deal. I wanted to, two reasons. One, Melissa did it with me, so she got to live with me for five weeks, which okay. was great. All right, you love that. Love that. We so to get Melissa to live with you, you have to be on TV. Be on yeah. TV, that's <laughs> right. right. So right. we got to be in the kitchen late at night together. That right. was great. And the other thing, truly, I love challenges. You do? And they give you a challenge, and they say to you, when was the last time someone said to you, okay, Howard, go out, write the copy, take the pictures, get this done by tomorrow. We want a whole new slogan for Sounds exhausting. Chicken of the Sea. Right. And then you do it. And, and you, you get, like that. I loved it. That stimulates your mind. Yeah. Love doing it. Do you think your daughter likes you? I mean, the fact is, I don't know. I really don't know about this. She moved out to California. Well, she, she had to because oh, uh, the, the ex-husband's in California and they split the oh, children 50-50. Okay. All right. That's a good, uh, that's a good no reason. no choice. All right, so you get on there, you like a challenge on Celebrity Apprentice, you get on, and you mixed it up with this professional poker player. And you even. Uh, Annie Douche. Who is she to make fun of you? Uh, I mean, uh, I never even heard there. of her. I never heard uh, of her. It became good versus evil. It was just don't go there. Just, it's, but wait it's a not even funny. You said, I believe a professional poker player is like a dirtbag. I believe a professional poker player is. I understand what they do on the table, and that's great. But when you stand up from the table, you do not be duplicitous and sneaky. You know, everything that people do to play poker to be a good poker player should, is a bad thing in real life. What, what did she do to you? I didn't see the show. I mean, what, 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 just, did I, she just rub you the wrong way? No, it was always very two-faced, a lot of lies backstage, allegedly, uh, a lot of... Um, you know, coming to the boardroom all sweet. Meanwhile, has just done bad things. But you two were playing a game. She was using her game playing yes, skills. To a point. To a point. I, Howard, then I'm not a good game player. Right. I still think if, if you say I've got, uh, I'm not a poker player. Right. But that's it. Right. Uh, I, I just found it. Um, you don't turn people against each other. You don't whisper to Howard. Uh, but okay. you found her gross. In other words. I found her just, uh, you couldn't trust her. And she did bad things behind her back, allegedly. It is a strange way to make a living when you think about it. Yeah, but she's I'm not putting her down. She's a very smart cookie. Right. But uh, would I have her to the dinner table? I don't think so. I see. All right. Well, that's it. So now, so you've been dumped by this guy, this dumped 75 this guy, year old guy. Yes. Who, who Fixed you up with this guy. How'd a you meet very him? dear friend who said, yeah. "I think two of you get along." We did for two meals. Uh -huh. and it was so nice to have someone pick up the check. I could tell this one upsets you. Yeah. This was this was a uh, this she was. She thought a, something was going to happen. Yeah. And this was a guy with money, huh? Well, I guess. Yeah. He picked up the check. Oh, that was nice. That was already a start. If I went out with you, I'd expect you to pick up the check. <laughs> they all do. I know it's terrible. Venus de Milo pushes it across with her chin. What? <laughs> now you're a good businesswoman. You're woman that the the. the oh, constantly selling, you're selling everything. Uh, jewelry selling and schmatas. I mean, you're. you're yeah, look where I'm busy. going, which we're going to talk about later. I'll talk about that. But well, I don't understand what happened to you financially. How much money have you lost in this down economy? I lost uh, a lot in this down economy. Well, well, I, were you I mostly was, invested I was in... In, the, in the stock market? I lost, we all lost. Who didn't lose? Everybody right. did. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. forget about it. So I lost a lot. And I, uh, How much are we talking about? Uh, I, I was certainly half. Half. I'm not. There's no sad songs for me. Yeah, I know. But, but do you think that the 75 year old guy read in the paper that you were down on your luck and that's why he dumped you? That and I was going through his wallet when he was in the yeah. I mean, I mean, half your money is gone. Yeah. It's very upsetting. Uh, if you think about it. You're damn right. But you're not downsizing it. because of money. No, I no, feel no, she's I'm selling the apartment because really? of it. Really? I'm selling the apartment because I truly. Uh, 
we like to do half and half. And my mm-hmm. accountant says you can't. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, then I, I, I have an accountant that you know those kind of that you know, you can't. You're overspending. Why you not sell your home flowers. in Connecticut? And I get... can't sell Connecticut. It's the most beautiful part, beautiful house. Why can't you sell it? You mean nobody's nobody... buying second houses? You're kidding me. No nobody. one. You have it on the market and yeah. you can't sell it. Have it on the market for a year. Not one person has seen it. Wow. wow. Even come to look at it. And it's beautiful. It's fabulous. Well, you know she always it's lives in a fabulous, fabulous place. It's fa- I mean fabulous in a Connecticut way. Aren't there, I don't aren't there some rich people left in this I'm country? I'm talking to them. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't buying. <laughs> what uh, I can see the two of you in a little love nest in Connecticut. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, <laughs> 84 acres. You ain't all the only one yourself. who got killed in the stock market. <laughs> no. So so uh, Comedy Central is going to roast you. They're roasting. Are people. you going to be able to take that? I mean, it's going it's going to be vicious. Oh, come on. She's very sensitive. But she can give it back. Yeah. I mean, come on. But it's going to be a great... We Who's so, roasting you? Uh, Kathy Griffin. Oh, so yeah. that's gonna Do be you like, like her? I adore her. I like Kathy. Adore her. Very, we're literally good friends. Yeah. We have dinners together. You know what I mean? Oh, you do? You, you yeah, should have Yeah, we're girlfriends. What, what's off limits at your roast? Everyone has off limits. What uh, can't they joke about? Yeah. Uh, uh, I said uh, off limits. Really nothing. What are they going to do? Plastic surgery jokes. We've heard them. Right. Husband suicide. We've heard it. So they can make fun of Edgar's Old, death. Old, of course. Well, I do. They can make fun of your uh, plastic surgery. Can they make fun of Melissa? Uh, not <laughs> where she can't answer them back. Is she going to be there? No, she is not. Oh, no. then we can't make no. fun of Melissa. Then we no. can't. Yeah, she's not going to be there to answer her back. How the hell are yeah. we going to make fun of her? Do you want to come on? No, Robin. Do you I don't want to be no. the butt of the rest of Artie. Artie will do it. Oh, Artie will do anything. Artie, Artie loves to watch. Artie's at my doorstep every night, and I've been yeah. saying I want Artie. Yeah, Artie's asleep. Leave I him want. Alone. I'll leave him alone. Yeah, right. he God went to bless bed. him. He's inside. That's right. He's working things out over there. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so you will be able to handle it. Now, first of all, uh, you can see Joan performing stand-up this Thursday night at the Gramercy Theater in Manhattan. I did mention that earlier. Yes. Also, for tickets, go to SpinCycleNYC.com and see Joan host How'd You Get So Rich, premiering August 6th at 9 p.m. on oh, TV. Oh, that's Land. right. You got a new show coming up. Now, what up. is that going to be? That's you're going to interview rich it's, people about uh, how they got rich. It's, uh, we've done it already. Six are in the can, and we... What I wanted to do, I'm so tired of people, oh, I can't get, yeah, yeah. I'm so sick of this whole group that says they can't do it. So we went out, we found people that got rich in crazy ways that could happen to you. Right. And they live so differently. Each person is so different. How do people get rich? The people How about the guy be? that invented the slanket, which is you put your arms through the blanket? Yeah. Is that selling he that thing? He was high in, a, in his college dorm room. Right. And so they cut holes in his blanket. And then his mother sewed sleeves on, ha, ha, ha. And then they gave it to an uncle they didn't like for Christmas. And the uncle called up and said, I need six more for friends. Wow. You're kidding. <laughs> and it's called a slanket. It's called a slanket. Is and he a billionaire? He's uh, seven, about $70 million. Later. $70 million. About. And how he lives and what he spent it on. He's what one, he spent uh, it on? Uh, different things. You know, some of them buy islands, some of them buy Maserati, Maserati, Maserati cars. Shows you how I'm into cars. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's uh, interesting. I love to it, hear these success we have stories. One great guy down in New Orleans that still lives in the house owns like a job, owns New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? But he still From lives nothing. in lives in the same house that and doesn't have in? a maid that he no. grew up in. So everybody. Why is so that? Good. Is that a sickness? I think he's just darling. I loved him, Blaine. Loved him. And he and he owns half of New Orleans, and yeah. he won't spend a dime on himself. It's not that he won't spend a dime. He just he's comfortable in his home, and he goes to his neighborhood bar. Then what's the point of having all that money? Give it away. But, well, what do you think I was nice to him for? Right, <laughs> give it to you. Oh, Blaine, you I could said. use it. So, all right, you got the show. How'd you get so rich? I feel you're on a roll, kind of a career wise. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, Comedy Central will roast you. Yes. And uh, you don't get paid August for that, though, 9th. do you? You get something, I guess. You get a little something. They always say give it a charity. Yeah. Right. And, you know, a lot of people don't know this about Joan, and I've never told this before. Do you know <laughs> that her father tried to have her committed to Bellevue? Yeah. Because she was going to become a stand-up comedian. Wow. Do you realize when Joan became a stand-up comedian, women did not become stand-up comics? That's right. It didn't happen. When you see girls today like Sarah Silverman. Right. And you see them thriving. Uh, the girls on Saturday Night Live, uh, Kathy Griffin. Do you ever say, those bitches don't even know how no, hard I have I, it? You know what I really say? What do I you, can still take you. You, do, you feel you can still beat them? You still feel you're no better? No question. I'm, I'm working better than ever. You're better than Sarah? You know what? You're better I'm than Sarah? I'm not Sarah? saying I'm better than Sarah. That's what you're saying. You said uh, you could take them. Yeah. 
In other words, when it came to a comedy uh, fight, you would win. I think I would win. A showdown. And I adore oh. Sarah. I don't mean this against Sarah. I think she's genius. I, but, you know, I'll stand backstage someplace, and the girls will come over and say, oh, you're the icon, and you open the door, and you want to go, go fuck yourself. Right. I can still do it blindfolded. In other words, you so can... So I did Celebrity Apprentice. Don't other, talk to me in the past. In other words, you're still as relevant as they are. Don't oh. talk about, I'm an icon. I'm doing it in Sweet the trenches. Heart, I'm in the gutter with you right now. Are you still writing new material? Constantly. Constantly. Well, what I do... I just wrote two days ago. <laughs> two days ago, you wrote that. Uh, look, the road for you was never easy. When you were going to quit stand-up comedy, Lenny Bruce himself wrote you a note yeah. and told you to stay in stand-up comedy. Yeah. Look how you know these things. Of course you're a good I know researcher. It. He said, you're right, they're wrong. Sent me a note. What was he like, that Lenny Bruce? Uh, so sexy. Did Sexier you have than sex with him? Sexy. I would have. I yeah? I'm going to say from now on I did. So sex, sexier than me, even. Hardly. Well, Howard. <laughs> you know, well, you, not now. You're in the Hall of Fame. But Lenny Bruce was a sexy man. So sexy. And was it his mind, or are you just saying his physical no, being? No, physically he was terrific. A good-looking mm, guy. Great-looking guy. And smart and funny. I mean, he was the whole package. Yeah. Unfortunately, he was so drugged. He was so sick. He would sit backstage, slumped over. Really, because of the heroin. Yeah, and then he would get up and... Perform. And you'd go, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yes, yes, that's what He I'm was thinking. right on. Right on, right on. When he died, were you... Uh, you... I was devastated, because I also uh, used to go and see him at the end when he was so enmeshed in all the lawsuits and the legal stuff, and he wasn't even funny at that yeah. point, but you just went... Because it was Lenny Bruce. Because something could have happened. Why, yeah. why didn't it's like you... like Sinatra at the end. And you said he came on to you, didn't he? Yeah. Why didn't you do him? I was so, stupid. You, that was so... Well, my, I had... I had. Edgar, you're busy doing. <laughs> I had a, 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 a... My fantasy was Lenny Bruce would say, marry me, we'd have to wake up the rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been some scene, wouldn't it? Been? That would have been <laughs> in large part. You've seen it all, my dear. I've seen it all. I Especially love it. Especially with the right eye. Yes. <laughs> Left eye's a little Not so cloud. good. Cataract. <laughs> uh, uh, you have to mention Vegas. They beg me. All right, let me mention. Oh, let you're me, going to Vegas? All right, I'm going to plug. First time in 12 years. Wow. What do you mean? You don't do Vegas? No. Nobody books me. You're kidding me. No. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I go to England. I'm a superstar. It's very interesting. All those altar cockers in Vegas who uh, play the slot machines don't but, want to see you? But the altar cockers are shocked with what I'm talking about. I see. So in other words... I you, need the younger cockers. You need the young crowd. You need the young cockers. <laughs> uh, gay pride shows at the Gramercy Theater. We did that. That happened Thursday, June 25th. Yeah. You got How'd You Get So Rich. That premieres Thursday, August 6th at 9 p.m. on TV Land. Yeah. Uh, Comedy Central Rose, Sunday, August 9th at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. Then you have the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. That's, That's exciting. That's what we're talking about. That's a big now deal. we're talking. So how'd you convince them to book you if no one was booking you? Short money. <laughs> the last week in August and Labor Day weekend, August 27th through the 29th and September 3rd through the 5th. How many people do you travel with when you go to Vegas? I, I travel with uh, probably my assistant. Right. And then a hairdresser. That's it? Yeah. Who does the makeup? I do. You do it yourself? Yeah. How do you know how to do I, that? Because I have a wonderful woman named Adele. She puts it on in New York, and I just don't wash my face for you two don't, or three she weeks. She touches it up every I day. Touch it. <laughs> you don't shower. I shower, but the face stays out. <laughs> I know women like that on Long Island. They don't go to the they they go to the beauty parlor like on Monday. They get the blowout so the, the kinky hair will be straight, and then for the rest of the week they take baths. They won't even take a shot. They can't wash their hair for at least four or five days, so the blowout will last. And you swim. <laughs> you can go overboard in the Titanic. And You're your not getting that board. head wet. What day is your hair on right now? When's the last time uh, you had it? Uh, this, uh, <laughs> this hair. Uh, today is what? Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Oh, it's not that bad. Let's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Yes, Ralph, quickly for Joan Rivers. She doesn't have time for you, but go ahead. I'll make hey, some time. Yes. Hey, Joan, Joan was so great on This Apprentice. And, oh, thank and, you. And, and the energy you had, like, it's like, it like 12 o'clock at night, and she's still running around like crazy. It was fantastic, and the meltdowns were fantastic. How does a best. woman your age still have that kind of energy? It was amazing, Alex. Running that's around. That's why she slept through your wedding. Ah, yes. I didn't sleep through I know. Yeah, I have to go. <laughs> I didn't. I was. I had the best time at his wedding. 
You well, I slept wasn't the it. one who left. <laughs> Barbara Walters left. I didn't notice. She did the drive-by. <laughs> she, she I had there. a great she took time. A few, she took a few pictures, and then she splitsville. I but, loved your wedding, and I hope things are going well. Do you? Uh, things are going well. My marriage is uh, very, very happy. So thank God. Thank God. God. They said it wouldn't last. Thank you. Joan, yes, can I ask a question? Though? Do you think that you uh, give too much to Melissa? On that show, she appeared to be very, like, if very coddled, and if you didn't do what she no. said. Oh, no. Did you also notice that? Do you that feel Joan is trying too hard to get along with Melissa? Yeah, and Melissa is trying to get along with her. You can see, like, it appears that Melissa has had plastic surgery, and no. she's a young girl. She doesn't need it. She hasn't. She hasn't had plastic surgery, has she? Trying to make happy. Go no. ahead. Oh, do you think, no. oh, do you think the relationship is too pressured? I think she's very careful of me. I think she really worries about me, and really protects me. It's a very... Remember, we're it. The family right. the consists of, of the two of us. That's it. That's all... That's, that's it. That's it. Well, you have a grandson. Yes, but, but you know, exactly. Yeah, but he, he yeah. doesn't even but know he's he Jewish. We he watch each other's right backs. That's right. And probably maybe... I'm too careful of her, and she's probably too careful of me. Well, you forced Melissa to have a nose job when she was 18, and yeah. she's still angry about it. She's furious about it. Why is she angry? You've only made her better. I, What's wrong with her? If, do I know? If, that, if I had been a stranger and done it, she would have said, this wonderful woman. You know, we all, <laughs> we all you have. You know what it must have been? She probably feels in some, in some way that she wasn't good enough for you. You were rejecting that her. That you were rejecting her. Oh. And is that what she says? She's mom. Wasn't I good enough with my old nose? No. She wasn't. You were honest about it. I wasn't. (laughs) My father had a schnoz that went from here to the corner. (laughs) (laughs) He lived in South Africa. The nose was in England going to school. (laughs) At this point, though, doesn't Melissa have to have plastic surgery so she looks like a member of the family? (laughs) (laughs) What would you do? I guess she looks the way I look if I hadn't. (laughs) Now, what what would you do if you had a Sophie's Choice? You're in a boat. Yeah. You only have to save one, Melissa or your grandson, Cooper. That's, Who would you do? What ooh. would you do? You have to save one of them. I will say this if you answer me with your two daughters. Go ahead. I have three daughters. Three? Oh, that's even... Right. Well, get rid of one altogether. <laughs> and then you have two left in the <laughs> Who do you get rid of altogether? Right. Um, uh, God, I don't know. It's a tough one. I would take... She would make me take Cooper. That's, she would make me. What would you do? She would make me. Choice. But who I, would you take? I, 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 Melissa... You would take Melissa. Isn't that terrible? Terrible. I, I don't know. I don't a... know. I don't know. <laughs> well, she hasn't I been with a grandchild Cooper. that long. You don't know Cooper that well. Let's be honest. <laughs> He's never given me anything. Nah, no. Uh, and you got that money invested in, see, uh, in your daughter's she, nose. I would take Melissa because she'd be holding Cooper. Right. There you go. All right. Very nice answer. Listen. Joan Rivers, you are delightful. I love you so much. You know. I love you too. And uh, you're a horrible person to answer that question that oh. I just gave you. But yeah, God, but I, I love I, you. Now, Melissa, when you go to Cooper, there it is. How I love you, you for that. I love you for that. <laughs> Listen to me. You're terrific. You're hanging in there. You're doing your thing. You are right when you say you're as good as any of these young comics. I happen to agree. I saw her live. She's great. I, I love tried. you so much. No, we're not just saying it. Well. You know, you know, how many guests have you and all this that go there? I'm not surprised your grandson Cooper hates the Jews. Listen, oh. you're not easy to be yeah. with. It's tough. It's 75 tough year old guys are dumping you. I mean, come on. <laughs> Listen, see Joan Rivers. She's going to go up there. She's going to perform for you this Thursday night at the Gramercy Theater in Manhattan. Yeah. The chance to be near Joan is like no chance you've ever had. <laughs> and um, uh, for tickets, go to spincyclenyc.com and see Joan host How'd You Get So Rich? Premiering August 6th at 9 p.m. on TV Land. And then I'm going to watch for that roast on Comedy Central. Yeah. What, are we not selling anything on QVC no. this week? I just came from yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she already cleaned them out. And, I uh, had to think. That's right. And then she's on her way to Iran. She's going to be the new Ayatollah. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're looking for her. Listen, Joan, you did it all. You said it all. And you, and you had a good appearance here. That's I, all great, that I that's l- love coming. We had a good time, that's all. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back to great Joan Rivers. Best right. to the little wife. Uh, thank you. Joan, how'd it go? Great. It always goes great. great. I just love being with him. Now, what is it with Howard? You guys just I click. Just you always have a good time. Always, for the last 25 years, I have <laughs> never come out of here unhappy. Not once? Not once. <laughs> I just think he is... He's just so fabulous. Great. Adore him. All right, thanks for stopping by today, Joe. Thank you. It's too early. Oh. I don't want to be on the stupid 7 o'clock hour. Nobody's up. You're telling me about it. You're up. Tell me about it, yep. Yeah, but you don't have to go on. Hello. That's true. You don't have to go on camera. 
hard walking backwards at this hour. Though. I know it is, but you're doing a brilliant <laughs> job. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Hold it. Yes. Take Ashwood. <laughs> So one thing, I put it in the forwarded notes and I didn't put it on here, you might want to write it down, was that supposedly Melissa broke up with the boyfriend because he was webcamming with girls. Now, oh, oh, so you're talking about the ABN guy? No, no, no. No, 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 the, the boyfriend she was living with that's featured on the show all the time. In fact, the breakup happens on the show, but it was her living boyfriend. And, and he was webcamming girls, and is that generally known? Is, has she, she talked about it She on, said it on... Uh, uh, Good morning, America. But she didn't really so. get into detail with Yeah, it. she wouldn't so. go. Now, now she's with the guy from... Uh, from Vivid, <laughs> right. It's got to be worth a gazillion dollars. 20! She, she was at the ABNs this past weekend. She went? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. They were talking to Joe, uh, who's the girl, Girls Gone Wild guy? Joe Francis. <laughs> yeah. At least publicly, Joan's like very supportive. You know, he's a rich Jewish guy, so she's very happy for me. Yeah, yeah but uh, Joan didn't like the first husband. No. Said it. <laughs> uh, Joan Rivers has been around for hey, hey guys I need a plug I'm sure she's got a, a ton of them uh, Joan and Melissa are here They must be um, plugging The fact that they have a reality show That's returning Yeah it's a second season for them Good for them There we go Thanks Will <laughs> Joan's uh, running around with her daughter Melissa They have a reality show And it's on What network? E? No, no W-E. Yeah. We. Not E, we. <laughs> we? Uh, what's with Melissa? Hey, baby. Good morning. Hey, Melissa. Hey there. How are you? Haven't seen you in a long time. Who are you saying that to? Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Yeah, Melissa is a West Coast girl. Yeah, she doesn't come this she way often. She doesn't need to do this. <laughs> Hello. Can I fix my Good morning. What's Good happening, morning. guys? What's happening? We're pushing our show because it starts tonight at 9 o'clock. What right is opposite it? Obama. I'm going to turn Republican. Great. <laughs> well, hey, Melissa. How are you? Melissa, what's the arrangement? Is... Is Joan buy you a lot of stuff? Seriously. No. No support whatsoever? No, I mean, we're supportive of each other. No, I mean money. I'm talking moolah. Is, how does Joan work it? I mean, does you she spoil she's you? think she's being supported by Melissa? I mean, Melissa's being supported yes. by Joan? At this point in my life? Yes. <laughs> no. What's the arrangement, well, though? The arrangement you live a very be, big lifestyle. Yes, no, I, I not Ish. like, not really. <laughs> I see your house on the reality show. It's a very substantial home. But it looks bigger on TV than it is. And, uh, not okay, my you, room. You were. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> what it, little room did they put? Why reversed. is your mom's room so small? <laughs> it's a amazed. guest room. Oh, well, it's, it's a guest room. You know, room. in New York in the old days, they, before political correctness, they used to call it maid's room. <laughs> yeah. Joan, are you in the maid's room? That's She's a, in the yeah. guest room. Right. It's amazing. So let's remember, my mom's closet. living with me, not paying rent. <laughs> right. She's not paying for any food. No, but is is she is entertains Joan... at the house? But yes, is... I do. I absorb all of this. All my me- all my many dates. Your many come dates come through, and they eat a lot. Joan doesn't Ooh. offer to pay for rent or like say, no. hey, let me help out with costs or expenses. What is your understanding of Melissa has a very expensive lifestyle? Yes. What is your understanding of how she's is she hooking on the side? What is she yes, doing? Yes, I am. Right. It's, I've finally been outed. What do you think, Joan? And she's now in the porn industry. I am not in the porn industry. I know. Well, she's going we're out gonna... with the head of Vivid. We'll terrific. get to that. Um, Mom, yeah. think, why don't you just take it and just <laughs> hurl it out there? And by Joan... the way, I saw your early uh, tapes. Tape, Robin. You were great. What early tapes? Oh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, on Vivid, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, she's done some porn. Just a bunch of blowjob stuff, not oh, intercourse. Oh, that's a cow. Ask Clinton. <laughs> you, why did you turn to Melissa right now, Joan? I'm, no jokes. I want everything off. Uh, I want all the jokes off the table. Sure. <laughs> we'll get real <laughs> That's here. Easy. Yeah. That, that, that'll, that'll support me. Why? You are so bold and brave in your career. And, and, you're, and I've seen you on TV in England light into people and really give it to them. And yet you've never turned to Melissa and said in all the years when she was married and these subsequent guys, that you don't like the guy she dates. No. You now, stay how old quiet are your daughters? My daughters are, one's going to turn 30 soon. <laughs> no I way. A, yeah. No My way. My oldest, she's 29. Can you believe that? That's right. No. And I have a 26-year-old. Right. I know, with me, people still think I have little kids. Right. Yes. Life. But I'm, they think I'm that a, with me with Cooper, too. Cooper turned 11 in December. Are you kidding? Yeah. Well, See? 11's a little kid. My but kids, still, I'm thinking Cooper's a baby. Yeah, exactly. And my youngest is in college, you know. Yeah. She's a, she's so, a 20, she just turned 19 today. Today well, is her birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. The old balloons, the dead balloons. Yeah, they're left over from yours. Right. So listen to me. 
Yeah, why don't I tell her I don't like him? You did not like her first husband whatsoever. I, I, I no. You did not? Not really. I like him more now. I really like but him But you now. used to say to me when she was married, because we would talk privately. Yes. You said, I do not like that husband of Melissa's. Right. But you never would tell her. No, because it's not who I like. It's who makes her happy and who it works with with them. You know that. But do you, you tell your daughters? Oh, are you kidding? I'm afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever... Just yeah, I'm just being honest. <laughs> I, they don't listen to me. Have you ever said... Have you ever liked anyone... Melissa dated. Uh, yeah, I've liked uh, two guys that she's dated. A long time ago, I guess. Uh, no, I like Good John, mm -hmm. as we used to call him. Yeah. I did. thought he was terrific. You don't like the porno guy. Oh, I adore him. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I. he is Joan, so smart. Stop it. I'm telling you, he's not like... He's in the pornography chip. industry. He's in the... Uh, and so is a Marriott Hotel. Look, I'm already <laughs> driving this over. So Joan, is a Marriott Hotel. They Joan, buy his product. Stop it. I know you many years. I tr I swear. You're not pleased with this. I I'm Cooper's life. This is a businessman. This is one she of his really businesses. She really likes him. I, smart. And you a, like him? A, yeah. UCLA graduate. His a partner went to Dartmouth. They're two smart Jewish boys who said, we can do that and do it better. All right. But what about the fact that the women are fucking on camera? Yeah. And, uh, Excuse me, let's talk about the Kardashians think, and let's but don't talk about you think, <laughs> uh, Paris Hill. But don't you think it's going to lead to disaster for Melissa? Eventually, probably. Right. Because <laughs> he's surrounded, he is surrounded by gorgeous women. These yes. are women who want to get ahead in the porn industry. Yes. They're ready to blow yes. him. They're ready to fuck him. Uh, Melissa, what are we up to here? I mean, yeah, How did this me? happen? Yeah. How, it, we were set up by a mutual friend. Really? Yeah. Completely... And, just innocently, like you guys would get along, and I said no, 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 no for a long time, and then. Does he want porn star kind of sex? Is he no. more aggressive in the no. sack? He's very normal. He doesn't spank you. No. Oh. He doesn't try to put, give you anal. No. Oh. Joan loves anal. Why? Yeah. But that's, you know, that's where we're different. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. That's so where we're sorry different. For him. Everybody's God. always so. Joan. But, like he, but he always says the same thing. It's like people come to his office thinking it's going to be, you know, an orgy in the office, and it's. People are very disappointed. It's a business. Why? And uh, let's be real. Your mother doesn't really live with you. That's for the TV no, show. No, my mother really does live with me. <laughs> Joan. Wait a minute, Joan. What are you doing living with Melissa? She's with me four days a week. Yeah, I really, really? like it Because of fashion police. You Is that I really prison? true? Yes. You know the Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> Wait, Joan. I, that's me. My, I like myself. <laughs> Where do you live? Where do you live the other three days? In New York. Okay. I have the best life in the world. I go back and forth. And you have closet space in Melissa's house. Yes, I, we, she we took, took over, over my gym, my yeah. little, like, where my treadmill is. My gym. Which my gym, which gym. fits a treadmill. This is so sad. And has put clothing yes. racks up. <laughs> and I put a screen in front of it, and her clothes are all over, are, there's racks all over the treadmill. You don't have a separate place in L.A. where no. you go to be by no. yourself? No, I don't want it. Do she you doesn't even have a with, car. What, does that bother? Is, is your mother a burden? I don't think yes. she's, well... I'm going to have a coffee. Is she a burden? She's not a burden. I'm a Jew burden. She's not is a she burden. she a Jew burden? She's not a burden. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a burden. Is, but, but, Does it, she cramp your lifestyle? I have no lifestyle. <laughs> right. I know well, I have my son and my work. Let me tell you what I do. Uh -huh. I can't cram it because I'm so far downstairs <laughs> that I don't hear anything Would you prefer on. your mother to have her own space, her own place somewhere? Would you I, prefer that? I think at two days a week, it would be ideal. Thank you. Four, it gets a little close quarters. She is so lucky. I like candles. I, I change things around. She moves I stuff around. Clean, when you hear that your daughter says she wants you there maybe two days a week, that would be a nice thing, <laughs> and that four is too much, does that affect your decision? Not at all. Well, the other thing Is that true? You really are not offended by that, and you don't say to yourself, i, I got to give her her space? Oh, she's hurt me in other ways, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best this is it. not the first hurt. Right. I mean, literally, my mom shows up, my dogs ditch me. They, right. The... My housekeeper, my housekeeper, my mom has completely bought off my housekeeper, who now barely cleans when my mom's not there. And and, and because my mom just keeps handing her money. Yeah. So my mom's laundry gets done first, <laughs> like everything. It, I'm now the renter. But but try uh, tipping them. You seem they to... work for me. I don't need to tip people. I give a salary <laughs> to. I find that a little absurd. You see, you, you're telling me you're amused by this, though, by your smile and laughing. Yes. You're amused by your mom. I'm most of the time. Right. You my son a... really enjoys it. You're a good sport. I'm a very good sport. Right. And, and, and 
patient. Right. And your sexual life with this new guy you're seeing, the guy from... I can't hear him down the dungeon. Vivid Entertainment. Well, how do you keep that... Do you do it in your house? Well, we only see each other on non-custodial days with our children. I see. Your, 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 your husband, your ex-husband has the kid, and then you can have sex. And then he comes back to my house, and my ex-husband can do what he wants to do. And do you ever watch the product with him <laughs> no. when he produces a porno? No. Do but you, you s- went to the AVN Awards. Yes. Was that really skeezy? It was actually, I had a really good time. You it had was fun. hilarious. Yeah. So you're getting sucked into the porno life. <laughs> me too. Really? Joe, well, you my went? mom calls me and says, Is there, are there any swag bags? Right. All she wanted was a swag bag. What well, did they have in a swag bag? Well, I had no idea you know, there were any. Joan needs a tremendous amount of lube. Yeah, and lubricant and new kind of tickle. She sure. wanted a swag bag. Do you see any guys now, Joan, or are you completely done? I'm, I, I, I would like to, but there's nobody at this age. You're never going to see anyone. No, there's nobody around. The and field not, is thin. And Betty White, that slut, is out there taking <laughs> off the cream. By the way, is everyone getting a little tired of the whole Betty White worship thing? Honestly, Joan. I think it's wonderful because they now think I'm the young chick over at Wii. <laughs> no, but be yeah. honest. No, seriously, I'm being honest with you. Be, be, I mean, I, I think Betty 90. White is a fine actress and stuff, but I mean, the carrying on and the... Uh, but American... First of all, she's a nice lady, truly. Right, I, right. Mean, I think so, an intelligent. Very nice lady. Right, That's but it's a one. bit much enough. But America needs someone to love. I think it's a lot of... We need We need someone. a grandma. We need a grandma. Mm. Right, right. And believe me, you do not want to be the grandma. You don't qualify. Yeah, no, I don't want to be the grandma. <laughs> You don't qualify. Uh, listen, uh, you know, I was thinking about Joan for a second here. And by the way, we shouldn't talk too much to Melissa because Joan gets very nervous. No, you think? Yeah, yeah, she can't handle it. She can't handle no, no. Melissa getting attention? Oh, absolutely not. It's a big competition. Uh, Joan didn't get all decked out to be ignored. Joan, I was thinking about you. When Elizabeth Taylor died, I said the connection between Joan and Elizabeth Taylor is very strong because if, if people remember their history, Joan, back in the day when people were very reverential, Joan used to go on TV and blast and make fun of Elizabeth Taylor. And I thought it brought you to a new level of fame and popularity. Yes, it did. So when she died, were you thinking, oh, I was too mean to her? Not at all. You, you did not have any regrets? No, everybody did. Seriously, we're talking seriously. For a everybody did Elizabeth Taylor jokes. Mine were just the best. They were funny. So everyone remembered me doing them. Every comedian had Elizabeth Taylor is so fat, that mm-hmm. jokes. Right. But mine were the good ones. So it all looked like I was coming down. Her. And did in the end, we kind of made up. As you much did, well, no, you could. did a lot of AIDS, yeah, work, AIDS together, work together very much in the beginning. And when yeah. you say you did AIDS work with her, you were face to face with her? I gave it to her. And when, <laughs> no, you gave her AIDS. I, I thought so. I knew you had AIDS. <laughs> Poor woman. Joan. When you met her face to face, did she say to you, you bitch, you, you, you wrecked me? No, you. we did the very early AIDS benefit. I got her involved in AIDS. Everyone always thought it was her, but I, right. I, was, I got it her. It was AIDS. really you who was who And cured then AIDS. she took it over, yeah. and, and great. what happened to you? She yeah. stole it from Joan. <laughs> Stepped over me. I still have the heel mark on my cheek. Joan <laughs> had to go to penis cancer right. for, for, to, oh, to raise yeah. money. I God for that. Right. Cancer. So when you met her face to face, how did you reconcile? Because you were brutal to her. She said to Roddy McDowell, who was a friend of ours, because I had said to him, am I going too far? Right. He was a mutual friend. Because you never want to go to the point where it's really ugly, you know? And he said, he asked her, and she said, she doesn't get me where I live. She was so beautiful that she was so confident that it meant nothing. I've never mm-hmm. had that luck. You know? yes, yeah, that's right. I've that's never, unusual. Yeah. That's yeah. unusual that somebody wouldn't be affected by it. Not, if, if somebody was slamming me on TV every night, I would, I would get angry and fight back. But she thought when she was at her fattest, when you could put four wheels on her and, and paint her yellow and school kids would mount her. Right. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, she still thought she was gorgeous. Right. She and never knew that she never, hit the wall. You know when fat women don't know they're fat or when old women still think they're young and hot? Right. And That you know, was Liz? Liz and there are a couple of others out there. Yeah. You right. know, in California, they still think, say, you know, I had one of those bitches. She entered a wet T-shirt contest. She had a pacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> she was electrocuted. <laughs> you know what's sad to me? When a good-looking girl lets herself yeah. go, that's the worst shame. Because, listen, if you're not a good-looking girl... God bless you. You might as well get fat. But you see someone like a, um, a Christina Aguilera, who is so she has beautiful. She no neck. 
What happened to her, Joan? Uh, she Did she stop caring? I think she lost her neck in a poker game. <laughs> have you <laughs> criticized her for oh, this? Is there a choice? Right, and she's been angry with you because you have tried to oh. yell at her to get skinny again, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's not working. No. The Donna right. Party could have lived on her for the whole winter <laughs> <laughs> and come out picking their teeth. Right. <laughs> but that's a shame when a good-looking girl lets herself, get, I think so. uh, lets herself go. Don't you think so? Yeah, I do think I'm, so. Well, I mean, I don't know what's caused that for her. I don't know what's happening in her life. Oh, see, she, uh, I try to understand. I don't. <laughs> Melissa always has to keep herself hot and thin, yes. right? Your mother would ridicule you if oh, you Oh, for didn't. sure. Well, I get ridiculed anyway, so it's not a big deal. Did she criticize you growing up? Oh, your tuchus is Joan getting is too big. Joan looking at you or... like, ridicule. Oh, absolutely. Ridicule. Yeah, Joan, Joan must have been, you must, you must, I'm being serious now. You must have walked around as a kid completely in fear that your mother was going to criticize you. She's very, very, very looks Judgmental, conscious. Judgmental. Huh? Right? It still still is. Does she comment still on your appearance? Every phone call I end oh. by saying, put on makeup. Oh, <laughs> every phone call. Instead of goodbye. No, makeup and, is and important. And also, don't eat. That's don't another eat. thing. Don't eat. You're going out to dinner, don't eat. Right. Uh, Don't eat. But, but your mother's great, right. She's got a great body. Yes, thanks she's to you. She's going out with the porn king of America. Right. It isn't the time to get flabby. Is it weird when you get naked in front of a guy who really is in the porn industry? Because he's been completely warped out, as I have. I mean, I see so many beautiful women over there. I'm warped out from it. I think everyone's hotter than the next person. So when you take your clothes off in front of a guy who's staring at porn all day, I imagine it's intimidating. I really try not to think about it. Do you get fully naked in front of him? Well, or do you I, try to like get under the covers? When oh, I'm an under the covers girl. Are you? Yeah. Right, immediately. She's got a great boy. We went to Mexico, and she was running around her bikini. She looked fabulous. She did, and the boyfriend was there. Yeah. And he's looking you over, right? But, yeah. a, but she looked great. Otherwise, I wouldn't have let her be in a bikini. You would have covered me up. I would have yeah. <laughs> bumped into You Jim looked her over, right? <laughs> Joan, you, and you know your mother's looking you oh, over. Oh, always. Right? And, More than anyone. Right. And, and did you look for stretch marks from uh, giving birth? Did you look at it? Did you really no, look at it? No, I don't have stretch she marks. Doesn't, she has a great body. If and you I saw, get angry because she doesn't show it off. If you, it, right, she should dress sexier. All right, thank oh you. Oh, my God, here we go. Even this outfit today doesn't reveal much, Nothing. right? No. She's covered up. And now's the time for her to reveal it, right, Joan? <laughs> That's what I say. Wait, what, you want to make help me? <laughs> my Joan arms, knows. I can fly to California and back without a plane. Joan knows <laughs> that at one point it all caves in. But and I don't no feel offense. And, I don't feel you know your mother hangs in there, but compelled listen. to walk around with everything hanging yeah, out. Yeah, why does Melissa have to do what Joan would do? Because Joan yeah. is in show business, and because she's going to hit an age where she's going to say, "Why didn't I?" Right? Why you didn't think I? Think that, but you don't know that. Joan, what should Melissa be wearing? Uh, disrobe nothing. her now. Take it off. <laughs> Take her clothes <laughs> off. She should in be front wearing, of wearing nothing, just naked. <laughs> she has she a great heels. body. Have and you seen and jo- very high heels? <laughs> right. She wears and a whip in her hand. Let me see your heels. Let me see. I'm your not shoes. wearing. Yes, no. She's saying that she should be in high heels. She's I should be in high heels. Is yeah. anything less hot than flats? No. Right. She. I'm 165 years old, and I'm in heels. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. Beautiful. 165? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Come June. <laughs> you finally admitted your real age. No, but you're right. Because what, what your mom is saying, honey, I know from experience. When I was young, I should have I should have shown my titties. I should have done I should have done something with all, this, all of this. You know, your mother works hard on her her look. So she's saying you're going to have regrets. You've got a gorgeous body. The way you're dressing today. Who should today. she be showing it to? Why should right. she be showing it to also, to men and women? But Why you, not? My mom's. If my mom, she's the one who wanted me to pose naked. Yes. In Playboy. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. What was the latest offer from Playboy? I heard you got another offer. No, I got an or, uh, offer from another porn company. How Ooh, much was you didn't it tell to me. do <laughs> some sort of video? Fabulous. And wasn't it over six hundred thousand dollars? I don't even. Know. I think it. And it she was a lot of down, and yeah. I'm doing club dates in the Midwest. <laughs> I'm That's not going mean. to do a What'd you sex teach her? Tape. I would say hello in Indian casinos. I was I was raised with the, with with moral fiber. So so uh, I've got that happen, Joan. And an education. Joan, I, have you seen have you seen Melissa nude, fully nude recently? Yes, yes. Where did you see her nude? Uh, I, I walk into a room unannounced. Right. Lot when I come out of the dungeon. And is she fully shaved? Yes. She no, is. mom. What? Oh my God. <laughs> what? I'm picking legs and I'm no, no. I'm talking about vagina. It's fully I did shaped. Really look at it. You looked. A little bit. And was there a little bit of hair there? A little. Because you looked to see what's doing. Initials. Right. Why, why do you keep a little bit of hair? Why don't you shave it all off? Uh, because I think that's nasty. Why is that nasty? Was, Robin to, shaves it all off. To me, it's not. Sh- I'm, mom, I, mom, <laughs> mom, you get you. 
I'm so upset that she got a, a porn thing and she didn't tell me. I know. A porn well, offer. Because she knows you'll push me. her into yeah, it. Yeah, you would try, you'd badger me until I did this it. This is third season for Joan and Melissa. There's no question. <laughs> <laughs> That's our premiere episode. Joan, did I read somewhere that you went on vacation with Cindy Adams and Judge yes. Judy? Yes, yes. I can't think Cindy of Cindy Adams and Judge Judy. I, I know, isn't that hilarious? Oh, my goodness. I can't think of a worse time. <laughs> I the best time. Cindy, First of all, Cindy adore. Adams, for I those adore. of you who don't know, is a gossip columnist. So she's about a thousand, she's a thousand years older than Joan. <laughs> Cindy is my, I know her forever. She's my first interviewer. I got, I got famous. Yeah. You call. Joan, yeah. how does she have all this money? I think she invests. She's brilliant businesswoman. Brilliant. But business what does that mean, brilliant businesswoman? I think she. You remember she was married to Joey Adams. Joey Adams said he was not a big deal comic. No, but was he, he made good money. He did. He made good money. What is good money back then? I don't know, but he oh, okay. he, he always worked. Right. He was like Freddie Roman. He did. He worked constantly. Constantly. Yeah. Okay. And I think she and he together knew a lot of people in Wall Street. You know, and they took anything she made. I, I'm just assuming that. Right. And they invested brilliantly. Is she a very wealthy woman? Yeah. She is. Yeah. And, and very generous. Very generous. What does that mean, very generous? Very generous with charities, very generous to her friends. Hmm. And you and Judge, Judge Judy... Is her best friend. And she's a top macher, that Judge Judy. Yeah, it, she doesn't shut up, right? She's great. That and you so like her. I went to Williamsburg, Virginia at Christmas time, which everyone should run, not walk to. <laughs> really? Because you walk around, everyone is like the outfits. <laughs> they were dressed up like... They all dress Pil up. Like pilgrims, yeah, the whole you thing. you all walk around, and you all eat cornbread. It's Are any of you fabulous. married? Is Judge Judy married? Yes. yes she's, she's married. married. To Judge... Jerry. Judge Jerry. And you and, Cin- and you and Cindy uh, walk around looking for guys? No, we three of us walked around, and you go back into history, and everyone plays the game. Right. You, That's it, fun? It's fabulous. You and like it, going back into history? It's a whole his- town of a pretending you're town. in revolutionary times? Yes. yes. I'd rather kill myself. <laughs> I had the best time. My mom, time. Cindy, and Judy. <laughs> Who's the richest? Judge Judy out oh, of Judy the three of you, probably, right? Because yeah. of the syndication There's of that question. show. Doesn't and that all- burn your ass? Look at how hard uh, you yes, work. Yes, it burns my ass because I never syndicated anything. Right. Never. Yes, you In know. a sense, you blew it. Yeah. I Judge totally Judy's sitting there judging. Yeah. And she's probably worth 50 times what you're worth. Uh, probably 150. 150. You tell jokes. You do comedy. You're writing. You're she on the road. She doesn't write a thing. She yeah. just tells people off. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. Good work say- if you can get it. Yeah. Do you resent her? No, I adore her. You, you it's do. not her fault. Right. You know, she's terrific. <laughs> it's show business's it's fault. A, it's, somebody should have put me in a sitcom. Uh, I should have I known uh, Larry David. Yeah. Right. There you go. Uh, How about that, Joan? <laughs> now, now uh, yeah, right. You needed a sitcom. I needed a sitcom. Uh, uh, Melissa, the, you were dating a guy before this porn king guy. Yes. And you you went out with him for three years. Almost, yeah. Joan didn't like him. Not particularly. Yeah, do you Does she think- make it known to you? Do you know? I how was could so you not? Nice. She was very, but how could you not know? Yeah. Did- you, even second. my mother being discreet about something isn't... Why did your last relationship end? My last, uh, there was, uh, he was... Uh, the refrigerator emptied out. Yeah, no, he, uh, he was living, so he-, <laughs> he, was, he, he was living a second life. Double what life. was the second life? No Double kidding. Life. Double yeah. life. You mean he had another family? No, not not that far. But uh, he was living a with having a lot of relationships oh. online. Oh. Oh, online. Dad, do you consider that cheating? It, it was to the extent that, in my opinion, it was. In other words, he would have like uh, online sex with these women. Yes. And you, how did you come to find out that your boyfriend was doing this? I, <laughs> the, I, our computer was on a table, and I was cutting through, and I bumped into it, and the screen flashed, and I looked, and I thought that's weird, and I pushed the mouse, and up came he'd forgotten to close a bunch of pages. And wow. and so and so when you see this, and he's like, "Oh, baby, I want to fuck you." Is he's not. He's sex? not. Me- he's not meeting with these girls. As f- I, I again, I don't know because it had come to light that one of the tabloids had purchased emails of him soliciting people. Oh wow! Oh. Now th- that's the ultimate betrayal. I, and I don't mean yeah. to laugh. I was laughing because Joan was ready to chime in. Yeah. Uh, Joan, you're very upset about this. Uh, no, I was very glad it was over. It was certainly But it was, it was incredibly painful for Cooper and for me. I bet. I mean, Cooper got to know him for well, three years. Yeah. Three years. You probably thought might, maybe there was even a marriage. You know, we were, I, I was going through fertility treatments. Oh, wow. no kidding. You're going to have a kid. Yeah. Why do you think he hung in? Like, if he was having these feelings, why not go to you and say, look, uh, you know, hey. I think well, it was an ongoing thing. In, in, in hindsight, right. it turned out it had been going on for 
quite some time. There, I, I learned about all these different websites like Ashley Madison that I didn't know about right. or what these things were, and apparently it was had been going on for about a year and a half. And oh. when it, when you confronted him, did he say, "Listen"? I'm willing to stop everything. No, I didn't even you. give him that opportunity. I was actually getting up to leave for work for Fashion Police, and it was right. six in the morning, and I was going to get something in the office, and that's when I found it. And I called him from work, and uh. I said, "I'm done." And then the next day, I started getting phone calls from tabloids saying, "We've purchased these emails." So you're here to from say Craigslist from people solicited on Craigslist. Are you here to say that Ashley Madison works because uh, I think it sounds it does. like he, he was really meeting chicks? Uh, par- and again, I, <laughs> what about I, top sponsors? Exactly. Yeah. And then the irony to- of uh, yeah, yes. meeting Stephen. Right. But the, the interesting thing is this is all on Joan and Melissa. It happened right. in the middle yes. of... Oh, my goodness. It happened goodness. literally happened. on a shoot day. Wow. So you're telling me when I watch the TV show... It's in real time. You disco- do on camera discover his uh, videos, his, 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 his dialogue on the computer, and then you pick up the phone and call him and break up with him. Yes. And you haven't seen him since. No. That's it. That's over. It. After Done. all that time. Oh, I threw, how the, do you com- exp- how I threw do you exp- the computer over the balcony, the whole thing. How do, you explain this, how do you explain this to your son? Uh, are we being serious for a minute? Yeah. Because yeah. it was incredibly painful for Cooper. Um, I ta- Well, I tried to turn it into a little bit of a lesson about internet safety. Right. Because okay. we're at that, well, we're, he's at that age. Right. Where they're all on YouTube and this and that. And... Um, I just said, you know, people make mistakes and people do things that they regret and people talk. There's bad people out there online. Right. And you have to be very careful what you do. And it was much easier explaining to Cooper what he did than why. So, mm-hmm. in other words, at some point you had to be very clear and say, listen, he was cheating on me with, uh, I just with said these he girls. Was, I, I didn't go quite that far. I just said he was doing inappropriate, having inappropriate relationships with people online. Do you let him say goodbye to Cooper? Uh, yes, I did. You did. They oh, spoke Joan, on the phone once. Yes, Joan, that's right. They, I, had, and I made sure that Cooper always. It, I, I was very clear on. He had Cooper had his phone number. Cooper had his email. Cooper could. Had, I would. I never wanted Cooper to feel that I was cutting him off from his relationship with Jason. Right. And I. And I made Cooper speak to him twice, even though he did not want to. And since then, I've let it be Cooper's decision. And Cooper has no. He's, he has no desire to speak. Well, to him. because he knows that he hurt his your mo- his we, mother. Well, and, and Cooper and I are incredibly close. I, you know, I share custody with my ex husband, and Cooper and I are very, very close. Because it's always been just me and Cooper. Where my ex husband's gotten married and or remarried and divorced and, and had another child. It's really always been me and Coop. Mm-hmm. Poor Joan is so jealous. She just wishes she could get some action somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. somebody <laughs> be <laughs> cheating on me. I was, just, I was what he met on Craigslist. Yeah. Uh, no, it it's Coop. Such a but I, I went, I went crazy. And wouldn't that be wild if your mother was seeing your was boyfriend she, uh, yeah. on Craigslist? <laughs> a little creepy. Yeah. Meanwhile, Joan signed up for a Craigslist. Exactly. Right. She, she immediately like, registered. <laughs> She's like, what were those websites? Has Cooper <laughs> met the porn guy, the porn king? Very casually. Right. Because we can't go through this again. No. I and mean, I wouldn't allow I wouldn't allow it to happen. That's why I'm very careful that we really only see each other on my non-custodial days. But he was with us in Mexico. He came down to Mexico. We had separate rooms. How do you put your... We had separate rooms. How do you put your... A respectful porn king. How do you have the (laughs) discipline to put your child's needs ahead of your own? Honestly. What do you mean, how do you have the discipline? Because you could easily say, oh, fuck it. I want to be with my boyfriend. I'm falling in love with this guy. I want to hold on to him. I'm going to see him. Uh, I'm going to bring him into the house. You could do that. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do do that. you are actually putting all of your fears aside and saying, I got to protect my son, right? Like maybe she's a decent person? Thank you. Are <laughs> you a decent person? How is it possible that Joan Rivers' daughter would be a decent I ha- person? I haven't, I haven't met. He's doing the same thing with his children. I see. So we're well, both very... Yeah, like you'd be a bad influence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah like you're maybe the porn he should queen. introduce she, you to yeah. his children. She'd be a real slut to bring yeah. you so, so, Joan, what does this mean? To, I, yeah, listen, Joan, despite what you say, I know you're a wealthy woman. What do you mean Melissa is living on her own without any help from you? She I don't believe it. She owns a part of Shoparati, which is very successful. What is Shoparati? It's a website that uh, my business partner and I created where we aggregate and curate all the top fashion deals of the day. And that's a money-making operation? Yes. Shoparati? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean, Joan? Yeah. What are you, you're carrying on like you know. Because well, she tells me. And what, what is she making on Shopperati? I have no idea. You, she, yeah, you know. She's got two and a half. She's doing fine. She's producing, uh, what do you call it, uh, fashion police. Fashion executive police. Executive producing, which is going to an hour. Right. You I, like doing that still? That's where I, you make I fun of the, the people, how they dress. So, so much fun. Fashion police. So much fun. Right. So much fun. And then and then we're doing Joan and Melissa. Joan and Melissa, and then I have my website. <laughs> All right. Very good.
What it's can okay. I tell and you? And I do personal. We do personal appearances. I mean, you know how it is. You, but see, you're we so do, rich. Yeah, we do mother daughter lectures. Yeah, you don't see. You don't have to go out on the road and like do personal Rose. appearances. Talk to Indians. I am going. I, I don't talk to Indians <laughs> at casinos. You don't have, you don't have to talk to Indians, Howard. Yeah, you don't go. You don't have to go do promotional things in malls that they pay right. you for because you've got so much money. You well, own this building. Listen, listen, I don't own the <laughs> building. You do. Own, you own a good portion of the building. I don't own the building. I'm not as rich as you think I am. Look, I had to take a second job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's no, so I, sad. That's right. I have to now go out to that California yeah, and work. Yeah, well, well, we'll have dinner. Oh, that's night. right. The right. new show. I know a lovely room. I could get you Melissa's. You can get but, but, Melissa's. Room. I, yeah, I'm going to stay sub, at Melissa's. I can sublet. And by the way, as even when I was desperate, I never had to go into a teepee to make money. <laughs> like Joan. <laughs> Just remember that. Well, I am pleased to see that Joan and Melissa, a lot of people said it would not go into a second season. No, no. Everyone said it. it. No one no, said it. No one said it. I said it. Oh, all right. No, no, no. Everyone thought it would never last, but it has. You know what I want to ask about got Chelsea great reviews. I'm Handler. Yesterday. Oh. Are you, do you have a problem with Chelsea? Chelsea Handler gave it to you, Joan, yesterday. I don't bit. even know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> You know when people? I don't know who you she is. You want to hear what she said or no? Yeah. All right, Love I'll play to. it. I'll give you the. I'll give you the short uh, version. Fifty nine seconds. Listen to this. But Joan I, Rivers I was critical of you at one point, wasn't she? Well, Joan Rivers. I mean, what, what the fuck do I care about? Joan <laughs> you don't care. It doesn't bother you. Do you don't? You, it does. No, bother it do, you. I saw Joan Rivers the other day at E, and she said, "Hi, you know her and that daughter." Yeah. What? Jo- jo- Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. And <laughs> you don't like Melissa? <laughs> no, I mean I don't not like her. I mean, right. but I don't think about either one of them ever. So the fact that Joan Rivers, like, she got up and made this speech. We were at a Comcast event, and you know they're giving me Conan's old stage at Universal. Right. They're giving me this huge stage, and so they announce that they make this announcement at this like critics. Association and Joan Rivers gets up and she's and she's like, well, I would like to thank Chelsea Handler for giving me a career in comedy. <laughs> and then says, oh. and then she goes and, I, and congratulations on your stage, Chelsea. She goes because I don't even have a dressing room. And I'm like, it's fuck funny. off! Like it's not my fault you don't have a stage of your own. That's your problem. Yeah, why is it related you, to you? Why are you? I mean, she was trying to be funny in the most innocuous way without being. But I could tell, like, oh, this is a woman. And she has said, I've heard she said things about me. Mm. I yeah. don't remember okay. what they are, but yeah, first I of all, never I, said anything. First about of all, you see how I stood up for you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and I was at that luncheon. It's not quite how it went. Let down. me tell right. you, number one, doesn't seem like so bad. The girl it made it on it her was... back, fucking the president. We all know uh, that. Of the <laughs> network. Number two. Oh my God! You promised you were not going to. No, say no, no. that. I'm too bad. No. She started out. Wait, maybe somebody me. missed it. What did you just say, John? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh. We all know how she got there. <laughs> Number two, she's fine. She's ordinary. She's not a genius. She's an ordinary girl that she was fucking somebody high up in the industry and they gave her a break and she's doing okay. I went over very nice. Joan, why don't you fuck someone high up in the industry? Uh, because nobody said. wanted me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, I went over to this thing that we had and I went into the room and s- went right over to her and said, exactly Hello. She obviously has no manners. I don't know where she comes from. Jersey. But I walk over and say, hello, nice to see you. You say, ignored me. Oh. Wow. That's number one. Who the fuck do you think you are? That's number one. Number two, she gets up and they say, Chelsea broke into late night for women. Chelsea has started for women. And they, said she, they said she, she, for, she gives so many young comedians their breaks. Their breaks. Right, right. And also a lot about women in late night. <clears throat> so I walked up with a joke. I said, and I want to thank Chelsea for uh, giving me my break. Uh, that's a funny. A joke. But she doesn't have no jokes because she's not that clever. Huh. So that was number one. And number two, I thought it was very funny. And I said, E, we're really the same up here. Right. You get the big studio. I don't even have a dressing room. Right. That's funny. We got laughs. Right, right. So whatever she is, she's a drunk. She has her own show. I don't wish her good luck. I don't wish her bad luck. And she used to do jokes about Melissa and me before we... Mean jokes, you know what I'm saying? For right. no reason. When she was first starting, go fuck yourself in a pool, and as my mother said, in a teacup of water. Right. I didn't say the first part. <laughs> Why would you fuck yourself. yourself in a teacup of water? I don't my mother, in other words, <laughs> what was with your mother? Go drown yourself in a teacup of water. Uh-huh. Um, I don't care. I don't right. think she's particularly funny. We all know how she got what she got. She's doing okay. Good. You're referring to the fact that she was dating Ted Harbour. Dating? Well, but she was living with Ted Harbour. Yeah, whatever. Right. right. What, good. I don't care. But don't you come after me, you whore. 
Oh, <laughs> don't stop. And needless to say, when we discussed this morning what we were going to say if this was going to come uh, up, it's not what I we really discussed. What, she, <laughs> what your mom said, you know what? I'm not going to act like it doesn't bother me. I walk in and put my hand out and say, hi. Yes. First the thing is, I just said the problem. I think Rude. the main problem is that in all the times we have ever crossed paths with Chelsea, Chelsea has never come over to my mother and introduced herself and said, how do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm Chelsea. Right. Which and, she should do. Right. Because you know, after all, Joan is a legend. She wouldn't honestly. be there without me. Right. And you I know, never say this. And right. and I think that sort of was what started. My mom's like, we work at the same network and you're not going to even come over and say hello to me. This is me in the hole. And this has oh. been for quite a few years now. That's not nice. No, yeah. and that's just bad manners in general. Well, so your mother and you had a discussion, Melissa. They this said, morning. Hey, listen, you, you, you had a little, she, <laughs> you sat down and you said, Mom. Just let it go. Don't I think even this- give, you probably said, I'm guessing, if if Chelsea Handler comes up, act like you don't even care. Like, I said, just I- explain that she's never, that I think the main problem is why you feel slightly negatively towards her is that she's never done the correct thing to come over and say, hello. Hello. Right. And then when she had the opportunity a few weeks ago at this particular event, she literally made a point of not saying hello. That's a very uncomfortable thing when yeah. you walk into a room and people are not saying hello to one another. Yeah, I and especially over. when the president of the network is there. Right. And I walked over, which she should have come to me just age-wise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I just, walked over to her and said, hi. And, and I said hi and out. didn't acknowledge me. I'm like, hey, and didn't acknowledge really? me. And Wow. Oh, oh boy. Yet I'm talking you. to her so producer let's... and her producer's talking to my producer and all the writers are like, we're all talking. And she's talking to Kelly Osborne, who's sitting right next to me. Right. Oh. And Ignoring Kelly's you. kicking me under the table. <laughs> wow. So, you know, I love it. Who knew this was going on? I love it. Yeah, this is such and then, But right. what shocks me is what you said was very funny in the room. Very. I, you, know why, you know why she's angry? I got the laughs. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, who always gets the laugh? Joan Rivers. You're damn right. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Joan. I don't know what's going on with you living in Melissa's house. I don't know what's happening. I think happening. it's lovely. Find out. But the, but Are you going to be renting a room now? Yes, I am. I'm coming out to see the you. The three days that Joan is not, not there. there you I'll shack take... up in Joan's room. Don't there you go. Joan needs me. Do you need a lot of closet space? No, okay, closet. Perfect. I'll Listen, put up another clothing rack next to the treadmill. What outfits do I have? Listen, you've got to see Joan and Melissa Rivers on Joan and Melissa. Joan knows best. And truly great reviews. So this is what I'm talking about. Life is good. Life is good, and you're still going strong, and you're, and you're going to be up speaking to the Indians soon over yeah, at the casino. I love those casinos. You, you don't, you're damn right you do. It's a lot of fun. And if you do well, they give you a blanket. I'm not making a joke. <laughs> I get these great blankets from these. Do they really send blankets? Uh, at the end, if, if they love you, like the chief comes up to you, and they give you a gift backstage. The chief gives it to you. Yeah, what, 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 and wampum they give you, right? No, well, they give, <laughs> my agent doesn't take wampum. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, listen, you should do what the natives, remember the pilgrims? When the Indians would give them a blanket, we gave them smallpox. So you should <laughs> yeah, give the chief smallpox. To, That's to right. Chelsea. That's it. <laughs> and, 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 and what happened? You were negative about Tracy Morgan recently. No, I wasn't. No? You're okay with him? I, You're always in a feud. I, I, like life me. is good. That's right. Conan O'Brien, I know you don't like. I don't oh, like really? Him. You said he's arrogant. Is he arrogant? He's arrogant. What, what happened? He had a run-in with him, with him? No, he's just very arrogant. He just thinks he went to Harvard and the whole world is impressed. You know, you want to say he, we all went to, to uh, Ivy went, League College. You went to an Ivy League And that's what I'm saying. We all went to Ivy League College. We all went. Calm we, down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hate people that think they're superior. I'm not kidding. I'm so sick of... You meet these people and you say, you're lucky. Get on your knees and be T... What's his name? Tebow. Yeah. Tebowing. Yeah. You Tebowing. like Tebow. I love... Just, uh, what about Melissa and Tebow? No. No? Ah, the Kardashians have that covered. <laughs> <laughs> they but, got the sports world covered. Yeah, they got the sports world covered. But Conan... They got to go to <laughs> In other words, there are a lot of young comedy writers and comedians who will come out of Harvard and the, you feel they act superior. No, I feel... Like you'll bump in some of the housewives. Right. You know, and they carry on like they're stars, and you want to say, calm down. Yeah. You're a girl with big fat lips, you know. And, and no one's going to remember you. And you're having a moment. Enjoy it. Right. Don't yell at the waiter. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't yell at the waiter. You got so much class, Joan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. Joan knows everything about show business. Is she seeing Cher still, or is that yes. really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, in the yeah. bathroom. They have dinner. I love Cher. We, we When's have, the last time you saw Cher? About seven months ago. Did she ever bring up my name? No. 
all the time. Always talks <laughs> about me. Your picture is over the bed. And you go into the bathroom and eat dinner there, right? We go into her bedroom. It's so weird. No, the bathroom, you told me. That's where they eat. No, they don't eat in her bathroom. They, everything goes on in her bathroom. Like, she entertains in her bathroom. Maybe Kathy Griffin told you that. No, you've told me that, too. I think it's a big bedroom, bathroom, bathroom suite. suite. You know, Isn't that weird? Don't you like how I translate for her name? <laughs> yeah. she, she lives like a movie star. Big right. house overlooking the, the Pacific. Uh, How's she look? Fabulous. The body? Fabulous. Tight? Fa- well, I've never poked it. <laughs> and Chaz, she bring up Chaz to you in private? No. No one. She's yeah. not talking to so anyone. She doesn't mention Chaz. No, we don't talk about it. I had Chaz on the show. He was lovely. <laughs> he was yes, yes. You know, he's going to get the penis now. Did you read that? No, yes. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to stretch his clitoris into a... What about Chaz and Melissa? Once oh. he becomes full... Oh, no, 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 no. What are you talking about? I'm very happy in my relationship as it is. That one's not lasting. No. Why not? Because he's a porn guy. It's he's, not going to happen. He's a nice Jewish boy that happens to be... How so, long so, was his last relationship? Right. Ten years. Oh, okay. Oh, That's good. Twelve years. Okay. Well, and why not Chaz? Because he's, Jew- he's not Jewish? He's is not that Jewish. It? Just not this is not my type. You think he'll get a circumcised penis? <laughs> of course. He, he doesn't. He want. He doesn't want to get disease. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's even talking about getting balls, testicles, where they they're fake. I send my dogs. Right, <laughs> but they're fake. But they're they're going to look. Yeah, real. but you know, if you want that. Why not? Get right. It. Sure. Absolutely. Why not? Makes you happy. Right. Get it. And he seems happy. He seems very happy, and that's great. And right. all you want, you have your children, is you're as happy as your least happy child. But the, all the reports I read say Cher is upset, Cher can't deal with it. What well, is it? I think it would be a little difficult if one of your daughters came to you and wanted to have a penis and balls. I always wanted a son. <laughs> 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 all right, listen, we could enter it up all day, but unfortunately we have to move on. I have to be professional. I love you so much. I love you too. Melissa, love you. Love and you. Uh, it's great. And uh, I am considering becoming a woman. I didn't want to uh, say that. That's really? Right. Yeah, well, then sure. maybe you should donate. To Chaz. I'll give him my oh. penis. I guarantee you his clitoris is longer than my penis. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Joan, Chelsea has unleashed the wrath of Joan. Uh, yes, yeah, she has. Yes, but I, I, I don't understand why she... I, I tried to be nice. I tried yeah. to be professional. And I don't know who this upstart girl is and whoever she is. Go to hell. I couldn't care less. It's Next. not just about showbiz respect. It's about common courtesy. It's about common courtesy to an elder woman, of someone who has started the industry, someone who broke nighttime barrier, and you walk over and you say hi, and I, as every other comedian comes up to me and no, says... So it's, it's, it's basically, it crosses into just common courtesy. Common courtesy. Common courtesy. If you see someone in a restaurant, I get up and say hello, I don't expect them to come over to me. Right. If right. I see one of my mom's friends, I get up and go over... You say, hi, how are you? And I see it's just common courtesy. And you know, it doesn't matter. We should all live, all live and continue to live. Melissa, this wasn't the plan, though, going into the no, interview? No, this was not the plan going into the interview. <laughs> but uh, nothing in our life goes according to plan. Well, plus, once you're hearing the actual words come out of Chelsea's mouth, it's, it's a little more difficult to... Yes, absolutely. To zip your, yeah. Absolutely. I'm sure I'll be getting a call from the network today. Joan, who are some of the young female comedians who do give proper respect and and do to you? I don't even expect proper respect and do. Uh, But the ones I I think, obviously, Kathy, you know, is Sarah. Sarah Silverman, genius. Uh, Whitney Whitney is incredible. And there's uh, Lynn Coplitz, who is just starting to break through now, is so good. And there are are a lot that are just coming up again, you know. It's it's always somebody good around. There's always somebody funny and fresh. So they're not all Chelsea's out there. No, and again, I don't want to make this into a bigger feud than it is, because she, I can't it's waste not, my time on yeah. negative. Well, it was a very positive interview other than that. Yes. Good to see you both again. Great, thank Great. you. It's always good when Joan Rivers is here. I, I love seeing her. She has a new book out, Diary of a Mad Diva, which is in stores now and selling very, very well, because the book has made a lot of news and a lot of controversy. I yeah, always, what did I read? She was talking about. I. What is that? Someone. What's that, baby? It's on the bestseller list. That's yep. not selling well. That means it's on the bestseller list. Only you could take a compliment and think it's bad. <laughs> yes. Only you. You're not complimenting her enough. By the way, you look extra beautiful today. I love this uh, beaded necklace yes. type situation. QVC. QVC. Quality. She will be selling convenient. that later this afternoon. Yes, I will. Do you? Do you? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you look good. Do you do you do you, you sell this thing? How much does that go yeah. for? Uh, this will probably I don't know uh, probably about one hundred twenty five. It's very ornate. I mean, it's got flowers. It's got uh, beads. Yeah, it's, it's busy. Got, it's busy. busy. <laughs> but it looks good on you. You though. really like it, huh? I, I like, like it. it. I like I like your smell. I Thank like you. That's I sell the QVC. That's called now. Everything forever. on her is for sale. Is that the, is that the Joan Rivers perfume? <laughs> yes. You smell terrific. Yeah, it's a great perfume. We won the uh, uh, the Fifi. And who and who cuts your <laughs> and who cuts your hair? Uh, Puerto Rican, but legal. A legal Name, Puerto Rican? Yes. I never heard of that. <laughs> Name you Raymond. check papers. Name what? Raymond is right door. Raymond, Raymond you look Rosario. Good. Look good. And and you stopped doing the plastic surgery, right? I mean that's it. It's I can't done. find a plastic surgeon still alive. <laughs> no, but I mean it, it, I haven't done anything in five years. And right, you look it's time. Good. No, now it We're looks talking good. To each it's other. settled. It's settled in. It's settled well. It's dropped. No, it looks good. <laughs> you have uh, a dysmorphia. You know, you just look in the mirror. And you think you see one line and you get fucking crazy. Yes, yes. You're crazy. I know, but you, then you look and you think, uh, uh, Chloe Kardashian, who I don't know what she's done, but she looks gorgeous now. Well, let me ask you something. She's um, a much younger kid than I, you. I still am competitive. You, I understand that. You want to look better it, than Chloe I'd like to look like Chloe the way she looks now. It's good that you care about your appearance. I get you. Some people your age, they give up. They, they, they're they nightmares. They look like a train hit. Them. Yes, but they come and tell me that. Right. But but, but to you, you, listen, you could have a little character on your face. Don't get crazy. <laughs> uh, do, do you, do, do, have you, has anyone ever, have, ever said you need to see a psychiatrist to, to, in order to get over this whole plastic surgery? Seriously? Thing? Yeah, seriously. Besides my husband? Yeah. And Melissa. Right. <laughs> Has anyone ever sat you down and said, no? Love? No. No, no one's ever done an intervention? No. No. You look I, terrific. I, uh, at this age, you have to look neat and clean. Yeah, I know. You have to clean up. You have to clean you up. You know what I love age. about you, Joan, before I get to the book? I love the. We have to get to the book. Yeah, I will get so to it. No, because it's a good book. The. The, the, the fact that you're at war with everyone still at your age is so great. This fucking Jerry Lewis, you know, I can't stand what a, that. What a moron. What a moron. And and you are at war with him. You're like, it's so great that you're at war with him. I mean, I don't even know why. I, I, I got to play that. You know what? Like the two, get, of the, the two of you can make war yeah, is amazing. Let me, get you, let me get you riled up. I'll play the clip of Jerry <laughs> oh, you, talking about oh, you. Right. Oh, and this oh. will get you fucking crazy. And then you come up. <laughs> Let's listen to Jerry Lewis talking about you. Because and you better explain who Jerry Lewis is to anyone. Right. Jerry uh, Lewis used to be a comedian. And years ago, he worked with Dean Martin. And he did some movies, right? Right. And it okay. was very funny in he his was. youth. He was. He was very funny. But in he got older youth. and he became very crabby. Mean, mean. Listen to this. I can't even believe how you're at war with everyone. It's so great. And isn't this over the the the, the telethon and the telethon? He's not even associated right, with anymore. Right. They threw him off the telethon. Here, here we go. Here we go. Wait. Let, let's get Joan worked up. I always feel bad when somebody passes away, except it was Joan Rivers. Then I wouldn't, you know. No, you don't mean that. Who's that? That's Maria Menounos. That's Maria Menounos. Yeah. I like her. Yeah, she li she likes you. You do? <laughs> He's finally getting laughed. Finally. That's, the, yeah, 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 That's why the long pause, you didn't know what the sound was. <laughs> I've never heard that before. First time I've ever made that public statement. I don't know how it came out. Whoa. But... I ain't lying. All right, Jerry. Now you gotta pony up the details. Why? She set the Jews back a thousand years. <laughs> See, she went to Israel and uprooted two trees in my name. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting some laughs. You give them that. Yeah. No, I'm your toughest. Joan uh, attacked me in the press. And uh, all she said was, Jerry Lewis has to be thankful that he has the telethon because it helps his career. Yes, it did. <laughs> it does. Uh, what else is he doing? Um, nothing. Uh, right. For years, nothing. And then she went on and was even a little more salty. Uh, so I wrote her a note that night. I said, dear Miss Rivers, we've never met, and I'm looking forward to keeping it that way. <laughs> you guys but have never met? No, we've never met. Wow. Have and you still never so met? You had met. I'll tell you what. Okay, okay, okay. I said, if you find it necessary to discuss me, my career, or my kids ever again, I promise you, I will get somebody from Chicago to beat your goddamn head off. Why can't he beat your head off? Like he needs a guy to do it for He's him? He's going to get somebody. He's going to get someone to do it. Oh. But he had connections. He was going to put a hit out on you. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah. Now, P.S. 
you do know that you're not allowed to threaten people. So if you go to... Our... But isn't it weird he wants to take a hit out on you because you said <laughs> the telethon? A, I, allegedly. I don't, I don't want to get into busy fight. Oh, give, give me uh, the, the time. Right. Uh, bad man. Bad man. Bad with the sons. Bad. And I'll tell you about the telethon, why we got into an argument. All right. Group downtown. If you go to Metro, show them this letter, they'll arrest me. But I want you to never forget what it said. And that was it. But that's such a humorless thing. But he meant it. He is a product of the mafia days in, Ma in uh, Vegas. In, and we had in, a, Vegas we had a... in Vegas, in order to get into nightclubs and stuff, it was all run by the mob. Yeah, and you had to great. sort of pal up to those guys. I love Mo Galitz, God bless him, when he died. You love those go, guys. I love them. They love the mob. I love, they, <laughs> they was, took care of you. They, were, they took care of you. All right. <laughs> all right. Let me tell you, I went to do the telethon. Right. We're all in Vegas. I never met Jerry Lewis. Right. It's a telethon. The kid, and he stood in front front of a kid that was maybe nine years old and said, this kid's going to die. Oh, that, that really well, does. I, yeah. I went off and I said, I will not do the telethon anymore. You do not say in front of a child, this kid's going to die. Right. He was raising Is money. Is that a way of raising funds? Right, raising right. funds. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And that's, and I never went on the telethon again. And that's when he said. That triggered his thing. That triggered his thing. And that I never, did, never did the telethon again. You do not say in front of a child. It's got M, M. It was MD. Right. This kid's gonna die. Nice. Kids eight years old. So it offended you. you. You said it's not cool what they're doing. It's one thing to use kids uh, to to right. uh, raise money, but then to tell him he's gonna die in and front of the child. So in, in all seriousness, I mean Jerry Lewis is a, a great icon in this country. Well, not so much. But he was he was a, 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 you know in his <laughs> he was, day he was and very he, was. he and he made great movies that were yeah. funny as hell and, and and all that and he deserves all those accolades. But why go on? It's beneath him to say he's going to hire someone to beat you up. But he meant it. My husband had to have security guards. Wow. Oh yeah, this was this was a threat. I never mentioned him again. That was 35 years ago. And this moron is still remembering? I mean, it's it was a lot, lot to, of time. It's a lot to hold on to, isn't well, it? Well, when you got a damp diaper. Were you shocked that, that, <laughs> that out of the blue, like nobody asked him about Joan Rivers. He just said, I'm really sad yeah. when anyone dies except Joan Rivers. But you know, when people hold, I don't hold grudges, Howard. I'm so lucky. Right. You say what you think, you move on. Right. And that's why, seriously, I've had three relations in my life. They all worked. But there are people that have said things about you that you do not forgive, too. Let's be honest. I, no, truly, I can't... I, I wake up in the morning. I'm so lucky. I maybe still go to hell, you know, but really? I don't carry well, see, a See, I, I think you do. I swear to God. What about, like, uh, I'm trying to think of somebody you would hate. Barry Diller. Barry Diller fired you from Fox. If he ran into And my husband killed himself three weeks later. Right. Yeah. And you don't hold a grudge against him? It's if you saw 20, him, you I've seen say, him. And what do you say? Hey, Barry. How are you? <laughs> what are you doing? We're both here at this age. Right. We're both still standing. What about that guy who, uh, the Ben Stein, the guy who wrote that horrible article? Uh, ben sure. Stein, he's getting his plenty now. I saw it. Yeah. I, I thought of you when I read that yeah. in the paper. Right. He's getting his, that lying scumbag. No, right. See, you, you hold grudges. But you do. <laughs> well, that was recent, Howard. I don't, I don't <laughs> wake up in the yet. morning and say, Ben Stein. Right. You're not, you're not full of anger. Yeah. Right. It's gone. And you have to remind me. You, you remember Ben Stein? Oh, that bastard. You know what I'm saying. When you walked out of CNN the, uh, a couple of weeks ago. How about that? You were promoting your book. You felt the woman, the interviewer, was was that calculated on oh, your God, part? Oh, no. Oh, you God, You were really no. genuinely angry? It was, you know, don't give... First of all, when somebody's coming to, report, to interview you, and she's a hard-hitting reporter, and you know that because she's wearing a sleeveless dress. Right. They all wear sleeveless dresses, you know. Right. Uh, <laughs> is that part of it? And their name is Bambi. I always love him. Bambi right. in a sleeveless dress gives you the hard news. But anyhow. You went on CNN to promote your book, yeah. and she was hitting you with hard... What was the hard question okay. that she was asking? Some of the questions were like, instead of you do a joke about Princess Diana in the book, it was, why do you go after Princess Diana in the book? I see. It's accusatory. Accusatory. And I found myself, four questions, defending. And you can't be funny when you're defending yourself. That's not funny. And right. you want to say, be... sweetheart, it's a funny book. Right. It's a funny book. Read the book. Everyone, it's a laughing book. You know what's funny? Um, I had Katie Couric on the show, and she um, she was so upset that you were upset with her interview. Yeah. She really was. She genuinely was. And uh, I, I think she was sincere. I really yeah, I do. do too. I like Katie. Yeah. I really like her. She had seen the documentary on you, which was so brilliant. It was so great about how driven Love you that. are and how you put your comedy together. And she was like, oh, I can't wait to ask Joan all these questions. But you took it that they were hard hitting. But, you know, you're on Katie Cork, 11 o'clock, let's have coffee. You right, know what I mean? Right. And I'm there with Melissa again to promote the thing. And it was like, 
Why are you so egotistical? I thought, this is not 60 minutes. It's Ken Korak. You want to say, what about you? Right. You could have it four in the morning for 20 years to get your puss in front of the public. Right, right. Everybody's trying not to yeah, get out I like front. Katie. Right. So, uh, you like her. I do. You do. But the girl... It's hard, to know, with, it's hard to know with you. But you know, you got you don't say to the Olsen twins, what's your favorite place to vomit? There's certain questions you don't ask people. Right. Sometimes it's not the appropriate place. Right. So when you walked out of CNN, you were a hundred Hundred percent for real, right? So here it goes. I'm yeah. really angry, and I won't take this. I was very tired. I right. had done a big book tour. You're cranky. I'm uh, cranky. Right. So I walk out, and there's my entourage, my PR lady, my hairdresser, my <laughs> the guy uh, makeup, woman, and my my assistant. And I say, let's go. And they all say, about what? They weren't even watching. <laughs> Nobody gave watching. a shit. It was on CNN. Who yeah. watches that? What? What? Even when they're there. What were they doing the whole time? Were they, 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 I they guess go? they were on their internet. Yeah, they were on their, their iPhones. They were probably reading. Eating the free lunch. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, that's so funny. That annoys you even more, doesn't it? Yeah, that they were just you, made me you, laugh. You just walked off a show and nobody cared. And that shows you you have to have a sense of humor because no one cares in the end anyway. No, no one gives a fuck. No matter what controversy you're in, two weeks later, people forget. Forget. That's it. Mel Gibson, walk around Jews are praising him. They don't know. Oh, I went to his house the other night. I said to me, you want to see my ovens? Wrong subject. <laughs> I threw you right in, I right? just got a new oven. Yeah. I, After you, Mel. I saw you on, uh, they, they, they got you outside an airport. You were talking about oh, Israel. And I thought yeah. you said some really great things. Why do more celebrities not speak up about the, the, uh, the situation because, Israel's in? You know, you know who's won this war? Hamas, because of the PR. Right. Because of the PR. If this, if... If here we go, I get great. If New Jersey was lobbing rockets over into New York, you'd invade them. We, they, they, we, there would be no Newark, right. but, which is not such a terrible thing. Right, there hardly but, is a Newark. Yeah, and what there is, right. they would tag us. But when they're building tunnels underneath and they're putting their munitions in in homes, and bombs are being lobbed every day. You defend every, yourself. You defend. Oh, if this country was going Mexico to New America, we right. only discuss. It's unbelievable. But why are so many celebrities afraid to Because there's anti-Semitism all over the world, and right. it breaks my heart. We didn't kill Jew Jesus. Go kill the Romans. Right. There you go. Good. Mary was a Jew. That's why she looked so good after birth. Do you walk look around? At, look at those statues of Mary. Do you walk, She's a winner. <laughs> do you walk around? She is a winner. <laughs> She's a winner. She's a Jewish woman. And she didn't even have a tummy tuck. No, she could be a housewife of Bethlehem. I was shocked to read something in your book. By the way, the book is called Diary of a Mad Diva, and it's yeah. doing... Uh, if I say it's doing well, Joan will get upset. Four weeks of on the best seller list. How great is it? How great because, is it? You know, you know what's so great? You put out a book, and you write some things down, and you try to be funny, make people laugh. And then the next thing I read, read was Kristen Stewart was hiring a lawyer to sue you, but that's the greatest thing in the world. She didn't get it. She didn't get the joke. But, well, look at Kristen Stewart. She, I was going to say, does she get she, any joke? Have you ever met really? her? Uh, I only met her. She was stuck in somebody's neck right. at a party. And she's humorless. Uh, she looks humorless. Like, she looks like a miserable girl, this Kristen Stewart. Humorless. And I said something what like... What did you uh, say? Do you remember? I, I, you I, know, I, I'll read it to you. I'll yeah. read it to you. Uh, hold on. You said a lot of funny things in your book, but I'm trying to remember the, the quote that you said. Said about balls. Oh, here. You called a Kristen Stewart a one-trick pony, which, you know, I mean, who could get offended by that? You said the only reason why she has a career is because she's able to juggle the director's balls. It's a pretty innocuous and, joke. And it was about other people, how they got famous. How could she sue you about that? So her lawyer calls my lawyer. Right. Right. And the, they went to law school together. Oh, good. So my lawyer, God bless him, said, are you fucking crazy? Right. <laughs> that's a humor That's book. not, that's not uh, something that's actionable. No, and she wanted the book removed from all the bookstores. Look who's talking. Who does she think she is? I, I, I don't even know who she is. She's a vampire. She's a va you know, a girl with long teeth. <laughs> right. Uh, and, and, she wanted a, and she wanted a public apology. But do you do you love that? When that happens, you, you ran right to the press, right? Yeah. Because, you, because that sells books. Melissa called up and said, this is terrible. I said, Melissa, God gave us this one. Right. <laughs> God gave us this one. <laughs> Melissa gets upset, and then you explain to yeah. her that this is good for the book. Yeah, Melissa gets protective. How long does it take you to knock out a book? Oh, a long time. I, I'm a rewriter. And what it is is when you write this stuff, you do. You have your whole. I've seen you, the documentary. You have piles and piles of jokes on cards. Yeah. And then what do you do? You go through all the cards and say, and "This is some of my best material," no, and I'll put it in the book. No, I go. It gives me ideas. Right. Because on paper, it never looks good. You know, on a card, right. she's so fat that you know, right. They can look but, lame. Yeah, but you start to, to go. I write it and I rewrite it and I rewrite it. And if I was Shakespeare, and I've said this before, I would have never gotten past the comedies. People I never would have finished them. People don't realize how 
how prolific you are. Yeah. In that you've written, <laughs> no life. you've written, you have no life. It's, no and life. that's, but you, you have to have no life in order to, yeah. uh, no life. To, to, to be successful. Most people who have been around as long as you are, are no are longer, dead. they're dead or they're not in the business or they've kind of lost their timing, right? Or they lost their love of the business. Yeah. You I love it. Can't wait. I'm doing November. I'm doing a reading at the National Theater in Washington. I'm so excited already about that. Why do you think you, have you been given that award that the, the president gives out? Never. Don't you think you should get that at this point? I haven't even been invited to the White House. Is that right? Yeah. Why? Never? Why? Because Never. they don't trust Once. you. But Nancy Reagan's decorator knew me. But you were friends with the Reagans. Yeah, that's why I got to the Reagans. You point out that when Edgar died, your husband committed suicide. Yeah. It was a tough time in your life. For some reason, you got to explain this to me, the body it's couldn't get out of California. You no, wanted Pennsylvania. To, oh, wait, that's where he died. And you wanted to move to California or New York. We were living in California. Right. He was... God bless him. It was nice enough to go to Pennsylvania, right. where his best friend lived, and committed suicide in the Four Seasons in Philadelphia. Right. And the press wanted to make a whole thing, and they wanted to do an autopsy. You know, like right. Uh, Hang up the whole thing. You got it. Right. And uh, Melissa was a basket case. She was fifteen. Right. And I had to get that body back. Why not leave him in Pennsylvania? Oh, I was because of Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, she's the problem. You would have left him in Pennsylvania. Oh, I was so mad at him at that point. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm surprised you even bothered. Edgar, who? <laughs> right. So you did this for Melissa. And I and the press was making a big thing. And you knew Nancy. You couldn't get the body out of Pennsylvania. It was hung up because of this autopsy, and everyone was using him as kind of a celebrity story. Yes, big. So they were in front of my gate. You and, know. And, and so, uh, I mean, it would have been easier to send Melissa to Pennsylvania, let her go mourn over there. But okay, you were a good person. And I, <laughs> I would have sent Melissa to Pennsylvania. I didn't think. I, said, I didn't you want, know you, you want the body, Melissa? You go to Pennsylvania. You go again. get him. So you called Nancy late Reagan. at night. What time? Two in the morning. It you was said. yeah. It was like eleven o'clock in. L.A. Times, so right. it had to be doing more. And I said, it's an emergency. I love Nancy Reagan. Can I, Where do I, you call Nancy? Do you, you do call the White House and you say, yeah. I used to. You said, this is Joan Rivers. I need to speak I'm to Nancy desperate. Reagan. And they put you through at 2 in the morning. And they must have called somebody to call. And yeah, she got on. Wow. And I said, I'm begging you. I've got to get the body out. I've got to get the body out. And did she say, listen, you lunatic. I'm, no. I'm hanging up the phone on you. Right. She just slammed the phone. And, 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 and was Ronald Reagan next to him? Did he go, who, no, I heard. Who, who is it? Who are you? He <laughs> probably thought Nancy was, uh, you heard him in the background story. <laughs> <laughs> who am I? Who are you? And she said, "Which is, I'll see what I can do. Wow. And the next morning, the body came back. Look at that. You don't know what she did, but something happened. And I, to this day, I go out there. I see her. Son of a gun. I adore her. Crazy. How is she doing? Nobody ever sees her. She's doing fine. The mind is as sharp as, uh, as ever. How does she look? Did she have work done? Thin. Did she have work done? She must have when she was young. Right. She looks good, right? She looks beautiful. She was a movie star. Everyone forgets she was a movie star. How old, how old is she now? She's in her 90s. Her 90s? Is yeah. she still got her marbles? 100%. Isn't it amazing how you, with it, you still are? Like, you know how some comedians, and, and let's not name any names okay. unless you want to, but some comedians who have reached your age, they kind of, A, they forget. B, they kind of, there's something about the timing that's off. It just doesn't seem yeah. current or something. And but the, you really haven't lost it. Well, uh, my, my, my ter you know the average age of the people that watch Fashion Police? How You're going to die when you how do old? this. 13. 22.7. Wow. So you're attracting a young demo. I, and they want to know about Rihanna. You right. know what I mean? Or they and want to know current. about Nicki Minaj. And these are the ones I know about. How do you stay up on all that stuff? Uh, luckily, I hang out with whores. Right. A lot of hookers. <laughs> no, really, how do you stay up on Nicki Minaj and uh, Rihanna? Because everyone around me is talking about that at E. Do you think Jay-Z and Beyonce are going to break up? Don't break my heart. Right. You, you, you're very <laughs> vested in that relationship? Oh. Uh, I, I was in an elevator with Solange. Now, here's some jokes you make in your new book. Okay, you uh -oh. ready? I'm going to... I mean, these are wild. Um, you praise Lena Dunham, but then you knock her. I, by the way, I think she's great. Right. And we're doing something together. But I think she's brilliant and funny. But you fun. say, you say. She's, yes, don't make me say you look good naked. I don't want to see you naked. But but her being naked is what makes her show so outrageously funny. Good, but then don't make, I don't have, I don't want to say you're beautiful. I, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I don't get naked anymore because then I don't have to go and pluck my nipples and it just takes too long. Right. And you know, and you it hurts. Let me, let me be, let me be honest with you. That joke, that's a funny joke, but 
Did you have hair on your nipples? No, for real? never. I bet you did. I swear to God. I I was once I knew a girl. I she had to... such fucking hairy nipples. She had to tweeze them all the time. Oh, I mean, it's it's like a man. She well, everybody hair. knows that that can happen. Does it have to be Joan? Yeah, thank God, <laughs> somewhere my family is very hairless. Right, but Lena Dunham is a beautiful girl. All right, so she's not. Uh... She's a chubby girl. That's great. Right. Do what you want. But you don't want to have to say that she's pretty? I don't want to have to look at you. You don't want to look at naked people? I don't want to look at naked people unless they look amazing. Like, like a Pamela You don't Anderson find body. any humor in the naked form. Uh, yeah, I do in mine. Why do you say in the new... Um, <laughs> now, now, listen. Isn't this kind of insulting in a way? Now, listen to this. Joan hopes that Melissa McCarthy stays fat because yes. that's what made her famous. Now, but that's almost like saying she's mad at Jenny McCarthy, her cousin, because she said to her at one point, you'd have to get thin to be in Hollywood. And now that Melissa McCarthy is famous, you're saying just the opposite. How about Melissa McCarthy's a talent? If she's thin or fat, she, she wouldn't be, be as funny. You know, wouldn't? look what happened to uh, uh, Godfrey Cambridge. You remember Godfrey Cambridge? Was Godfrey a, Cambridge, right, the black actor. He was a big, chubby, fat black guy. We started right. together. He lost weight. He got so handsome, wasn't funny anymore. One of his big jokes was, uh, Sophia Lauren wants me, I don't want her. Right. And it got a huge laugh. Now you're standing there like a big, hot, sexy guy. Ruined it. Ruined it. Ruined his career. Wow. Did you see Professor Erwin Corey's 100 years old? 100 years old. Did you read that old. in the paper? Does he know it? <laughs> they say he's still... They said at one... I, I didn't know what to make of that. He's 100 years old. They say he still performs somewhere. I don't well, know. I was... Do you it, know him? Yes. I was his agent secretary. One of my many jobs. Getting <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> he was He was an interesting client. <laughs> what well, was he... What does that mean? Crazy. 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 Was he crazy for real? Yes. But he was funny on these shows. He I was assume. funny crazy. He was crazy. Because he said at one point he used to go out and like beg people for money on the street. Probably. <laughs> it's crazy. And I didn't know that about it. They would give it to him unless they heard his act. All right. Now, look. This is, uh, this is controversial from your new book. Gwyneth Paltrow, calm down. You're pretty and you're talented, but you're also very lucky. And also, if you go away tomorrow, nobody will notice. She yes. keeps putting her foot in her mouth, right, Gwyneth Paltrow? Gwyneth Paltrow feels that she's... I hate people that are entitled. How long are you in the business? You know, 35 get, years. Judy Garland died. Liza came up. Right. If Liza died, Rihanna would come. Don't think you're... You're, you're not everything. You're, to not, you're not the you're end not, all. No one is that important. She is yeah. so busy with that. And, what are, and give me the kids' names like apples or sardine. I mean, the, the kids are just... <laughs> it bothers you. Well, you know, and the most beautiful woman in the world. Right. I say voted around by Helen Keller and Stevie Wonder. You know, it's like... <laughs> Who is the most beautiful woman in the world? Who have you... Who I think you Angelina sit Jolie. Is she still the most beautiful she woman She was the world? last time I saw her. She's not too thin at this point? Well, she was in a vomitorium. Right. So she's the... You know, but seriously, is she the most beautiful woman in the world? I don't know. You get them here on the couch. No, you, you, you do fine by me. You know, no, but I'm just saying, who, I'll tell you, I saw that. It was a movie star, Uma Thurman. I'm walking through Gorgeous. LAX airport, and this tall thing in front of me, right. all in black leather, and walking like I'm a star and you're not. Still looking good. Looking great. Wow. But is she still a movie star? You don't see her. I, but she had the you? attitude, which I love. Yeah. You know who I think is hot? Do you watch House of Cards? Yes. Robin Wright. Oh, boy. She is. grew up hotter than when she was younger. Yeah, right? Yeah. She keeps herself together. Yes. Don't you look at her and go, man, that's a sexy woman. Yeah, right? sexy and tough. and Yeah, I'm crazy about it. Yeah. I think she's wonderful. I think she's great. Here's a comment you make in your book that I love that you made. I really <laughs> love this. This is my favorite. Joan hates autocorrect on her phone. And on her computer, because it doesn't understand nuance. She thinks that autocorrect is humorless, just like Jay Leno. Uh, yes. I, I love that you knocked Jay. Are you so happy he's off the Tonight Show? And I was totally forgotten. Here we go again. Yeah, he is. He totally <laughs> to forgot. Totally forgot. Totally. Now you got me going. Yeah, yeah totally. totally. There's not going to be Jimmy any Fallon big Fallon is doing better. And wonderful and young and smart and funny and grateful. That's right. And this big fat can stand there and, and, and uh, <laughs> wax his cars. Right. He's going to wax his car. Go right wax there. your car. Now, you're rightly so. You're bitter because, you know what, all those years on The Tonight Show with Johnny, we all know about the breakup with Johnny. 
Jay Leno gets in there, he's going to hold the same yeah, stupid grudge. Yeah, go hold grudge. the grudge. Even after Johnny was dead, Jay's keeping the ban on you. That he's going to make. Johnny it. didn't even like Jay. Yeah, Johnny didn't want Jay there. Because and, Johnny had taste. That's right. And Johnny didn't <laughs> want Jay Leno on the Tonight Show. And yet he's holding it. The one big thing he did, the one stance he took, going to take it out me. of you. Against you. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. And they used to call, like at least once a year, my manager would call and say, what... What are you doing? You know, it's over. Johnny's dead. What are you doing? Nope. Bam. <laughs> and, and, and the producer, Debbie Vickers, who I gave the first job to on The Tonight Show, she and then became, oh, Debbie, if you're listening, fuck you, die. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's she doesn't like, hold grudges. Huh? Yeah, I gave you your first job, bitch. Let's not forget that. I and like she that would say, forget. no, she's not right for our show. <laughs> right. Yeah, because I'm funny. Yeah, you are funny. You, you know? are funny. You I know? see you on Letterman. I see you on God bless uh, all Letterman. the shows. God bless them all. They all have you on. Because, you know, you, what you want as a host is a guest to be funny. Funny. So you could take five-minute break. It's still the Howard Stern show. Right. You know, it, my husband said that. It's still going to be the so-and-so show. Yeah, why are people so funny. insecure? You know, it's so great to hand the show over to someone like you who's a good guest, and you get and people leave and go, wow, the Howard Stern show was great. Joan was great today. It was right. fun. Boy, that was a funny show. That's right. They don't care. They don't care. It's just so, everyone's so insecure. Do you think they made a wise move on The View, firing all those people? I think it's the dumbest thing they ever did. You do? I, I, the dumbest. Don't you think bringing yeah. Rosie on will be yeah, good? Rosie's fabulous. Right. I think uh, I think when it was Barbara and Whoopi, and I miss desperately Joy. Joy Behar was Joy. very good on yeah, that show. And I miss yeah. uh, the, the Nazi. She was perfect. Who was the Nazi? Uh, uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh, you call her a Nazi? Well, I call her a Nazi. Right. But she was, she was a conservative. <laughs> and she was a, she got everyone angry. And she was adorable, and she, you needed her. Right. And it's got... We I, call her a Nazi because she uh, is strong. Very she's conservative. Very conservative. And she was no, because she's blonde and Aryan. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> As I good looking children. You're hung up on who's... You say that about Heidi Klum even in your new book. Heidi Klum, oh who my I God. Who I sit next to on America's Got Talent. You say she, she, you say she may be a Nazi. What does that mean? What I mean? Yeah, I mean as far as I know, she seems pretty liberal, actually. All I know is... Well, the Nazis don't her. go around shouting. Joe, why not put a real Nazi on The View? Like, your ideas actually sound. Like, take someone who's, you know, a Nazi and put them on The View. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, but well, I'm trying to get we know. <laughs> you know what's happening. Uh, the book, of course, is called A Diary of a Mad Diva. Yeah. It is in stores now. Uh, how many books do you need to sell to, to satisfy your urge to be successful? Do you have a number in mind? I have no idea. But every week they call me and say, we're on the best sale. They just uh, printed it in Korean, which is hilarious. You in Korean? Yeah, I should have you know you over there? I mean, the, uh, yeah. Well, that's from Fashion Police. Right. And so I thought, how did this translate? Oh, funny. It's funny. This <laughs> you think they don't even know half this, the references? Well, I put a lot of dog references in. They dog like recipes. That, right. Yes. <laughs> you, so, so this is a big success for you, and it still yes, matters that, to you, right? Like, totally. Like, the day they call you from the publishing company and say, I'm sorry, Joan, we're, you're not on the bestseller list. I mean, that day's going to come. You can't, you can't maintain this. Right. That's, and you'll go into a depression, won't yeah. you? Yeah. You will. Yeah. You'll be in a depression. Oh, I'm just happy. It's, you know, it was up and up, up and down, up and up, up and down. Uh, it's nice to be in and up and to enjoy it. Tell me your schedule today because, like they said, oh, Joan has to be up by 7.30. I, I said, this yeah. is fascinating. Yeah. This woman, you think she'd do one thing a day and then get back into bed. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, That's your mother's philosophy. My mother will only do one thing a day. She's ready to, you know. <laughs> your she's, mother's she's, ready. She's tired already. Yeah, she's tired. She's tired. <laughs> she's, she's worn out. What are you, what, what are you doing today? Uh, I'm going out of QVC. Right. Then I have two interviews. One with, Jesus. One with the Israeli paper and then one with London because I have a tour coming up in London. Do you take a, a nap at all? Uh, I nap in the car. You do? Yeah. You, you just literally pass right out. I bring old movies, random harvest. I know it's going to end. Right. <laughs> yeah. That way you don't have to worry. <laughs> yeah. you, you, so you, you, you literally will, you will fall asleep. Now, now, when you were younger, you couldn't fall asleep in a car, right? Yeah, well, at this age. At this age, you fall asleep wherever you are. At this age, well, it's just to wake me up. Is it, is it really hard? <laughs> like, like, I mean, I'm, you know, we're, we're all getting older but, but is it is it a bitch being this old i mean just in terms of like uh how it, waking up how i'm talking to you i don't know it i don't feel it everything <laughs> is working i don't know people come up to me, i'm 81 years old yeah, right. and you go who the fuck are you right you're my mother get away from me i'm learning my cap step here uh you know the only thing really not jewy about you is you're not neurotic about your health and about your age you're not you're not neurotic you're going out there and you're living your life it's uh, but nothing thank god i'm very lucky nothing is not 
everything is still working. You haven't had any major health problems like another. Don't words, even say poop poop. No, 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 poop poop. What I'm saying, but poop, like, poop, poop, poop. like you haven't had cataracts. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Cataract. Yeah, they took it out. They took it out. Then I saw myself in the mirror. And, I <laughs> and you want it back? You sued them. How fast does it grow <laughs> back? <laughs> Did it really? It was. It was. It, they sharpened your vision. I oh, it killed me. <laughs> and, and, and what about like vaginally? Have you had like has your vagina dropped at all? It, not only dry, it's so dry. I took a bath and all the water went whoosh. Like a big giant sponge. Yes. It soaked yes. it all in. <laughs> if Whitney Houston had my vagina, she'd be alive today. She never would have drowned. Oh. That's right. That's a fantastic. Oh. Let me write that down. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You mean all the water would have been out of the tub? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Is your vagina really drier when you get Nobody's out? Nobody's around to check it. Yeah, who cares? Nobody cares. The hotel's closed. But, but you know, sometimes with age, you can, your vagina can even drop or your anus well, can fall out. Yeah, you know well, I mean? my anus hasn't fallen out yet. Right, you know what I mean? Like weird <laughs> stuff. Be nice in a way. Yeah. Because you can still keep talking and go to the bathroom. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You read about these things that yeah, the happen. things the drop and breaking everything. Breaking legs and hips and all kinds of I stuff. I just don't look. I'm being very honest. I do not look. I get very depressed. I don't look. And when I look in the mirror, I see my mother's friends. And you're energy level is high, right? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Wow. Uh, Isn't it something? It's lucky. It's I have in bed with Joan on the internet. Go I'm ahead. now doing drunken celebrity phone calls. I just What is that? I do on the internet. I get drunk. I take a couple of glasses of wine and then I call like Jennifer Aniston, pretend. Oh. And I talk to her. Oh, so you mean it's kind of like you? It's your end of the conversation yeah, we hear. Yeah. Who you? Who was the comedian that used to do that all the time? She'd go on uh, talk shows and she was always, "Hello, mother." Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Jean Carroll, right? No, Selma. <coughs> Selma Diamond. Dime, no. No. I don't know who it was. It was some comedian who used to do that. It, well, if they did, I'll steal the material. You know, you say in your in your book, you talk about female comics. And they're always, you know, you say, they're always bitching about, I'm not famous because it's the guys who get famous and I don't. And you said, if you're funny, you could be Hitler. And you could still get booked because funny will always win out. Don't you agree? I do agree. If you're funny, why would a show business ignore you? If Hitler had six good jokes, right. is what I say. They would say, you know, he's changed, he's mellow, right. he's a great dancer. So you see he women come breaking back. through. You should see him with kids. We you see, should see him with a puppy. We see Sarah Silverman successful yeah. now. Oh, Lena and Dunham, Lena, you mentioned. Uh, uh, Whitney Cummings is successful. Tina Fey. Tina Fey. My God, they're hosting the, the Oscars and the Emmys. And the, it's a time for women comedians. Would you, do you wish you could host the Oscars and the Emmys? I think it's a thankless job. I did the, uh, I did the Emmys one year, and they're all so tight. Right. And if you say anything, they don't know if they're allowed to laugh. And then you get the shit the next day in the newspaper. Yeah, nobody no thinks you're funny you enough. Right. Or, you, or if Joan Rivers goes out there, she didn't attack enough people right. or something. Or when Whoopi came out and was very funny and changed, they didn't like it. It's a no-win job. It's a no-win job. You don't want any part of it. Well, I've never been asked again. What is the, the one thing in your career? You've done it all. You've done films. You've done TV. You do, what's the one thing that rubs you the wrong way that you haven't gotten a shot at doing? Oh, uh, I would have loved. I still want. <coughs> excuse me. Are you dying over there? No, I'm fine. All right, go ahead. I just, Take a uh, sec. Take a sec. Well, make it here if you do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't or that be great? Would, Joan, I beg of you. Die, die here. here. Die great, on my phone. Right if you would drop dead right on this show. I'll do it if you put the book over my face. Right. I'll do it. And I'll take a picture and tweet it. Yes. yes. We'll leave you there for a week. You what know, are you just saying that you to know, me? Nice. You know I'll, I'll do right by you. I know you would. <laughs> This is the show to die on. No, wait. What were we just talking about? I don't remember. Really what is the what you were about to tell me yeah. the one thing that I'd you I'd love would. to do a late, 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 early, early, early show. And what would you do on that show? Everything. Go ahead. What do you mean? Like a variety but, show? No, just... Tell the truth. So, and in other people, words, that's what in bed with Joan is a little bit. Yeah, but you've got you've got the uh, fashion police, which really is just an excuse to get you on TV and doing your thing. I mean, it's and one, they've been great, and they've been great. So you've got a show. I mean, the, the, the show late at night would be what, like the like the, like the Tonight Show. We like the Tonight Show. I guess like I mean, the show you did for Fox, you would yeah. put that on at night. Yeah, and you know what? It would do well. I would do well because everyone TVs anyhow. That's no one what, watches in real time. See, the one thing that kills me about your career is, and people don't realize this, when they took you off Fox on late night, your ra they would die for your ratings right now, what you had back then. But and it wasn't the ratings. It was Edgar versus Murdoch and Dilla. But you were doing well. And we were doing well, but they said to me, you can stay. He can never come back on the, lo the lot again. Hmm. It was a Sophie's choice. You know, in retrospect... <laughs> 
<laughs> you should have thrown Edgar right the fuck off that. Oh, when I think about it? <laughs> right. I should have said Edgar who? Right. That's right. You, for Edgar, you gave up your late night big dream. Oh, my God. He should have come in the office the next day. I would have been behind his desk with a cigar. When you lost the, fo when you lost the Fox show, did you, did you want to kill yourself? Did you want to commit yeah. suicide? Because oh, I know how I important. I lost everything. Because it was everything. It was your big break. You finally had your own show. You had been sitting in Johnny Carson's chair for years and years and years, which is not a bad thing to be doing. But you finally got your own thing. And it was such a public humiliation. humiliation. And they threw me off Thursday to Friday. Right. And they said, you say one word on that show. We have another show running. We'll cut you off and put the uh, fake sh the other show. They had another show running simultaneously. Isn't there a lesson to be learned about show business? The, the yeah. very people who hire you and build you up will take you and shit on your face. If for some reason they smell something going wrong, they will not be loyal. They did it to Chevy Chase. Yeah. They really did. Chevy, I kept reading, the God's gift going to be the late night television. All right, so the guy didn't do well. They fucking not only fired him, they bashed the shit out of him. That probably hurt. That's uh, Well, I go back to the Smothers Brothers. They were everybody's darling. The ratings dropped. They were, God, they're disgusting, they're awful, they're, they're too political, get rid of them. Oh, they bad-mouthed them and made them untouchable. Yeah. And really, that could have been the end of your career, right there. It was. There. When you say you get suicidal, I mean, a lot of people throw that word around. No, I was... How bad were you? Uh, Melissa wasn't talking to me, because she thought I could have saved that guy. She was a kid. Right. So, daughter's not talking to me, no career, Vegas gave me back my contract, because wow. they said nobody wants to laugh. Uh, I was untouchable. Carson, he should have had me on the first night. Said, "Where have you been?" The NBC. I was blacklisted. I was wow. blacklisted. It was terrible. Wow. And the bills were coming in. Right. And I sat down one night. I told this story for you. And um, I had a gun in my lap. Here I go. And uh, and that was that. I said, "No, there's, there's nothing." And my dog Spike, my little Yorkie, came over and sat in my lap on top of the gun. Wow. And I thought, that's it. That's it. Look at this. I start to cry. Uh, nobody would take care of you because he was such a mean little son of a bitch. Was was such a, a, I was going to fix that spike. Yeah. That's yeah right. Nobody was going to say, oh, I'll take him. I'll take him. How would you get a gun? Uh, oh, I, and those, I had uh, my security guy. All right. I had the gun. You were really going to do it? Yeah. I don't know if I think, um, boy, it's a lot of plastic surgery you're going to mess up. You you're know? not kidding. You're but I, I had it in my hands, you know? seriously, <laughs> in the big house, sitting by myself. Well, I see how emotional floor. you get about yeah. it. it. It was a tough time for yeah. you. It, you know what it is? Because when your career matters that much to you, the public humiliation, it's like a stoning in a way. And you can't, you can't work at your craft. No. I know, the thing you love. The thing you love. There's no place to go. So I went back to the village. I was 50. And everybody else is 21 years old. Well, and I'm back with a number at the duplex. Really? Back, back with a number? I mean, wait a second. Not you a and Joan Rivers, back literally on waiting in line. Open mic night at the duplex. Is that true? Yes. You went back to open mic night. Yeah, it was and that in Toronto you couldn't at the ha ha. To, you couldn't, you had to go. That's unbelievable. Like, you couldn't even play a theater at that point. Because Untouchable. You, because you were, quote unquote, a loser. Yeah. Untouchable, too old. Uh, and she walked out on Carson. She didn't call him. All you know. Wow. Yeah, it was a bad time. Looking back now, yeah. You know, but my God, at the time it was rough. When Spike sat down on the gun, do you ever think yeah. Spike's trying to shoot me? <laughs> I thought because <laughs> it could have gone that way too. I thought he would make a great muff. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for you to die. Your colors and colors. Do you have dogs anymore? I have four. Are you kidding? All rescues. Yeah. I had the you. cutest one. Drools his cross eye, so I call him Kim Novak. <laughs> oh. No, I love her. I met her. She's gorgeous. Still, I love all what? these. Guys. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I am telling you. You sit opposite Kim Novak, and those eyes look at you. And and you go, oh, my God. I like how you're trying to do damage control right now. It's so great. You named your dog Kim Novak because she drills in his cross eye. And now you're trying to be nice to Kim Novak. I think she's great. She's a very good artist. You know, if you, were a a if you were a decent person, you'd take in Kim Novak. Never mind a dog named Kim Novak. She's a friend and a great She needs a rescue. She's a friend. She was your friend. Not anymore. Not after today. Listen, let's, let's recap because I know you got to leave. The book is called Diary of a Man Diva. Yeah. You made a comeback after unbelievable odds, <laughs> and you always stay on top. 
There's something to be learned from you. I don't know what, but I know there's something. I'll I don't figure know what it out. It's there's something there. Diary of a Mad Diva is in stores now. In stores now. And on the New York Times bestseller list, which you can't do better than that. You can get it in Korea. Right. And, 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 and it's in Korean. In that? Korean. Yes. And who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? Yeah. And, and, oh, and, and, and Melissa, yeah. if you're listening, uh, try to be nice to your mother <laughs> and not be so angry with her when she loses her talk show. <laughs> try not loud. Isn't that something? Even your own daughter stops talking to you when you lose a talk show. Yeah, I mean, wow. I like that you were at your lowest point and your daughter wouldn't talk to you. Your lowest point, Edgar. Oh, please, Edgar. <laughs> Waste of time, that Edgar. All right, look. Uh, hey, Edgar. I'm sure he's listening right now. Edgar's so. fine. Edgar's with us. You don't believe in an afterlife, do you? No. No. Because you don't think you're going somewhere and seeing Edgar, do you? Look, this is a woman who collects other people's ashes. Right. What are you talking no, about? Seriously, you don't, you don't believe in an afterlife. I think... Uh, have a good. My grandma said, "There's heaven and hell on earth. Right. Have a good time. Be good to people." I think I believe in reincarnation. You do. Yeah, I think you come back. So where do you go? You got to go in a holding pattern. While yeah, you're where do you go back. while you're waiting? Well, I, I'd room. like to come back. The old joke is one of my dogs. You know. Can you imagine if you die and then you meet? You see, I go up there and you're like, oh, "Wait a second, I don't want to see you again." Well, when people say that, oh, when you die, you're going to say. There are a lot of people I do not wish to see. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, I mean, if you went to heaven, you're, not, you're like, I don't want to get started with Edgar. We've been there. We've done that. The only one Edgar want to see. Carson she's going to run into. The right. only one I want to see is a friend of mine who is a gay guy, Tommy Corcoran. That was your buddy. That was my buddy. I know. And my mother. Those yeah. are the two. Your mother. Yeah. Yeah, if I could say, listen, you know what's happened? <laughs> your mother. There's got to be some major mother issues with you. I adored my mother. You did? Adored my mother. I wonder. You ever been in an psychoanalysis? Not fully. No, because I, I, it's a lot of money and you look at them. <laughs> <laughs> they look at you. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Uh, Joan, again, congratulations on the you. book. I love you. Uh, good luck where whatever I forgot your schedule. It sounded doesn't busy. matter. Good luck with the well. She didn't get through it. She got the QVC yeah. and then we took off on something. Yeah, the only part of the day I was jealous of was the nap in the car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah QVC sitting there selling that stuff. But all right, you like that. And then after QVC, that. what you go home and you have a nice I know. Dinner. And then I think I'm, I'm working at the West Bank either tonight or tomorrow night. What? I love the West Bank. The West Bank, that's near Israel, isn't it? Yeah. Right. right. Wow. That's a flight. Uh, it's, you know, it's around 42nd Street, and I'd break in all my material there. Is that right? You'll be, you'll be so working. So you come right back to New York. Yeah. I oh. love. And I'm complaining that i got to do America's Got Talent until 11 o'clock. Yeah, look yeah. at you. Look, look at that. How great are you on that show? I'm How wonderful. great are you on that I'm show? Wonderful. I'm wonderful. How great are you? <laughs> but he complains every moment. Oh, tell him to <laughs> shut up. You can tell me right now. I'm right <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> okay. Look, Joan. Do they send a car? Oh, yes. Just shut up. I know. Why would I even... Uh... Do you have a dressing room? Should yes. They, do they give you clean clothes? Yes. Shut up. I, I shouldn't complain. You're right. You know, you know you're know. you right. When I talk to you, I'm like, what am I complaining about? What are you about? complaining about? I swear to God, you have such energy, and I'm so tired. Yeah, well, then sleep in the car. And you got you go the weekend to the Hamptons. Yeah, right. But that's social. Yeah. Well, I, 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 stay in my, I stay in my room, and I paint. That's yeah. what I do. I'm a painter now. Me, too. You, too? I'll come paint with well, you. Remember, she used to paint no, with Prince Charles. Hard. Yeah, I do those. I, I like... Uh, oils because it's like mayonnaise. Is that what it is? Yeah, I like oil. <laughs> Can I just say one thing with the Hamptons? You know why I hate the Hamptons? Why? You get out there Friday and you know what people say to you? How are you getting home? Right, right. I'm worried about getting home. Friday, I have it on right. pack. How are you getting home? You got a lift? Can I get a lift with you? <laughs> Very true. People are paranoid about getting back. Yeah. They get out there and they worry the whole time. About the whole time. Do you still see Prince Charles? Yes, and I adore him. They carry on with that baby, the grandson of He's going to be, well, that's the, the lineage. Because they, they carry, carry on, on with uh, what's Northwest, what's uh, Kanye Gra West. Or Southeast, whatever the hell North, the kids North, 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 South, <laughs> <laughs> Right. All right, look. That's it. That's it. Do you get the baby a baby gift uh, for Prince Charles? You yes, bring, you did. I sent a little baby gift. What did you What say? do you give the? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> My friend Margie owns a, a, a baby store. So, so you don't you don't handle that. I, I called her up. I said two hundred dollars. I went big. <laughs> yeah, nice of you. Usually I know it's like fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, Please do a lot of wrapping. Diary of a Mad Diva. We're yeah. all going to read it and uh, see what the hell is going on. You don't have to read it. Just buy it. Yeah, you don't even care what they do with it. I don't care what you do with it. That's you just right. toilet the paper. Just buy it. Uh, congratulations. I love you so much. I love much. you too. We're going to take a break and then we'll come back and then Robin and I will yenter it up for the rest of the morning. I love Robin. You know that. I love you. And, I Everyone you. and loves your marriage Robin. is working. Isn't that great? How many years am I married? I know. Isn't that great? No, I'm asking you. Do you remember how many years? I, don't. I, I love that wedding. Yeah. We I, had, yeah. You know, we're together 15 years, but like we got married in 2008. So yeah. Look at that. It's working. It's working. And show business is very rare. 
You know, guys, about fucking everything. You're on golden time. That's right. Yeah, this is great. I'm a good man. Yeah, yes, you are. I am. And I said, what is golden here's time? A Jewish, what here's mean? a Jewish compliment. You're a good man. I tell everyone who always knocks you. <laughs> That's thank a Jewish you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, everybody. You tell all the people who hate me that I'm nice. Yeah. You're so sweet. Yeah, that's how Jews give a compliment. <laughs> all right, look. You've, you... said, you've said a lot. <laughs> Too much. Anything you want to say about anybody before I close this microphone? Just Israel. But God, if, just think if it was New Jersey, channel into New York. Right. It'd be a very different atmosphere. That's it. Now you're done, right? Done. And you've said it all. Finished. All right. And I hope you live a thousand more years. I love you so much. And your Thank vagina you. never drops out. Oh, it's there already All on right. the floor. All right, look. Keeps my toes warm. Uh, Joan Rivers, <laughs> Diary of a Mad Diva. We'll be back right after these words. Hey, Joan. Hey, you look beautiful. What are you eating over there? A little nosh? I got a little nosh, and they're going to bring me coffee. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having breakfast. I'm having breakfast on you. This show must be doing very well. I know. You know, we never have breakfast, but today happens to be Cupcake Wednesday. Is it? Oh, don't tell me you do stupid things like that here. No, we... Uh, I have we no respect for We you. don't do anything stupid. What happens is Crumbs delivers cupcakes on Wednesday How? for free. It, and never to my house? Never to your house. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> you can see what is successful when you don't need it. They give you things. We, you want to finish that? You want to? You want us to wait? I know. I'd like to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to make you a little gift bag for when you. Uh... Right, I'm, I'm finished. I'm done. We All can right. talk. Have a little coffee, and you should watch your weight. You shouldn't be eating a full dessert like At that. At this age, you nobody's going to your... look anyhow. You watch your weight like a hawk. Not anymore. Really? Are the hotels closed and I'm spreading out? Is that right? <laughs> the hotel is closed. <laughs> the hotel is closed. You know, I was a little insulted because you were on Jimmy Fallon recently. Yes. You know, now all these guys have rediscovered you. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah, huh? Amazing, and but uh, you know, let them in all of them. But uh, you were on Jimmy Fallon. Not that asshole uh, Leno. No. Oh well, he can't. He He's can't never going to discover you. How well, could he have you on? Yeah. I mean, why? Ha how brilliant to have me on and to say, so what have you been up to lately? Right. Well, <laughs> you won't do it. No. Would you go on the Tonight Show? Uh, now I wouldn't. Right, because it's been so long, it's embarrassing. Yeah. Now it's no. Now it's like I don't need it. Right. You're doing better than ever. I got them all. You know what I mean? Everyone, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy, uh, came up. What, when I need that stupid, unfunny fat so? <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Um, you were on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. And it came out that you were in a relationship for the past nine years with a one-legged guy. <gasps> yes, Oren Lehman. You, I was coming out all the time. You oh, that, that guy. Yes. Oh, he. Well, you he's think so... I only date one-legged men? Yeah, he's like, what is your thing? Who oh, I would have flown to Australia to be with what's his name. What do you make of this guy, Oscar <laughs> ben... Pistorius? I know. Pistorius. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> is he? Is he going to get off? I mean, they, I, I can't imagine. So you she... believe the story? <laughs> they should use me. As a witness, because I live with a one-legged man. Right. There's no way he could have thumped around without the, the leg. They the say he went on his stumps and took a walk out on the balcony. And and held the gun at the same time? No. Then he got <clears> on <throat> his legs, and then he shot her through the door. And meanwhile, That's what he, didn't say, he didn't say, sweetheart, are you in there? No. Forgot. Forgot. He, he, he was sure she was in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and she was very thin, so he didn't notice. When you were dating your one-legged man, did yes. he have one of these bouncy metal things that you can run on? No, it was very interesting. He had gotten used to the, the regular leg, you know, like those big wooden legs, and he wouldn't change. He but just wouldn't go with the times. He was comfortable with what he had. Did you ever see his stump? Oh, all the time. You made love to him with the stump? Oh, it didn't matter. Did the stump? It was fabulous. Did the stump ever get into the love making? Like, did you work it in? Uh, we worked oh, it in a little bit. You yeah. did. Yeah. You're not kidding. <laughs> no, he, I'm he kidding. He we used to put a face on it. <laughs> <laughs> he would rub you with the stump. No, but uh, it's convenient because you have more room in the bed. But isn't it like you have to, as a woman dating a guy with a, you know, a little missing leg, don't you have to act like it's no big deal? But meanwhile, you are looking things over. No, but, you know, I met him at a party. I'm not making a joke now. Right. He was sitting next to me, so mm -hmm. I didn't know even then he had crutches. That's nothing. right. And by the time we got up, I wrote in my diary that night, I would have gone away with him. It was over. Did you ever? Really? I was crazed for him. Did I you... adored him. Adored you... him. Is he the great love of your life? Yeah. More than uh, Edgar? More than anybody, yeah. Wow. Great. He was so... I'm so sorry. Why didn't I contact you? I didn't even know to oh, contact you. Oh, he was you. fabulous. I mean, he was a war hero, and he, he said, I'm not leaving this hospital until I walk out, and he never let him stop him doing anything. He was an amazing man. Did you ever... Did he dance? <laughs> he danced. You think he'd make a Dance, play <laughs> golf. Did you he, ever, like, kiss his stump to show him no, that I never kissed the, I never got down to kissing the stump. Why not? Because... I just it, never thought about it. That's such a move. Like, there were so many other places to go. You got, but you could 
prove that. You know what I mean? That's like a movie. Like every movie I ever see, the woman kisses the guy's handicap to show him. Oh, you that didn't need. That's stupid. That is stupid. I was busy. That's a movie. I was Howard. busy playing baseball with the other leg. So he wasn't the guy who had the two other girlfriends on the side? That was at the very end. Right. At so, the very end, when he got really old and these, he was wealthy, and these two. These two whores went after him, <laughs> oh. and they would get him in the afternoon when I was working <laughs> and use his credit card. He didn't know why I was upset. Do you know why I'm upset? <laughs> you know, women, need a company when you, you work. You need a company. You're working all the time. You fat <laughs> you. You know, <laughs> you know uh, women sometimes will kiss my nose. To uh, show that your handicap, handicap is the home. And, and, to show they love me, and, and even though you're Jewish, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see that's what we should make Mel Gibson do. Right, come come into your studio, kiss your nose, and I could get on my old skin. You can kiss it. So did you have a whole big funeral for Oren? And no, by the time he died, I had walked out on him. I heard he had two women. Right, right. You you couldn't put up with that. that yeah. You remember all that, Howard? Yeah, yeah I forgot this is about all... that. Yeah. Did that, you ever cheat on him to get back at him? No, I really adored him. He was the last man you made love last to. Last man. No, there were two others. <laughs> You're kidding me. I met two other men since then. Are you kidding me? But now it's finished. I mean, it's, uh, Wait a second. Three. When did you decide it was over? About three years ago. I just thought, oh, enough. Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I, you take a look in the mirror and you just... You well, You can put dollar bills in between the folds. Your body is... <laughs> you, know? Like, you know, you keep yourself fit. Not you, anymore. You don't move like an old woman. You never, like, no. crock around. You know, you're just kind of... I hate old people. Yeah. I, I think they should be... By the way, I know you want... They, I think they... I want to run for mayor. I'm not making a joke now. Yes, you are, but go ahead. No, I'm not. Yeah. I want to get rid of every old person over 70. Time to go. <laughs> you would even kill yourself. But then oh, you yes. have to go. <laughs> Time to go, especially in New York, because they have good apartments. You know they say 70 <laughs> now is the new 30? I don't think so. That's 70. what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Well, you know, guess who's saying it? 70-year-old people. <laughs> hey, you're right. I don't see any young people saying that. So you're telling me, after this guy dies, you bang two other guys. Yeah. Not bang. Well, not. full intercourse. Yes. Wow. And yeah. I always think well, like... Well, not the same day he died. Yeah, I always think like, like, like <laughs> At you... At the funeral. I always think you don't need that for some reason. I always think you're such a, like, sort of self... Um, uh, a contained woman, like you don't need anyone. It's almost like you just wouldn't even want to be naked in front of anyone, too. And... No, you have to be naked. Yeah. You pretend you're Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you wear clothes when the guy has sex with you? No. I, I, as no, I mean, far as I remember, but at this age, you don't remember that much. Did you keep your shirt on? Did he keep his shirt? No, did you keep your shirt on? Why would I? No. You're naked during it? Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm fully clothed with a hole. No, of but you know I'm how naked. some women kind of like leave a shirt on no, and they no, take their panties no. off real but quick? I do believe you should wear very sexy underwear and very sexy nightgowns. I'm from that old school yeah. that uh, you're not, you, you know, you, you, you jog and they, I really think women should be seductive. Yeah, yeah, it's important, right? I, well, can I imagine a was... seductive Joan Rivers? Yeah, I can. I think Joan <laughs> cares a lot. And, and, yeah, course. but she's so funny. Can she turn that off? You, 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 it depends on the mood. Hey, I clean my <laughs> yeah. balls before sex. There I, you I, go. I, I, if I could be honest. Yes, tell me this all the time. Did you do something wild and visit the grave of Johnny Carson? Yeah, it's uh, Jonah, Mel Jonah yeah. Melissa, which is on, I have to say it, We TV. Third Saturday, season? Na Saturday nights now at 9 o'clock. Third season, doing great. Can I be honest? I thought what that show... What did you show, do? Dig I, him I, up? <laughs> I thought that show was only going to last... A season. Yeah. It's really good. Because, you know, it's you don't really know. Good. First of all, it's on We TV. Who the fuck can find well, us? Well, that's How do you why. Find that? well, yeah. My motto for We TV is find us, we're worth it. Right. They don't <laughs> think that's funny. What is We TV? The gay channel? <laughs> no, 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 no. We TV started out being women's entertainment. Right. But it's really good, and they're really putting good stuff on. And isn't They'll it be funny? found. Isn't it funny? You're you're so successful now that you're on We TV and also on E. E, and we, we're number one on E, except for the Kardashian horse. Right. You don't like them? I love them. You do? You think they're I great? I think they're great, and you meet them in the lot. You've had them on. Sure. They're darling. They're nice girls. <laughs> why they're are nice they famous, girl? though? I mean, you tell jokes. I know why you're famous. They're famous because they're just famous. Yeah. It's like the Gabor sisters of my day. That's true. That's right. The Gabor sisters. They were in movies, but they were yeah. terrible. Well, these girls But they are... got famous first. They got famous for just being beautiful and uh, running around with men. And these girls got famous. You know, I don't know what. Porn stars being urinated. I don't know what they got famous Did for. you go to Johnny Carson's grave because it was a yeah. good thing to do for television? No. Or did you um, really feel like you needed to go there? Uh, it, it's come up again. I don't know. Oh, because they did this stupid uh, 
documentary on him. Right. So suddenly the whole thing is coming up again. So coming stupid. Up again. Stupid. And uh, uh, and you get very angry. At one point, somebody called me, and again they're saying like, uh, uh, I didn't really call him. All the lies are back. And I got so angry. Johnny's an asshole. Why yeah. do you care about visiting because his I'm, grave? So I said, I'm going to his grave. You know, I'm going to go and dance on his grave. Oh. We have oh. just gotten great numbers for, for Joan and Melissa, and we've gotten great numbers on his fashion. You know, it's like, fuck you, I'm going to go dance in his grave. So the, the, of course, the reality show is right with you. Right. So I go to the grave, and I got, it's one of the episodes, I don't know which episode. I got so upset. You did? Really? Yeah. What happened? You cried? Yeah. Why? I saw the episode. I saw the uh, the cut the other day. I guess I get it. I mean, oh, Johnny Howard, really gave you, know, you your big break. Big break, and I, I adored him. And I don't. I still to so this mean day. To you. Why? I get it. I mean, when you're a competitive guy, you forget. Maybe you don't. When you were guest host of the Tonight Show, your ratings were higher than Johnny's. Yeah. You were doing better than him. Suddenly, you go to Fox. He felt threatened. Like, oh my God, Joan's going to beat my ass. It really is a compliment. I get that. Yeah. I get that. But then, when Edgar committed suicide, Fox fired me, and I was so down. What he should have done had me come back on the show and said to me again, "So what's up?" It would have been. Yes, but you're you're acting like he's you. He is a competitive guy. He felt betrayed by for you. For 21 years? Yeah. He for holds a gr But that's what made him uh, like a late-night host. He's crazy. Yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. you would, I think you would forgive someone that was really down. Yeah, you're mellowing at this point. Oh, Howard. Howard, I no. know you Which off regret camera, too. Some somebody of these asked me, you've Somebody done. recently asked me for forgiveness. I can't. Who is that? Who? I don't want to say. Oh, see, I tell you everything, including yeah. whether or not I kissed Orrin Levin's stump, and you won't even tell me. All right. I so. don't even know what he's yeah. talking about. Okay, but this interview is about you. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. It's <laughs> no, so it's about not. you. It's so back about you. I can't believe you went to Johnny Cars, but I do think you do understand why he got angry. He was threatened by you. Uh, yeah, but when, you were threatening. Some, but when you have won so fully, the woman is out of work, her husband committed suicide, she can't get a damn job don't in forget, the business. But don't I forget. think it's time to turn around and say hello in a restaurant. Don't forget, Johnny It was a mean son of a bitch. Now, ah. With his first wife, he, she, he paid $13,000 a year alimony. He was uh, a terrible misogynist. He beat women. Beat, he punched beat the them. hell out of women. Don't you think this was his way of punching you in the fucking head? Yeah. When you think about it, yes. But I still, I would see him in a restaurant. And he, Ed McMahon, God bless him would walk over and always say hello to me. And I knew that meant his job was being threatened. Right. You know, if Carson knew, that's how vindictive Carson was. If Ed had come to you, when you had your show on against Johnny, if Ed came to you and said, listen, Joan, I want to come with you because I can't stand fucking Johnny, which he probably couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't. Did he ever confide in you in that? Uh, never confided, but uh, they were never friends. You know, when he died, it's the old story. He, everyone becomes wonderful. Right. Everyone forgets Whitney Houston was a druggie. Right. Her mother was her mother on the show. Right. He no. was saying, no, no, my no, daughter no. was a wonderful right. girl. You right. forgot to mention your daughter's face was in the toilet for twelve years. So anyhow, Michael Jackson was a good dad. Ma right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, ex and same thing. He was hanging kids off the balcony. He was <laughs> yeah. a good dad. Well, yeah. right. photo op. Right. <laughs> but the, the, you were saying the thing with Johnny is that uh, you know we go back to his history. This is an angry fucking animal, really, yeah. when, in his personal and life. And that's why he became so. That's why he was so competitive and stayed on top so long, because he was a killer. I read something. And that's okay. I read something about you. I knew, I never, all the times I've interviewed you, I never knew this. What? Now, most people in my audience are not going to have a clue what I'm talking about. Oh, that's good for ratings. It doesn't matter. I don't <laughs> care. I really want to bring this up to you. When I was a little boy, I'd watch the Ed Sullivan Show. Yeah. My favorite thing was Topo Gigio. Topo Gigio. Topo Gigio was a little puppet. I even say, now that I'm a judge on America's Got Talent, somebody should do that on America's Got Talent. That's sort of technology. I bring don't know him how they back. Did it. Topo Gigio, bring him back. <laughs> Topo Gigio was a little Italian mouse. Little Italian mouse. And he spoke to Ed Sullivan, and it was the cutest fucking thing. I used to go to sleep with a smile on my face. You wrote the material for I Topo wrote Gigio? Topo Gigio. That was I my believe. first wow. job. But isn't that weird because... You are such a, um, uh, uh, you know, you, you're, you're, you have acid-like humor. You're very, Topo Gigio is sweet. Yes, hello, Eddie. And you would sit there and write the jokes for that little Italian mouse. Yes, Eddie. Because the guy who was the puppeteer, he probably didn't even know didn't how to. He didn't speak English. He was Italian. Right. <laughs> and how did they hire you to do that? My very good friend, 
who was very wealthy, uh, uh, was hired to do it. And you know when you're young and you're egotistical, and he said, I'm not going to do this for Ed Sullivan. I don't have to. I want to write movies. Right. Wonderful friend of mine, Michael McQuinney, and, uh, who went on to write movies. Right. And uh, I said, well, I'll do it. Sure. I'll do it. Well, let me do it. Let me do it. Did it pay well? No. Of course paid not. like $30 or something, you know. Right. But I would write this little mouse, and, and I would become the mouse, because I'm an actress, you know. Right. So I would in, improv to myself. Hello, Eddie. Nice to see you, Eddie. Yeah. And it was very easy, because all you had to do was, like, think you'd put your head in the shoulder, and you'd, uh, one time it was football season, we put him in a little letter, and the uh, number, the number was a half. Yeah. You know, it was all very, well, you it know, was it, was cute. it was It was nice, charming. sweet humor. Sweet humor. Oh, Eddie. I mean, you, the fact that that never came out, that, like, you wrote his... Well, obviously, I never knew that. obviously it wasn't the hit of the show, except for you. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding? That mouse was more Double popular. Double was big, Wasn't he yeah. the po most popular? popular thing of the day? Yeah, but I didn't write all that stuff. I see. You, you did know, some of it. I did some of it, yeah. I, I'm I, always amazed by some of the friends you had. Like, like, like you had such an unbelievable early career. When you were working in the clubs, before you were the famous oh, Joan Rivers, it was... Oh, uh, Bob the, Dylan. Bob Dylan. Did you sleep with Bob Dylan? No, please. Nobody slept with Bob Dylan. With, with, like, no one... Like, did you think he, he was... just get, weird. Like, you hung out with him before he became famous. Yeah, he used to walk around in, at three degrees above zero, and he's walking around in a jacket with a scarf. Right, and so, like, you probably just thought, well, this is a guy, A, loser because he's a musician, B, strange, strange, and not very clean looking. Uh, was he a good looking guy, though? No. See, I think he was kind of a good looking, sort of mysterious Never. guy. Never. No. Oh, okay, you're looking from a man's point of view. But he's a weirdo, though. Uh, I, uh, Simon Garfunkel was down there. But wait, when Dylan became yeah. very famous. Yeah. And I read Dylan's early, his book about his early life. He used to just stay in different people's apartments and stuff. Yes, yeah, It was almost impossible to see him as somebody who might be valuable as a mate. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But look at what I look like as a mate. So when you saw his music take off and he became the voice of a generation, were you shocked out of your brain? Uh, no, because everyone was taken off at that point. You know, when you're very young and you're on the village, you think you're all going to, you think you're all wonderful. Right. We used to sit around a place called the dugout. And one day we'd be Bob Dylan, another table would be Woody. I'd be at another table, Cosby would walk through. I Woody mean, Allen before he was famous. Woody before he was famous. Were, Woody. You, were you attracted to him? I would imagine not. No, no, but, but again, funny. I, you know, I love funny men. Did you know deep in your heart he would become a huge success? I thought we were all going to be fine. You did. You yeah. knew it. You could tell. Everybody. And, and there were people you know, down there who weren't so good, and you knew they would drop off like flies. Yeah, Barbara Streisand was down there. Barbara did you see her on the Oscars? Uh, yeah. I was sad because I felt her voice wasn't as strong. I as felt it. it was. Oh, I felt a lot. She just come on, Barbara. You know, and make them amplify you, make right. them mic you, and get a lot of people behind you going ooh ah ooh ah. Yeah, get a chorus. Of some <laughs> Cover it up. Chorus. Cover it yeah, up. come right. on, babs. Was that what you were thinking? Yeah. Did you like the Oscars? Why are you not? Were you ever the host of the are Oscars? You ready? No, I was the host of the Emmys. But why wouldn't they ask you to host the Oscars? Because they all hate me because I do jokes on them. But it would be fantastic, wouldn't but, it? Yeah, well, sure. You would they, love to do it. In a hot second, but they... Yeah, look, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Seth, Seth McFarlane. Did one or two little jokes, and they're spitting in his face. I thought he did a very good job. I thought he was fine. I did, too. He I said was... that he is. He will, know, he will never, ever host the Oscars again. He's right. But you know why? Billy Crystal said to me, after about 20 minutes, you know who you're performing to? Losers. These are not happy people. Right. It's a tough crowd. It's a tough crowd. You just didn't win, and now you got to sit here and laugh at jokes. I don't think so. Go back. Yeah, to the and they're not days. taking it well. Huh? Go no. back to the early days for a second, and then we'll get to all the things you're doing now. But but when you would hang out with Woody Allen, would he hit on you? No, he was then going with Louise Lassa. Right. First girl I ever saw with hair extensions. Right. <laughs> That's all I remember. And, and, and Louise Lassa was she a great beauty? I didn't think she was so. ador She was a cutie pie, adorable. Right. Were you like, how is he getting her? Uh, like, well, his humor. Woody always had that great humor. Was he good with women? Like he could actually talk to a woman and... Uh, uh, I picture him as awkward. We were all awkward. You, said you when, were awkward. Yeah, we were all awkward. Me, I was a stud. <laughs> when you um, when you uh, shook Woody's hand, you said it was like sopping wet. Yeah, He's put one of your those hand people. in a glass of water and then shake somebody's hand. That's how Woody feels. Oh, that's so uh. gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you still friendly with him at all? I see him every now and again. Where do you run into a guy like that? Madison Avenue. Oh, you'll just be walking down yeah, the street. Yeah, and there he is. And it's a big hello, because we have all that history. Yeah. And then there's nothing to say. Well, I'm going to say, how's the Chinese wife who took uh, right. who took you away from Mia? You probably yeah, where, do you ever see him with Suni? I mean, do you? Uh, she's a very good friend of a friend of mine. Yeah. Nice yeah. Girl. My friend loves her. No kidding. Oh. Loves her. So he says hello, you say hello. And it's sort of sad. Like, wouldn't it be nice to get together for a dinner and talk yes. about the old days? I'm looking for Benjamin Abel. 
Benjamin Abel. Benjamin Abel, I don't know why, represents my kindergarten class to me. He's probably dead. He's probably pushing daisies. Do you ever do anything <laughs> like that? Do you ever go and look for these people? You should do a Joan and Melissa where you go back and look for your... We early... should. That would be great season four, which yeah. we probably will have because season three on nine o'clock Saturday nights on We, we. TV. Where is We? <laughs> we Find it. We're worth it. So it was you, Barbara Sh Now, the woman that you say was really your mentor, no kidding around, yeah. Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Diller. Who, who was a great comic. And generous which i'm not i don't know about you what do you mean generous generous that she wanted to help new people how did she help you uh she would come to a club where i was working and laugh the loudest right which she gave you the sign of approval and since she was yes. the big female comic of the day she hired me to write on her show oh wow the beautiful phyllis Diller show was another one of my early writing jobs right yeah. she was lovely she, she was a happy wonderful woman today. I don't know. That's a wonderful question. She had a lot of children. Some turned out well, some didn't. Yeah. She had a big uh, romance. The guy died. Um, she was very waspy. You know, she, really? In real life, she wore Christian Dior and was very waspy. Go figure. She wasn't really ugly, was she? she was, no. She wasn't that bad looking. No, but please tell your listeners how amazing looking I am. You are, actually. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, off, off camera, it's amazing. You do look good. Yeah, they said Well, let me tell you. Is that Michelle Joan, Pfeiffer? No, it's Joan. I would love to see you naked. When Joan uh, was on The Tonight Show and she looked beautiful, yet she was putting her looks down, I was like... I didn't understand the joke. Yeah. You, oh, you, well, let's not go there. Let, <laughs> let me just yeah, easy, Robin. Let's just go there, yeah. Robin. It's very sweet. But all I know is I stand in in, in a uh, in an airplane and I stand with a heavy suitcase and no one puts my my thing up for me. <laughs> the last time you had sex with a guy uh, was a couple of years ago, three yeah, years ago, about five years. Ago. And you got aroused and you were fully wet. Well enough. Enough wet to have sex. Well, enough that he did. Well, he's, of course, he was old, too. And I remember listening. <laughs> he maybe forgot he's supposed to be wet. <laughs> but, but you're still masturbating. All the time. Right. Well, that's cause oh, you do? Yeah, well, because Melissa and I, we have fights. We can't have makeup sex. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> does Melissa know you? Like, does she hear your vibrator going? Like, does she ever say anything uh, no, to you? No, it says the lights blow. <laughs> <laughs> you blow out the power in the house? And she says to me, you're say, still oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's the dryer. <laughs> you're you still using something that plugs in, Joan? Come it's on. Show <laughs> My vibrator has a crank. <laughs> what do you think of a windmill? What did you uh, a windmill? What did you think of uh, John Travolta? That 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 hairpiece. It's I, bad, right? Well, can't I he feel get a very sorry for him because somewhere this would be a Scientologist who's making good wigs. Right. No, but seriously, a guy with his money. Like, why should I see that line with the hair thing? In because it? he. I think he's. I don't. I think just come out of the closet and have a good time and stop it already. I said yesterday, what looked more ridiculous on him, that hair piece or the wife? Yeah, you know, the, <laughs> there's an old Thomas Mann uh, story called Death in Venice. Right. And I look at John Travolta and I think, of, he had, it starts with a guy who becomes weirder and weirder and weirder, weirder and weirder. And this was the good-looking guy of his oh, day. Adorable. Oh, adorable! Right? Oh my goodness! And very night nice. Either. You had him on. He's a nice I've guy. I've never, I've never had him on. It's, ador it's adorable. It's a nice man. It's a nice yeah. man. And I would feel happy, like like when Clive Davis finally admitted that he's Thank homosexual. Thank God. He claims bisexual. Yeah, right. I mean. I feel good for people who can be out and free. And I mean, I don't know if John Travolta's gay, if he's bi. We don't know. We're we not going to get anything. sued here. Right. I don't need the aggravation. Jody Foss is probably very feminine. I mean, right. I don't no, want right. to know. Who knows? <laughs> and, you know. Did you understand she, that she speech, builds, by the way? She builds bookshelves in Victoria's Secret underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, uh, years ago, now uh, maybe you were joking about this. Did you make love to Mick Jagger one night? Uh, Mick Jagger made a big pass at me one night. Tell really? me about that, yeah. because to me, Mick Jagger, that would be the yeah. ultimate conflict. And he was Mick Jagger. When was this? Oh, God, we were we were both working in Australia, and there's a restaurant by the ocean. And, How uh, many years ago are we talking? Fifteen. Right. And uh, we both came in, we were both doing shows. Obviously, he was doing an arena, and I was doing a theater. But, right. And we all came in after our shows at different... And he came over, and really, was very friendly. But does that mean he was hitting on you? Yeah, when I say very friendly, that's a Jewish, elegant woman's euphemism for yes, he was hitting on. What did he say? What did he say? I don't know what he said, but those lips were moving. Really? <laughs> they were clapping. Did he try to kiss? Like, he's yeah, one. He tried to kiss my neck. He's an animal. Yeah, you, oh, why really? didn't she go with him? Because he's ugly. <laughs> really? And now really? I'm, I now I'm a... sorry. 
You now are I should have slept with everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who were you uh, with at that point? Uh, uh, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> no, no, I mean, come on. <laughs> was that I during was the Orange years? I mean, yeah. the guy... Orange was with me. Oh, he was. Okay, yeah. so that's why you didn't do him. That's a... Yeah. And also, you don't even realize until after you go, he was... He's trying to make out. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Jeez, that guy, and he has a big schlong, supposedly. You see, I think he's an attractive man, but again, I'm, I'm looking at it from... You're guys. a man. You're a man. I'm a man. What do I know? Yeah, yeah. And a Paul McCartney, if I had known he liked, again, if he liked stumps, I would have been in the bathtub with a b pack of ice and a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... We have to talk about... That's I, all we have to talk I, about. By the way, one more thing. Anything. So, were you doing it for TV, or were you really curious? You went to Lily Tomlin's house and you kissed another woman. Oh yeah, that was that. It's all true. What I think was, and I'm not serious for a minute. Yeah. What's making our reality show work, and it's working like gangbusters, is it's real. What I do is I say, "This is what, what I'm did doing," you kiss? and they follow me. Who did you kiss? Uh, I met a woman. It was three nights later. Uh, I had gone to Lily. We had had a dinner out. Lily is a gay woman. The, oh, um, for years with Jane. Wonderful. Right. And I adore them both. And I know Lily again in the village. Don't you wish somehow you were gay? Like, wouldn't it be easier for you? I'd like to be like Clive Davis. Bye. Bye. Right. Bye. Then, then the whole world would be a royal. You're never lonely. And right. also maybe a little into bestiality. I've seen some very good looking shepherds. Do you think Clive <laughs> Davis is really uh, bi? I think he's so happy now. I went to his party. Right. Everybody loves him. He was, he's such a genius, and he's such a nice man. Right. You've had him on? No, in fact, uh, you should have him on. I was critical of his book. I thought what he said about Kelly Clarkson was a bit egotistical, and he should have left that alone. What he's, I, I have just well, he was very book. critical and taking credit for her career and this and that. And I went, you know what? He's got so much. What is he knocking? This chick's trying to make a career for herself, and she's a hardworking girl. What do we, what, you know, he's taking all kind of credit and knocking her down. And she, you know, he I, simply said that she didn't want to sing one of her biggest hits, right. and he made her do it. And he probably did. They're not the brightest. <laughs> Miley Cyrus came over to me at Clive Davis' party. Said, "I won't go on fashion, please." I said, "Why?" She said, "Because you ask hard questions." I said, "Like what?" And she said, "There you go." You know, like, oh. <laughs> this is not the brightest. Did you go to those Oscar parties? I, and I didn't go to the Oscar parties because we were writing the fashion police. Right. What we do is we watch the Oscars, then we write all night. Do we women still get mad sleep, at you? Do they get mad oh, at you? Oh, they get very angry at me. Who but, did you criticize? Who was the worst dressed? Uh, I thought that Anne Hathaway's dress was hideous. Why does she annoy me so much? I ah, think she's super talented, ah, but she's super annoying. Super talented. Because she's too actressy, right? Oh, she's, no, she's very good. She calls herself an actor. Right. The minute you call yourself an actor, right. you are so dead in my book if you got a vagina. But her dress was no good. Her dress was lousy. And she, oh, she also gives these two. She said, ooh. Uh, what did she say? There's another quote. We didn't do a joke on it, though. Um, oh, I just can't wait to have some delicious vanilla ve vegan ice cream. What? Where did she say that? It's, uh, we had the quote, and they wanted me to do a joke about it. But yeah. I, instead, she went for uh, my big pig out. You didn't see any of these? No, some pig yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that pig somewhere. Out was, yeah. uh, Why do all these skinny girls always try to t act like they eat yeah, so much? Meanwhile, you're in the bathroom, and you hear them... Yeah, uh, yeah. You threw up for years. You were a big I thrower. I threw up, up. For two, after Edgar died. I threw up for two years. But would you say throw up? You wanted to control your weight. Yeah. 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 And it's also my psychiatrist told me it's a way of control when everything's out of control in your life. That's the one thing you control. She said, did, think about it. Did it start to affect your throat? It's my throat got very. And she said to me, um, it affects your heart. Right. It affects you know Diane Keaton did it for years. But you probably look great. Uh, I look, yeah, very good. Yeah, right. I mean, you probably would. Yeah, but oh, I was down to a size two. Valentina. How many times a day would you throw up? Every time I have a big meal, I'd go in, no. and you'd bring the time at half an hour. Right. Half an Why hour. Why half an hour? I don't that. know, but that's when it works best. No kidding. For me, that was when it was. And you could stick your finger down your throat and then force force the vomit to yeah. come up. Wow. Yeah. You're yeah. talented. And then I would brush my teeth. Because you got to have the worst breath if you're a vomit. Oh, can you imagine going back to a table? Oh, my God. Ugh. So you always carried a toothbrush and toothpaste Toothpa with you? Yeah. So you were complete. Like, you must have been in denial. You probably didn't spend too much time thinking about it. You yeah, just did I it. I just did it. Right. And then I, uh, my doctor said, your heart goes, and you can get uh, all those acids on your throat. It can affect your voice. Did you ever throw up with another celebrity? Like, did you ever... Did you get, like, yeah. double throw up? <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, Let's go. Oh, that was, what a way to bond. Can you spot another thrower up, or is there, some, there are certain signals that you can see, or it's impossible? Well, when they get up from 
from the table right after they've eaten. You know something's you up. You know something's up here. Right. And the I... nose isn't white when they come back. <laughs> See, the she nose and is Karen white. Carpenter or your breath stinks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you were running yeah. to the ladies' room. Right. Uh, so, so how did you finally stop? Uh, the psychiatrist said, if you just stop, he said, it's going to ruin your heart or and it's going to ruin enough. your throat. Yeah. Said, and the minute they said, ruin your, your voice, that's, that, this is my... Listen, that is your voice and you didn't ruin it? Yeah, thank you. For, and, uh, <laughs> you know, you think you know somebody and then they get so bitchy. So mean. I would say going through menopause, but I don't want to... Right. That's long gone. Do you ever occasionally still throw up like you go out and you just pig out I too much? I think about it, but I don't do it. You fantasize that you can yeah, do it. Oh, wouldn't it be great not to go home and but, but then wouldn't you be hungry all over again? And then No, you... your stomach is numb. It's, it, I don't want to... It's like I'm giving you an ad. Yeah, I know. But, an ad for believe me. I, I'm, I'm not curious. It was I, great. No, you, my stomach was numb. So you were thin. You felt you had eaten. You had enjoyed the meal. And so your teeth were a little rotten. Right. That'll happen because yeah. the acids. You went on The View... And they bleeped your uh, F they, word. There was one little fuck. And they've got they a got seven minute. And they, no, they bleeped the whole sentence, which is stupid. But you know what happens with a seven second delay, right? because I'm familiar with this. When you hit the button, it takes out, you know, it doesn't selectively take out the word fuck. They can only do that in post if you're, you know. If then they should have done it in post, because it was a great joke. But it's a live show. They can't. No, it's not live. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, that's right. So, you're right. They're live. I just wanted to tell you that. Because I'll never do it again. Because uh, I knew I was going to say it. But if you say the word fuck, they're going to hit the button. And the button technology is so sloppy that it, t it takes out seven well, seconds. Well, then I will never do it on a live show again. I will only do it when they can take it out. So it was post. a premeditated fuck, and you figured, hey, it'll work. And it'll get the, the audience a little quiet that day. Right. It'll wake the audience up. Right, right. So you, so and it was funny. Now, in light of what I'm telling you. I'll never do it again on a live show. Thank right. you. Okay, there you go. Because my joke was, uh, Whitby said, why, uh, E, we, how do you... How do you know the difference? Because you know, we were talking about fashion police and Joan and Melissa. And I said, who cares as long as they sign the get ready to bleep fucking check? And it was yeah. funny in the context. Right. And what I saw when I saw the show was, I don't know, it's only... Yeah, and it's not funny. It's not, not funny. funny at right. all. Yeah. And you go, this is really dumb. So uh, you were critical. Uh, we're so politically correct now. You were I'm critical. So sick of that. You were, you were critical of Adele's uh, dress on Fashion yes. Police. Yes, yes. And do you do you say that? It's almost like people are afraid to say she's fat because... Uh, oh, it's so... I get yelled oh, at when I say somebody's fat. But, but, but Melissa McCarthy. Not? Yes. Her uh, People say you're not allowed to mention it. Excuse me? The woman is a blimp? Good you try to sign her? And just, <laughs> but why Why can't we call people fat anymore? We, I mean, we, it, why is that? And then, and then the letters I get are like, how dare you? She's not fat. She's a natural woman. No, oh, she's stop. fat. You know what? And she's going to have diabetes. If America took a look at themselves, right. why don't we all, like, I love Mayor Bloomberg. Me Love too. Him. Me too. All he said is, you want to drink a drink of it, be aware of what you're putting in your body. He's trying to save people's lives so we don't have to sit there and pay for them in hospitals. Right, right, right. He's right. trying to say, you drink this soda, it's like poison. Yeah, you, and you want to drink it, at least know you're having two bottles, you piggy. Yeah. <laughs> calm down. Like, have calm one glass. Down. Yeah, right. Yeah, and I, uh, you had one soda and it's 64 ounces. Yeah, I know that. Joan, you are working more than ever. Thank you, God. Are you, but yeah, but I mean, I feel like it's too much. No, you know what's happening? Happened, happened. There were some lean years there. Right. Everything good is happening. As I said, Joan and Melissa, fashion police. Now uh, I'm doing my own internet show, which started on Joan and Melissa because you can't say a lot of things. Do like, people find that on the internet? It starts March 5th. I'm going to come back and beg you. Okay. Uh, I can ask people anything I want to. Right. It's wonderful. Right. It's You're going to have guests? I have every guest. I'm starting with Sarah Silverman. We had such a good time. You no know. kidding. And so so it'll be once a week? Well, it's going to be one. I don't know. I don't understand it. Yeah, right. We put it up, I think, every Friday. Like a podcast? Yeah, that kind of yeah. And I don't care if people watch or not. Will, will there be a video? Associated? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. And I do it from my bedroom at Melissa's house. Oh, okay. I mean, it's really stupid. It's called In Bed with Joan because there's no couch in there. Melissa broke up with that guy you really, you yeah. said you really liked him. I don't know if you were for Which real. One? The, the, the pornographer. I liked the porn guy. Steve, yeah. Steve, Steve, he owned a Vivid Video. Yeah. It's a, a, yeah. A, a, and I thought that would repulse you that he owned a porno company. It's till I met him. He's a businessman. And what happened there? Why did she break they, up? Uh, it was, they met at the wrong time in their lives. You know what I mean? Uh, he's got kids, he's going through a divorce, and, and Cooper's a preteen now. The wrong, the wrong time. I keep thinking he should walk in with a 15 carat ring and, so, and that's it. Right. And solve your problems, because what you want to say to everybody is, 
things change and the kids grow, so shut up the two of you. Right. But they're going to that, so she so knows you're, that's you're it. never going to get remarried, and now I, Melissa's saying she's never going to well, get remarried. Well, she will. She'll meet somebody. She, she goes to. out a lot. She, she does? Oh, yeah, she goes out constantly. Too a little too slutty, maybe. No, no, no. No, no, no. She's good with that. She is? And she holds a, out? I think she's a seven-dater. Oh, I see. Yeah. She just goes out. She goes on a couple yeah. of days. And how can you bring somebody home? Your mother's in the basement. Are you in, really in the basement? In the basement. No, you're not. You live in New York. I'll send you pictures. You fly to L.A. once a week to go do that to do show. The, to do Fashion Police and Jonah Mullis reality show. I'm out there four days a week. So why not just move out there? Because I like being in the house with Cooper. Oh, I see. But well, so uh, she won't let you live in the house, or she will? Well, she she has no choice. A minute. Oh, I see. But it's All very right. hard to bring a guy in, and strip in the, in the living room when your mother walks through looking for a cup of coffee. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Look what's going on with you. And the world is your oyster. What I have to say one thing, guys. I know you want to wrap this up. I no, know. I'm not looking to wrap it up. Uh, if you got something to say, go yeah, ahead. I'm starting a new website. All right, go ahead. And no money's involved. I just think it's hilarious. MyFatPet.com. Well, what is that? My it's fat nothing. Pet. My dog, Max, got fat. Right. So I put his picture up. So people began to send me pictures. And it's only fat animals? Uh, I don't want to see a thin animal. And people, MyFatPet.com, send me your pictures and we can all laugh. You know, have, it's so true. I have a cat that is 22 see, pounds. <clears throat> now, he's not fat. The doctor told me it's normal weight for him. But he's a Maine Coon. He's a big cat. But but people, it's, think, it's funny to see these animals. And it just makes me laugh. And that's what you're doing. And no money, nothing, nothing. Just doing it. And you're still doing that QVC and all oh, that? God bless it. Making a fortune. I, people, every time I meet someone who's doing something on QVC, they go, Joan Rivers makes like $50 million. Oh, yeah, year. right. I mean, yeah. that's what they, that you're no, the, you're the that, benchmark. They perceive that, but not so. But it's it's supported me all these years. I see. Look at I you. I love you so much. I love you. Uh, Joan Rivers, let me just uh, say this. You can see her on Joan and Melissa. Yes. On Joan Knows Best, question mark, Saturday nights at 9 o'clock on We TV. I defy you to find it. <laughs> She's now dating Oscar Pistorius, the, uh, the guy with no legs. She loves anybody who doesn't have any legs. Yeah, please call me. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, she uh, is uh, available to you uh, via the Internet now with a podcast. Uh, sorry, March 5th. Yeah. She's looking for a guy named Benjamin Abel. Abel. If he's around, if he could contact her. He's married, but I just want to see if he's alive. That's right. And... Uh, what about that Lance Armstrong? What a dope. What a more You should have just kept his mouth shut. Stupid ass. Stupid, stupid ass. You And you know, again, with fame comes responsibility. I'm sorry. Yeah, but even if you juice, keep your mouth shut. Shut up. Why go with Oprah? What uh, was he thinking? Well, because Oprah's a seductress. She, yeah. she seduces people. Yeah, oh, just tell me. Has she ever interviewed you? Uh, early on that she hated me. Why does she hate you? I Why? don't know. Why I do gave people her first hate you? You're an icon. I don't know. I gave her her first break. No, I put her on Carson show. No, they didn't want her. She was a fat, excuse me. She yeah. was a plump <laughs> girl from uh, Chicago. And I saw her and I said, with blue eyeshadow. Yeah. And I brought her on, and I thought she was brilliant. You, when you were guest host, did you have control over who became a, a guest? You had to beg. Who you booked, had to who booked beg. the guest? Uh, it's Freddie de Corda. Freddie Corda and Peter Sally, and I would go and say, "My birthday's coming. Let me put on Cher." And look how brilliant you were that that uh, you knew to get Oprah, but you had to beg. Isn't it draining when you think back on your career? How many people you have to beg when you have a vision? Yes. It's, yeah. it's, it's sickening, isn't it? Yeah. All the years I'd have this vision, and I'd have to convince these management guys, let me do this, let me do that. They don't get it. And you have to say, please, trust me. I'm begging you. What do you mean? You wanted to have Cher, and they didn't want her on? That was when Cher before... You've got to remember the era that was like the late 70s. No, they didn't want her on. They, uh, this was before the Sonny and Cher I think show? it was after Sonny and Cher, and they didn't think she was a good talker. You know, I said, I'm begging you. Uh, Lily I brought on for the first time. Howie Mandel Lily I Tomlin? brought on. Yeah, Lily Tomlin. Howie Mandel I brought on. Gary Shanley I brought on. Begging them. Begging each time. Because you were more in touch. You were out there. I was in touch with who was funny right, at the moment. Right, because you worked Vegas, and you saw what was going on, and you knew. And you would plead with them. And then when like someone like Howie Mandel would come on and then kill, would they come to you and say you were right, or they would act like it was They would then under? take him and give him to Johnny. Right, I never right. saw him again. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was like, you, you were like the... Uh, I was like the farm team. Yeah, the farm team, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the farm team. Unbelie that must have made you nuts. But it, but it also made you, again, like everything, 
I'm going to show, I'm going to get good people. They're not going to, they always wanted to give me like someone that was dead. So you have someone like Oprah on, who then wasn't Oprah, wasn't she really was well known. She was just local girl from Chicago, but so, you know, she was Oprah, they How didn't did know How did you even Oprah. know about her? She was, I was in Chicago and she had a local show and I thought she was terrific. And, and she put you on. And I said, uh, yeah, yeah, I did a local show. You know when you go like Mr. Yeah. Kelly's, whatever the name of the club was. Right, right. And I thought, this girl is terrific. She's terrific. And I said, I want you to come on. Come on to today. And then you have to go back and fight. Come on, I want you on the tonight. And LaSalle uh, didn't want uh, Oprah. He always had to. Oh, but I get begging. it. I mean, they, they probably didn't even know who she was. They didn't know who Oprah no, was. It, yeah. it, you can't yell at them for that. So You're, why do you think Oprah hates you now? Like, she should write you a note of you and say, I remember when. She's very competitive. So, I don't know. We met in a lobby in Chicago. And she was, like, five years that she really hit. And she was so ice cold. And I thought, wow. I don't know what I did to this one, but too bad. Do you think it was because, because Oprah likes to act now like she's like this uh, pope, but I remember her show in the beginning. It was filled with transvestites. She's the her. first one that did that. Well, she's her and Phil Donahue. Uh, no, no, well, she no, no, really no, dumbed Donahue. down uh, the Phil Donahue's concept. She was yeah. the one that really brought it down to my father rape me, and right. here I am. Right. Of course. Right. That was the first, she did. She brought that in. And uh and then when when everyone began to do that, right. she then went the other she way. She elevated herself and became spiritual. But you, except when it was ratings time, because she'd still go there oh, every year. so every once in a while. All right, but, uh, <laughs> but I love my brother in a great way. <laughs> but isn't it like? Aren't you? Isn't that one of the great mysteries? Like here, I mean, what you did for like I would never forget that. If I was struggling, and you put me on the Tonight Show. And, and, and then five years later, I run into you. I could, you know, people have this perception of her. I even have this. I've bought into it that she's gracious, and you say she's competitive. And Beyond think, competitive. So, do you think she was you competing with you? I think at one point she was competing with me. Uh, red carpet, she would walk right past me. And what would you think to yourself? What the hell? I mean, wow. Would you? Did you ever write her a note and say, you know, why? Oh, go to hell. You because know, because when you were working the red carpet, it would have been a great get to have yeah, Oprah, yeah. and you would think she'd return the favor. Yeah. You know who does Howie Mandel? Every time he sees me, still, he says you found me. You know, he's to a gentleman. Day. He's a gentleman. But to this, 25 years later, it's okay. Howie was the greatest talk yeah. show uh, guest, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, he was great. fantastic. And you discovered that. Yeah. I, he was in the comedy store, and I was begging the Tonight Show people, come and see him. He's, it's all there. I wasn't a genius. It's all there. Right. Just take it off that stage and put it on your set. He's all there. And finally, I put him on. Isn't finally. it amazing how guys in authority, this is why I got mad with Clive Davis, guys in authority who think they know so much. And, you, and Peter LaSalle should have said to himself, you know, Joan does. She's tapped in right now. She's got the, the lightning rod that attracts talent. Let's listen to her. To struggle and fight, you want to just give up. As I said, begging, say, it's my birth, for my birthday, give me this gift. I said, do that, play game. It's my anniversary. Let me have on Elton John or whatever, you know. And would they threaten you and say, well, if the ratings go down, it's your fault, John. No, they would go, well, we are, are, are. And then my manager would go in and beg. Yeah. Wow. And all, hey, look where I'm, my life is good. Have you ever had a sitcom? Did they ever try you for a sitcom? Never, ever called for a sitcom. Uh, even at really? the, at the, when you were doing the Tonight Show? About, yes. Nothing. How about they put me on the Betty White sit show? The Betty White show? Just now. I oh, did that. six months ago, and they said you're going to be her called. long whatever it's called Baltimore. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and the, all I the women were wonderful. Right. I get there, the script sucks. I have no jokes, uh, so I go and I think, well, they'll change it when I get there. Right. I got there and I would say like, I'm her long lost sister. So I'd say, do I live in the same city or should I have luggage when I come in? They said, don't worry about it. They wouldn't. I wrote some jokes and they said to my um, uh, my manager, tell her just to read it as is. Hmm. It was the worst experience of my life. You and know, I love the women on it, I but the people on it, go fuck yourselves. I haven't <laughs> seen the episode. The writers, right. I haven't seen the episode. Uh, a friend told me, I think Gary told me about it, the Louis C.K. show. Oh, I now love this, him. Now, this sounds brilliant to me. So, the, the episode was, you and Louis C.K. meet somewhere, he's thrilled because you're Joan Rivers, and you're going to mentor him, and he's asking you for advice, you go up to help him in his hotel room, and he fucks you. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> how, how graphic was the scene? It I was, he's it. such a good actor, and he's so darling. Yeah. And, uh, really nice guy. We, and as we walk in the bedroom, I said, don't tell Melissa. 
<laughs> <laughs> and do you have a love scene with, or you just no? That, that's the way the, the, it ended. I, I so said, "What great. the heck?" Louis C.K. fucking you. That's yeah, just the funniest a, thing it's ever. It's so funny. That is great. And I love. He's so. God, he's the one. He's yeah. the one. That's the, the big one now. Yeah, I recently had a conversation with him. Did you like him? Very much. We, good, we I good. think we must have sat and talked for an hour or so. And, uh, you know, he was just a real nice guy. We were talking more about, he, he, you know, he's single and he's got to raise his kids. And he, he actually actually devotes a couple of days a week to not working on his career. I thought he was a pretty, uh, pretty good guy. I, I want to ask you, Sasha Baron Cohen, is he nice? I love this guy. Oh, thank God. I I'm so him. scared to meet them. You oh, don't geez. know him? Oh. You never met him. And I'm tired. I, I'm terrified. Because when I love him that much, like... Right. Better you don't meet him, right? You I, don't wanna, yeah, I don't want to meet Hitler and find out. He, he was, like, funny. I haven't hung out with him. <laughs> A lot personally, but a couple of like I ran into him at a restaurant. We had to, you know, he was with his wife, and we said hello. And I've had him on the show. I love this guy so great, much. Great, good. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I have nothing but good things to say about him. And I met him years ago when he was just sort of beginning. Do you still? And hate what do you think of Russell Brand, uh, Joan? Uh, Russell Brand, Russell Brand, Russell Brand. Uh, I met him on a um, airplane, and he was a a gentleman. He put right. my case up. Do you still oh, hate I don't like you, the, the humor, but... Uh, you don't like his comedy? Yeah, not really. It's not no, your thing. No, I you, Maybe it's a British thing. Yeah, but I know I love Little Britain. You do? I'll walk across the street for Little Britain. What is Little Britain? You, it's a, you're making a joke. No, what is that? I'm, what is that, Broadway? No. I hate Broadway. Go no. and get the DVDs of Little Britain, especially the English ones. Howard... What is it, a TV show? No, they were a TV show in England, and they came over here, and they didn't work over here for some reason on HBO... Fabulous. Comedy troupe? In two boys, they play every part, and it's insane. Funny. Because Beyond I didn't funny. like, I was Laugh one of those few people. Out loud. I'm one of those few people who didn't like Monty Python. I was like, I don't get it. I beg you, Little Britain. The little English, Br I should see that. I'm pleading with you. Uh, I sent it to Prince Charles. You did? And what did he say? Fuck he off. Loved he no, liked he it. loved it. He loved it. Do you still hate Chelsea Handler? I've had I'm not allowed to talk about it. What, what do you mean? Because we both work for E. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, shut you I made some comment that, you know. <laughs> you did it here. And she, well, that's where I did the comment. <laughs> 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 and then E asked me not to talk about it, and we both are respecting that. Wow. Yeah. Jeez, that's great. Can you believe at this point in your career you have to be told not to talk about certain people? But, you know, uh, they're so nice. Seriously, they're so nice at E. They yeah. They give me carte blanche to do what I want on the fashion police. So, fine. Glad to do it for them. Right. All right. I hear you. All right. Listen. You had enough of us. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love, love, you. I love Robin. I love being here. Let's we didn't even get to talk about QVC and Jones. It's okay. Jewelry. I'm and coming back. Uh, listen, she'll be back in March. She's promoting I'm it. I'm coming back right. in March. I got things to because, do. <laughs> because I still see her there selling things. Yes, I'm all going down, I think, this Friday or something. By the way, yeah. what do you think? You're allowed to be a gay Boy Scout now. They lifted the ban. Did you know that? Why would so they're going to put special like uh, decorating badges? What kind, why would they want to do it? Uh, be, Boy Scout seems very gay to me. It I, it's seems right. that some gay guys <laughs> want that uniform. Uh, well, I get the uniform and get all the three little badges, <laughs> but it's got to be like Barbie collection badge. Well, it's times are changing. See Joan Rivers on Joan and Melissa. Joan knows best. Uh, Saturday nights, nine o'clock on We TV. Thank you. Is Joan a mom like you are? I mean, she Melissa. Uh, Melissa. Yeah, I mean, she's is Melissa a, like you. Are? So good. She's a good mother. Oh, like yeah. better than you were. Much better than I was. And how is it having a teenager now for a grandson? It's getting the girls are calling him. Wow! No kidding. It's uh, beginning, and he's doing a lot of slamming of doors. No kidding. Uh, uh, you know, he's just growing up. Well, I love you, you two very Yentes much. in the house, it must be just a nightmare. <laughs> he got very Poor mad. Connor. I know, yeah. He found that I, sp I sold his, uh, I spent all his college fund on Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Uh, by the way, uh, Benjamin Abel, if you're out there, Joan's legs will open. Oh, if you're not, around. no, he's married. No. Oh, he's a married guy. Well, you never married, know what happened to him. Married man, married man. Uh, watch the show. Uh, find it on WE TV uh, Saturday <laughs> nights at 9 o'clock. Joan and Melissa. Joan knows best. We'll be back right after. Thank you. I love you so much. Love thank you, you thank We'll be you, back thank right you. after these words. Hey, uh, Joan Rivers is here. Joan Rivers just came out with yet another new book, I Hate Everyone, starting with me. It's in stores today. And Joan will be doing a book signing with, uh, when does that start? Tonight at 7 o'clock at the Barnes & Noble in Union Square, Manhattan. Go meet a living legend. Now, is she calling herself a living legend now? I'm calling her a living legend. She's an icon, don't you think? I, I didn't know if that was in the copy or if you 
said that yourself? No, I'm calling her a living legend. I'm calling right. Joan a living legend. I certainly think so. <laughs> What? Here's Robin! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You refuse to do the show without Robin? I don't do the show unless Robin is sitting there. Robin's gotten so lazy with this show she that she does, it, she does it from home now. That bitch has lost so much weight. That's right. <laughs> you can't find me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. you on the thing with Howie Mendo and Sharon. America's Got Talent. Oh, well, yeah. you know the name. I don't have to learn it. <laughs> Why do you need to learn that? And why do you need to be bothered? I enjoy doing it, I, I believe it or You not. look like you enjoy doing I'm it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, and, yeah. And I said, you know, what is left to do in my career except shock everyone with doing a family show? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, really, when you think about it, who would have expected that one? But you're so cute and so... I go back to NBC when they had you in that closet. Yeah, <laughs> Remember that? right. Yeah, so, long way. You should have done this a long time ago. You know, it's funny. Gary was just in here. We were talking about you behind your back. And, uh, I, said, he, and I said, you know, and he, and he said, you know, we know... So, we have had so many comics on our show over the years, and we were just naming all the people who kind of have disappeared appeared in terms of their careers and Carrie goes don't you think it's amazing that Joan Rivers I mean really think about it like she's still relevant and funny and and like really has a real career as opposed to like a mercy booking somewhere yeah right. thank and, God uh, yeah and it, it's it is it is amazing so he said to, what do you think the secret is and I said I think the secret is she's funny you know she's like <laughs> I, she's actually talented I, I keep looking over <laughs> yeah I know but I can't imagine oh you keep looking over for Robin, for Robin. Right. Yeah, this stupid voice well I keep, I keep looking for her I want them to tape a picture of her over there <laughs> What are you people talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, no, it's hard work. No, A, yes, because aren't funny. There, but aren't there days where you go, I don't want to keep up with pop culture? No. Honestly. I, mean, I, I don't want to keep up. I don't want, if one more person says, I love John Carson, who gives a shit? Nobody remembers John. The man is disintegrated even in his coffin. Right. <laughs> There's nothing left there except three bones. Although I did watch a special on Johnny Carson, <laughs> and you were a part of it. And they. And you were very complimentary to him. And they cut out the one part, the truth. It, it, it's whether I called him and uh, he hung up on me. And they have all these people saying, look who's saying it. The producer who hates me, who I hate. They cut that out. Uh, and they have the people saying she never called him. Oh. And I called the producer. Then they wanted me to do PR for it. <laughs> and I called him up. I said, you have just perpetrated a, a lie. Right. Well, Johnny's wife, I said, oh, the third wife with the implants. Right. Yeah, she was walking the beach looking for him <laughs> in Malibu. I know how she met him. Johnny's wife has a say on this on this special? Yes, she decided. Alex decided. Is it true that... <laughs> Number 22. Is it true that your birthday is coming up? Yeah. I, can I say... Uh, are 79. You, 79. How about oh, that I don't know one? if you gave that out, but... That's amazing. Can you believe you're 79? <laughs> no. I'm in perfect health. That's the joke. And everyone around me is dropping dead. Because I can't even believe it's 79. Like, when you wake up in the morning that you even care I don't even think about your career. I really can't believe it. But I love what I do. <clears throat> yeah, I know, gonna, but like... How are they just banned my book? How fabulous is that? Yeah, yeah that was real. How fabulous is some asshole Who is banning your book? But where was it ba banned, by the way? I'm Walmart? not allowed to say the name, so you have to give me a hint. Okay, Walmart? No. No? Costco? <laughs> uh -uh, okay. <laughs> They banned so, your book because, well, the people back... People that sell pink meat. Uh, it's funny. It says here, on the back pink of your book, there are, there are quotes. Will Chamberlain said about your book, if I was alive, even I wouldn't fuck her. Yeah, that's what... <laughs> well, yeah, I gave... I wrote quotes that I that I thought were appropriate for the book. Uh, Dr. Kevorkian said of your new book, this author should be euthanized. That's right. <laughs> Maria Antoinette was the one they didn't like. It, it says, let her eat shit. Yeah, I thought and, that was a testimonial to their produce department so they were afraid that if someone picked up the book jacket they would see the word shit and then that would corrupt them that would, would meanwhile they sell people. ammo to children right <laughs> <laughs> i don't know who was ever hurt by that <laughs> yeah but, oh it's so stupid but i got so excited because i'm from the generation where there's the banned books in boston right i said this is fabulous because well, it's a it funny good. funny book it is funny it, 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 in fact i was looking through the book as long as we're talking about your book oh we don't have to no 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 i want to talk about it because um there was a there was one quote that i thought was outrageous and in, in, <laughs> in, in, in a politically correct society to say this i'm going to quote you now <laughs> i thought this was pretty wild let me find it because i have a lot of quotes i have never been politically correct all right listen to this you write about in your new book the tv show glee yeah you say on glee all the homo kids. Now, this is a quote. Okay, because a lot of people aren't saying that kind of stuff anymore. Okay. On Glee, 
All the homo kids are smiling and giggly, and they spend every day singing in the halls. When I went to high school, the homos spent most of their days hiding in their lockers crying. That's right. <laughs> you feel a show like Glee should be about kids hiding in their, yes. in their lockers, right? <laughs> Everybody's happy. The fat girl is singing. You're right. It's true. In high school, who like like where is the reality in that? The There's fat girl none. had to hide. Every Leah Michelle, whose nose continues around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what planet is this? Yeah, this is not the high school I went to. Well, maybe the feeling is if they present an imaginary high school where everyone has fun, yeah. that all the high schools around the country, all the kids will think they'll gay people up. are fun. Yeah, let's and include nice. the crippled kid on the team. <laughs> so, I was on the baseball team. I played so far out. By the time I came in from the outfield, we had to go back again. And, uh, do you think it built your character, Joan, that you were ostracized as a teenager and that you were locked in your locker many times and things like that? Like, in other words, it built character. It can't all be good. I think it's great sometimes. Mm -hmm. For, and I'm being serious now. Go ahead. That no. You get a couple of knocks. I think the stupidest thing is all these little crappy kids who can't play, they all get like a certificate. A trophy. You were good. You get a trophy. No. You oh, were bad. Oh, oh, you know what I hate the most? What? Uh, when people say to the child, you, and the divorce had nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, your big head stretched your mother's vagina. <laughs> oh. and, and the, She's flapping in the wind. It's so oh, big no, that the husband didn't want to bang her. That's anymore. it. The yeah. husband and four people were in there. You, be, you make a good point. <laughs> now, uh, on Octomom, you wrote that her uterus is like a sausage maker. Yes. You're right. That's I'm true. Right. I, I spoke to her the other day. Wait, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give did you a Did you talk to her? I you did. can't talk to her. We she did speak to her. Totally crazy. You can't. Yeah, say, yeah she's totally. Yeah, yeah. She's totally wild. She just doesn't shut up. And why won't you know? Like nobody's addressing that these children are trapped in a house with her. I, I know. Well, thank God she's not Kate Gosselin. <laughs> now, what about this? Can you be sued in your book for writing about Oprah in this manner? Do you know? Did you check this with lawyers? I, I checked this with lawyers, and it's a humor book. I see. Because it says here, that's how you get away. With it's it. a humor book. You say Oprah is Stedman's beard. <laughs> no, no. I think that's what I think. Yeah, uh, you you say, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Oprah denies it, but even Abraham Lincoln didn't have this big a beard. <laughs> Uh, I know Oprah's opened schools and raised money and given away uh, big, you know, Buicks and things like that. But so what? She can't keep her weight at a reasonable level because that's important to you, right? I mean, yes. someone has to keep their weight at a reasonable level. One day she weighs 140. Two days later, she's being fitted for a boat cover. <laughs> How long did it take you to write this, this vicious book? Yes, I mean, did this Honestly. just pour out of you or did you have to I mean, labor so, for it? You're, you're such an angry woman. It's funny. Are you angry? Are you an angry woman? Oh, I think I'm furious. Yeah, yeah, you are. What do you think you're furious about, honestly? Uh, about the stupidity of everything. Do you think that's a Seriously, good thing? Seriously. Go back to your mother and father. No, I'm being serious for a second. Yeah. Do you think, like do, your do, personal do, anger. Do you think you're, you're so angry that it goes back to, like, your mom and dad not treating you properly? They were very good parents. Were they? Well, yeah. I had what they call a very good childhood. They understood you? To a then point. I get a feeling they didn't. <laughs> I had a, Look, they, my father was a doctor. He worked hard. My mother was a housewife. She did her best. Right. They cared about the girls, my sister and I. Um, did they sit there and, and worry? Like, I worried everything that Melissa right, did. Right, I doubt it. Is your sister still alive? My sister's still alive. Did, is she totally jealous of you in your career? Probably. But she married woman? She married, two children, both did well. Are you She's angry? a lawyer. Are you angry that she, um, she, that she had the marriage that lasted and that she's happier than you? Uh, she's not happy at all. She isn't? Uh, she's I'm very happy. Is she happy in her marriage? She's happy in marriage. Well, he died. Oh, he died. So, uh, so she is happy. Well, look so at the age. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, how many guys last that long? <laughs> These men are dropping like flies. You're not kidding. You know, you know uh, so when you write a book like this, you sit down, and how long does it take you to write a I book? I wrote it in, it's a humor book. It's just what I think about everybody. Right. And what I think about everything. Children on planes. Right. <laughs> Terrible, right? Well, well, what do you, what do where you do? is Casey oh, well, Anthony they, when you need her? Right. You know? how, do, how are they supposed to get around you? I don't care. You know, when I had Melissa, uh -huh. we went on a plane. I would bring wrapped gifts. Like, she had a Barbie doll, so I'd wrap up a pair of shoes. 
Every half hour, she got another little present that she had to open and play with. She was my responsibility to keep her quiet. So you kept her quiet by doing that on yeah. the plane. That, that, that's, that's very fair to the yeah. other passengers. That's the only way you should do it. Right. You planned ahead. Or chloroform it. I but mean, you, you got two choices. <laughs> yeah. Because I went to the movies the other day. I went to see <laughs> Avengers, which is a scary movie to bring a five-year-old to. And these five-year-olds, I mean, you can't do that. You can't bring a five-year-old to a movie like that. And God forbid you turn around and say, please keep your child quiet or get... Out. Oh, I told the woman to get the fuck out. Good. Yeah, I really did. You should. Yeah, I'm glad she didn't punch me in the face, but I, <laughs> I mean, I was really pissed. <laughs> the kid's going, Mommy, I'm scared. I'm that, scared. And I go, Get her the fuck out of take here. Take him out. Right. I'm I, angry too. I took Cooper out of Mary Poppins. <laughs> she got scared of that ugly Mary Poppins, your so he left. Your grandson got scared at Mary Poppins? When he was young. I'm worried about this kid. Well, <laughs> listen, an ugly woman with an umbrella. Do you get jealous of female comics, particularly female comics who, like you kind of see, like, like Lisa Lampanelli right now is very hot, right? Well... To a point, how many black I fucked him jokes can you do? So you're not thrilled She'll cool off. No, she's a one-note comic. She's fine, but she's not. Here we go. She's fine. But why are you being diplomatic? Uh, because she's going to come after me, and she's probably a very nice girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, but I'm I saying, don't think like, she, like some people knows. say Lisa Lampanelli is the new Joan Rivers. You know, no, they're always no looking way. for the new Joan Rivers. But you feel she has not earned that title. Oh, no. She's, got, she's very good on a certain level. Right. And and Joan Rivers, we don't need a new one. We got one. And uh, I think I think this sounds terrible. It's seven I think I'm unique. I think I'm very lucky. Well, you are unique. And I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm the best stand up alive today. How but about you, but that? But you're not gracious. Let's say no, to I'm not like gracious. Lisa. Right. You're like you're like I don't need to be gracious to Lisa. Like you don't feel like hey, look what I've uh, created. I've created a, a job for a lot of women. Are you gracious? I'm still in. I still. I'm, I'm not gracious. I'm fighting for where. I love what I do. I do it great, and I get out of my way. How <laughs> so, so? If you see Lisa Lampanelli, do you go up to her and say, "Oh, you're doing fine," but yeah. you, you don't embrace her? I, I'm doing. She, well, she started with me one time. She did about something. I thought first of all, I didn't even know who she was. Right. So then they said, "Well, Lisa Lampanelli said, oh, I. Uh, they didn't use her on the comedy special. Right. My comedy <laughs> thing. So she started doing a lot." I can say, who is she? Right. Yeah. You know, and then I saw her stuff, and every time you see her, it's still, I fucked a black guy, I got a black guy, I need a fucking black guy. Okay, let's get a second story in here. You fucked many black guys. Oh, my and, God. And you don't dwell well, on this. Well, Melissa's furious. She never even talked about it. I've <laughs> talked to a point. By the but way. But Melissa gets upset because she's jealous. In your new book, you talk about black people, and you, and you say... I talk about everybody. Yeah, and you say that uh, you feel black people already have to figure out what to call themselves yes you say in the book that you know when you were a young girl everyone said colored and then all of a sudden they wanted to be negro then you say they wanted to be black now they want to be african-american you said white people aren't that bright we can't follow along pick a name and fucking <laughs> pick a name it. and i'll do it you say this in the yes, new book the book is hilarious so there's wisdom in this book the, oh thank you howard is there's it, wisdom and talk about when you used to fuck black guys um uh, M Melissa's real father is Malcolm X, you reveal. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, actually, it's Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. <laughs> I went Melissa's for father. looks. That's right. A lot of people don't know that. 79 years old. You know, yeah, right? but I, I and just got my fighting, checkup. And you're still fighting with these young comics. You're goddamn right. Maybe that's what keeps you alive. And uh, when they come over to me and they say, you opened the door and you want to say, sweetheart, I am still opening those doors. Doors you won't even see for 10 years. And you say your health is good. Have you been Thank to the doctor? God. Yeah, all the time. And, and you, go, you probably go, like, constantly, right? Yeah. <laughs> because you want to make sure you're going to stay alive. Yeah, checking. Checking right, everything. Right, well, right. Melissa always says things like, if you get pains in your left arm and short of breath, that's good. It means you're losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't check that one. <laughs> Don't check that, mother. <laughs> Can you even count back the uh, how many years it's been since you lost your virginity or you've lost count? Uh, well, it's all grown back. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding. You haven't gotten laid in so long that your so virginity I wouldn't grew back. Know. I, uh, this hotel has been closed so long. <laughs> your hymen grew back. Oh, it's so sad. I hope you're right about Do that. Do you? Mean, I can marry a Hasidic or some pure <laughs> you're again. You're pure. You could act. But does, does, does Joan Rivers <laughs> masturbate at 79? Do That's you? a good question. That's a yeah. wonderful question. And uh, we won't go there. Ask Jane Fonda <laughs> with a new body. Boy, she looks, she looks good, good, right? She does, yeah. She looks you great. you got to admire her. In fact, someone said to me the other day, young guy, he goes, you know, this sounds weird, I guess, but I guess Jane Fonda was up here promoting or he saw her on TV, and he said, I'd fuck her. Yeah. Like, now, like, don't you look... Oh, all right. 
This is one of my big pet peeves. Beautiful older women and a real schlumpy guy with stuff coming out of his nose. I might fuck her. And you want to go, she wouldn't touch you with right. a ten-foot pole. Yeah, oh, this guy, he, he, I think he was missing half his limbs. And yeah. he, he was ready to go fuck. <laughs> That's a turn-on to me, though. <laughs> I, hey, listen, compared to who you're dating, it's a, it's a pleasure. Are you dating? I'm not dating, yeah. Why won't you say it? I want to know, does a 79-year-old woman still need to masturbate? Honestly, but, but yeah, straight course. answer, you do. Everybody. Wow. I thought a, that maybe the desire leaves. The desire never, and the, the look for something? romance never leaves. Wow. wow. But Is you, it romantic masturbating? Oh, yeah. Well, you, I always put a picture up. You, you still pray I'm for romance. I'm moving to women now, though. You still pray for romance. Yeah, I would still love a romance. You never made it with a woman, did you? No. No, never. never was, truly never even had, like, a girl crush. No. Right. <laughs> girl crush is silly. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. What are you talking about? Where did you get your vibrator from? The boobies from? get in the way. Where did you get your vibrator from? QVC? Uh, my vibrator <laughs> I got what I did. You gotta put out a line. I right. had a vibrator um, show on vibrators on my daytime show. Yeah. So this vibrator that I have is so old. <laughs> it says beat the Japs. <laughs> Let me understand something with you. you. You're at war with everybody. Yeah. Isn't it true that um, that uh, you 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 met Will Ferrell? I'm going back now a couple of years. Yeah. Very. Two thousand five Golden Globes. Will Ferrell was on the red carpet. You were doing interviews. And you said he was very rude. Now, he seems like a guy who's nice to everybody. Well, I was talking to Mike Nichols, interviewing Mike Same. Nichols on the air. We all know. Live. On, live on E. And Will Ferrell, Mr. Important, walked up, turned Mike, and began to do, have a conversation with him. Not oh. on the air with me. Oh, that's do funny. you understand? But isn't yeah. that kind of you funny? You son of a bitch. Wait Who a do you think you are, you big stupid elf? Do you think that that was meant intentionally to be funny? I because that sounds funny to me. That like you're. It wasn't my, funny. It wasn't. When Robin Williams does something funny, you know it's funny. Right. When Dustin Hoffman. Does, no, this was just an egocentric asshole. But I know you love big moments. You know to recognize a moment when that guy. Did, why didn't you confront him on I the air? I tried. He wouldn't stop talking to you. It <laughs> oh, wasn't that's funny. funny. That's funny. It's funny, but so you it mean wasn't you went funny. up to this guy and you're scared. Listen, you. Look, I'm I'm the, hello, Mike. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> so they you, probably have it somewhere on Eon tape. So you're convinced that Will Ferrell isn't a genius who constructed a a, a situation no, for you that was no, this was called extraordinarily rude. Wow. An ego beyond egos. And you're funny, but you're not that funny. Is it true that you claim, now, I, I, again, I can't even believe this number, that you've had a total of 739 cosmetic procedures? I did that as a joke. That is a joke, right? And some moron picked it up and that, wrote it. I said, how is that even, you would not be yeah, alive. Would you have I would be covered in bandages. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, let me say, how about how Letterman all of a sudden has embraced you? Isn't I mean, that, he, we really like each other. It's about fucking time. Yeah, but at least he does it. The, Leno, that asshole. That I'm scumbag. Scumbag. <laughs> Let's call What's it the way deal? it is. That What's not funny, deal? lucky. That motherfucker. Mother yeah. Come on. Let's go, baby. You think you're angry. Come on. Come on right now. <laughs> what is Leno doing? He doesn't acknowledge. Never acknowledge. Never ask yeah, I'm kidding now. It's Joan Rivers. She hasn't done anything. Yeah, a moron. But the, all the others, Jimmy Kimmel's been wonderful. Jimmy Fallon's been amazing. Letterman. I think you're terrific, terrific on Letterman. I've and watched, I love working with him. I've watched every appearance you did on Letterman, and I used to say to you for years, when I always had you on the show, I'd say, I don't understand why David Letterman doesn't have you on, and Leno and all these guys. Yeah. You're a terrific guest. Yeah. You come out there, you're prepared, and you work it. Like, and, a, like a woman who wants to succeed. Yeah, I still do it like it's my first shot. That's it. Do you think Leno doesn't have you on because it's still tied in with him trying to identify with Johnny Carson, that dumb fuck? Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Right. But at this point, he'll never have me on because I always say, quote, one funny joke Leno ever said, and nobody can come up with it. Wait a second, though. I, as weird as this will sound, I will defend Jay as a stand -up com young stand-up comic. He was great, right? Am you know, I right or wrong? As a young yes. stand-up comic, he was very funny. Very funny. Very funny. I would say one of the top guys. W uh, well, let's not push that either. Really? But he was good. He was very good. He was very good. Gary Shanley. There was a whole group that was coming what, up at the what, same time. Does Gary Shanley still, does he, how does he live? I mean, he, I love Gary. He me must too. have made a pile of money. But on what? I, I asked him. I was at a party with him. I go, how are you alive? <laughs> I go, how do you eat? I mean, what, you were on HBO. They're infamously cheap. And he was on the oh, show. Oh, so ask me how Bill Maher can buy a, 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 
I, I, $20, $20 million. million dollars pay. Where did Bill Maher? I, got, I began to throw up my breakfast yesterday. <laughs> Do you Six ever... bagels came out of my mouth. Now, Bill Maher's a good comic. I, I love feel. Bill. He's very smart. Where did you get the money to buy a baseball team? Well, we were asking this question on the air yesterday. We were doing the finances. We said, like, how much money could Bill Maher... In other, in other words, to shell out $20 million to, to own part of the Mets, you would have to be worth at least $60, $70 million. Dollars, you have at least. To. Because what? you can't give up every twenty million you got, and w w maybe he's getting kickbacks from, uh, from Huffington Post. <laughs> we had a we had a uh, theory that he didn't put up twenty million. That maybe he put up a million, and that other people are involved in his twenty million. Right. Do you think that's the, the case? Yeah. Then why don't they ever come to me with that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. But I, my my fashion how are beliefs, you not, What are you worth? Seriously, nothing. I'm not making that a is such horseshit. I swear to you, on my grandson. How are you worth on my nothing? Grand, because I was always salaried. Uh, Fashion police, I'm doing it now. It's a career move. I know. Jonah Melissa, it's a career move. Everything is a goddamn career move. It's time I got a little cash here. <laughs> yeah, when, I don't that, own anything. Jonah Melissa going into the third season. Third season. You don't own a piece of that show? No. And and, and, and you're telling me that here's a show that's successful. Three seasons now on E. Yeah. And they're not going to pay. They're like, no, 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 Joan, this is just a vanity yeah, project. Yeah, yeah. And, but look what it will do for your... your uh, I'm not starving. I live very high. I know. As you know. But I don't have this kind of money. My accountant calls me. I've all got to sell either the country house or the city house. Really? You don't yeah. have that kind of bread? No. It's no. remarkable. Because, because with I, the clothing line, the yeah, what jewelry. Is that? <laughs> yeah, and the jewelry and the clothing line. I've done very well. They've kept me through the lean periods. Right. The jewelry and the clothing support me so I can do fashion police and, and uh I feel like all of the money went into your face. I mean, a lot of it went in my face, a little in the breast. <laughs> you're you're seeing it. You're looking at it. I'm, I'm looking, looking at, at it. it. Is it true? Edgar's funeral will cost me a fortune. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Joan, and, 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 and clear this up for me. I know on your show, on your television show on E, you smoked marijuana. That was on We. That was on We, right. You're uh, on We e, and E. I'm on We and E and QVC. Yeah. I, yeah. How about yeah. a real network, finally? Yeah. I'd like to right. be on NBC. But the, exactly. Yeah. Well, they're uh, busy with me. <laughs> exactly, which right. is great. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, and Chelsea Handler's on NBC, too, you know. she got. Hey, so uh, 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 this is interesting. <laughs> I see you right biting along. your tongue. Last, Hold it. Last time you were here, you let Chelsea Handler have it. You gave it to her good. And, and you said, how dare you? I have heard through the grapevine that the E Network came to you and told you to shut your mouth about Chelsea oh, Handler. Is they told true? both of us, and I think it was very smart. Why? Because, uh, well, actually, the smarter thing was if we had a big feud. I think that would have been right. really smart. Right. It's, it's like ban my back to banning my book. I think that's great. But they said, please stop it. You went along with that? Oh, they're not. You know, so they're lovely at E. So what? <laughs> so I, th I said. Absolutely. But what does that do? I mean? I, I had Chelsea on the show. I asked her about you. That's how this whole thing got started. Yeah. And you came out, yeah. you know, guns ablazing. And, and now said, I Who say, are you? And we went to the upfronts, right. which is where you go and you meet everybody right. that's connected with the network. And she said something very nice about me at the podium. Did she come up to you and say this? No, we don't talk when we see each other. You're kidding. <laughs> Still, even at the upfronts, you didn't talk to well, each other. Well, at the upfronts, two hundred people. You can avoid a lot of people. So there you I, were. You know, I can't talk to her. I can't talk to Lisa Lippin. <laughs> I mean, you're you're. I, I mean, don't go home. to a party these days. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> she stays home. She goes to England to go to parties. <laughs> um, I'm surprised she's not there today. Her, there's some people you. Know, you the Queen of England is having a jubilee. Yeah, I know. I, I should be there. She called me last night. Didn't you? Say, Where were you? Didn't you do a stand up in front of the Queen and said the word fuck? Fuck yeah. And you told her you can behead me now. Yeah, right now. Right here, get I said, Okay. Me. Let's just get it over. Was she me. offended by that? She la he left. He left. He Prince left. Charles. No, uh, uh, no Philip. Philip. Uh, Prince Philip. And when they came down the line, the receiving line, it was, he said to me, very funny, very funny, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very funny for a Jew. Very funny for a Jewess. <laughs> so, so you, so you, uh, well, get back to this for a second. I'm, Chelsea I'm, I'm the Chelsea Hamlet Hamlet yeah. I got to understand how this works. I'm not going to make a feud no, here well, with well, her. I'm not saying a feud, but I want the real Joan Rivers on this. Oh, yeah, sure. I want to know behind the scenes what goes on in your life. You came on here. You said, who is she? How dare she not look at me in the halls? Right. How dare she act like she doesn't know who I am? Because everyone knows who Joan Rivers and, is. And that she's superior. That's how it's, yeah. Right. You really let her have it. I know my audience was very excited by this. They were like, wow, Joan, right on, blah, 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 blah. They like the feud. Right. But you come in here today. You bite your tongue. Because I like the people at E. And what did they say? They said, they said, you know, just let her alone. Let her alone. Well, why? 
E wants it to look like we're a happy family. But you're not. Well, we are. You know, I don't need another feud. So you I, go how to, many times did I cross the street on one block? It's amazing you're still alive. <laughs> I'm surprised a hit wasn't put on a new You know what I'm ago. saying? Uh, there's so so I got to cross over. There's so so I got to cross so back. So you go to the upfront. You're yeah. standing there. And uh, Chelsea Handler's in the room. It's yeah. uncomfortable. Doesn't she walk over to the no. icon Joan Rivers and, and say, should. look, I'm sorry that this happened. No, she did not. No. Again, she did no. you. But what she went on stage deal? and Wait she said yeah. uh, something very nice about Joan. What did she say? I was backstage, but my friend said she said something like, uh, and uh, my friend Joan is here or something. My friend Joan, who I don't even look at when... Um, <laughs> Doesn't, but she said that, and I thought that was very nice and very gracious. So, so if people say something uh, uh, publicly, but then b behind the scenes won't even look at you... Well, that's me all the time. But don't, no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Last night, Meryl Streep gave me her garbage to throw away. It was at a party. No, they'll be honest. <laughs> she this said, you let this... I would have thought Joan Rivers would have said to you, listen, go fuck yourself. I'll say what I want about everyone. And then she, she should apologize to me. Uh, and she should have. But you want to know, then you have to say, I am the grand icon. And I'm not. I am still in that trench right. fighting. Did uh, uh, Betty White and you smoke weed together? Is that a true story? No. You were I did the Betty White show. You did? Yeah. And you even never say again. You even well, really never oh, really? again. Why? They were lovely. Betty was lovely. The, all the cast was lovely. First day, I also did uh, Drop Dead Diva, which is a uh, first day I get there, and I'm playing her auntie, her old, her twin sister that comes back. <laughs> so I say to them, um, uh, "Where do I come from? Do I should I have luggage?" They said, "Just do, just read the lines." Now we read the lines, and I start to the way I work. Let me ad lib. Let me see. They call my manager the first day. They said, "Tell her to do the script as is." Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Then why did you hire Joan Rivers? Well, maybe they want you to just stick to the script. Well, mistake. Well, wait, wait, wait. Brilliant. I want you to explain this. It wasn't me. that brilliant. <laughs> but explain it to me. And the cast was lovely. The cast was terrific. All right, but but explain it to me. <laughs> they wrote a script. They send it to you, right? And you agree to do it because you always figure. When I did um, suddenly, Susan, you go in. I worked with Kathy. You ad libbed. You came out with something terrific. But you know, on a lot of these shows, I did nip tuck, nip. What can you do to do it? You've got a writer who's funny. Mm -hmm. Let her give you an input. And I always say, if you like, let me try it. You don't like it, we'll throw it away. I never say. But some some writers and well, some shows obviously. are very uh, scared or are afraid to let go of their words. They want them exact. Fine. And you know, so fine. And they had them exact. My big joke was, gee, is the minister here? You were disappointed because you felt you didn't come off funny. I came off like a piece of shit. Yeah. And then they called me and they said they want to put it up for a uh, Emmy. Emmy. And I said no. It's not Emmy. It's not word. my it's not my best work. And now, you've won Emmys. Two weeks later I go down to Drop Dead Diva. Right. And they said, Let's work together. It's gonna be so adorable. What is Drop Dead Diva? It's on ABC I uh, know uh, USA. It's a scripted show? Scripted show. But again, you come in on Monday, you're shooting on Friday. They said why don't you add some Joan Rivers to this? And let's see and if we don't and I always say if you don't like it, don't use it. So you got insulted. Uh and on uh on the, the Betty White show? Not inside. I just thought, you morons. You morons. I, I, I've been on Broadway but won't there be, But won't there be they chaos? Didn't go for the best. But won't there be chaos if everybody comes in with their own lines and they their own ideas? Don't hire a comedian who is a writer and give them on Monday a script that isn't particularly funny. And the jokes did not get laughs that they gave me. They probably thought it was funny, though. You understand? Yeah, of course. I'm right. a writer. I've written right. a script. But. If somebody walked, if you walked in and said, let me try this, I'd say, try it, let's see. Right. Be a little experimental. Let's see. It's Monday. By Wednesday, we'll say yes or no. So it was a bad experience. It was a terrible experience. And not the... Not I the, know, not the cast. The cast was reason, adorable. Because yeah, yeah, sure. I really loved the cast. Yeah, well, what do they care? Yeah, I didn't say goodbye to anybody when I walked out. You didn't. You were that pissed. That pissed. But you were professional. Right. You did the show. Did the show. And I was so upset, I couldn't memorize the lines.
And haven't wow. you even said yeah. you don't particularly you're you're mad with you're angry with Betty White because she because you were in line to get all these old age parts. Yeah, and then that bitch came back. And she's getting every <laughs> single part. Well, she's uh, beating you out on every single you know, audition. She got the I'm falling, I can't get up commercial. That's you right. know how many times I've laid on my bathroom floor. And meanwhile, uh, by the way, do you own that device? The I I I, I can't get well, up. Melissa gave it to me, but she won't give me the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> because I would think that would be good, just in case you fall. Just down. in case I fall. But there's nobody around if you fall, right? Well, I have a Swiffer. Is that what they call those terrible machines? <laughs> <laughs> or a Roly? What do they call it? It's a, 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 a. I don't know what they call it. But yeah, the little great. mop thing. No, the thing you'd sit on. They always have the old lady smiling. Oh, right. the scooter. The scooter wooter. And there's Grandma smiling because she's like, and, and the face of the family is always like, oh fuck, the old bitch is moving again. People say to me, did Joan really smoke pot on her yes. show? You, you really because sometimes on the it can, it can, these reality shows can be staged a little bit. Yeah, ours you, is. You went and took the joint. It was so much fun. Did you smoke with Melissa? Oh, she gets very angry. She smokes a little. She smokes, but she won't smoke with you. No, she's wrong. What do you mean she's wrong? I think we have a great time. <laughs> if you smoke <laughs> together? Yeah. She doesn't want to smoke with you because you're her mother. She I wants, know. She, wants, she doesn't want every barrier broken. Yeah. So who did you smoke marijuana with? I smoked marijuana with my friend Lynn Coplex on the show. Is, and she, we, is she your age? Uh, nobody's my age. <laughs> <laughs> But is she? Is, uh, no, she's in. in uh, Lynn is probably in the late forties. Uh, and so you. We laugh. We, you laugh. You just. Uh, and you, how many times did you inhale the marijuana? It didn't take that often, that, you, that much, because I hadn't done it for forty years. You would smoke probably back in the Lenny Bruce days, or something. I smoked. Uh, last I smoked was in Lake Tahoe, probably nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty, you smoked, yeah. and so you took it, and, how, and you took what? How many drags on it? Oh, a lot. I was having a very good time. <laughs> and you don't. You don't get paranoid. You don't. Uh, I just laugh. And and laugh and laugh. You do. Everything strikes me as funny. And did you go to Melissa, your daughter, and say, look, now I want to smoke marijuana with you. This will be a good time. No, I think we're going to go, go call her when I get off of here. Yeah, but you didn't discuss it with no. her. She has a, a new clothing line for Zappos, which is great. Right. And so I'm going to say that when you sell your first, you know, 25,000 dresses, we'll smoke pot together. Does she smoke weed? <laughs> she really does? Yeah. yeah. She tells you, Mom, I smoke weed, but I don't want to smoke with you specifically. Yeah, yeah. She feels it would bum her out. Yeah. yeah. I think, well, I'm the mother. I was reading, and this might be um, irrelevant to a lot of younger people who listen to the show, but uh, did you make love, back in the day, did you bang uh, Robert Vaughn, the famous movie actor? No, I would have. No, no, not Robert Vaughn. Wait, I got the name. Robert right. Mitchell. Robert Mitchell. Robert, Robert yes. Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. You banged Robert. Yeah, Robert wow. Vaughn was man from Uncle. Right. Robert Mitchum was a very famous, good-looking movie star. Fabulous, rugged, yeah. You soul of a poet. How did you? How did you bang the soul of a poet? I met him on the Tonight Show. Look at the <laughs> smile on your face. Yeah, she's still. <laughs> Calm he down. was great. When you say like, great, you mean <laughs> he was sexy, great-looking man. Go look at some of those old big movies. Big penis. Everything was perfect. No shit. What and happened? And he was a poet. He was. He was. He was amazing. Okay. Still, amazing. He just wasn't good looking. He was amazing. He was amazing. <laughs> did you smoke pot with him? He was a big pot smoker. Yeah, we you smoked did. a little pot. How long? Look at the now, smile. Was on look at you. And you, don't even light, you don't light up like this when I bring up Edgar. Well, Edgar was married to. Right. Robert Mitchell was a one night stand. Was, was it one night? Yeah, it was great. Were you disappointed it was one night? Oh, I, I would have, if he had said toot toot, let's go. Right. I would have said, Melissa who? Right. <laughs> I would have sold it to Octomom. <laughs> so, wait, wait a minute. I'm trying to... You were married and you had a one... Oh, let's not go there. Oh, oh wow. No. You had a child. Yeah, I was married. You were married. Robert Mitchum wants Comes to... Comes on The Tonight Show. Go ahead. And he's the guest. And right. he's very charming. And we more. We had a drink. After, blah, 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 blah. And it was fabulous. You cheated on your husband. Yeah. Wow. Did you oh go home and tell him? Goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Did Edgar ever find out? And the next time Edgar and I made love, I said, you're no Robert Mitchum. <laughs> 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 hey, Edgar, you're not that. You're no Robert Mitchum. You're no Robert Mitchum. <laughs> did, did he you, can't even write a couplet. <laughs> before Edgar died, you never confessed. No. So you, you now talk about this because Edgar is gone. He's dead. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't Was hurt there him. a lot of cheating no. on Edgar? No. Be no. honest. No. I mean, a couple no. of times? Uh... One, three times. Because you were in show business and... And it's 20 years. Right. And especially when you're on the road with a play, you know, mm, you get you very... Get lonely. You get lonely <laughs> yeah. and you, it's very intense work. And it's intense right. also that Robert Mitchum, a very famous A-list movie star, wants to have sex with you. I mean, it's almost intoxicating. And, and he was, as I said, a he was... A, he, he, 
he knew poetry. He knew books. He wasn't what you saw on the screen. Was he, was, he much older than you at that point? Oh, uh, no, uh, probably. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, he was an older man, older, older, older man, but still older. I was probably in my thirties, and he was older. He was probably fifty-two. Was, you know I mean? was he a married man at that point too? Were the both of you married? I, I think he was always married. He was always married. Yeah, and, and so he sees you on the Tonight Show, and let's face it, you're very seductive on the Tonight Show. Yeah, you're sure. very good at, Well, you're very good at your craft. Don't be honest. <laughs> and I was funny, and, and I was right, young, and right. what the hell? And so he. I says don't think he had. I don't think he'd be sitting and smiling now about me. Right. He <laughs> said, who knows? He might say Joan who. <laughs> but but he, he never he, happened. Who? Oh yeah. But but so when he says to you on the Tonight Show, you're sitting there with Johnny. Let's have a drink afterwards. Let's have a drink. Oh my God, your heart must have been a flutter. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you great. Know, <laughs> it's great. I mean, you're, you're like I could see yeah. you. You were imagining him fucking you. Yeah, it's great. I could see it. Did you feel guilty at all? Oh, you feel terribly sad. Terribly guilty. About, about when you go back to bed with yeah, Edgar. Yeah, with Edgar. Terrible. Yeah, and you're like, terrible. How but... do you get past? <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> she got over it. All <laughs> right, because you still light up thinking about it. Yeah. Did he give you an orgasm, uh, Robert Mitchell? Uh, well, can we move on to something? Why? This is fascinating to me that you cheated. Obviously, it was a nice evening. Yeah, he has the drink, and you're easy. I mean, you go <laughs> oh, right. I'm easy. Like, you didn't my, even... You didn't even have dinner. <laughs> my feet were on the table. I took mean, the drink. You knew when he asked you for a drink, you were going to fuck him. Two feet were on that bar. <laughs> so you go for drinks. Were you afraid that people would see that you were having a drink with a man? No, it's business. I we see. just done the show. Monkey yeah. business. Yeah, we just done the show. So no hesitation at all, and you're sitting oh, there... Yeah, you're shocked, but also you're just swept off, swept off your feet. And so, like, where do they go? Do they go to a hotel? Of course, uh, somewhere in Santa Barbara. I really you do went back to his place. No, we went to a, a very pretty place. In Santa Listen, Barbara. everyone who was involved is dead. You don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You're acting like uh, this is going to be the National Enquirer. It's Robert Mitchum. For God's sake, nobody. Can, you know what they talk cares. about these names, yeah, and right. they say she just, they say who. But remember in that day, Robert uh, Mitchum, was you, you, he was a big star. Yeah, and he was great. Would you have left Edgar for Robert Mitchum, seriously? Uh, I certainly would have thought about it. <laughs> right. And so he takes you but back But I would have left, I would have given Edgar the house. Right. I would have given him Melissa. Hey, that's enough. <laughs> Who would have wanted a little beautiful baby like Melissa? <laughs> so you, <laughs> here, Edgar, you raised this thing. Uh, I'm so, off with Robert Mitchum. Yeah, yeah. give what, us a call. <laughs> was there any part of you hoping that he would knock you off that night? Oh, my No, God. I never I, thought about that. Wouldn't that be great? Well, he uh, fucked you without a rubber, right? I mean, back I, in those days, you didn't even have rubbers. Yeah, that's just free <laughs> those days, You use cloth. Right. He <laughs> fucked you through a sheet. What did, no, seriously, did, I mean, he, he entered you without I any... Did, we, we're gonna, can we please... Did, why? That's enough. Okay, no, it isn't. It's not did, enough. Did, did Melissa know? Have you talked no, to her? No, oh. she doesn't ask you. And did you call Edgar that night and go, oh, hi, hi, honey. It would uh, be a little late. Excuse. Hi, Edgar. I would be a little bit late. Uh, <laughs> or, I mean, you you weren't out the whole night, were you? Yeah, you walked the dog. Did you do that? <laughs> You're going to need to walk the dog tonight. <laughs> you know, it's no, no, did you spend the whole night with Robert Mitchell? No. No. You left. You, you, he fucked you and he threw you out. Well, you uh, remember you you really taped from five to seven, right? So you had from seven like to eleven thirty. Well, yeah. Tragic. Yeah, right. And and so he didn't. I meant nothing. I'm, I can assure you. Yeah, right. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> then you did the walk of shame, right? Oh, the walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> You're all dressed up for the Tonight Show. Your hair hair's all, all messed must. up. <laughs> Lipstick's a little. <laughs> the lipstick all messy from semen stains on your chin. I mean. It's... Did you blow him? Oh, I'm not going there. Tell me the truth. I don't, can't remember. You remember every detail about. Uh, tell me when you masturbate, you don't think about Robert Mitchum and you. You're like, oh, Bob. Well, now you think how old they are. Uh, I mean, but seriously, when you when you you you, you mentioned that you masturbate, do you, do you ever say, oh wow? Do you think about Robert Mitchum nude? No, not, <laughs> no. But, but, all, but I do see the movies. It's so funny. Do you he, go back and watch the movies? Yes. Yes. And do you get wet? No, but I just think, oh my god. Wow. Here he is. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Look so at great. you. Well, you know, this age where you got his memories. Did you ever try to make it happen again with him? Did you ever? No, you no, no, no. Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mitchum. I would say every day, we should have him back on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Too many kids. Hey, come on, guys. How about instead of share, let's get Robert Mitchum. <laughs> Was he your only famous guy that you had? Uh, the only famous. No, there's another one. There was an actor. But Who was the other one? New York actor. What was his Gabe name? Gabe Dell. Gabe Dell. Yeah. You're put him 
him in the same league? No, I'm just, what? You asked Did you call him Bob or Robert Mitchum? Or you didn't just Mr. Mitchum? Mr. Mitchum. 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 It sounds like Mitchum. it sounds like you only knew him for a few short minutes. So like it's like you probably didn't call him anything, right? <laughs> But have you ever touched yourself thinking about Robert? Mitchell? I'm not going to go Why? there. Why? Why not? <laughs> because, Why not go there? No, no. Uh, but because he's mean, old no? now, and you just oh, it's so isn't he's, he's dead. dead. He's, he's dead. old now. <laughs> so old. He's dead. What? Who cares if you jerk off to Robert Mitchum? I you mean, wouldn't the, jerk off to dead people. I mean, my God. Oh, you wouldn't jerk off because he's dead. Well, uh, but did you sometimes when you were in bed with Edgar go, oh, if this was Robert? Oh Mitchum. well, one does have fantasies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but none of your cheating was an ongoing. Affair it was always a one night stand, or uh, Gabe Dell was a, a, a big affair. Gabe Dell, uh, I left oh. Edgar over that. You did, really? oh my god! Yeah, so, how did you end up back with three Edgar? weeks? And then I just thought, This is crazy, right? Wow, yeah, Gabe Look was at you, you wild woman, yeah, I and mean, you're out there <laughs> fucking like a rabbit. Oh, you know, like, I, mean, Gabe I barely Dell? had a chance to write jokes. I mean, Gabe <laughs> Dell said to you, Listen, I gotta, I want to be with you. No, I think it scared Gabe, it did, but yeah, we started together on a Broadway show. And you have this big, intense, you know, you're on the road, and you're bringing it in, you're working late at night, sure. and all that stuff, and you're kissing on stage, bing, 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 bing. And then um, the show closed, and they continued a little bit, yeah. and then it got too... Uh, it was too... And he liked me. He used to sit in front of my house, I was with Edgar, and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> like a stalker. Yeah. Wow. That was scary. He wanted you. He and wanted Edgar never me. caught up. <laughs> Edgar never caught on to any of this. The I think I can knew. I think really? I can knew somewhere really? it was Gabe. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, dig up Gabe and let's dig let's up uh, Robert too. Mitchum yeah. and we'll have a whole show. <laughs> let's see what they were buried with and yeah. get the jewelry. <laughs> so you think Edgar knew that you were cheating? I with think Gabe, he though? knew that. I think yeah. he knew. Wow. Oh, well, he, let's wait. Did he ever confront you? No. No, Edgar's English. You whore. <laughs> hey, you whore. Melissa, tell the whore to come downstairs. <laughs> come <laughs> your mother the whore. <laughs> The horror. Wasn't it true you had a night of passion with Larry Fine of the Three Stooges? No, oh, yes. And that, <laughs> you see how I glow? <laughs> Talk about Larry Fine and him entering. You. How <laughs> with how a banana? He didn't, a, he didn't use a rubber. He <laughs> had a big peel. red nose on. No, but, but how can you? Don't you think? Don't you laugh when you realize these guys? Had sex lives. No, I understand. Like but the Three Stooges. Yeah, it's crazy. They, they actually know, had sex with people. If yes. you know anything about the Three Stooges, the amazing thing is that Curly, you know, the shaved head one, right. he was the ladies' man. That Mo was married, Larry was married. Curly, Curly would, fuck, was, would fuck like a rabbit. And he was so tortured because in the Three Stooges, they wanted him to have a shaved head and they wanted to keep him fat. And he was a phenomenal ballroom dancer. Who loved women and fucked like crazy, and he was the ladies' man. And who would believe that if you read the history of the Three Stooges, which I have because I love them, and I would have thought you would have been one of the conquests of. Uh, <laughs> oh, what about the Marx Brothers? Do you still remember? Was Robert Mitchum the best-looking guy you ever banged in your entire life? Just the most masculine. It was the whole masculine, package. Masculine, right? He was the package. Yeah. Right, right, right. Everything. Jeez. And, and when when uh, he was a cigarette smoker, and so were you back in the day, right? No, but I let him smoke. You did. He smoked after he banged you. Yeah, he used to put the ashes in my belly button. <laughs> 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 oh, Bob, you silly boy! Go ahead, use me as your ashtray, Bob. <laughs> use me as your ashtray. I don't care. <laughs> he could have wrecked your life. Yeah. What do you remember? What a scandal! Do you, you know how yeah. great. Uh, to have a couple of good memories like that. Oh, absolutely. Do, 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 do you remember, like, the size and shape of his penis? No. <laughs> you don't? Like, is it not that detailed? Those were different kind of days. You didn't kind of, like, look that much. But when a guy is that hot, and when he enters you, do you come immediately? Do you uh, just... Can we just change... have an stuff. orgasm immediately? Can we go back to my book, please? Was that the first time you had an orgasm? <laughs> no. Oh, Edgar never God. gave you an orgasm in a minute. And, uh, well, you're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out of my mind. Don't you know? Yes. What am I doing on a family television yeah. show? Was he much bigger? How do you, let me ask you. Was Robert Mitchum bigger than Edgar? Uh, Eddie, yes, he was. He was <laughs> yeah, his penis, I mean. Was it thicker and bigger? Why don't we call... I'm going to we <laughs> reach out to the wife's alive. I'm going to so. dig them all up and compare penis size. <laughs> is it true that you let Ed Sullivan finger you? That is oh. the, <laughs> he would have remembered. Let's get back to your book. Let's get back to your but, book. Oh, he would have remembered. Ed Sullivan, at 50, was... Early Alzheimer's. He really? was, right? Was that true, or was it just that No, he... no, no. He would... I remember one time, they treated him like gold. Uh, he was saying, had to do a commercial, and he did it five times, and five times he did it wrong. They were going to put it into the show. Was it that he couldn't really... He wasn't he showbiz, could, and he couldn't read, he or... He couldn't... He just couldn't do it. And he had a wonderful grand, uh, wonderful uh, son-in-law named Bob Precht, who was, treated him... 
uh, let's try it again, Ed. Let's try it again. Wow. And the fifth time, finally, oh. Bob said, that's fine, Ed. And you saw this person because you used yeah. to appear on the Ed Sullivan yeah, Show. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Was that like the most pressure in your career, the Ed Sullivan it Show? It was insane. More than even Johnny Carson because oh. that was a primetime Sunday night show. The world was watching. Talk about make or break uh, an and appearance. And talk about, uh, you know, it was live. So everybody was... You 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 did dress rehearsal, which was dead people and Girl Scouts. Right. So nobody laughed. Right. So they said, "Well, Joan Rivers is going to do seven and a half minutes tonight." Now you get the nighttime audience, and it goes to eleven minutes. Wow. Well, if you've gone longer, that means Edie Gourmet can sing. He came into my life. He right. Just sing. I came into. Yeah, you got to be dead. And and Ed could hold a grudge if you didn't do a good job, or you screwed someone else over. If you went or to you, eleven minutes, he would have fucked you good. When they. Uh, one time somebody went short and they came backstage to me and it was all live. Right. Mm. And they said, um, stretch. And you know what I said to them? Tell my husband. Because <laughs> Edgar would have killed me if I added material. Weren't you on one night with Senor Wences and you ended up making love to him? Yeah, sure. <laughs> His hands. The one night stand with Senor Wences? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I know, I know. But, I mean, do you remember like who you used to appear with on there? I mean, Woody, I have a picture of the fifth dimension. Woody Allen and me, and we're all watching the screen backstage, terrified. <laughs> and so it was a great show. It was a great show because you had to be live. You had no second chances. When you did the Ed Sullivan show, did your career yeah. change dramatically the next day? Carson gave you New York, L.A., the big cities. Ed Sullivan gave you America. He put his arm around you. He has little Joni Rivers. Right. The Midwest said, welcome. And he really, you think Little? he was, you think now that you think back on it, he was suffering from Alzheimer's disease. By he was at the end. Yeah, it was very, and she right. was wonderful. His wife, she protected him. She watched him. It's an amazing story. Ed Sullivan was like a gossip columnist who got his own TV show. He was horrible on TV. No personality. But it made it good. He was but, so stiff. Yeah. He was so out of it. Right. You loved it. You loved it. And, he, and the show was a great show. It was before everyone had their own specials. You saw right. everybody. You saw opera, and then Dolly Parton came out, and then Joan Rivers came out. It, See, it that's was why sort of like America's Got, America's America's got, got Talent. That's why I was just going to say, I yeah. like doing America's Got Talent because it has all these variety acts. That's right. what makes it interesting. It's fun. It's fun, and it's not the same thing. Oh, I lived for that Ed but Sullivan show. you see Joan Rivers and bell ringers, you know? Yeah, yeah like, like Omar who spun, spun, the, who spun, spun the plates. The plates. <laughs> yeah, and Topo Gigio and all right. those cool And then things. right after that, Richard Burton would come out and do something from Shakespeare. Yeah. Yeah. Would you send, like, Ed Sullivan a gift after you appear? Like, I mean, you probably felt so great grateful to him i loved him and he loved me and they would buy you your clothes for the show wow and if they liked you you got to keep them they would walk upstairs and they would say mr sullivan was the whole thing would like you to have your gown oh Aww. wow but you never knew you took it off you hung it up you put yes. it in the closet and then they would come in and say, Mr. Sullivan would like you to have your gown. How many times oh, did you appear on that, really? Sullivan? 31 times. 31 times. Made well, my life. That's an accolade. Yeah. I mean, that's a big deal. I adored yeah. him, I, you know, because he liked me. I mean, and who, how many female comics even got on yeah. hey, at that point? Little Joni Rivers. Joni yeah. Rivers. Who else got on there? Tody Fields, maybe. Tody was before me. Woody. Woody, right. And Woody yeah. was... A, and, and Ed was. But Woody Allen thinks he's a shitty. He, he thinks of himself as a shitty comic, a stand-up comic. He was very. Oh, he was he, wonderful. And he was terrific on he those was appearances wonderful. because yeah. he was prepared. He was prepared and he was funny. Out of thirty-one appearances, did you get to keep the gown every time, or there were times where he didn't no, feel you did? Always well? got the gown. Always got the gown. He really liked me. Always no. got the gown. Well, that's an amazing story. Johnny never gave you a fucking gown. Yeah, Johnny never even gave me a toilet seat. Yeah, but he gave you Robert Mitchum. For the That's night. okay. <laughs> I heard Johnny paid Robert Mitchum to be with you that night. That's the story. And filmed it. And filmed it. That's right. He uh, was with Mitchum's wife. Yeah, Jones started the whole X-rated uh, things on that the internet. Whole, That's right. Uh, yeah. YouTube and <laughs> X-rated right. porn. All right, let's get through Jones' uh, long appearance schedule because yes, thank you. This new book, it which sounds funny. It's very funny and got it's great my, reviews, by the way. And it's my kind of book. There's no big words. Words. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? And the chapters are short. I like that kind of book. And it's funny. Yeah, it's I opened funny. it up last night. I had a good time with it. Joan Rivers' new book, I Hate Everyone, starting with me, which is good. You're self effacing. That's uh, always a good trick. She doesn't hate herself, by the way. That's how she gets away with all the other Hey, stuff. who are you voting for, Obama or Ron? I hate them both. You hate them both. What are you going to do? You have to vote. Well, I, first of all, Obama, uh, just a man of the people. Meanwhile, uh, Anna Wintour gave a dinner party $40,000 a yes, plate. Yes. Hardly 
they're the people. All right, but he's raising money and for Romney his Romney is, Romney, yes, you know, they're, they're both stupid. And, 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 and we're carrying on with the religious right, that Romney. Oh, that was the religious. <laughs> I, don't I went like to a Jesus either. Freak convention. You did? Jesus loves you. I said, the guy, if he loved you, he'd give you a chin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he loves you at all. Joan Rivers' new book, I Hate Everyone, starting with me, is in stores today. Everyone is very yes. excited about it. Now, here's what we have to remember. What? To me, Joan Rivers, who is a living legend, she was on the Ed Sullivan Show 31 times. I don't know if you know that. Do you personally insult the people who come to get their book signed by I'm you? I'm thrilled with putting out their hard-earned money. Are you kidding? Yes, Marty, you're on the air in Daytona Beach. Uh-oh. Hey, now. Hey, now. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, Lisa Lampanelli will never be a uh, Joan Rivers. Oh, that's so, I got so nervous. I mean, thank you, Marty. Usually they put in the guy that says... Uh, I, I, Screw you, you, Joan Rivers. I think you're, I think you're wonderful and so bright, and uh, I love all you guys. Thank all you. Right, thank you, Marty. That's so nice, and thank you for calling, Marty. It's the first nice phone call I've ever gotten on this show. You're not kidding. <laughs> and because you made a nice phone call, Joan is going to tell the story when she slept with all of the Bowery boys. <laughs> which is uh, okay. Including the dog. Right. Joan will be signing copies of the new book, I Hate Everyone, starting with me. Uh, that starts at 7 o'clock at the Barnes & Noble in Union Square, Manhattan. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Oh, no, that's tonight. 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 And you'll sign every book? Every book. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at Bookends in Ridgewood, New Jersey. This Sunday at noon at Bank Street Book uh, Nook, Book Nook in New Milford, Connecticut. And June 11th at 7.30 p.m. at the 6th and I Historic Synagogue in Washington, D.C. <laughs> oh. 6th and 1 Historic. Are you, are you serious? I don't even... Yeah. Is it a synagogue? In a synagogue, you'll be signing books. Oh, are they? Joan get, doesn't even know this, this book. Boy, you really do treat show business like you're a beginner. You're going to be in a synagogue <laughs> signing books. And uh, bring Joan a joint. You'll probably get lucky, like She's Robert mentioned. She's going to need it. She's going to need it. Will you have sex with any of the people if they Anybody. Don't? Anyone who wants sex. At this today. age. Right. Anybody. You'll be happy if anyone wants you. I've got Alzheimer's, so I forget. Hey, Joan, what is, I meant to ask you, what is going on with all these cannibals? There's a guy they just arrested uh, for cannibalism. He ate his boyfriend. And and the parts he didn't eat, he mailed to uh, diplomats. And then there was another guy, a guy, a, 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 a homeless guy, who was eating the face of another homeless guy over the weekend, and he ate the entire face off while the guy uh, was alive. Uh, let me ask you: If you were stuck, and there's no food around in a plane crash, go ahead. How long? Oh, the Donna pass. I would have been the first to say, "Pass me a knee." Really? You would eat a person <laughs> if it's if it's survival. But these people are eating people for fun. There's food. There's no Maybe, plane crash. Well, I understand it tastes just like chicken. <laughs> right. You do, you've eaten people. And that's what they always say. No matter what you eat, you say, tastes like chicken. That's right. All right, listen. So go see Joan. You know what to do now. Is there a place you can go, like a website, to learn yeah. where you're going to be? Because these yes. plugs are, uh, are so long. I but, have my Facebook. and have all that stuff. And uh, my Joan, blog, Joan Rivers. Obviously, Jock. Not hard to remember. Joan Rivers, Jock com. Uh, I don't <laughs> know. Dot com. You don't even know your own website. <laughs> but my Twitter. I Twitter all the time. Uh, right. I have too many followers. All right, so because I want, I don't want to miss any of these appearances. Yes, yeah, sure. All right, it's uh, Joan Rivers, the new book, I Hate Everyone, starting with me in stores today. We will be back right after these words. Lovely to I you. love you so much. I love much. you too much. So much. And David Letterman, it's about time you had her on the show. <laughs> Good for you. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Hello, darling. You look fantastic. Absolutely. like a fat old pig. Hey, let me, you do not look like a fat old pig. What? You can't lose weight? Can't lose weight. Put those headphones on. That's your microphone. I can't lose weight, but at, th at this... You're so uh, thin. Oh, please. At this age, though... What do you weigh? Can I ask? I, yeah, I used to weigh 107. I was so happy. Right. And now, literally, I'm 116, and I want to kill myself. And my pants don't zip, and you just want to kill yourself. When you're liposuction, um... Oh, I don't, at this age, you take liposuction, it all just falls down. <laughs> when you're completely nude, I mean, I'm sure you get nude uh, in front of the mirror and take a look. Yeah. Do you see a paunchy belly? Do I see? Yes. What I, do you see? I see, like, I never had a stomach in my life. And now I have this big, stupid stomach. You have a belly? Yes. Uh, like a pot belly? Is it tight uh, at least? It's worse. It's higher up. It's like those women that look like pigeons. And you don't have any shape anymore? You lost that little oh, the, curve? Oh, the, the waist went. <laughs> the waist went to what, near but 30? I think it may be because I'm pregnant. I want to announce that I do a show. <laughs> you know, you I talk... haven't had my period. I just have to do this show. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was laughing. <laughs> I accept that. I, I think I'm pregnant, Howard. Ask me why. Why are you so pregnant? I haven't had my period for 2004. 
That would mean you're pregnant. When you don't get your period anymore, Joan, I'm not I'm not a, a gynecologist, but I believe you're right. I believe you are pregnant. I thought of it this morning. Uh, I just I have to say that. Go but, ahead. but Joan. Well, then you know why the belly. <laughs> that's right. You, it's your baby bump. Joan, you even see these women now. And, I mean, you're a proponent of plastic surgery. You've always said, look, yes. if you don't feel good about yourself and there's a, a way to change it, you change it. If you don't like the wrinkles in your face, you pull back a little bit. Right. In uh, fact, Joan has said whether you don't like them or not, you should not have the wrinkles in your face. Right, so yeah. you don't offend other people. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Is and that about you? Is that people you. throwing up? <laughs> right. Uh, you, you've been, uh, have you spoken yet about this girl, Heidi Montag, yes. who was like 20, 21 years old yeah. and went and got not only breast augmentation, which lots of girls do, but she made them unusually big. She, I think she even had like 16 procedures on her face at 21. Do you think that's going too far? Uh, I thought she was stupid to talk about it. Right. Because uh, when you really look at the procedure, she did Restylane, which is a filler. She did Botox. You know, she did a couple of big things. Right. But they all do it. Right. She was just an idiot to talk. I've done it. You mean, what you're telling me is in Hollywood, a lot of young girls are doing this kind of stuff. Oh. We just don't know about it. Yeah. For example, you'd see actresses on film. I don't think there's one of them that hasn't had a nose job. I, I agree. I mean, you look at certain people, and I don't mean to hurt her feelings. You look at Goldie Hawn. You don't recognize her from the first movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Carol Burnett. Cha- we right. all change. Right. And you have to stay young looking. Young looking, and the nose should be a little bit... I saw somebody yesterday in an old movie. I thought, who is that? Oh, that's her before the nose job. Yeah. Well, like Jennifer Aniston had a little Jennifer shave. Jennifer Aniston had a little shave. Well, right. she's so unhappy. Right. She Just seems unhappy to She me. should go get a smile put on her Oh, face. you know, it's 92 <laughs> years. Take a douche and move on. Who are we talking about this morning that had some plastic surgery that looked a little bit off? Oh, we were talking about some guys. Yeah, guys. Oh, sometimes it's a big careful. mistake. you got to be very careful for guys. Yeah, we're talking about... Redford. Robert Redford. Oh, yeah, we, oh, that was a shame. I thought that was my my uh, Tanta Helen. That was booby. <laughs> my booby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, but like even I see Al Pacino is pulled back. He doesn't look as masculine anymore. You know, they should do it. What I always say. Little bitty increments. Right. Mm-hmm. Slowly. You don't see it happening. Absolutely. Now, uh, Well, look. actually, we were supposed to call Joan something else this morning. We were going to say we had Kim Yunnan. <laughs> Some people thought you looked like Kim Yunnan from the Olympics with your, with your recent surgeries. But, uh, I think the poor guy that was killed on the loose. Yeah. <laughs> you, you look like the Empress of Korea. <laughs> but I think you look terrific. I think you're an inspiration. Like, even my mother always says to me, my mother's an older, older than you. Nobody's older than me. No, my mother is. I found the one person, and she even says, boy, that Joan Rivers looks glamorous. I know, I yeah, know. Yeah, how come I'm sitting here alone? You know, talk about your dating. I understand, and I don't know if this is a rumor. A lot of stuff gets in the press, and you don't know if it's real. You were recently on a date where during the date, the guy dropped dead. You're now dating guys who die in the middle of yes, the date. Yes, I, I don't... But make, that's a successful yes, relationship. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't say he left you. <laughs> you. And you miss him now. I miss him desperately. Well, he was I great. To pick up the check. How long have you been dating this guy where he dropped out of I've been dating this man about five weeks. It was like just beginning. It was a new romance. It was kind of a new romance, and he died. Oh, right. man. Had he already paid the bill? No. No. It was terrible. What happened? Where were you? I'm curious. We were in a very fancy restaurant. I'm not, say the name York. of the restaurant. It was similar to the one that you got married in. Uh, so why wouldn't you say? It certainly wasn't well, the food they don't like it. First of all, Le Cirque, which is such a fabulous restaurant, right. they don't like you to say that old, you know. Right. You don't like to check your coat and see walkers. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you go on a date. Yeah. You've known the guy five weeks. You haven't been intimate with him yet. No. Right? You know, I mean, at this well, point. We, maybe we have. We both forgot. <laughs> right. But had you been, I mean, you were just. Uh, no, it's still like he, he had met me and then two weeks later they asked you out. You know, that guy. Right. Thing. He'd kissed you maybe. Well, ugh. let's not go there. You don't want to kiss old guys. Uh, <laughs> Is it gross? Like, like you have to date older guys now. Yeah. Like, how old was this guy who you were dating? Probably uh, 74, 75. Right. Is it like, because inside you feel like a young woman. Yeah. Can you? Do you look at these guys and go, I can't believe I'm kissing a 74-year-old guy? No, because he's thinking the same thing back. <laughs> Nobody's honest. He's thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> look at what it's come to. <laughs> my eyes are going to see. Ah. <laughs> Do you, have you dated anyone who's used a walker? No, not yet. <laughs> no. But, but they turned me on now. So this guy's seven. A walker turned you on. Maybe you can incorporate that into the sex, the, the walker itself. You see a guy that he's look at how nicely decorated his walker. <laughs> so you see this seventy-four-year-old guy, and okay, it's companionship, is what you're saying. We're having words, a very good time, and he's from out of town, and we're having a very nice time. Right? How'd you meet this guy? Uh, through a friend of mine. 
a mutual friend who said, you're really going to like him. The wife died. Right. And he, he scattered the ashes and he cried. And he was a nice man. Right. In other words, he had, he had, he had some compassion. He wasn't like the typical guy who's just going to fuck you and leave you. And very, well, yeah. see, this age, that can't happen. It takes him four days. <laughs> it takes four days just to fuck you. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> no one can fuck you and leave you. <laughs> Impossible. Just working age. their way in takes two days. Yeah. The <laughs> only thing that upsets me <laughs> yeah. is when they, the moment of climax, they usually call it the nurse's thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it difficult to get inside of you? Because you're naturally dry now? You don't lubricate? Dry. Yeah, dry. Two Arabs. <laughs> you have Arabs living in your vagina. That's how dry you are? Wow. Wow. That's amazing. No, but seriously, in other so words, you, you have die. to... So So you're on the date. On the date. At a fancy restaurant. Yes. And you're sitting there talking, have nice conversations. And he's very quiet. Well, <laughs> and he's... He slumped over in the chair? Kind of slumped over. Oh, my God. When was this? This is about seven months ago. How this long is... do you keep talking before you well, say, well... Knowing me, I was in the middle of a good story. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? She's very narcissistic. She was like, she oh. didn't really notice that she was he wasn't a, contributing. She was looking around the restaurant, <laughs> looking at her phone. She, she was like, I got Jesus small eater. Did you? Write, hey, this guy doesn't eat that much. Do you? Do you right away know? Seriously, I want you to be oh, honest. I, no, no this, jokes. Do you notice right away? It's horrible. He just got very quiet. You yeah. notice? Uh oh. And, and he closes his eyes. No, his eyes were open. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to laugh. It's a ter But were you Ooh. traumatized? Well, you say, I, I think we'd better get a waiter here. And you get the waiter. And get somebody very quickly. And they get the emergency room. But right. it was too late. And they called the paramedics. I mean, it was a whole big thing. Right. They called paramedics. And he was What gone. do they do? Throw a tablecloth over him? Uh, it's very interesting because people keep eating. <laughs> do they? Were you, were you embarrassed? I mean, I know well, you shouldn't be, but I know not, you're worried about it. I'm just terribly it. sorry. No, I like it. Show business. My right. Life. Show business. Say, hey, this guy's great. He's getting Ooh, me attention. Press. Maybe we could do a reality show with this guy. We go on different dates and he'll die each week. Call entertainment tonight. Right. In the middle of my grief, I powder my nose. Right. So when all the people are staring and stuff. And you then the paramedics took him out. They don't say he's dead. No, he's going to say he's dead. Right. And they say, he's, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. You knew, but you knew. In the back I, of your well. Mind. Yeah, and I, I had to reach in his pocket to get the American Express card. I was going to ask you that. Like, so do the, does the restaurant ask you to pay the bill? They didn't ask me, but... Uh, <laughs> what do you do? They followed us out to the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? Come on, tell me the truth. Yes. W at what point do you get the check? By the ambulance? But, but, uh, I said, that I'll, I'll have somebody take care of this. And <laughs> that wasn't good enough. So I left them his shoes. <laughs> You just left the shoes at the table. His the shoes and his wristwatch. Did you cry? Were you crying? Were you? No, I didn't. I felt terribly sorry. I mean, I had to call up the daughters. And yeah, I was gonna say you it's hardly terrible. know his family or anything. I don't know his family. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it upsetting in a way? I mean, like here, you know, the older you get, the more death you see. Like all of a yeah. sudden, you're on a date and the guy dies. Oh, and my friends are dropping like flies. I was gonna right. say, how many friends do you oh. have left? And the horrible thing, Howard. <laughs> yeah. There's so few of them. You have a chance to say goodbye and tell them how you hated them. <laughs> right. Do the, when you called his daughters to inform them, did yeah. they even know you were going out with him? Uh, I don't even know. Right. You I called up said, and uh, you go, "Hi, this is Jordan." They go, "Oh, cool. We're getting oh, a call so from Jordan." Yeah, they were probably excited. We Are win? you kidding? Did, did they say win? that? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> well, let me play. Oh, it's Joe Rivers. Do you say to the daughters? Do I you said, know? I was with your father, and um, we're in that. Uh, where was it? Uh, 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 um, the the hospital now, uh, uh, P&S, Physician and Surgeons, Columbia. I, and we're up in Columbia, and uh, he's very, very ill. Right. I didn't want to be the one mm. to say. Right, to break the news. He's, yeah. Yeah. He said, oh, did you ask his daughter if they know any single guys? No, but I did say, uh, look, I left a 20% tip. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's on your father's card. Why do you tip when they carry them out, you know? Do you, did you use his credit card or your own? His. His. How no, did you I, no, I said my own. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, well, you, I don't want to really use. You, know. <laughs> you didn't reach in his pocket. Because then the family would fight with you. You gave 20% and the meal wasn't over. Do you think the daughters will try to keep a relationship with you now that he's gone? No. No, I think that would be ludicrous. You, did you, did go you, to you the even funeral? have a conversation no. with no. them? Because you were the last one yes, to see him alive. Yes, of course. Alive. Of course. Right. And you're what very nice. Talking? You spoke to Why them on the phone think? and you said, gee, what happened? They said to you, what happened? Yeah, and then they had a relative that lived in New York that came up. Do you recall what you were talking about at the time of his death? Yes, probably a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> you were moving that fast I was moving. Well, at this age, you have to. And what was the cause of death? A heart attack? Heart attack. Heart attack. Boy, that's something.
Just I'm so stop. sorry for you. I mean, you know, you're trying well, to f- feel youthful and appear youthful, and then you're on a date and a guy yeah, drops dead. And I just ordered this really good salmon meal. Right. I couldn't eat it. Well, what was, what it was terrible. <laughs> well, you eat it while they're carrying it around. Did you stop <laughs> eating right away? Minute. Well, I, I, you know... That's why I'm gaining weight. I like food. Did it? Did, did, were you sitting? Were you sitting there saying, sitting, "Oh shit, I can't finish my meal"? Because you must have been really hungry. I was sitting next to him on the banquet, so thank God, I didn't oh, so see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the stuff coming. He up. didn't even make a noise. And I he guess he was wild. I don't mean. I thought he was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were laughing one of your jokes. But, but, but what a tribute! He probably felt a little bad before, but he was going out with Joan Rivers, so he pulled himself together. But he really saw me in bright light. <laughs> he passed out. <laughs> But, I mean, in a way, you know, I know when I, like, I'm like you, I try to stay thin. And when I go to dinner, like, I starve myself all day. You know, I don't, I don't, I eat my lunch and that's it. I'm done. And then not till dinner. So then you finally get to dinner. You're probably hungry as hell. You're sitting there and you're like, oh, shit, I know this is shallow. I wish the guy hadn't died. I would wish I could have finished my meal. Oh, yes. And they had really popovers. Oh, (laughs) did you go, did you go out to eat after you you took him to the hospital? No, when I went home, I... Did my own way of, and we all mourn in our own way. Right. I mourned with a great steak. Yeah, you did. You cooked something. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine the next day? Melissa probably says, "How was your date?" Oh, he died. That one, I lost him. Oh, really? Another woman? No. no are you going to see him again? Father time. So. Yeah. He, he really, he altered, he, he left me just like every other man. Well, I'm very, very sorry for you. I don't know if you heard when you were walking in. I was in the middle of doing an interview with CBS this morning, the the CBS show. And they were asking me about Jay Leno yeah. and Conan O'Brien. You, more than anyone, must have feelings about this. You don't like Jay, do you? I am so happy he's back because I don't take Ambien anymore. Right. You can sleep through the I show. I can sleep right. right. You, know, you get into bed and you know you're going to miss nothing. So you can shut your eyes. <laughs> right. And not worry. But what do you think? I, you know, here's I my, don't like. Go ahead. I, I, my take on it was that I thought that, you know, like, like when you had your falling out with NBC, you went over to Fox. Right. This guy has a lot of money. NBC fired him twice. When do, don't you have some pride and then go take your show to another network? He certainly could have. He sucks NBC's corporate balls till the till the day he dies. He's I, I, I mean, I'm not a he's a, not a nice theoretically they say right. man. Right. That's a start with. And what's that great thing when he fired? Remember he got the Tonight Show and then he fired. His uh, manager that had cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Helen Kushnick. Yeah. And she said to him, Jay, uh, he said, I'm firing you. You're not any good. And the the story is, she said, Jay, I fed you steak, but I never showed you how I killed the cow. Right. Which right. I love that. Mm-hmm. So, so he's a tough guy, and he wants that money, and he's going to get that money. Right. Now, do you feel bad for Conan O'Brien? Or oh, you... yeah. $40 million later. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> you don't feel bad for him. Oh, the luckiest unfunny white man in America. Do you feel he's unfunny? I don't find him funny. Maybe will, he's generational. Will you, uh, will you think that he'll go to Fox? Do you think he'll get another I show? I think he's already got the Fox deal that you they signed in the back of a car somewhere. No kidding. Oh, of course. No, he's sitting around doing nothing. But if he bombed and he didn't get any ratings, wouldn't that stick with him? Yeah, but they all forget he didn't get any ratings. They all forget that Leno didn't get any ratings. They're all screaming like these guys were doing great. Right. You it takes get time. Darlings, Letterman's doing great. Right. Uh, uh, go watch. Uh, who else is on that? See, I watch movies. Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel, show. I adore. Right. Jimmy Fallon, I think, is going to be very strong. Right. Uh, but uh, they're all screaming like these guys were doing well. These guys suck. That's why they fight. You know, uh, in, in a sense, when you had your late night show with Fox, they didn't give you enough time, did they? No, they gave me six months. And they, you know, they said to me, I met the president afterwards. He said to me, it was never the ratings. Barry Diller hated Edgar. Edgar hated Barry Diller and Murdoch, and it was fought on that. It was a private thing. You were up probably to, against the the guy who was the king of late night, Johnny Carson. It was, was going to take time for you to defeat him. But they told me Jamie Kellner, who was the president, then said to me, "We were always in the black with you." You always made money. Always made money for them. Hmm. He said right. we were never in the red. It wasn't about that. And I knew it wasn't about that. Believe me, now when you think about what these guys get in the ratings on late night, if they had your kind of ratings, they'd be tap dancing. They would wow. be the, the king of the late night. Yeah, but you who, never think of it. Howard, who looks back? You look I do. I don't. I, I never don't. look forward. I always look to the, <laughs> the, the, the past history. You are such a liar. That's the way I operate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I don't, I, I'm stuck in the past. You are such a liar. All right, let me let me find out about what recently happened to you on this plane because I don't understand oh. it. You were detained. Where were you? 
Well, that's the old play. I just had it happen again. <laughs> I what? Was, I what was, is it? I was held in Costa Rica. They took me off the last plane. That they, the next plane was four days later. Right. And they took me off because the woman, one woman, didn't understand that Joan Rivers, a.k.a. also known as Joan Rosenberg, is the same person. So they kept me in Costa Rica with $100 in my pocket. <laughs> Good Lord. Why only $100? Because I had given all my money to Melissa. Right. Because I said, uh, I don't need cash. I'm going home. Here, in case you're stopping in Atlanta, here, take money. All right, boy, that Melissa's lucky, huh? Yeah. You empty out your pockets and give to Melissa. I, yeah, well, you there have are children. Guys. I have children. And when your children get on a plane ahead of you and they're going to stop and you're not, you say, here, you stop in Atlanta and you and Cooper, you have cash. They said, no, I said, here. Sorry. So I'm stuck there. This one <laughs> bitch just wasn't going to let me go. I mean, I look at you, I don't see terrorists. Terrorists? I mean, you're an older I'm woman. I'm a Jew. Yeah. What, I, what terrorist orders a kosher meal? I mean, <laughs> that would be brilliant, though, that, wouldn't it? I, I had a bagel strapped to my waist. But in all seriousness, when you want to get home and you're in some place, oh. why, why even in Costa Rica? I mean, that sounds horrible. Well, that was our vacation. It was beautiful. It was nice. But this just happened now in Toronto. What happened in Toronto? I must look like a fucking terrorist. You, well, they pulled me out of line in Toronto. Not cute. I was coming home. Uh, Saturday, I was going to L.A. Go ahead. And they they go through everything. I have 40 minutes to make the plane. Everything. They And then you have to check this. You have to go back to the back of the line. You have to go. I kept saying, I'm not a terrorist. Right. So 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 did they kick you off the plane? They finally put, no, I really, this time I started, I just stood there and cried. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they reduced Toronto. you to tears. And Airport. you're a pretty tough woman, but. Uh... Right. I said, the only way I can bring your plane down is by whining. <laughs> Let me understand that. Were they trying to keep you off the plane? Did they say to you, you I'm sorry, ma'am, you can't come on the plane? We have to check everything. So, okay, so they checked everything. But it was, but, you know, it it's international, time. and we're now, I was there two hours, it's now 40 minutes of plane time, and then there's that rule, international, one hour, or you don't go. Oh, so you would have missed the flight. I, would have, I can say, what do you want? Do you think it's because you're famous and people want to touch you and interact with you? I think partially that, and I think partially it's about age, right. when they don't recognize you. Who are you going to go after? You're going to go after a, si a lady who's there by herself. I see my mother, like my mother goes to a movie theater where it's a rough neighborhood, and they t they put her through the metal detector seven times. Yeah, your go, mother. Yeah, my mother. Like, they, that's, you know, come on, stop it already. Yeah, I have this, oh, I think it's my coat. I have this coat that I was pregnant with Melissa in. It's 38-year-old fur coat. That doesn't Sorry. sound like you. It, to wear a 38 year old coat. It looks coat. fabulous. Still looks great. God right. bless the uh, God bless Dennis Basso. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, so I think they see, and I use it like a blanket. It's right. 38 years old. Right. And I think they see the coat and they get angry because of the anti fur uh, yeah. industry. You want to say these sables died before you were born. Right. It might as well. Do you really think the security people are pro I or anti fur? I think they're they're anti. "Quote unquote rich." Ri yeah, they see oh, yeah. a rich old. They oh, see I a rich see. old woman. Rich they're gonna in a fur. And they're gonna teach her a lesson. Jewelry, they think right. it's real. Right. Let's take that old bitch out of line. Oh. Why? Does okay, it, spread them. It, it, it just seems to be happening to you over and over, over again. And over again. It's very upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, really. Um, so, so now. And then they put me on with children behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you hate kids. I hate children. I'm what sorry. I hate noisy children. kids on the plane. And they're boring. I know about SpongeBob. Shut up. <laughs> Don't say that, I know about him, and you know, he's gay. Here you're a woman who had kids and everything, but it's just hard to tolerate other people's kids. Other people's ugly children, and they think they're attractive. <laughs> All right. What about the Christmas cards, Howard? And those horrible families keep getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they send you pictures. And then you say, is that a new child or a dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's very upsetting. Wow. By the way, we were having a good laugh the other day. We listened to this TV show, the Ghost Stories. Oh, yes. Where you whip out that story about a ghost living in your apartment. True. It's not true. It's Listen true. to me. Why don't you take a camera out and, and videotape the ghost? And then you would be the, the, the biggest thing on television. Why, why would you not do that if you see a vision of a ghost in your apartment? Look, I'm getting quiet because I'm thinking this yeah. is not stupid. I am very comforted with her. Listen to me. She's still there? She's there. I was at something. that place the other day. I was wondering, if, does the ghost live here? I would here? have taken you upstairs. Really? I love Joan, Mrs. Spencer. you're one of the oh, smartest goodness. people I know. You're a <laughs> rational person. I want you to look at me seriously. Seriously. You're telling me there's such a thing as ghosts? Yeah. Okay, so you're not afraid to die because you now know there's an afterlife. You've met a ghost. Uh, I'm not afraid to die because it's... 
it's always time. You know what I'm saying? Joan, listen to me. You but, could have real friends. You don't need imaginary friends. <laughs> You're still yes, popular. Yes, I do. You do? Oh, that's so sad. Should I come visit you? That was the last time you came to my apartment. I don't want to go there. you're one of many. That's true. Nobody visits you anymore. Nobody visits me anymore. <laughs> Take me through. I know you've been through this a million times, uh, this TV show. I felt you did it because, listen, it's a TV show. Why not? You go on, you get paid, and this and that. I don't believe you believe there is a ghost. I had it exercised. I understand that. You brought in a woman from Haiti. Right. No, I brought in my, my Sally Ann Glassman from New Orleans. You are kidding me. No. How much did you pay her to get rid of Nothing. your ghost? Nothing. That's how you know she's good. Uh, listen to me. You've gone insane. <laughs> you've, gone, you've literally gone insane. This 14 years ago when okay. I first moved into the apartment. You came into the apartment. I want to understand everything. Cause okay. I want you to, and I, I want you to be straight with me. Yeah. Because I would love to believe there were ghosts. I'd be thrilled to meet a ghost. You know why? Because that means I'm going to go on. I'm going yes, to have a life. Yes. And ghosts. I have my friend Tommy Cochran, who is now in my country house in Connecticut. Oh, you've got another one. The guy who died, uh, the gay guy. Yeah. Who was in bed was with you. He's my best friend, who I adored. He's living in your house. He's in my house in Connecticut. He's been seen by four different people. And I... <laughs> I'm so Don't happy. you think Joan and her friends are insane? <laughs> well, what are they going to say when Joan says, did you see Tommy? Of course they're going to say You know what's yes. even worse? My luck, I'm going to die and spend eternity in Joan Rivers' apartment. Yes. I mean, I'll be like, I can't believe I'm, oh, I'm, I'm watching I'm Joan Rivers undressing. The only thing is, you, you'll hate the music of the soul show, too. Oh, my God. That'll be hell. That'll be hell. All right, let me understand something. You walk into your apartment. This was when it was being renovated. All right. You walked in. And I know you heard noises and it got the cold. dog wouldn't come in. dog wouldn't come in. Whatever. That, there's all probable explanations. Yeah. I want to know right now for my audience. You saw Mrs. Spencer? I felt Mrs. Spencer. Okay. I have never seen Mrs. Spencer. And what about your friend Tommy Cochran? Have you seen him? I have not seen but others have seen him. But he left something that I found. Uh, he said, tell Joan uh, there's something that she's looking for. And it's down in the basement. And what, who did he who, tell this? How did you get this message? I have a lady who works for me who's a psychic. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> how much money are they cleaning you out of? Hey, they. What is the matter with you? You're so lonely. She said, <laughs> Go ahead. You need a date. I'm going to hook you up. Don't worry. We're going to help you out. Let's get him a physical first. Now I see how serious the it is. The spirits hmm. get through dinner, how? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Joan, this is so they sad. Get through dinner. <laughs> Tommy, Cochran, Tommy Cochran put, said, "I could, I had put his ashes right. to sprinkle in Connecticut, okay, way up in my attic. Go ahead. And they were left there, and we couldn't find them, and couldn't find. You them. couldn't find this man's ashes. Couldn't find the ashes. And ashes, you know. Yeah, I mean, you had, you knew they were in the attic. Yes. Right. Yeah, and uh, he said to this lady, uh, uh, "Tell her look in the basement. This thing in the basement." And I went down the basement. And there were the ashes. And so. Nobody knew what was in them and how they got that. So that How special thing. could this guy have been to you if you lost his ashes? <laughs> I mean, really. Well, I put them up there. I don't know how he... But you're Somebody always asking them. for something. My mother died, and I was in California, and my mother was in New York. And I said, give me a sign, give me a sign. And I bought my mother a little... A lot of these things happen to me. A little um, gold uh, fish. Right. And I opened my medicine chest in California, and there was a the fish on the shelf. So she moved the fish from New York to California. Your mother. There it was. But you've never seen a ghost. Seen? No. Felt, my dogs know Mrs. Spencer comes and visits me. All right, me. Mrs. Spencer. So you have That's to him. watch the dogs to the see dogs, if he's in the room. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> they know when Mrs. Spencer's there. My God. I know. Uh, it's great. Oh, Mrs. How Spencer would... is on the air. To, uh, yes, Mrs. Wait Spencer. Wait a minute. Why not Spike? How come Spike isn't? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> there, well, he there he is. is. <laughs> I hear him. I hear him. <laughs> You are out of control. <laughs> Did you get into a fight with Victoria Beckham, Spice Girl? Or? I just dislike her so much. Well, now she's a fashion plate. She's into her appearance. Oh. I would think you would click with her. Uh, she is so... You know how we travel a lot, all of us in this mm -hmm. business? Right. And certain people, I always say, Did you... To this, the limo driver, did you like so-and-so? What? Who was the nicest person you had in the car? And it's always different people. Right. And I don't give a shit what they say. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. Very. Then I was like, so who didn't you like? And oh. hers is one of the names that constantly comes up. Oh, Posh Spice. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, the one that's married. Uh, she's just, you know when someone 
gets too much money and thinks it's entitlement, so they're nasty to the people that can't answer back. Have you met this woman? or you I just never had the... Probably she's so thin, I probably didn't see her. You dislike her because... I just like what I hear about her. You she's don't like, very yeah, rude. You've heard bad things. Uh, also, I just want to say something that uh, we should mention, which I think is a triumph for you. I thought you were one of the best things on the E! Network when you and Melissa worked together yes. there. Joan is returning as the host of the E! Fashion Police. Now, how did this You're come about? Kidding. You were fired by them? No, no, we quit. Everyone forgets. We right. quit. They That's wouldn't right. give us any money. They right. had no money. Right. And then they gave Ryan Seacrest $20 million. So right, right. So then they found some money. Yeah, I don't forget that. Huh. Yeah. But anyhow. You're not I, fucking Ted Harbin, are you? Is that no, how you got no, this? No, okay, no, right, right, go ahead. Yes. God knows because he saw. <laughs> I saw this guy die. Right. No one wants to date you now. <laughs> no one wants to date me. It's that. unlucky. But go ahead. How did you end up back on So here? they called up and they said, would you like to do the fashion police, which is the day after the Oscars? So it's not the red carpet. Thank God. Yeah. Right. So now you And they said you can tell the truth. You don't just stand there and say to poor Meryl Streep, don't you look wonderful? And then you think to yourself, oh, my God. The reason your show is terrific on there, because I always watch it, is not because whether you're into fashion or not, because you told the truth. You told the truth. For example, you said Edie Falco, for example, the woman who was on The Sopranos, you said her outfit is horrible. It's what everyone was thinking. And yet she got very angry with you. You're yeah. going to create a lot of enemies, aren't you? Yeah. You create a lot. Of en but my job isn't, my job on Fashion Police is to report what they're looking like. Right. That Drew Barrymore looked like she was fucking the, the Pillsbury Doughboy. Right. Because that's what makes it interesting. That's what's that's the That's why truth. Simon Cowell works on American Idol and these other right. people are boring. You're, you're telling the truth. Like, I'm looking at you now. You're very well put together today. you got a green leather jacket. you got this. You look good. So you have a, a sense of style, and you're going to be honest and say, boy, I watch the Academy Awards, and this woman looks like a, a bus hitter. Right. Exactly. Or this woman looks like going, you know, uh, that she was reading Vogue upside down. You know? right. And also you're on a bit of a roll. Not only did you get hired back by E. Yeah. And Melissa's you're... producing the show, which is interesting. Melissa won't be on it. She doesn't want to be on it. She wants to produce this one. Because she has her own production company. You don't want to work great. with her anymore, do you? Oh, I love working with her. Rather work with her than anybody. So didn't you say to her, I want you on the family? Yeah, and she said, I don't want to do it. I want to produce this one. We have a reality show coming on. Melissa drags you down. That's what you're, oh, yeah. That's what you're no telling way. people privately. Reality show. What is this reality show? It's called Mother uh, Knows Best. Uh huh. And it's, uh, which is true. I'm living in Melissa's house while working out there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. At least Mrs. Spencer won't be there. It'd <laughs> well, be great if Mrs. Spencer showed up. <laughs> she gets along with Mrs. Spencer. Right. Would you have Mrs. Spencer on the fashion police where she talk about what outfit she likes? Very gossiper. <laughs> what will you do? And so you will, you will do the reality show, and also your other TV show has been renewed. How'd you get so rich? How'd you get so rich? Yeah. So you're doing well. Yeah, why, thank why God. You... February, uh, uh, March, no, May 5th we you're, start. You're like a mogul. Good. Do Not, any of these shows pay you? No. Nothing. Not, you know, nothing. Is E paying you some money now? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, like, Ryan Seacrest got it all. Is it negligible money? Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. It's shit money. It's shit money. So where are you making the money? In the stand-up? And the concerts. And the jewelry? And, the and, and thank God for the jewelry. Thank God for the concerts. All right. Thank God you don't have to... Because she's got a huge overhead. Yeah. But I, but I love the... Work, Howard. Right. Love the work. Well, he, you were asking Speaking me if he was going to retire. Why don't you talk to him about this? If what you, you, don't you dare. We have to talk off privately. What do you mean? What, who wants to talk privately? Yeah. I'm not coming over there. Don't you ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You sit with Mrs. Spencer. Mrs. Spencer. Have a don't cup of tea. Don't you dare retire. Wh wh why and not? do what? Be, listen to me. You love I, what you do. I'm not like you. I don't love what I do. It's torture for me. And I've got to tell you something. I love sitting at home, Looking hanging out. Wall. I like to play <laughs> chess. I like to watch movies. I like to do these kinds of fun things. I don't need this. No, this is a big wait, headache. wait, 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 wait. You love to do those things because when you do them, they're wonderful to right. do like dessert. And listen, if I get bored in two years, I'll approach someone and say, listen, uh, I need to come back. I'm, I can't function without work. I'm going to tell you one name, Jack Parr. They can't come no, back. Jack Parr was moronic. Jack Parr finally got a show. He worked at it for a year or two when he left. That was too soon. I've done this for 30 years. And you're wonderful. Don't. I'm begging you. you don't know, do Deborah it. Deborah Norville wanted to, to quit. I said, hey, you hold on to the ladder. When they cut off your hands, you link it around with your <laughs> elbows. I don't when mean that's it. gone, it's I like Monty Python. Hold on with your teeth. I don't, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but I don't get bored. I don't have to talk to ghosts in my house. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And I mean that. 
Um, now, uh, by the way, I want to advise you. I know you're trying to sell your apartment. Don't go around telling people there's a ghost in there. That would keep me away from buying it. Yeah. Oh, Understand what I'm saying? You know who came to look at my apartment? Who? Hmm. Valentino. Ah, Valentino. He talks and sp- always says, uh, he has a dog with him. A little right. stupid dog. Right. And he's, you know, black from the suntan. <laughs> <laughs> like a horrible right, Florida right, right, bed right. Shot. And he's going like, <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't buy your apartment? No. No. <laughs> you got a beautiful apartment. Now, Robin was recently at your apartment. Yes, she was. Uh, what was the occasion? It was some book or something? I don't know, but some things are missing. <laughs> yeah, they are. What, what, what? They had hidden everything. They didn't trust this it's crowd a, It's an antique filled with antiques. I Nothing remember was that. there, Howard. They had moved everything out. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes. No. It was a cocktail party. There was no stick of furniture or She's a knickknack anywhere. I just want to know, was there, any, was, <laughs> was there any food there? Uh, yes, oh, they had past oh. hors d'oeuvres, lots of, uh, you know, champagne. Boy, was your wife would have understood what I served that time. I went You're... to the worst party at Joan's house. <laughs> the chicest hors d'oeuvres you've ever It was seen. a good cause. You know, Joan was hosting a party. She had there a woman who was dying of AIDS. It was actually very sad, but there were a lot of celebrities there. And she comes out, no food. You're drinking. They and like, hid the food. They had, they she had, was behind they, one they of had, those fake doors. They had a little sandwich with the bread cut off, <laughs> right. the, the, the ends cut off. And I'm like, what is this? Oh, this is what the Goyam do. I go, I'm not Goyam. What a crest sandwich. You yeah, yeah. Joan, was, Joan thought she was going to be Goyam. So. Speaking of Jews, I'm on a new reality show with rabbis, America's Top Moyle. <laughs> Look at you. You're on fire. Right, let's 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 review what, what you're saying here today. Let's yes. get down to the yes. plugs, which yes. turns you on. This will get you wet. <laughs> you, be prepared. See Joan Rivers host E's Fashion Police. Oscars special this Monday night, 10 o'clock on E. My prediction will be the E will incorporate her now more into their programming. This is the beginning. They would be smart to do that. That's right. They would be jo- smart to do that. But Joan's a good link with them. It's a good match. I love them. Uh, and I like your attitude You know, on everybody there. else is trying to capture that magic of the red carpet. Nobody ever did it as well. In other words, you will look at the women on the Academy Awards, and then the next day you will look at their outfits and say, good Lord, yeah. who dresses right, these who, people? Yeah. Who did it right and who, um, did, who messed it up? Yeah, and that's the fun. And you'll have yeah. a couple of gay guys sitting there with you, and they'll you comment, too. Oh, look at that dress. It's horrible. I wouldn't be caught dead in that. And we have uh, Chloe Kardashian is on, and Juliana is oh, on. Oh. So it's all good, all Jay. Right. See Joan April 8th through the 10th and April 15th through the 17th at the Venetian Showroom in Las Vegas. Yeah. All right. And let's see if Joan can get home from Vegas without getting stopped at the end. <laughs> Do they stop you in this country now? <laughs> oh, they, they stop her in every country. And don't miss Joan. At the Laurie Beachman Theater in oh. Manhattan through May. That's going to be very, very big. You can through May. Every, that's the place I work Wednesday nights. Okay. Stuff. I think I might have to go see that. Come on, fun. Well, Wednesday night's my uh, night to go to bed early. That's the problem. Well, I'm on at 8 o'clock. Oh, you are? And trust me, I'm off at 10 past 9. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> all right, I could be there. I'll bring Mrs. Spencer as my date. Uh, and uh, it's all happening for you. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. All good. You're on fire. Thank God. Yeah, and you look good. Uh, so, listen. <laughs> are we well, having anything done? Is it time for anything? Yeah, it's what's next? Barbara Walters asked me that. I said, as soon as it's time, tr- I don't know. My plastic surgeon died. I don't <laughs> Is that right? You outlived your plastic surgeon. Plastic surgeon. <laughs> the one guy left who could do something oh for you. Oh, my goodness. Um, is it true you're now painting in your free time? I always paint, yeah. I didn't Do you remember that. she yeah. went with the, the prince and, and Camilla and yeah. they were painting? See, Can you paint? Are you any no. good? I t- Howard, in 12 years of painting, not one friend has asked for a picture. No, I don't want one. No, and I'll take him into my studio, you know, in Connecticut, and it's all filled with my paintings. Nobody says, oh, can I have that? You know, it's Nobody. funny. I've had friends give me paintings, and what I do is I have a room in my house, I keep them in, and when they come, I hang them up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I, oh, don't give me, don't give me your artwork. Right. That's... And don't make jewelry for me. Do me, could you paint my bathroom? I, I would do such a job. All right, listen, Joan. You said enough. Time for your nap. I'm going to put you back in mothballs and we'll take you out when you're ready. You're on fire. I love you. You're terrific. Uh, Joan Rivers. And don't forget to go see her on E! And uh, see Joan April 8th through the 10th and April 15th through the 17th at the Venetian Showroom in Vegas. Rob and I will be flying out. I know that. And don't miss Joan at the Laurie Beachman Theater in Manhattan through May. Thanks, Joan. We'll be back right after these words. Love you. Joan Rivers is here. She's triumphant. She has her own new TV show. She just came off a Comedy Central roast where Robin agreed to take on this new role as a roaster. Very brave. She went out there, and of course, she ended up being the best roaster. Oh, Everyone come agrees. On. Stop it. And Joan Rivers has been a frequent guest on this show, but she's never been hotter.
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> there was some scene going on in that green room with Joan Rivers. Really? Gary said... Thank you, Joan. There's 50... <laughs> There's 50, 50 people. She's kissing you because I she appreciates you went out to the roast. A lot of people stiffed her and didn't show up. <laughs> yes. Hello, I mean, my John. So-called good friends. Hi, well, John. this one over there. Artie couldn't even make it. He couldn't. He didn't even know he was invited. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you, Artie? Uh, <laughs> he didn't even know. Is it embarrassing to have a roast thrown for you, and then if, if, if like, like uh, if a big the big stars don't come out, you're like, oh, for Christ's no, sake. No, what happened was, and a lot of it was, hello, I love you, you're so good. Oh, well, and she you. looked so but good. But you said Robin looked like a mudslide. What's well, wrong with you? To oh, well, say look, that? Robin called me a driver, John. I mean, let's not go there. And then you and then you said that Robin's father was um, yeah, was a yeah, nice I was man. Lucky to get any. You were lucky to get all. any action. So, it was a great joke. I mean, Robin is so beautiful, and yet you try to make it painted that yeah. she wasn't. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, now I have to defend myself. That's right. How dare you? And what about you? what Robin said to me? Well, it was all true. Come on. Oh, well, yeah. he, I brought some of the jokes I didn't say. About I Robin know. or just about Robin. everyone? Okay, let me hear. What did you, oh what did you, not, what did you hold back? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you would have said on the roast if they'd given you unlimited time. Uh, she is such a bitch. If she had been my slave, I would have called her country contender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Why did she do that one? Because... Hunter Kinte. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote some. So I That's was fantastic. kind to Robin. Why did you? Understand? Why did you hold back? Because I used to think she was a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> Worried that Robin, that would have that. leveled the place. Uh, I, she you, was so killed. good. I was so worried about it. Is she comfortable? Does she have a nice thing? Are they taking care of her with hair and makeup? Suddenly, I'm worried about Robin, and then she gets out there but, and is vicious. But people were so <laughs> cruel to you. I mean, it was terrible people were said. making fun of your plastic surgery, and I was like, Joan looks terrific. Yeah, what are they well, doing? That's when they're stupid. Right. Because they did like a thousand jokes about lips. And yeah. I've never done my lips, so yeah. that's done. But it, you know, what, the... <laughs> Good jokes should be jokes that really hit home. Robin is a true. cunt, so it's easy. <laughs> it's like another step. Uh -huh. If someone's a cunt, you call them a cunt. It's funny, yes. right? If they're not a cunt, if what's Robin funny? Was not an insult. Right. Yeah, uh, that wouldn't work if I called. Did it. you write other jokes that you held back, or is that the oh, only so one? The only ones that really broke my heart. Suzanne Summers figured it out at the last minute. Right. That she shouldn't come on. <laughs> she she tailed it out of there. What were you going to say about her? I pages. Did you? You don't have them oh. with you, do you? You what? You don't I have brought them. a few. Okay. <laughs> what, what would you have said to Suzanne Summers? Suzanne Summers. Summers. Right. Oh, here, this is still Rob. Oh, I left my Suzanne. Well, what else you got for Robin? You want to go back oh, to I don't Robin? Wanna, I don't want to hurt her anymore. My God. <laughs> Kante Kinte is enough. <laughs> Kante Kinte is just the best. <laughs> that's, one of, that's one of the best jokes I've ever heard for a roast. That's Kante right. Kante Kinte. Is he awake? Yes. Anyhow. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> but what did you? Suzanne Summers. Um, oh, it's it's amazing what I say. It's amazing what eating well and a hundred thousand dollars of plastic surgery can do. That's right. <laughs> she's uh, also she's so old to get the thigh mass between her legs. They have to sedate us. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she not show up at the because last she minute? She realized. You think that's she, what it was? She couldn't oh, she, take it. She yeah. sits there. No, seriously. And she claims it's all herbal, and maybe it is. <laughs> it's all herbal. I never do done anything you know that's her that's her stick. persona that's yeah. her stick and she knew somebody must have said suzanne do you think they're not going to say you're lying and you're this right. and you're that because that what else would you say what of else would you say about it right you so know the malibu fire we know you got insurance <laughs> <laughs> you know, <it's> an ugly house <laughs> It was a slow news day, quick, how enlightened. You would have said all of this. Yeah. yeah, and it's all allegedly, and it's fun. Right, you have a good time. Did you like being roasted? I sensed that. Now, now, now listen, you know I'm going to ask you about this. I heard you forbid anyone from talking about Melissa. No, no. Uh, again, the, cop, the, the cops get it all. The, the cops. Uh, no, what I said was she's not on the dais. Right. So she can't answer right so don't go after melissa because she has no platform to go back after you right so i said if you want to do melissa jokes do but they should be spared sparingly you love her so much that's but the it's problem. Your child and she's not and she got up and she was adorable right. and she answered back a little bit and they were funny she could t i just said it's about me i don't care you want to say i'm old you want to say i'm ugly you want to say i got plastic surgery you Fine, I'm not going to get back at all of you. You love your daughter so much. That's the problem. Yes. You know, and, and the thing is, if she's on TV with you, though, she becomes 
part of the thing. You can't have but it both ways. She, no, but she, uh, but she is a whole different angle. When we do the red carpet, right. she knows who they are. <laughs> it's already ahead of me. I'm always saying, Did you know anyone? Another blonde ass. Did you, you know, know anybody at the roast? I mean, a lot of the people. I knew yeah. uh, uh, Greg Giraldo. He's terrific, right? Yeah. Well, he doesn't talk to me. I don't know. We do uh, K Rock together. Oh. And he's very cold. He right. went to Harvard. Really? Big deal. I went to Connecticut and Barnard. <laughs> Very impressed. <laughs> he went I to love, Harvard? I didn't know that. Yeah. I yeah. love when people go to a good school and think they're the only ones that did. Yeah. And they're saying, calm down, asshole. You know, <laughs> we all did. That's right. <laughs> you have a five-minute cup key? Jingle, jangle, jingle. Right. So anyhow, uh, so I knew Greg. Uh, Jeff Ross I knew. He's funny. He's funny. Uh, Carl Reiner, I, I was worried about him. He was great. He was great. How did you get him there, Carl Reiner? Are you I, friends with him? I, I'm very friendly with Mel Brooks. Oh. And he and Mel came to see me in a play I did. And I just love, this is a man, I just wanted a different panel. Right. I didn't want the same Idiots. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. now, don't I take know, it personally. I, I know <laughs> that Lisa Lampanelli was in here. She wanted to be, she was going to be part of your role. No, roast. she wasn't. I never asked for her. She said that. She, she lied. She said that she wanted to be the roast master. And you had Kathy Griffin as the roast Yes, master. Kathy's my friend. And she said, that's it. I'm not doing it if we I'm not the roast master. All oh. due respect, right. she's very funny. If you like, I like black men jokes. I right. think she should spread a little bit. Right. Okay. <laughs> she's very, nothing wrong with Lisa Leverett. Perfectly fine. Right. Oh, wait, you just made a face. What is it? You don't think she's fine. I deny that. You do not like her. Perfectly. You're afraid of her. I Joan made a face. No, she's perfectly jo fine. Jo I know Joan's face. <laughs> Um, but I didn't ask her. Don't go around saying I was asked. Right. She was not asked. I do not know. I, and I wonder, Kathy. Kathy's my friend. I thought Kathy was brilliant. Kathy did a great job. So you job. like Kathy. Yeah. It's, it it was a Kathy. joke that you were angry with her. Oh, now. I said to her, well, you, you know, Howard, you got to make the roast different. Yes. Oh, we all go blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to go blah, 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 blah. Right. You I need said, new people. You need new blood in need, this thing. Robin would... They had never seen Robin before. So that was exciting. It was Robin exciting. Yes. Carl Reiner, it's a whole... This and a how do you feel Robin did? Robin... I thought Robin did very well. Right. She's not a comedian. Oh, don't give me that. She, you feel she, she knew is. what she was going She knew bitch. what she was doing. Oh, don't stop. Yeah, a yeah, little innocent Robin. Cunta Quinte. Oh, Cunta Quinte. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank God she didn't pull that out, Robin. Robin took a lot of hits oh, at your Oh, my rose. God. It was like, oh. I, I'm surprised that I'm up already no. from I'm... the devastation. Yeah. Are we your that... set? No, but it right. was devastation. <laughs> They really, my uh, family, my family couldn't watch the rest of it. They shouldn't. <laughs> and, and, uh, Especially so, your father. Well, he can't watch anything. He's in heaven. That's or right. hell. Whatever. Heaven. <laughs> the, uh, Robin uh, figured it was coming to her because she was the one black woman on this stage. And also Mario Cantone was the one gay guy on the stage. Yeah. And she figured, well, they're going to go after the blacks but, and the gays. But, you know, they say, here are 12 people, Joan. Write jokes around the stage. Say, okay, what can I say about... Mario, well, it's going to have to be gay. Right. Because that's easy. Right. The same way they're going to say about me. But I thought Robin looked amazing. She wore, a, see, right away, very, I'm always such a woman. She wore a great dress. Uh, yes, she did. It was very. <laughs> her legs looked divine. Right. Now, you know, so Robin. I didn't care what they said about her. She looked good. Robin was very upset at the roast because I noticed that usually she keeps a few uh, strinus hanging uh, from her hair. She always what has a. Yes. Strinus, it's an Italian word. <laughs> It's, uh, she always has a few uh, braids hanging down. And I said, Robin, why was all of your hair piled on top of your head? Yeah. She said, the car was late. My makeup and hair was not on time. She was very upset. Well, she should have told me because I had makeup and hair sitting around smoking and drinking and collecting No, checks. they didn't right. get me there, Joan. If I was there, I would have been in hair and makeup. But That's they didn't right. get me there. Well, you looked amazing. I thought I looked great. Looked I don't great. know how words are complaining. I, was <laughs> I liked how you looked, but I know you were upset and frazzled. I, it was just that I had to do everything very quickly because they got me there late. Do you think Joan did it intentionally to sabotage yes. you because yes, it was you're a beautiful woman? Yes, and hope that yes. I bombed. Yeah. Are you yes. Jealous of all the other women. Oh, that bitch. I said, <laughs> drive her around twice. All right. You, you showed her. I try to spill stuff on her dress. So when I read in People magazine that you were pissed at Kathy Griffin, uh, oh. this is all fake. Okay. The it's next a, night stick. we went out to dinner. The next night we were out to dinner together, laughing about it. Is it true that Kathy Griffin recently took you to Cher's house for yeah, dinner? Yeah, that's where we went the next night. 
Why don't I ever get invited to something yeah, cool like Kathy that? Kathy can't somewhere cool. So you know, fuck Kathy Griffin. You know, I have been so much better to her than Joan has. Anywhere. Kathy calls me up and she says, uh, we got to talk about everything last night. So I said, great, let's have dinner tonight. Great. Right. Then she calls me up about an hour before we're going to meet. She says, would you mind if we go to Cher's? And oh. I haven't seen Cher in eight years at least. Right. I said, I, fabulous. So we go to Cher's and the three of us sat around. It was great. Well, let's stop with the niceties. Yeah. Cher don't look like Cher anymore, right? Cher looks great. Stop it. I swear. Stop how it. do you I You are in better shape than Cher right now. Cher looks great. Thin as a rail, long hair. Was her son Chastity there? Oh, uh, that's we fair. never discussed that. He's a son now. I know. You know, I he's know. no longer a girl. Yeah, woof, woof, I know. Right. A lot of chastity jokes. A lot of chastity jokes. Yeah. Was, was, uh, These breasts of chastity. When yeah. you're sitting there with Cher, Chaz isn't there, is he? No, Elijah Blue was there. Elijah Blue, I know. He's a very he nice kid. What yeah. did, so, what was the big conversation? What did Cher have to we say? We talked about Michael Jackson. We all know everybody. Let we me ask you about, about Michael Jackson. Doctor. Yeah. They We're going to Brooke Shields at Michael Jackson. Good. I want to hear. I want to get to all of this, and I want to get back to chastity. But let me understand something. You're at Cher's house, and you talk about Michael Jackson, and you know about plastic surgery. They're saying now his nose was a complete prosthetic, a yes. fake nose. Yes. What do, What do you think happens when they take the nose off? If it's a plastic nose and they take it off, it looks the skin, but skin. But there's it's like it's the flat. cartilage apparently is very tender on the nose so when you've broken it a couple of times yeah that's why my very good friend Stephen Hoffman a, a, a plastic surgeon wouldn't do him after the second time would not do him do you have anything removable or or oh, well, or, just like, uh, my breast just your breath you can pull, pop out your breast which is good the size of my feet are cold I put them lower <laughs> <laughs> so when you're at Cher's house it, it, she's a very wealthy woman right is she, yes, is she yeah. a recluse now in other words she doesn't want anyone to see her they want she wants everyone to remember her as the old Cher she's, she's a wreck she goes to, excuse me she's in Vegas three months a year oh she is yes she's do and the how joke is the body? with Cher is yeah. that she keeps doing these farewell tours Right, but and then she comes back. See you next year. That's her last line of farewell tour. How is the body? Body was, I'm telling you, fucking amazing. Really? And we're sitting there having dinner. Kathy and I stuffing like pigs. And Cher, what Cher is on a cleanse. A cleanse? Uh, That's Cher like that Robin crap. Uh, the thinnest of all of us is not eating. Cleansing. She's cleansing. She can't eat. And she has a cleanser to make sure that she's cleansing. What do you mean? You're Somebody eating food. Somebody who watches her? A woman in the house that makes the drinks. Yeah. That that Robin has that. <laughs> Dr. Ronnie. Oh, I want the name. Oh, yeah. Because yeah? I, have, I have to get rid I'm 10 pounds up. Oh, should... Dr. Ronnie will move right in with you. She'll Dr. Just stay with you for 12, 21 days. Is she and moved clean ro- you out. She moved right in with Robin. Anima's going on. Don't ask what was going uh, on uh, in that place. Dr. Ronnie. Dr. Ronnie, she's coming <laughs> to you now. <laughs> You're telling me, what does Cher serve you? I would like to know what goes it on. Was de- I'm no celebrities you, ever uh, hang with me. We sat upstairs in her bedroom overlooking the ocean. Three Look girls. This. In the bedroom. Off, kicked off our shoes. It was great. And we. What, what do you mean? Now, Joan didn't call me to go to Cher. She was. Oh, yeah. have oh, dinner oh, with he, me. You know, Come and have dinner all, with me. Suddenly, it's all about poor Robin. <laughs> Why did I'm you. So, she got a private fucking plane to take her home. I had to take a bus. Why do you. What do you mean? She had a private plane to take her <laughs> they home? They took her home. In a, that she Is doesn't that true? Say, yeah. See, I, by yourself? See? Yeah. Yes. Waste yes. of gas to do that, Robin. <laughs> yes. Um, what, why do you, what do you mean you're in Cher's bedroom? We went upstairs to her bedroom, and we, we were just going to have a girl night. And she has this beautiful bedroom with lounges. And we kicked off our shoes, sat on the lounges, drank wine. And who and, serves the food? Wait, uh, waiters? A very nice woman came up and brought us on trays. Oh, my God, was, the wealth. It was just love. Is and it we, everyone in nightgowns? Uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's not a slumber party. It was just... What Cher wear to uh, that? Jeans. And, and Kathy who, wore a pretty little skirt. And, of course, you know, I'm dressed up like a whore. I'm always looking. Yeah, you're always, you're always thinking you're going to meet someone. And it was like, nobody get dressed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well. And you and you sit there in the bedroom. And we talk. It was great. What I did you adore eat? her. What did she serve? Because you're the um, worst. When I went over to your house, you didn't serve anything. Oh, well. I, we the had, one time I got invited to a celebrity's home, you oh, served little shitty sandwiches. You know, it was so elegant. She <laughs> just Watercress. Crest. Into it Watercress. Watercress. Yeah. It was a white bread with no crust. Yeah. Watercress sandwiches. They, they had a little green horrible. stuff in the Thank middle. Mayonnaise. I said one was, person's going to serve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was Joan trying to remove her Jewishness. No crust on the bread. Oh, this is how I blame Trump eats. I'm like, listen, give me a fucking sandwich and put the crust we're, on we're it. We're having tea. We're like, tea? I'm hungry. <laughs> tea and, and petty for us.
I couldn't believe what happened with that. You serve more food now, I hope. No, no I have no friends right. now. They're all dead. <laughs> so you, you go up to Cher's bedroom, you, and, and you sit there and talk. Boy, you got the life, huh? That, it that's was guy, Most of us will never Wait, get to do I'll that. I'll tell you a day. Yeah. All right. In the morning, I did all. Uh, we had just premiered uh, "How'd You Get So Rich," my new show on TV Land Wednesday nights, doing great. How'd okay. you get so rich and Wednesday they had nights? And sent me flowers, right, to congratulate me. So yeah. roses come into the house. Right. Then I go to lunch with Nancy Reagan. Wow. Oh my, this is my day. Nancy then, Reagan hangs out with you. I adore her. Then I go. How did you come network with her? Look at what I'll she's done. You, th listen to this day. Then I go to Madame Tussauds. And I unveil a statue I'm between Obama and Marilyn Monroe. You are a wax museum now. Right. And then, right. Well, we know that. <laughs> and then, Did anyone accidentally pick you up and stick you into the, into the museum? You can tell it's not me because everything's in the right place. Well, this is pretty heavy And then stuff. I go to shares that night, and right. I got into bed, and I thought, my life Ain't is so good. Yeah, when you're with Nancy bad. Reagan, can she be fun her. and loose? Yes. Did, she's adorable. Is she getting laid at all? I don't ask her that. She, Why? Because she's the president's wife. But she is, fu I could see when the men adored her. You forget she started out as an actress and she right. dated Clark Gable. She looks good, right? She looks great and she gets it and we just I wonder laugh if she's gotten Google. bangs since Ronald Reagan. I bet she, you want to know something? I bet she didn't. I bet. Didn't? She, no. I was, she still talks about Ronnie. Wow. It was like really the love of her life. Yeah. She can't but, get over it. But we talk about it. Every all the guy, I told her all about the roast. You know, we talked talk right. about everything. I didn't give her the Kante Kinte joke, no. but I give her. You didn't tell her that could, joke. She would have had a good laugh. I think I'd give her what she could have. You would never say cunt to uh, Nancy Reagan, though, right? You'd be embarrassed. I probably would say c word. Right. Did she Robin's... probably thinks the roast lasted five minutes. What could you tell her from that crazy? <laughs> did, roast? did Robin's name come up at all during the uh, conversation? Should I hurt Robin very much. <laughs> Not at all. No, you didn't mention it. Once Nancy tried to bring it up, I, I moved to another subject. Right. So that's a very Heady day, and, that was a good day. and yeah. when do you, and when do you leave Cher's house? Do you stay there all night? We stay. We talked about again Michael Jackson. We know Dr. Arnie Klein. We know all these things. We Arnie Klein is his uh, dermatologist. The, the, the dermatologist. That they right. think allegedly fathered the kid. Fathered yeah. the kid. Fathered the kid. Nice uh, man. You like I him? Do, yes, and a great dermatologist. Right. All right. We well, all they, went to him. You right. know, I mean, in California. If you had something to say, oh, go to Arnie. He's great. And he was great. Right. He would so, do anything for you, including give you a sperm. I, I, now, now I find this out. I like Melissa it. Melissa could have had three other kids. You, you would have liked a little of that sperm. Yeah. So you... How so, do you know Melissa isn't his? I, I bet you uh, Melissa's Arnie Klein's kid. <laughs> Maybe all the kids in Hollywood. Half of Beverly Arnie Hills. All right. So now you're telling me that you uh, go to Cher's house yes. and you begin to discuss Michael Jackson. Does Cher say anything about this? We all talked about it. What did you say What about do you it? know? What did what she do you know? know? You I don't know anything I think the about whole it. thing was disgusting. I think the whole outpoint of grief. Man was a convicted. Convicted what? Uh, not convicted. He gave the first boy. See, we all had the same manager. There was another boy that got $25 million check. Right. Yeah. You don't give that to somebody because you shook their hand. Right, right. So... I can I can say. Would you send? Would you send a six-year-old boy to stay overnight with Michael Jackson? No. No, oh, there's your answer. So, so what let's all calm say? down. Share no. agree. So we're all talking about the stupidity of this great outpouring of, of major grief. Well, what about... how does uh, Brooke Shields wind up well, there to remember him? According to somebody at that place, Brooke had gone on five arranged dates with him in 1993. And my joke is, last time she saw him, he was black. She hasn't seen him since 1993. You don't think she was really uh, in a love affair with uh, Michael Jackson? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you don't think and that I she was really that his lover? I was not angry at Brooke, because I get it. I mean, she got into national television. I was pissed that I didn't think of it. Right. I was you so have gone upset out that I didn't think Michael would speak to me every night. her tears were not genuine when she was giving the speech for Michael I Jackson? I had to be genuine because She's a terrible actress. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Brooke, but I don't get what that was all about. Maybe well, let me she tell was, you something. You're you know, very, sedative. You're very, very honest. By the way, I should mention Joan Rivers has a new TV show. I, I'm, I'm doing very well. How'd you get so rich Wednesday nights at 10 o'clock on TV land? In other words, she'll go up to people's doors, knock on them, and say, Listen, you got some house here. How'd you get yeah, so rich? And where'd the money come from? And they I, let us in. And I like learning about how people uh, make all this money. I always wonder that when you drive drive by these houses well, you know you living in them you, we all tour well not it used to go out yeah. and you're in the middle of somewhere near north dakota and there's a house the size of china and you go 
Who is that? Right, and these aren't people who are super, like like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. You know how they got rich. Selling like, children. Is, what is going on? Do you think they're happy in their marriage? Oh, I think first of all, he's, they claim allegedly he's so stoned he doesn't know where he is. Who claimed that? Everybody says really? he just. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna, allegedly, I've never I heard know. that. I've well, heard we that have heard, heard that. That he's stoned? All we the time. heard that he's a big pothead. Really? Yes. I didn't oh, know thank that. Thank you. Yes. Every time you talk about him, that's what they tell me. But do you think that's a happy marriage? I mean, she's the most beautiful woman in the world, but I would imagine with yeah, all those kids. Sure. Oh, she is. Yeah, a little tiny thing. Is she? And, and with all those children, I would imagine it's kind of hard okay, to be romantic. How that house must smell. They all have <laughs> different kind of food. <laughs> First of all, you know, this one comes from Asia. It's got to have, you know, baked dog. And this one is from Africa. It's got to have never cow adopt, poo. Don't you think and that's this sweet? this one is from Scandinavia. It's got to eat, you know, meatloaf wrapped in snow. See, I See, I admire meatloaf wrapped in snow. I don't know, but they all have these horrible foods. I uh, I find this admirable that she would take care of all these kids who I, are... I heard she's thinking of taking on more. Good. She ought to call up Octomom. They can get, never mind the old lady who lives in a shoe, get two shoes. Imagine Octomom. You're not a fan of Octomom. I know that. I think she should be put away. And what do you think of and this? And I think and, and, uh, she put should be away. sterilized. What do you th I agree. And I'm what, sorry. And what do you think about this? Um, do you watch this? I don't know these two, Kate and John. John and Kate plus eight. John no. and Kate plus eight. I think. You watch that show? Never. Me neither. I don't even never. know who they are. But, you know, when she comes out, boo I think when you have eight children, call me stupid, it's no longer about you. Right. I think you've got eight kids. Get the fuck out of here. Go home and take care of your kids. He should and return. He, he too. I'm a young guy. You should have worn a condom. Right. Right. You're making a lot of sense. You know that wasn't from any condom load. Oh, I know. But we, we... <laughs> hey, by the way, I defended you. I heard a clip. You were doing, I don't know what you were promoting. Maybe you were promoting uh, How'd, How'd You, you get, get So Rich. rich? Yeah. So you're doing these interviews on these TV shows where you're on a satellite. I played this on the air and I defended you. I thought it was totally out of line. You, uh, you're you on there, and all of a sudden the anchorman, the bubble-headed anchorman, tries to be funny. I guess he cracked a joke about Melissa. But a out of like line a, joke. Out of line. And you said fuck right on the air. I didn't mean to. Yeah. I was so angry. It was. A, Should was I play call? the clip? And then you'll explain? Yeah. Let's yeah. play the clip and then you'll explain. All right. Here is Joan. She's doing a promotion. And see if you agree with me. I think Joan was within her rights to go oh, crazy. Oh, they're under. lucky to get Joan as a guest. That's right. Listen to this. I defended Joan on this. I perform all over the United States. And I'll go for a drive outside of God knows where, you know, St. Paul, Minnesota. And you say, look at that big house. How they get so rich? <laughs> so we now stop and we ring the bell and we ask them. And then we go in and we see what they spent the money on and how much, how much each thing costs. Yeah. Did you ever run up to someone and say, Hey, how did you get so rich? And the woman said, by riding on my mom's coattails. And you said, Melissa, this oh, is my yeah. show. I what are you doing? So. And I think we're going to end the interview right now. Oh. Don't get so fucking smart. Oh. Oh, we'll apologize for Joan's uh, language right there at oh. the end. You're just trying to be funny with her. And I had no idea that she would do that. We apologize for that funny, this morning. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Wow, I did not expect her to go there at all. I was just goofing around. Well, from there to the complete opposite end of the spectrum, we're just giving away some uh, fun a little bit later on, first of all, but first you're gonna we gotta choose a kid to go to Hollywood. As I said, this is a straight newscast, and the bubble-headed anchor man has never said it. Anchor yeah, people he's never cannot ad lib for anyone. Anything. And it was a, it really was a, it was out of left field. It was, wasn't was, that kind of thing. I was tired. Right. It was uh, it was totally inappropriate right. and enough. Right. Just enough. I agree with you on and this. And I don't know who you are, and this is, uh, I'm sitting here being nice on your stupid show in Sacramento. You right. Know, wow, look where I am. Right. Yeah. Plus, the guy's and, not funny. He's not right. a funny guy. Right. And, He's uh, annoying. And I, I'm sorry for him because I'm sure, but what upset me the most, I said, and I shouldn't have said fuck, I, said, I, I just said, that's it, I'm, I'm fucking out of here. Right. But, that they apologize for me? Yeah, right. that's the yeah. kicker. Are you out of your mind? What about what he said? I think when someone comes in, except on this show, they are a guest. <laughs> you should treat them with respect. <laughs> <laughs> We've yet to treat anyone with respect. Um, you know what you get here. <laughs> yeah, by the way, uh, I don't know why I brought it up on this show. <laughs> you know, I know Joan's spoken to me about this before, but I cannot wait for this new Jay Leno show to bomb. Oh. I know. Oh, uh, you and me, huh? Jay never puts you on the Tonight Show. Ever. Ever. 
you were you were a one time host of that show and certainly you're relevant. I mean, I understand when people get they're not relevant anymore. You're out there, you're on television, you're a celebrity. Why are you carrying on this right. Johnny Carson feud? I don't, Johnny didn't even like him. Because I think that's where he stopped, Jay. Uh-huh. Right. That's where the show stopped. How bad is this going to bomb in prime time? I don't know. I think it's good because, as I said before, the uh, the uh, the Midwesterners will be able to go to sleep earlier because he makes your toes <laughs> off. So it's all good. So lights will go off, and that's good for the planet. So uh, it'll be green. It's a good green thing. Well, let me tell NBC you. NBC is being green for us. You know, after Jay Leno, you know, they, they have a little disclaimer at the end of the show. Yeah. It says, uh, do not drive car or operate heavy machinery. <laughs> watch the show. It's like a Valium. <laughs> so what do you, so are you lonely? Uh, not lonely. See, you're asking. No. Are I, you lonely? Uh, Melissa is out in California. And with Cooper. And, and I see them a lot. Yeah, a lot, you but know, you're mostly here. You know, it was very here. charming because when I was talking to Joan about maybe getting together, the one night I had free, she says, I promised my grandson that I was doing something with him tonight. And I was like, isn't that sweet? Robin, do you yeah. believe that? Oh, you think she didn't want to be with She doesn't want to be with you. Oh, she accepted it, but come up with an excuse for <laughs> Grandson lives in California. What is she we doing? We were in, in California. California. I called oh, her up, oh, and then oh, I yeah. gave you the next And the that next was her night share is night. Shares night. Nah, next night. And you night. were gone. That same oh, night was right. Shares night. Uh, yeah, probably. No, the, That's next, right. the day after was Shares. Yeah. She blew you off for Share. <laughs> Oh, I blew her off just hoping they didn't like me. You know what kills me? We're going to turn off the microphones when you leave here, and you're going to turn to me, and you're going to go, Oh, that's Cher. Oh, oh. I look like a bomb header. Yeah, no. I mean, I know you're, I know, I, <laughs> you're afraid she to tell me the truth. great. I heard what was going on in our green room. You've got an entourage with you today. Because I'm going down to QVC. I know. You've got people. They said at one point, Joan has her hand out. Someone's doing her nails. She's, <laughs> and, and you were stuffing it. She is in, a diva. And, but I was shocked. Joan was stuffing in Klondike bars. Really? Yeah, wow. Aren't those the that best? That is shocking. They better send me some. They are fabulous. But I just like the plain one. I like the original. That's the original. Twenty-five percent more chocolatey. And oh. we, are they your sponsor? Yes, and we have a. They, they they gave us a whole freezer full of them. I went nuts. I heard you went bizarre. Yes, and you're very controlled about your eating. Not when it comes to she was the one who used to go to a party and suck on one lifesaver. Yeah. you're eating Klondike bar. For, for breakfast, you ate a Klondike bar. Delicious. You've got the eating habits of Artie Lang. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's but just... I'm awake. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, he slept through the whole. Show. I know. You're goddamn right, he did. Believe uh, me, we've seen that. Many days. My boy needs his rest. I'm not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask if you're lonely because I, I would imagine at the end of a full day, you go home to your own apartment. Yes. You don't really have anyone around. You don't have a man anymore. No, it, it, very sad. It's sad, right? It's sad at this point in your life. Do you and ever also, say to at yourself, this age, I'm scared to lie down. Did you ever wish? <laughs> did you ever say, God, why didn't you take me already? Oh, oh no. Stupid. In other words, when you're very lonely, do you? Oh, are you no. one of those? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Here you. Well, I and don't then know. I'm asking. I try on a Valentino dress. Yes. And I put up my, <laughs> you parade around the house. <laughs> my Stuart Weissman shoes. And I feel better. Are you downsizing? You told me you were going to sell your apartment. I'd like to sell my apartment to a very rich Russian. Right. And then I'd like to move into a hotel. Right. Really? And then have a house in California hmm. and, and keep my house in Connecticut. That would be the things. move. That would be that the would thing be, to do. So that would be three ways. All right, I listen. See. Joan has a, a list of plugs here. It's going to take me a while to slot Yeah, I'll help you. All right. See Joan Rivers on How'd You Get So Rich Wednesday nights at 10 o'clock on TV Land. That's yes. number one. See Joan in September at the Laurie Beachman Theater in Manhattan. Oh. Where is the Laurie Beachman it's Theater? It's great. It holds 100 people. I just did it the last two nights. Who is yeah. Laurie Beachman? We don't know. Some whore. Some whore. <laughs> oh. I don't know. You're Who making knows? a joke, of course. Let's, of help. Let's save your lawsuit. Allegedly. You have no... oh, she could be alive. Allegedly. She couldn't she be alive. You have no idea who it is. <laughs> no idea. Right, right, right. But um, also... Um, by the way, th- I'll be at the Venetian in, in, uh, in it, Las Vegas. Vegas. I read in the paper, is it true you want $25 million for your apartment? Yeah. $25 million. It's a yes. beautiful place. Wow. You it's remember it. Roof, you, I own the roof. I own three You floors. own the roof. Yeah. In other words, not only can, from in Manhattan, this is very valuable, you can walk up the stairs and, and, go s- and out. hang out. I have the yes. entire roof rights. And, how, and what, how many floors you got on that? Three. Three. I'm looking for. It's How not worth feet? 25 million to a lot of people. It's got 26 foot ceilings. Wow. It's got boiserie. Right, there's gonna go. Somebody's gonna what walk is boiserie? in. That means all that beautiful carving on the walls. Right. Oh, and uh, it's in good shape. Doesn't look like an old person's apartment. No, right. I keep it right up to date. Okay. And uh, and somebody's gonna walk around and go. Yeah, this reminds me of the czar's 
Palace. What, and you got a good view there, or what? I got the view of the park. You view the park? Twenty. I have two terraces. It's an amazing apartment if that's what you want. It's an old ball. Co-op or condo? Co-op. So, so if somebody, how did you get it? So if some, yeah, how did they I let you condo. in? Oh, oh, condo. Oh, condo. Oh, I can yeah, never, you get, could into never get into a co-op. <laughs> never. Who's looking for about? you? No, <laughs> 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 they wouldn't even let me pass the doorman. <laughs> Why can't you get into a co-op? You're a classy lady. Oh, you, yeah, you're right. friends with royalty and share. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even. Hmm. When I came to New York, I didn't know the difference. This is right. how stupid I was. Because right. Edgar just killed him, so I just wanted to get an apartment. And I just saw this and said, "This is great." How much did you pay for the apartment? I don't remember, but trust me, not 25 million. <laughs> trust me. All right. Also, for dates and tickets, you go to spincyclenyc.com slash Joan Rivers for all this stuff going on at the Lori Beachman Theater. Yeah. And you can see Joan August 27th through the 29th and September 3rd through the 5th at the Venetian Showroom in Las Vegas. Yeah, that first That's time back in 10 years. How many people see you in Vegas? Like, how, how big is I don't room? know, but uh, again, Cooper's coming with Melissa. Ah, right. And in the middle, we're going to a dude ranch. And, oh, don't care. and you don't get uh, scared going up in front of that many people. You're so used to it. It's like oh, a day in the park. How it's easy. She you do it. a joke and 3,000 3, people laugh. It's great. You love it. It's now, great. you know what we it's didn't talk yeah. about? Yeah. Cher said one thing. I just said, because sure, I know. Sure. Cher, we were sitting there at night and we were talking about retiring and all that stuff. Because yeah. she and I go back to Sunny and Cher days. We have the same managers. So we really go back forever. Yeah. I have pictures of Chastity and Melissa as babies. Yeah. Right. So um, she said to me, we're performers. We perform. She didn't and get I tired thought, of it. It's that's and I said that's what I I'm a performer. I perform. Melissa's currently single. Would, uh, has, yeah. Would has, you ever set up Melissa with Chaz, Cher's new son? Uh, no, because Melissa likes him more athletic. <laughs> <laughs> what did Cher say about this whole sex change of I, Chaz? I, I'm I, against it, by the way. Oh, oh uh, you know, son Howard, she what? Yeah. Oh, Howard. If, I don't if like you it. Know our hands. How fast did life Cher, goes. Did Cher say what the penis, the new penis, is going to look like? Because how do they make a penis for Chaz? I sold to Edgar's. Do you know anything about this? No, I didn't. You I, sold her Edgar's uh, dead penis, yeah. and you're going to revive I kept it? Kept this <laughs> I've been living on them during the slower period. <laughs> Joan, I'm being serious. What I heard about Larry this operation... Larry Hackman got his liver. <laughs> <laughs> what I heard about this operation is that, you know, they can, they can cut off a man's penis and make it into a vagina. Right. But in order to make a woman into a man... What they do is they take the clitoris. You know what that yes. is. Well, I used to. <laughs> right. They take the clitoris and they stretch it ah. so that it looks like a penis. Well, that's the middle. Yeah, but it's a clitoris. Who cares uh, if uh, she's happy? But I understand that. But this is not going to satisfy Chaz, and this is not She's been you know? miserable all this time. And you, if I, she's going to be able to look at her body yeah. and look in the mirror yeah. and say, I've got a penis, that's great. Now, is Cher calling Chaz Chaz? Or, I, she always called it Chaz, I think. And, and, and is she accepting Chaz as her son? Totally. Oh, that's so, hey, come here, son. And she probably said, come here. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen her in six years or seven years. Uh, but she's a very grounded woman. And so, so, so Cher was... What are you going to do? What if your, one of your daughters did it to you? You would say, I love my daughter, and of that's course. it. Of course. What about you dating Chaz? Would you ever date I him? I don't like young men. You don't. I like you young want young an older <laughs> guy. If, if it happened to like <laughs> to Sonny, maybe. You've never dated a woman who had her clitoris stretched into I've a penis? I've never dated a woman. <laughs> okay. Let but, me ask something, though. You know, there were some glaring omissions on the day, as that we pointed out. When, uh, like David Brenner. Why wasn't he there? I asked for him. I don't think David could do it. Oh, okay. You uh, mean physically I, he's I, not I, funny enough? Or I, you, I, you, I, you give him the... You give them the, the list and they choose. Lily was going to do it. Lily Tomlin. Tomlin. I was yeah. so excited. Yeah. Well, are you good friends with her? Yeah. Lily Tomlin. I, we go back to the village. You Why know, didn't she point, do it? What's her problem? She was going. She accepted. Go ahead. And then she thought about it and she said, and it's, it's just not my thing. She's not a roaster. She, she doesn't want to get up and say mean and things about it. So she called me roasted. and she yeah. said, I yeah. love the roast. Right. I also loved your new show, How Did You Get So Rich, Joan, that's on 10 o'clock <laughs> <Right>. on, <laughs> on TV. Land. But she said, I loved the roast. And she said, but I think I was right not doing it. Someone and I, I called her back and said, absolutely right. Do you think you're getting angrier as you get older? Because someone told me you smacked a guy across the face backstage at the roast. Oh, oh. Is that no, true? No, We did it. What? Viral video. Viral? We said, let's see if we could send something out. So we did a whole thing. It was a goof. It's a, but people are writing me. Like, 
First of all, I say, I need a drink, and Jocelyn, my assistant, says, it's not noon yet. And then I get very angry, and then we have somebody come over, and I slap him. Right. And then I bit somebody's leg. Now, if you don't think... So it was a joke. It's a joke. Now, okay. I'm getting letters. People are mad at you. Mad. Look yeah. up, I guess, Joan Rivers drunk. Or something. Uh, say, typical drunken behavior. The guy should sue her for biting his leg. He goes, it's a joke. What is this thing now? Uh, the most shocking news in show business, and I need your comment on this, okay. and you haven't commented anywhere else. <laughs> Ivanka Trump is becoming Jewish. Yes. This must be sending shockwaves through the world, uh, especially the world of society. And you talk to Donald Trump. Yeah. Yes. What, what, do you, what do you make of this? She's he's, madly in love with him. But he's got to be destroyed, uh, Donald Trump. This has got to be the worst nightmare ever. No, probably the worst nightmare ever was being married to Ivana. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is this is not as bad as that. No. All right. Listen, Joan, everybody oh, loves your new show. Love How'd you it. get so rich? We know that it's a big hit. You don't have to brag about it. Uh, if you can is... find TV Land, and it's worth finding. I'm still gonna I'm gonna find TV Land eventually. Yeah. I'll see you one of these days on there. <laughs> uh, that's Wednesday night. It's ten o'clock on TV Land. And don't forget to go see Joan in September at the uh, Laurie Beachman Theater in Manhattan. And as I said, you can go to this uh, website, spincyclenyc.com slash Joan Rivers, get tickets, and go see Joan August 27th through the 29th, and September 3rd through the 5th at the Venetian Showroom in Las Vegas. And for tickets, go to venetian.com. You know I love you. I love you so much. And it's like therapy coming of here. course it is these other shows they don't know what they're doing can't say anything you can't say anything i keep your mouth can't even say kante kinte no, can't say <laughs> kante. <laughs> All right. we'll uh be back right after these words joan rivers everybody the great joan rivers joan rivers is here i always like when she stops by uh last time joan was here i uh, there she is that's joan rivers get on that sibian <laughs> she was over there you. Get on the Sibian now, and you know you I, want it. I'm not... Ugh, ugh. She I'm, wasn't on that couch. Yeah, I don't believe you. I swear to God. What is she yeah. doing? Putting down a towel? Yes. <laughs> yes. Joan thinks the girl was on the couch. Yes. She wasn't. So she was never on the couch. No. Yeah. Easy for you, Miss Whiny. <laughs> what do you mean, Miss Whiny? Eight hundred wine. Oh, you're well, listening? Listen. They, I went to Danielle last night. They were laughing. They <laughs> laughed at me. They were, no, they were laughing. They, they were laughing. You no, know, they thanked her. They had decanted. All you would never order eight hundred dollar wine, would you? I mean, that, that's a lot of money for wine. I I, I order Manus Chef. It's like a right. fruity. Right. <laughs> what is uh? Go, speaking of money, you know, last time you were in here, it was oh. embarrassing. I, t you know, you made such a big deal. Did Howard get my wedding gift? Did Howard get the wedding yeah. gift? Are you sure? And then we found that it was five hundred dollars. Which I sent you another one. You did? Yeah. Oh, you know, yes. No. I doubled what do you the mean? I, I doubled did? the gift. Yes. You, we embarrassed you yes, so badly. You embarrassed you so, I doubled it. Yeah, well, that was in the habit of doing that. Yes, yes. See, I embarrassed Robin evil. yesterday. Now I'm embarrassing you. <laughs> now that she's my best, doesn't have to write thank you notes anymore. Rob, Rob wait a second. All That's changed. all right. She's thank you notes. Thank you we knows. did not get a second five hundred from you. I swear to you. I'm going to go check it. I swear. As far to as you. I know, I'm going to call Beth and find out about I, I'm you. Calling I'm calling Jocelyn, my assistant, because that went out the same day. I'm, I'm doing a full investigation. Well, on now you. you better triple it. <laughs> this kid, this is it true? I read here that you have osteoporosis now. Isn't what that? Is this? You, are you getting brittle? <laughs> what is Don't going make on? Me what is, osteoporosis? My hands will snap. <laughs> what is osteoporosis? I don't know, but I'm national chairwoman. <laughs> Are you the chairwoman? Do yeah. you have that? Isn't that where you get no. a, a humpback or something? You get Well, you can't tell because I wear a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. It covers it up. <laughs> Isn't osteoporosis where you, when you get to be old? Brittle bones. You get brittle bones. Yeah, but it happens. I can't believe what's it, happening to you. <laughs> I can't even believe no, it. No, you've no, you no. lived too long. No. 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 John, it's time to lay down. No. It's time. You, you know, there's like a time Melissa. to there's a time to sow and there's a time to reap or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it was the I say, she says, "How are you?" I go, "Fine." You get like a pause. <laughs> Darn. And then you go. Good. <laughs> the longer you live, the less inheritance for Melissa. That's why she's afraid every right. day. But everything that you own will go to Melissa, yeah. right? Is Mom, that, I mean, when you walk on the street, remember, look up and down. <laughs> right. Always check. But now you've written two books, and of course, now you, you hit into something. You wrote about plastic surgery, which is something you know about. You First of all, you wrote, Men are Stupid and They Like Big Boobs. That's my plastic surgery and, book. And on the cover of the I book... I love the cover. <laughs> you are in a low-cut top, and they've obviously photoshopped in gigantic D-cut boobs. Get you. It's very funny. And you know what? You look good like that. <laughs> yes. If I looked like that, I wouldn't be sitting here at this age trying you, to make you laugh. <laughs> you claim in your new book... 
that you've done over eighty thousand dollars worth of plastic surgery. Probably. That sounds low to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like you got off cheap. But uh, you, you, you even, I don't know if you ever told me you had breast reduction. Bre well, I wouldn't tell, not on this show. Right. You but had breast reduction? Breast reduction. Wow. So did Robin. Hit, yeah, when I hit on the Carson show, uh -huh. uh, I, they were sending me all these great dresses, and I had these big Jew breasts. <laughs> you had big Jew breasts? <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> but they weren't attractive. I mean, they would hit my knee. I'm just, it was wrong. You had floppy big tits. I had grandma tits. How, how big were the tits in the bra? Uh, oh, just uh, like C's, 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 and they would sag and have stretch marks. A little bit, yeah. After all, and the nipples were gross. No, the no, nipples they were, were always, nice. I'll show no perky. Show fact. me your nipples so no, I can see what they look like. Show after you. that, girl, <laughs> let me see what they look like. You have to wave my Christmas card. <laughs> so you, you, they go in and don't you now? You know, Robin had this reduction, and yes. she said the surgeon was so good that there were no marks whatsoever no. on her. You have nothing. No, that was years ago. Now, mm -hmm. what about a tummy tuck? Don't you have a big, like, pink belt around your waist from no. the tummy tuck? No, you had a tummy tuck? I had a hysterectomy. In those days, this goes back 15 years ago, they didn't, they just said, all right, you got to have a hysterectomy. So I had right. a hysterectomy. And That's I where thought, they take out all your female stuff. Yeah. Right. And then they said to me, uh, and I thought, if they're going to close me up, let me get, if you're going to sew anyhow, let's get a plastic surgeon to do it. Which right. is all in this book. Right, you should. If Men are stupid like that. big You it's told Gary book. when his wife had a baby, I remember you leaned into him and you said, as long as she's in the hospital, have her get a tummy tuck r immediately. Yes. While she's under. Almost like right after she gives the baby, okay. right, boom, go right into the tummy tuck. Because they're going to have to sew. She had a hysterectomy. She had yeah. a uh, cesarean. cesarean. They're right. going to sew you up anyhow. So sew you up. Tired. But don't these tummy tucks leave a big scar around your nothing, waist? Nothing. Are nothing. Your waist? Yes. You're no, talking it, about people who are having extra skin removed because they've been That's what I'm talking removed. about. No, what do you no. think a tummy a tuck tummy is? A tummy tuck is a tummy tuck. That's, they just they like remove tuck the extra at the skin. bottom. They remove the extra skin. But, but it's not it, all around her waist. It's no, not. it's very little. But they just tighten it up. And it was fabulous. I was the only woman that wasn't... All the other women were going, boo, 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 I'm not going to have any more babies. And I was going, I'll be out in the bikini in two weeks. No scar, huh? Wow. So you are a plastic surgery expert. That's why they hired you to write this book. And it's a serious book to told with humor. But any procedure you want to know about is in here. You want to know something? Do you give specific doctors that you recommend? Yes. Because, I tell you how to get a good doctor. Because everyone I know goes up to Joan Rivers and goes, listen, I'm thinking of getting some plastic yeah. surgery. Who do I go to? Who do you go to? What do I do? What do I do? I, I went to get my schnoz fixed. Like, who do you go to? Who do you go to? Who do you go to? And who do they ask? Joan Rivers, because she's a whole, you know, macher. She's on a this. whore. She's a whore. She's a total <laughs> slut. <laughs> Filthy tramp. Pla who, plastic uh, surgery whore. You are a plastic surgery whore. So the whore. book is doing great. And then I but there's something troubling me about plastic surgery with you, what you did to your daughter. You forced your daughter to get a nose job at the age of 18. She didn't even want one, and you made her get it. A little sliver, yeah. Made well, you did her a favor. Why did you but, do that? Because she, did, she, she didn't have She had my old nose, which was a little too thick. Right. So I had but a, she didn't mind it. Oh, too bad. <laughs> you were embarrassed. You didn't like looking at your yeah, own mouth. Howard, your children are growing up. Yes. Who's smart? Are you or your kids? <laughs> My kids. Oh, well, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to say anything. <laughs> you know? My kids tame me. They punish him. Yeah, they're like, what did you say? Yeah. I get yelled at by my kids. So yeah. the point is, you know, first of all, I had a miracle in my life. My kids all have beautiful noses. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like they don't even need issue. I had money socked away for their nose job. <laughs> and they didn't uh, they Based don't need on... it. Beautiful little yeah. noses. Are you sure you're not a parent that thinks your children are beautiful? Uh no. You know I'm these parents? My yes. I've I, had women go, that have come up to me and said to me, my daughter looks just like Nicole Kidman. Wait till you see her. And in walks like Nicole Kidman after an accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think my kid, now maybe I'm wrong, but I think my daughters are very good looking girls. They've always she had boyfriends be. and they, you know, and I always told them growing up, most important, not school, look good. Yes. Always look your look best. So your you, best. you and I are very shallow. Yeah, very yeah. shallow. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, uh, I am the shock though that your daughter said I don't want a nose job, and you made her get one. But maybe uh, that's the way it's gonna oh, be. Oh, you know, too bad. She's gonna get the money. She can fix it back then. Right. And you. But do you recommend other plastic surgery to her now? Is she still being forced under the no, knife? No. I think she had her boobs done. The daughter. Yeah. 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 Didn't no, she? No. She no. did. No. You're probably not allowed to say. No. 
I know, I would. She's an, she's everything I'm not. You know, she's anti what she I do. She got the big boobs. She got good boobs. Well, Edgar had big boobs. And Edgar's mother had good boobs. That's right. And then Edgar, of course, had huge. Boobs. When your daughter, <laughs> do you recommend in the book that when the daughter doesn't want to get plastic surgery and you know she needs it, do you do you punish her? Do you ground her till she gets her plastic surgery? Or do you no, have she her? She can do anything she wants in and her room. Rufy. Yes, <laughs> in other words, her nose embarrassed you is what you're saying. Uh, she, I just thought she'd look a lot prettier. Right. If she slimmed it a little. Pretty is important. Pretty is everything. Everything. Just everything. Yes. Just the, I'm sorry. All right. Yes. So what would have happened it. to uh, that, yeah. her if she had kept that old nose? Nothing. She'd probably be a librarian somewhere. Very <laughs> happy. She wouldn't have married that guy. <laughs> now, let me understand something. <laughs> let me understand something. When you say pretty is everything, you speak from experience. You're a woman. You've been yeah. around. You, you know, and that's a very, uh, shall we say, not a popular thing to say in the women's movement and this and that kind of thing. But the fact of the matter is, you're saying the truth. And looks no, are everything. Looks and youth. Yes. And I remember this every time I'm in an airplane in first class, Go ahead. and I'm lugging and I'm putting my thing, my case up overhead, and no man helps me. Nobody. And I know that if I were 25 and fabulous, the big tits. Yeah, but they'd all be up there putting it up for me. I know it. Well, You're right. And you told this to your daughter, and uh, you taught her well. Listen, <laughs> listen. If she still had that old note, she'd be a money lender. <laughs> She was with Bernie Madoff. Yeah. Why did you I say... I got this from him in the mail, by the way. Oh, the jewelry. Very yeah, nice. Really? He sent you some of the jewelry? Yeah, it was a little note. Talk to me about Bernie Madoff. Uh, you're a Jewess. Why, why did so many Jews fall for this uh, guy's Ponzi scheme? I, but, you know, I'm sick of it because it's a Jews. It's like uh, Ken Lay. Why, why didn't Protestants all fall for him? Right. For Enron. That's true. You know. Uh, but I you just, told our people you think the Bernie Madoff scandal is funny. I think it's hilarious. Why is it so funny? Because he's... Because <laughs> it's just me. Hello, hello. What? Wait, I'm not following Wait a minute. You. What are you what? saying? Why is it I, funny? Just to have a Jewish man. Hello, hello, give me your money. <laughs> you think that's funny? So you have a good time when you read about people I losing their money. I laugh. If you really trusted Bernie Madoff, you just know he's a crook. You, you met him before? Have you ever met I him? I saw him at parties. Hello, right. hello. And you would say he, you, you never invested a dime. Did he try to ask you for money? No, and that broke my heart. Yeah. And and uh, who's funnier, uh, Madoff or, or Charles Manson? I think... Uh, oh, I think... Oh, no question about it. <laughs> Manson. Manson. <laughs> so when you say it's funny, you would see Bernie Madoff at parties. You're in that circle of Palm Beach and the wealthy people Hopefully. and all this. Yeah, you, you, you see it all. Uh, you, you go in that circle... And he would be there, and people go, oh, i got to invest with Bernie oh, Madoff. Hi, hello, how are you? Don't you look good? Look good. <laughs> <laughs> so you never fell for it. No, he never asked me. Um, right. If he had asked me, are you kidding? He would have gotten every dime I had. <laughs> Did you ever warn your friends and say, this guy doesn't look like he's uh, no, on the level? No. no. Because no one. Do, this is Palm Beach. You don't talk money. You don't. I just went down there, and they're all crying. They're all saying, you want to hear how? I had to go to the sale at Gucci. <laughs> so these people seem to have some money, but not a lot anymore. Yeah, they still have money, but as I said, it's really breaking their hearts. I see. Well, it, I have to tip less. But you would feel bad for anyone who lost all of their money. Oh, I mean, of come course. on. I mean, that's a terrible thing. Horrible. That some people, which charities lost all their money, all these people. Horrible. I can't believe you're sitting at home laughing about it. Uh, well, what no. am I going to do? Are you a horrible person? Yes. You are. You really are a horrible person, aren't you? Terrible. Even at my wedding, you were somewhat horrible. Well, you, you were horrible. horrible. Yeah, you, you were making, yeah. everyone said sitting near you, you were making fun of everything and everyone at the I wedding. I was not making fun of everyone. Uh, almost everyone. Almost everyone. Yeah, I think I was thrown in there, too. I mean, like, she'd be sitting next to someone and go, oh, he, he's I disgusting. I was sitting at the table. I right. heard it. What did she oh. say? Terrible things. Did we have a good time? We had a great yeah. time. We had a great yeah. time. Yeah. Our yeah. table was Absolutely. a very good table. Yeah. Very good table. You know what's happening? You, you've become so big, so famous. Yeah. Uh, here you are, a friend of Prince Charles, the, the king, the future king of yes. England. And uh, and you you even recently had his 60th birthday party. I was at his party. What kind of party did they throw for this guy? Uh, fabulous. For a, I for bet she's not king. criticizing anything there. There's nothing what goes on? Talk to me about a, a king, king uh, or Quince, Prince Charles's birthday party. It was few, it's perfect. Who was there? They do a lot of royalty. The wife was there? Oh, of course. Of course. I adore her. Yeah, Camilla. You like her? Love her. You think he really loves her? You would love Oh, yeah. He's in love. He, Howard. You admire him because she's not a classic them, beauty, though. She is so smart and so funny. If she sat here, you'd adore her. But you would say, hey, honey, 
You got to do a little surgery. A little if she bit. asked me, right? What would, would she? T what would you tell her to do? I don't Face know. Lift? I would have to go and look at her because she she's one of those English women that got the great skin and the great hair, right? And she doesn't photograph well. See, right. that's she's very much like I am. You don't realize you, you're much how better looking in person. Are, yeah. right? much, Anybody yeah. who's ever seen Joan on TV, that she's not that heinous, honestly. And that's true. I can I can attest to that. You don't see the hump. <laughs> you don't see the bad legs. <laughs> right. The lips, the hair lips. So, so in other words, you go to this party. Did you perform? No. What do you do there? You're a guest. You, you're a guest. You walk around with a sandwich you and show, a drink. You show up with a guy? No. You're right you on a, your own. You had a companion with you at my wedding. and uh, you, It was very kind of you. I yeah. brought my manager to your wedding. It was very kind of you. I have more pictures of this guy. <laughs> I said, what do I said, all He's all also Cher's manager. manager. I got pictures of Chevy Chase and her manager. <laughs> but go ahead. You, uh, he was probably trying to get Chevy Chase to sign with him. All right. So, so let me understand something. You go to this party. Yeah. And what happens there? I mean, the money Nothing, is it, no it, object. Now, you go to the party and you go into Buckingham Palace. It's insane. You're in the palace. Yes. That's where the party takes yeah. place. And who is there? Heads the of queen. state? The queen. Yeah. Uh, Prince Charles. Does obviously. the queen talk to you? Do you yes. talk to the queen? Yes. You say, it's a does she part. like you? I don't think she particularly likes me. She, does, she thinks you're crude. I think she thinks I'm a You're little, a commoner. I'm a Jew commoner. You're a Jew, filthy commoner. Who, who let probably that knows. Who let Madoff. the Jews in? <laughs> who, 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 who? Yeah, but Prince Philip can't be very, very <laughs> happy with you either. Oh, uh, there's lovely. the funny Jew. <laughs> Make me laugh, Jew. She's lovely. She's yeah. all lovely, and it's amazing. Yeah. And it's amazing. And you walk out. Well, what you is go, amazing about it? Be, that be you're specific. In Buckingham Palace, that you're talking to these people. I What's the food like? Oh, fabulous. Not that crap you serve at your house. <laughs> I would never go back to Joan's house for a party. Watercress sandwich in it? Oh, a watercress sandwich. <laughs> there was no watercress. It was two <laughs> pieces of bread with nothing in between. Yeah. Oh, $800 wine now. Let's, uh, let's get Well, straight. listen, Robin taught me the right way to, to exactly. serve. Yeah. My, no, uh, yeah. It's just, and you're talking, I was talking to one woman who had turned out to be the Duchess of Dowager Duchess, and she was adorable. Right. And you find yourself saying, have you got a lift? And then you realize, of course she's got a coach. <laughs> right. She's got a buggy and a whole thing. But, yeah, don't but worry. I've what is the lift. food? Tell me what you ate there. Uh, the food is always beautiful, beautiful sandwiches. Do they have $800 wine there? No. No. I, they don't even no. serve that. But I bet you it's all English wine. Right. Because it's very, uh, and it's bet you it's all organic. Oh, is that, is that right? Yeah. They you care about know. that stuff? No. No. We have to now because of Obama. Right. What, what about do you think that? of the dress? Of, of Michelle Obama's dress? Yeah. I think the person who dresses Michelle Obama is doing a terrible job. Thank God. Because Everybody God. keeps saying she looks wonderful. She and does I say it. to Thank myself, oh, how what is wrong with me? Because I no. don't get it. The First woman all, in the paper who claims to be her dresser, you know, yeah, these yeah, people yeah, have yeah. a dresser. She should be shot. She should be shot. They make her look wide, these dresses. Yeah, they only the buy ass looks out terrible. right there and make her look very she wide looks, at the bottom. She looks terrible. I get, and, and she's a good-looking woman. She's not a bad-looking woman. She's tall and right. she's thinnish. But you have to dress for that. And they, I thought the yellow dress, the first one was too fancy for the morning. Right. I thought that was wrong. And last night, and it, it looked like she was picking cotton. Let me. Really? I said, "What are you? Are you trying to make a reference to history here? What do you, you know?" Well, he's a very good-looking man. She's got to hold on to him, right? Well, she got to learn how to dress, right? You know what you watch? He's already the dance. hitting the yeah. The only black couple in the world that doesn't have to dance. Oh, <laughs> is that true? They did not uh, dance well. They, they look so cute. <laughs> they can't dance well. That's very unusual. Well. Now, what plastic surgery should they get? I wonder. I she would like to pin his ears back. <laughs> you would. They're yeah. too big. Oh, they're stupid looking. You don't like that. I adore Do him. you tell the prince he Did should you... pin his ears back? No, his ears are fine. I think he's <laughs> his ears. You're such a kiss ass. You are terrible. You are just you really too are. funny. She wants to be invited back. <laughs> Joan, uh, let me understand something. I was watching uh, this year for the Golden Globes. I was watching the red carpet. They had the show, of course, on E! And they had the show on TV Guide Channel. Yeah. I'm watching Lisa Renna do it. I'm watching Ryan Seacrest do it. This is something you developed that evolved from something you did. And he'd even do the fashion show afterwards. Which is Melissa's idea. This has oh. got to be killing you. I don't care what you say. It's got to be killing you that, that, that you are not included in this. I missed you this year. I'm, I miss. We miss doing it. Yes. I can't lie to you. Like the Academy Awards are coming out. We're not doing it. And you go, this is stupid. Um, do I... I, it's like they're all doing it now so badly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. I, that also, I've moved on. I have other things happening. But can you watch it? And I can, don't watch you it. You do not watch it. Don't watch it. I, I, it's too painful. 
it's I'm not in it. Who, who, I don't want to waste my time. But you're interested in celebrities and what they're wearing. I'll and all see that. it the next day in the post. I see. So you're bitter. I'm not bitter. I'm not going to sit and watch. Why did TV Guide Channel get rid of you? Explain it for real I this time. I don't understand. I don't understand. Were you asking for too much money? Are you a pain no. in the ass? What's your problem? A pain in the ass. Are I mean, you a pain in the ass? The easiest person to ask. Go ask me what work with me. You're easy to work with. Yeah, very easy. What do you think it was? I don't know. And I'm thrilled that they numbers went right into the toilet. The ratings are uh, uh, low. Low? So why don't Can't they ask you to come back? Ratings. Why wouldn't they say to you, well, John I got ratings. Why not bring her back? I don't know. And I don't... Excuse me. Yeah, you say, fuck them. Who cares? Fuck, fuck them. They lost all that. They lost every number. They're not... They're a non-entity. They're a non Entity now. Someone told me your tits are too small. That you That's what it was. <laughs> I should have done it. What, uh, what is, uh, okay, let's talk about this book here. Now, Joan Rivers' book, an audio book. And let's talk about uh, Joan Rivers' murder, the Academy right. Awards. I'll get to it. <laughs> Men are stupid and they like big boobs. As in, they're in stores now. Boy, look at those boobs on your on your cover there. Yeah. Boy, if you would look like that, you wouldn't have to tell jokes is right. Uh, I could have been, I look like Al Roker. You look like Pam Anderson. And Joan will be signing copies of her book this Saturday afternoon from 4 to 6 at the Bank Street Book Nook in New Milford, Connecticut. Go see a legend. January 29th. You don't think you're a legend? You laugh at oh, that? Oh, please. You don't think you're a legend in this business? Are you out of your mind? What are you talking about? Yeah, right. You're not? You think I am? Yeah, of course you are. What do you think you are? Are you kidding? I'm trying to make a buck. <laughs> no, to... you're a le Come on. What's your biggest plastic surgery mistake that you made on yourself? Uh, uh, liposuction. You didn't like liposuction. I talk about it in the book. Because uh, I did something that I warned them about. I went to a doctor that I hadn't checked out. All right. And he did a lousy job. What does it mean? It wasn't smooth? It wasn't smooth. It I've wasn't... seen bad lipo jobs where it looks lumpy. That's exactly Did what you I have to get that repaired? No, or is there no it... way to do it? Where are that you lumpy? That part I broke up with the last man I was with, so... Uh, who cares? Well, where where, where are you lumpy? Uh, I'm, I'm lumpy kind of on my thighs. On my, i got to see you naked. I want to see what you're doing. Oh, you don't. I do. <laughs> I want to see you Think naked. of your grandmother. They had 12 years. Look, you're I look in the mirror. Aretha Franklin has a better body than I do. Oh, Did you see her at the inauguration? Did I see her at the inauguration? You couldn't miss her. You couldn't see. <laughs> you couldn't see the president. <laughs> she blocked his moment. Didn't the hat she? was like an right. eclipse. She blocked the sun. You didn't like that big giant hat she was wearing. You and didn't... I love her. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh that boy. was something else. When's the last time you got laid? What's going on with you? Oh, about six years ago. Oh, come on. What's yeah. going on? Really? Nothing. No boyfriend. Nothing. No. It's at over. At this age. You. It's over. It, not Is it over officially for me. over? But it's officially... Who am I going to go out with? 85-year-old men? I, I don't know. So I don't are you know. dating younger men? Ugh. Oh, my God. In other words, someone would have to have one foot in the grave in order to go out with you. Someone would have to be dead to go out with me. I know. You know, their drug of choice is uh, formaldehyde. I want you to be honest with me because you've always been honest with, with uh, your audience. Last time you played with yourself. Oh, probably... Uh, what time is it now? You don't feel any sexual oh, arousal sure, down there? Of course you, you do. touch yourself down there. I'm not going to discuss this with you. Yes, you are. Are they... Right now. <laughs> right now, I will not tolerate anything less. And, and, and don't... No. Uh, everyone Why, is a you, sexual you person. Prince Charles? I mean, who everyone cares? Everyone is a sexual person until they die. So you do play with yourself. Yeah, everybody. Fingers or toys? Oh, I'm not going to discuss Come on. Toys. I have these wonderful girls, like Barbie dolls. <laughs> Where do you keep them? Where do you keep your toys? Oh, right on my bed. Right near your bed. My aunt has no idea. She thinks they're like teddy bears. <laughs> you dress them up like teddy bears? I dress them. <laughs> and I can't imagine you with your legs spread touching be funny? yourself. I can't Wouldn't even. That be funny? I would love to dress see. Dress them up like an outfit. I can't believe you have toys. At, do you know at your age? Store, a friend of mine, she has this very fofo house. Right. And the servants unpack you. And one of the servants came to her two months ago and said. Where do we put their sex toys? Oh, really? Some couple showed up and let these servants unpack the sex toys. You have a friend, you go to their house and they unpack you? I wouldn't want anybody unpacking me. It's fabulous. You, uh, fabulous? I don't want and someone unpacking me. And they also pack you. Once you know in advance they're going to do it. I they, don't want them touching my stuff. Oh, they not only touch it, they iron it. Really? Yeah, and they, they steam they it. Take oh, care of it. Honey, you don't know how the very rich wasps live. Do they wipe you? If you ask, I have it. I bet. Now listen, you got to go see Joan also. Uh, seven thirty, January twenty ninth. Is at, that the one? All right, here. Let me start again. Joan's going to be later. signing copies of her new book this Saturday afternoon from four to six at the Bank Street Book Nook in New Melford, Connecticut. January twenty ninth at seven thirty p.m. at the Barnes and Noble at Lincoln Square That's in Manhattan. That's the big one, yeah. 
That's a big one. And January 31st from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the bookends in Ridgewood, New Jersey. And then Joan also has a novel, Murder at the Academy Awards. You know, Joan's a real writer. I mean, yeah. she's written films and all that kind and of stuff. Plays we we and got everything. great yeah. reviews. She's no jerk off. We, we got great reviews. Go figure. That's right. And uh, Joan's novel, Murder at the Academy Awards, is in stores now. You wrote it yourself or some wrote other? I wrote it myself maniac? with a wonderful woman named Geraldine Farmer who helped me with the, the murder plot. Okay. But I did all the humor, and it takes place in the gift rooms. You know, all the stuff that we see backstage. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's in a murder mystery. It's a murder mystery. It takes place at the Academy Awards. Also, uh, she, that's a good idea. I like yeah. that. Did yeah. Joan... Joan about the new president? She said I she's... I adore him. You yeah. didn't vote for him. I certainly did. You did? No, I'm going to vote for the Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? I voted for him. I voted. But did you see when Michelle Obama walked in? Did you talk about this yet? No. And gave her the gift. And as they walked through, Laura Bush just hands the gift to someone else. And Can she you? practically said, pass along. Oh. She didn't even open it. Well, that's arrogance. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're open done with it. that now, I hopefully. Thank yeah. goodness that air is gone. Yeah. Now, are you supporting uh, Caroline Kennedy for. <laughs> you don't like her. Oh, yeah. You don't want her to be your senator. I think Cuomo would be so much better. You do? Yeah. Because, what do you think? Well, listen, I don't know a thing about Caroline Kennedy. I know Cuomo at least has run for office. He has uh, performed. Uh, I, I happen to think that if you have a little bit of experience, it goes a long way. It shows you really want to be a public servant. It can, shows you have a hunger. Can you imagine poor Hillary? Here's the woman that turned everyone. Caroline Kennedy came out again, out of, against right. Hillary for Obama. And, and now she, this bitch she is getting my job, seat. Yeah. I would be out of my mind. You know, you, I hadn't even thought of that I didn't angle. think of that. Oh, You're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. I'd be screaming. And she's in the administration. That'd be like a real You make a good point. It's kind of a slap. Stomach. Yeah. Because, because Hillary Clinton was burned by the Kennedys. Uh, Obama got their support early on. Including Caroline's, and then all of a sudden, you're right. And uh, they were the first big Kennedys to come. Remember Caroline? We are. I hate her. You don't like her. She's like a chipmunk. Really? And I've seen her. I've I've been on boards with her and stuff. Mm -hmm. You want Cuomo? And uh, oh, yeah. so you know her personally? And I you know, what are you saying about very, her? Very. Uh, I'm I'm Caroline Kennedy. And you're not. Very standoffish. Very, very snobby. You'd it's say. I smell shit. You know what I mean? Right. Ooh. Just you know, just a little. Mm. Hello. Mm. She's in the room with you. She looks at you like you're a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, Bernie so, Madoff loved me. And you've done the same work as her. What, what, what committee did you sit we on? We were her? doing the thing uh, in Central Park where we had one day where you could buy everything very inexpensively. And the money all went to the park. Right. It was a huge Central Park Conservancy? Uh, but it was even bigger. It was Time Warner ran the whole thing. It was amazing. I see. And she was not paying attention to you. Uh, well, not to it. anybody. It's... I know, I know your mother was Jackie Onassis, but she also slept with a Jew <laughs> at the end. Exactly. That's where you got your money from. <laughs> Well, listen, you're a bitter woman, and I love it. <laughs> uh, Joan, uh, see Joan at the Slipper Room, believe it or not, in yeah, Manhattan every Slipper. Tuesday night in February. I'll tell you what, that's so sad. What's the matter? They clo I close rooms. <laughs> I did Fez. Right, and I remember. That yeah, and that closed, because it got so fancy, the owner said, I'll make it into a restaurant, went right. into the tubes. That was the end. Then I'd been working at my lovely cutting room yeah. for four years. And the owner said, wait a second, this is, let's raise the rent, it's doing so well. Right. So they had to close the cutting room. Wow. So now you're going to close the slipper room. Now we're going to close the slipper room. <laughs> every Manhattan, February. Every Tuesday night in February, February, you will be there. Till still, it closes. Still t <laughs> until you can close it down. Well, let me tell you something, you've done it again. You come in here, you delight everyone. I love you so much. You spread so much love around, it's insane. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, listen, what can I tell you? Joan Rivers is an expert on uh, plastic surgery. I see everyone goes, well, Joan, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, oh, Dominic Barber wants to say hello real quick before Joan leaves. Uh, Go ahead, two, Dominic. Two or three things. Number one, I had breakfast with Andrew Cuomo the other day with nine other people. He's incredible. He will make an incredible center, and Joan's right. But I have a plastic surgery question, Joan, and only you should answer it. Should I do the tummy tuck? Uh, yeah, are you single? Uh, I, well, I'm single at the moment, yes. But yeah, I, he's absolutely. been married four yeah, probably, times. Yeah, I know, but he wedding, was at yeah. my wedding. You it, met him. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But I don't know his... And he's yeah, a former fat, so he got that, that plastic... Sur he got the uh, band on his oh, stomach. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I lost about 120, uh, And you're asking me... And I'm a little scared of that. I figured you'd know the answer. It, you know, well, you should be scared. And I talk about that in the... I sound like Jackie Collins. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me I sure talk about that in the book also. It's an operation. Don't be a fool. Don't go into it lightly. But, of course, you want to you want to look in the mirror and not go... Bleh. 
<laughs> oh, he's been doing that his whole life. <laughs> oh, I really, Why should I today really, be different? I, everyone goes blow when they meet Dominic. <laughs> I lost all this weight, and, and it's scary. I mean, I'm afraid of the surgery, and I went to one or two doctors. Can you give me a name from the city that you like? No, but I would go and go to at least three and check them out. Don't just say, because Oprah thinks somebody's good. <laughs> right. Doesn't make them good. Right. You've got That's a to good point. check them out. A lot of people think if someone famous went yeah, for them right. that it's going to be good. What's his name, that idiot? They're going to make attorney, uh, Surgeon General now? Right. Kumpa, kumpa. Oh, oh, the Sanjay Gupta? Sanjay Gupta. What about him? I don't think he went to medical school. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even think he's a real doctor. <laughs> he's too busy. But you know what? On TV. But, but, but Dominic makes a good point. So, you know, I, I was reading about this guy on The Biggest Loser. He lost uh, like 200 pounds yeah. and uh, get, got even the tummy tuck thing, gained all the weight back. Oh. And the skin uh, grew back I'm in. I'm six years into this weight loss. You know, J uh, Joan, I did the band. But and, um, you he, know, how it was. He'll gain it back. He's gained it back before. But he had to have a re He was no, rebanded. Oh, no. Joan is so jealous jo of us. They're so <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Listen to me, yeah, my darling jealous. angel. Yeah. You do it, but then you got to keep yourself. Then you'll be so happy. Now, how are you going to do that? It's six years, and Stacy has me running, so I'm going out to run now. But I'll listen. Uh, yeah, I'm telling I you. I would pay for the video of him running. Now Stacy has him running. Yeah, all right. Thank good. you, Tom. That's Bob. good. That's all good. I can't be single for one minute. Yeah, I mean, he just got a divorce two weeks ago. <laughs> you know, he's like Stacy. Stacy, yes, he's got him running. Uh, listen, Joan, there's too many problems for you to solve. But you see, that's why you need her book. It's a reference book if you're thinking about this plastic surgery, and everybody's thinking about it. There it is. Get the book. Men are stupid and they look like big boobs in stores now. Joan. I love you. You're like, no, I love you. I love you. You know I me. love you. No, and I, wait, I sent you the other thing. That's what's killing me. i got to check that out. Check it out. I don't think you did. I think oh, yes, I did. Cheap. Right. Trust me. My hand cramped when I saw it. <laughs> Poor you. Humiliated and just sending me another 500. Well, believe me, that 500 has gone out the window. Went Don't to Robin's wine. taking me out to dinner. That's what I want. <laughs> that paid for half of Robin's wine. There you go. Why are you taking me I'm out to dinner? I'm taking you out to dinner someplace yeah, reasonable. Take her out. She can't yeah. wait for you to order. Although I talked it over with my psychiatrist. He said I was wrong in the Robin's I situation. tried to explain that to you, however. He said I was wrong. He said, first of all, Robin's hostility came out there. You know, everyone has love and Robin's hate for everyone. Robin's hostility came yeah, you out. You got knocked a little. You got knocked a little. And Good. your but psychiatrist's I, office? Yeah. You I, got, am, I am not even represented. How could this be happening? You're telling the story. I told the truth. <laughs> and uh, my psychiatrist did say, why didn't I take responsibility and say to Robin, what is the wine you're ordering? And let me look at it on the menu. But I, would, I wanted to be a big shot. So, uh, And I don't mind. I, no. I love you and I'll, I'll spend whatever it takes. Explain to me how I got a shot. He said that Robin's uh, anger came Did out through that purchase. Eight hundred dollars. My bottle. anger came out through the. Oh. Yeah, you're now, angry this with is me. What Robin, you're angry with me. You, you is, love wait, me, wait, but wait, you wait. hate me too. This and your Rob, hate came. This is what Robin uh, should have done. Yeah, yeah. She said when you said Robin picked the wine, hmm. she said she said well there's, there's a choice of three here. There's a really great eight hundred dollar bottle. There's a seven hundred dollar bottle. There's a really good Chianti. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> listen, my, my psychiatrist said I was at fault. That if I had a problem no, with but it, I, my anger I came out with that yeah. purchase. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. No, Again, listen, I'm, paying I'm, I'm paying for the wine. Right. I'm paying for the wine. I'm taking you to a restaurant when they have wine. Like you want red or white? <laughs> <laughs> John, <laughs> John, take uh, take take Robin uh, out to to to, to dinner. I when you get the bill, you'll drop dead, <laughs> and <laughs> Melissa will finally be happy. She'll have all your money. It's a win-win. That's right, <laughs> Melissa. I want you to take me out to dinner. Uh, no, Robin's a very expensive date. All right, listen, Look Joan Rivers, I Joan Rivers, I love you. Thank you so much, and good luck with the book and the signings and everything else. And uh, it's fantastic. We will be back right after these words. She get Joan in. Oh, Joan's here. Yeah, she's... is she fired up? Yeah. Does she hear oh. the show? She just heard that you, that you said she gave a cheap gift, and she's, I, could, you know, right, she let's get her, her, you should get her in before. Let's get her. In. <laughs> Look how good you look. Is that the same? No, wait a second. Isn't that the same outfit you wore to my wedding? <laughs> she hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Uh, oh, okay, there you go. I, I gave you a bad gift. You look beautiful. Do you even no, know what no. you gave? No. Wait, 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 wait. No, I want to talk to you. <laughs> no. Garrett, can, can I be I'll honest? Say more. What did no, you no, say? No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Gar don't act like you don't know what you're saying. I swear to God. Stop it. Uh, Here's Howard, what, listen. Wait, no, can I tell no, you what happened? I want to go first. Go. No, when somebody says. We're, we're registered. Send us a gift. I go. I shop. I buy. When I get a thing, we want to save the wildlife. I say to my assistant, Jocelyn Pickett, 
send a donation for wildlife. And that's it. Okay. I swear Jonathan to God, I have no idea. Wait a second. Was it shitty? No, 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 no. Was it no. crappy? <laughs> you can say shitty. Cra- you, you're on satellite. All right. Was it, Listen, it, I'll send you, you double it. No, double can I tell right you what here. Happened? I don't know. No, can I tell you what it happened? It was a fine yeah. gift, I'm right. sure. How much do you think you gave? I have probably a thousand. All right. So listen to this. <laughs> You were coming in, and Gary got a couple of calls where, you, where I guess it was your office or something. Yeah. Make sure Howard knows about Joan's gift before she comes in. Now, normally, what? I don't even look because, you know, it, we, we said to people, don't get us a gift. You don't have to get us anything. Just come to the wedding and have a good time. Right. We're, we're, we're okay. We're, we don't need any new, we don't need any new you know, Tupperware. Any of this. Right, so... We said, so a lot of people said, look, we want to get you something. I said, make a charitable donation. This is a charity we support. Right, okay. right. So. Save the raccoon. So before, right. So before you came in, they, we get this call. Joan wants Howard to know about her gift. Joan wants, Gary, who called you and said that Joan wants Howard to know make about sure. her gift? I didn't get this call, Howard. I don't know who, who, I didn't, nobody called me. I got a note saying Joan wants Howard to know about Where her gift. Where did that note come from? So. Um, I don't know. You know what, it might have come from Will when he did the, uh... Oh, I know what it was. It was from the Hamptons Wildlife people. They said, listen, Joan had made a point that Howard should know that oh. she gave a very generous gift before. How much was it? It was 500 bucks, and it was very nice. <laughs> it, no, no, no. It was, I said, let, look. Let me see the no, ring. No, the it was very nice. Was, Joe does not want Howard to know about the No. And, and, and uh, by the way, I wouldn't even confused. looked at the amount, but they said Joan wants Howard to know. So I that said, oh, my God, Joan probably. Gave oh, like $25,000. Right. I said, Joan went bank. berserk. <laughs> So I said, well, how much was it? Because I really want to thank her for being so generous. Okay, so I got, I got crazy. They sent this note. So I said, it was $500. I said, I said to Beth, I said, gee, you know, wow. Joan must think $500 is a lot of money. Maybe oh, she's yeah. going back there. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she's, thinking, <laughs> she's getting a little senile. Yeah, what are, so. the, are these $70? <laughs> so I didn't know. I, oh. So I, I felt funny that you wanted to make such a big deal about this. Like Number you wanted, one. We're probably, it's like the old Jews who stand up in temple they, every year, the, the, the high holidays, they go, $18. Yeah. They yell it out. <laughs> Times two, 26 yeah. They go twenty six, and they want recognition from all their neighbors for twenty six dollar fucking donation. No, what, probably I was already working on a celebrity apprentice. Right. So I probably I said to, I know what it is. I said to Johnson, send something, send it. Right, but you're one no, of the most but generous I would people. Never say, make sure Howard knows. Well, they, they they sent this note over, so it was a big misunderstanding. But no, thank you for the gift, and it's more we'll than get generous. you another one. No, no, Joan. And no I gifts. promise not to eat squirrels. Uh, no, no gifts. Tell Beth I don't. I will for the month of you November. I won't you, eat any you, squirrels. It took you two years to get over the death of your dog, Spike. Yes. So you are an animal lover. Beyond. So when you make jokes and say save the squirrels or the raccoons, you are very attached to your animals. You're, you're, uh, Please. Please. What are we talking about here? I mean, I know the name of every pelt on my fur coat. By the way, <laughs> i got to talk to you about my wedding. You were the most miserable person next to Barbara Walters there. I had so, the best even, time. I don't, Robin I didn't said you had Barbara the worst Wal- time. Best time. Jo- so Robin has no sense of humor. Let's start with Robin. You compl- Let's start Jones with Miss Bitch on my lap. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, stole my piss. <laughs> Miss Busy. I thought busy. she was a klepto. Did you I, have a good time? I had a great time. I thought you were having a terrible time. I had the best. I was exhausted. I've been working on Celebrity Apprentice. Oh. I was wiped. Because oh. I said on the I had air, the best time. Joan, I said on the air, what could be a more fun wedding? I think about you. Mostly you go to weddings, they suck. You had tables of famous yeah. people. You had tables of uh, people from the show. You had regular people. From people all were walks funny. Of life. It was happy. You were both happy. Everybody. The ceremony good. was quick. The ceremony was this hilarious. Not hilarious. What she did and wonderful. She was and touchy. <laughs> See? Oh, that is so much. But you were complaining. About, I walked over to St. Lodi. You started complaining about Phoebe Snow, who did this beautiful song. I, She's one of the greatest singers of all oh, time. Oh, tell her to shut up. And yeah. I like Phoebe. No, you didn't like Phoebe. No, I know Phoebe forever. Oh, you do? I know Phoebe forever. And ever and ever, we really. Oh, you were making a joke. Yes. Oh, well, I then, thought you, you know, were bumming I gotta out. Stop making jokes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought you were bumming Please. out. No. During every speech, no. you were rolling your eyes and going, "Oh, yes, they shut up." Yes, you don't do well, that. Well, listen, Joan is. I a... do that with every speech. <laughs> you didn't like um, um, Beth's best friend. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> too, too long. Oh, but we're good friends, and we're always friends. Meanwhile, Beth is gorgeous and amazing. In fact, this little. 
But no, but no, no, no. Stand it up, no, man. Wait a second. Oh she's, she's, one of our, she's one of our good friends. But she should have said. I got she should have said. Oh she should have said. I always hated Beth. I hate God. <laughs> oh, my God. No, she gave one of the most beautiful speeches. Oh, oh it went on. And we're oh. friends. And we put this together. Who cares? Just say, God gave Beth everything. And in spite of it, she's nice. Now, sit down. <laughs> and you should have come over to me and said, who do I go to? for plastic surgery. That should have been her now, speech. Wait a second. Now, wait a second. I loved, I loved her speech. Oh, well, well, you were drunk. No, no she, because it meant something to us perfectly. Yes, but yes. I really thought you were bumming out. So I had the best time. I, oh, you did? I Good, lo- okay. I, I can't exa- imagine. I was exhausted for me. And I know you how long. I mean, first of all, you're at a table with Senator DeMato. You could at least yeah. say to him, what do you think of what's going on politically? No, I want to know next to Melania. Money. You're sitting next to Melania. Ma- who I adore. Right. She's very smart. That's why I put you at the Trump table. Trump and I had a great time. He got where I couldn't even talk. Right. He talks a yeah, lot. I no, because Joe I was so was tired. Joe was talking at the table. Joe was... I thought I you was, were miserable. Oh, no. I was oh, so right. happy to be there. Right. Who was the guy you were with? Who was that guy? Uh, who did I bring? I can't remember. That's how tired I was. I brought, I think, uh, who did I bring? I think I brought David, who is the president of my company. Oh, right, I yeah. yeah. So I, cause I was exhausted. I said, just come with, come with me. Hold me up. Hold me up. Right. Hold me up. Because we've been going, you know, you do uh, Celebrity Apprentice 5 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, and they let me out early to go to your wedding. Well, celebrity Apprentice is going to kill you. Yeah. You have to have it's r- over, I mean, and I can't God. tell you anything. And I can't but tell did you. Did you hate it? I, I can, I'll, t- I'll come back. Tell me if you hated it. I adored it. You liked it? Daughters. Oh, that's right. And wait a second. So you were sitting with Trump, who has to decide. Yeah. So that was good for you to be that at his good. table. So you think I'm not having a good time? My hand was right. in his crotch the whole night. You beat him off. Oh, Melania's. I know it was in somebody's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Chevy Chase's speech? <laughs> you didn't like it. See, people, I thought it was funny. See, but that's what I love. So why didn't you get up and show them how to make a speech? <laughs> because in front I, of Trump. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Uh, uh, it was such a great wedding. It, it was, was. Warm. It was. I love what oh, Jimmy good. Kimmel did. I yes. love yeah, talking great. to Sarah Silverman. Yes. I love. She'd already done that that commercial to get all the Jews out and voting. Yeah. It was fabulous. Oh, wedding. good. Okay. And I love that we stood around. It was. It was like friends gathering. Yes, that I was the idea. Got, got the whole thing, honey. Got and it. loved it. Okay, good. All right. I was worried so about you. And the 500 now, I'm, I'm upset about it, but maybe no. not that upset to don't, give you more. Don't, no. Joan, don't even, I'm not fishing for a gift. I find that hilarious. All right, good. Okay, because I thought you wanted to make a big deal about your your. Yes, gift. and I think you should. I think you should thank me publicly. Uh, I am thanking you. No, yeah, the way you're thanking me. It's all you gave. I want to hear Joan. We well, cried. David Spade, I wouldn't look. Now, David Letterman gave 2500 He wasn't even there. Yeah, good. Spade, 10000 Are you kidding me? Swear to God. I'm going to get married again and invite him. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> 10000 Yeah. I mean, that's That's wild. very nice. How much does he make? Uh, he evidently Obviously is a very wealthy guy. Good money. And yeah, he's a, that's and he's, big money. And he's, and he's a new dad. Did you know that? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> How old is he? 106? <laughs> they will never live to see the kids graduation. I don't know if you know this. You're in the newspaper today. No, I don't know. You are? Trouble. I'm curious about that. No. You're in the paper because you sort of peripherally are involved in this Phil Spector case, and they yes. brought it up in the paper. Now, are you going to be called? I hope not, but he was at one of my parties, and he pulled a gun on Walter Cronkite's daughter. Wow. And, <laughs> said, and said, I'm going to shoot you in the head. Yeah. God. And my poor neighbor, he got her downstairs in the lobby. Now, it says in the paper, after that incident, you invited him back to another party. <laughs> no. I... Now, what would possess you? Celebrity. So, yeah, you are so hung up on this. You said, you know, and that, now, and then I started getting, I we said, Maybe no. this wedding was too boring. boring for you. Like I should have had Phil Speck at your table threatening think, to kill you. I don't think he ever came to another party. He it was, says here in the paper well, that according to which paper? Oh, uh, here I'll tell you here. Specter ejected twice. Uh, a guard for Joan Rivers yes. testified yesterday that music producer Phil Specter was ejected from two of the star's Christmas parties for brandishing a gun and declaring that all women should be shot. <laughs> Now, that means it was the second time. No, it probably happened the first time we threw him out because he was drunk, and the right. second time he, he started the, with the gun. You no, know, after you brandish a gun, 
That's it for you. You don't come back to my place. <laughs> That's the no-no. I had a feeling because Cronkite's daughter is not as famous as Phil Spector, you said to Cronkite's daughter, you're banned from my party for upsetting <laughs> Phil Spector. That was the first party. <laughs> yeah. You're kidding me. So you have this big party. He was dating my manager at the time, Dorothy. Right. Yeah, Dorothy. And she brought him once before to my house, and it was very nice. He brought his own keyboard, and he played. Wow. And then he got drunk, and we asked him to go. <laughs> <laughs> so they went. Now it's my big Christmas party. <laughs> so again, it's a big Christmas party. Dorothy says, I want to bring him. And he shows up with that wild hair. And, and the hair and the, the keyboard. <laughs> and he's going to, you know, what kind of a great party. Right. I have the great game of choir singing. <laughs> I have an opera <laughs> sound. I got Phil Spector playing. Wow. Wow. And then he gets drunk again. Right, right. And he pulls out a gun. He goes after Walter Cronkite's daughter. <laughs> now, w Walter Cronkite's daughter, what she's probably she an older do? woman, right? She's about 40, yeah. in her 40s. And yeah. what did she do, too? Well, she ran up into my bedroom, and he ran after her. But why was he focused on her? Is oh, she, uh, uh, why? Was she attractive Well, woman? maybe she's short so he could see her. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what was going on. <laughs> I have 200 people there. And he pulls out the gun. And Louis Tanazo, who was testified, right. yeah. runs upstairs and gets him. And pulls him down and takes him into my house, a little elevator, takes him down the elevator. Wow. The keyboard followed the day later. <laughs> <laughs> so you think... And as he's walking out, brandishing the gun, my nice neighbor comes to him and goes, Merry <laughs> Christmas, he's just... Fuck you! <laughs> and brandishes the gun. I had visions of this guy coming back to the next party because you liked it. <laughs> you know, you're like, okay, at least there was a little action My going parties on. parties the talk of the You town. know, I always at the end wanted to go and see Sinatra because I figured for a hundred bucks I could get dinner and maybe a desk. Right. You know? <laughs> hey, you know what I heard about you? Somebody told me. Uh -oh. I hope I'm not speaking out of school here. Yeah, I am sure. Drop. No, I'm serious. This is this is kind of inside information. Yes, my darling. Somebody I'm... told me they heard you speaking at a breakfast somewhere. You know, you do a lot of speeches yeah. and and this and stuff. Uh. And you kind of alluded that some boyfriend of yours ripped you off for some money. Oh, not some. Yes, a man named. Don't give me the name. Oh no, he went to jail. Oh, he went to jail. Went to jail. You're wow. for stealing from you? Uh, he absconded with the funds, as they say. I mean, well, it was for... a big mess, allegedly. You were sleeping with a man you were in business. No, no, with? he wasn't. He he, he was the one that took you. my company company public, and uh, he put out a, a, a fake. And I'm telling you this, you know, badly. Yeah. Uh, he absconded with thirty six million dollars worth. Was oh gone, my God! And he went to jail. Arthur Toll mm -hmm. lives in Florida now. And uh, I had to buy back my name and likeness. I'm still paying for it. But you were sleeping with him. No. Ugh. Did you ever see a picture of him? But why He's the only man that's boyfriend? safe in prison. You said he was a former I didn't boyfriend. Think that they mixed up. Really? Uh, no. I oh, think you were banging this guy. Sweetheart, even in prison, he's safe. Really? <laughs> Do you understand? He's not hot. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Who's the hottest guy, if you could have any guy right now? Who's oh, the hottest? George Clooney. George Clooney. George Clooney, great looking. I yeah. like it. And you know who I just did some other apprentice with that I adore? Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker's Walker my boy. He's black. Oh, you're damn right. You would do black. In a hot second. Do you uh, masturbate still? Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing it now, Robin. Take a look. It's embarrassing. I have... <laughs> What's that under your dress? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Have you ever done black eyes? No, because nobody ever asked me out. But black men always love me. I always love them. You voting for Barack? Uh, well, he's not black. You know what? He's not Let black. me explain it. They have a black man on one ticket and a woman on the other. Combine Michael Jackson. Right. So you're yeah, voting? Yeah, I'm voting for Barack. You are? Oh, yeah. You know, I, I'm going to vote for Barack today, too. Did you vote yet? No, I'm going right after this. Yeah, right. I'm going to vote for him as well. But i got to tell you something. I have a great fear that he is going to be the worst president since Jimmy Carter. Look, you I have can that keep feeling. your vote. We don't need mm. your vote. Oh, no? yes. No, I no, no. I agree with I'm you. I'm very, very insecure about him. I met somebody two nights ago at dinner who is so high up in the Democratic Party. Go and ahead. I said to him, congratulations. And he said to me, he's a lightweight. Yeah. Isn't who that, is this? I will not say. Joe I swear to you. Joe no, Joe Biden. Oh, Joe Biden. Bill Clinton. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> and you know what? Even people who don't aren't going to vote for McCain say they do like him a lot and they respect him as a very, very good public servant and uh, certainly a war hero. But they respect him very much. The Sarah Palin turned a lot of people. Sarah out. Palin ruined it for them. They right. thought it was going to be a plus, and it's a negative. Right. Is that what was the turning point for you? Oh uh, no! I, I from the she beginning, always, I just yeah. think whatever the Republicans have done in eight years, uh uh, we gotta say no. But why blame the Republicans? What about isn't it just Bush? Maybe. 
That's a Republican. Yeah, well, he is and a the, Republican. And the people around him were Republicans. No. And they should have shut him up. Put and him in a cowboy hat. six of the eight years, it was a Republican Congress. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, real, I'm I, not real excited about my choices this time around between the two of these guys. But I'm voting, for, I'm voting for Obama. I'm voting you know? for Obama. And I pray sadly. to God he's good. Yeah, sadly. 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 We're in this mourning. This is a sad day. They should have it's had. I'm not very upset with both of you. You think? Please, God, <laughs> let him become what Harry Truman became. Right. Let him. Let's yeah. let's hope Flourish. that he's going to Please be an incredible person. God. He's not the first guy who quote, quote unquote had no experience who got the job. When I, you vote, will you cry in the booth? Will they have to drag you out? Well, of Well, I'm just scared that with the senator uh, <laughs> Craig's foot won't come under the, the curtain. <laughs> That's what I'm scared. About. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? You're voting. This leg comes under the curtain, and it's a senator. So I can't. Be, so you did the Celebrity Apprentice, and you had a good time. Had the best. But you had I like, like Tom you, Green. Did you like him? I, I cannot. Do you I like swear him? To you. Yes, I'll, we'll talk. You could talk about the people. No, I'm not supposed to talk to May. May, I'll come back and but tell I'm you. I'm not asking you what who happened. Is the, and you can Tom mention Green. Green. who's in the cast, right? I Tom, can't. They want to I'll support. mention it. NBC. Tom Green. NBC made a swear. We, we had to write a thing. We can't yeah. Dennis. Dennis. They, they got their list right here. I'll tell you who's on it it's with you. It's published. Tom Green, Jesse James, Dennis yeah. Rodman, Chloe yeah. Kardashian, Andrew Dice Clay, Melissa Rivers, Brian McKnight, and Brandy Roderick. What yeah. do you mean you can't talk about yeah. it? I'm talking. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you. Melissa's on, too? Yeah. And we're right to the end. Wow. Oh, can't I can't say, say that. that. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Don't say that. It's you know what's fun. You wake up in the morning. Ah, <laughs> you're the worst. Can't you, know the worst. Keep a you don't know what you're saying. Oh, Look at you. You you you're wild. I love you. I can't. Do now it. listen to this. Joan yeah. Rivers is gonna be. Yes. This is I should mention this because I'll forget later. Tonight through November 19th and December 10th at the Cutting Room in Manhattan. Yeah. This is a very, very big deal. Making up for all the, the months I haven't done it because I did a play. Because you were busy. A yeah. play? What, what play were you I doing? did a play in Scotland and in London, West End. All, it was amazing. You liked it? Fabulous. This is a great time in your life or it's, it's horrible? It's a great time it in is. my life. Including your stupid wedding. So how about that? <laughs> I was happy you were there. I, I just thought you were bumming out. Thrilled to be there. I walked there. over. You looked like you were you... No, I was so I was, happy. I was so excited because, like I said, I flew Oh, she all was way, so boring. I flew all the way is across Robin horrible? the country. Is it horrible to be stuck at a, a uh, table with she Robin? She has no humor. I, no. I switched purses yeah. with her. Switch. Yeah. Switch. I my table mine was there. Is gone. And mine was there instead. Ready for you don't was... notice, and I'm sitting there with her bag open, powdering on her compact. <laughs> you don't notice it's a different bag, and there's a woman at the table using your makeup and sitting there. Who does your hair? You look good. That, well, thank you. A man named uh, Raymond Rosario. You weave anything in there, or is that all you? Are you kidding? Everything in here is clipped on. Oh, is that right? <laughs> is that true? I did it at your wedding, because Donald said to me, your hair looks great. I said, here, look. <laughs> <laughs> you know, comedy first, it kills me. You're kidding me, though. You really clip everything in there? Not every. I have three, probably three things so in So what's here. your real hair look like? Is it close uh, to that? I, each one has a name. <laughs> <laughs> have you lost hair since you got older? No. Oh, I for Christ's sake. What the hell? You mean you got Age no hair sucks. Left? Yeah. Age is so horrible. <laughs> oh. Men have to feel you down. You know. What I'm saying? So do you? Do you? Uh, you have to clip into your hair. I don't. It's I a only long do process it. to get you pulled together for even a wedding. Oh, it's a whole process to get me together. Walk the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go anywhere. You I know. just feel truly okay. Hmm. I feel everybody usually sees a celebrity once. Right. And you know the first thing you say is, "I saw uh, Nicole Kidman on the street. What did she look like?" Right. So I always want them to be able to say, she looked good. You know, well, I have you know, to say, everybody at the wedding did say Joan looked good. See? Yeah. You, you, know, you know what's amazing about what you say? You're so right. And i got to learn from you. i got to learn to listen to you. Because I, I went to see Beth run the, she ran the New York City Marathon. Yeah, I know. And I put on a bad ski cap and a horrible Jack Daniels leather jacket. And I said, I don't care what I look like. It's Beth's day. I want to go out there. I'll be disguised. It'll be good. Each picture yesterday in the paper was more horrible than the next. I looked like an old Jewish washerwoman. That was so embarrassing. And you know what? I can look better than this. Even people see me in person. When so now you're going to start fixing no, yourself I'm up. I'm fixing I'm myself up. You, you will never, you ever see a bad picture of me again, ever. Joan. Ever. Ever. And I'll give you another tip. When you sign an autograph, make it legible. I do that. Because you say... Who is, who is this? I can't make out who this is. That's not fun. <laughs> it's fun right. to say, oh, look, Howard Stern. Joan Rivers is going to be... Oh, and I should also tell you, you can get those tickets at spincyclenyc.com slash Joan Rivers. 
And now, Joan's book. Joan has a new book? No, you've got to say uh, QVC. That's very important. Oh, QVC. I'm QVC on what? November. All right. Well, wait, I'm Big not up thing. to that yet. Oh, all right. He's getting there. I love that QVC <laughs> with that what jewelry. What is this new book? <laughs> uh, Joan's new book is called, go ahead, give the name. It's called... Uh, I'm so tired. You tell me. You don't remember the name of your book? It's a funny. She doesn't know the name of her own book. Men. Joan's book is Men called. Men are stupid Altino. and like big boobs. No, no, no. What? Joan's new book is called Cheap Wedding Gifts to oh. get for everyone. Right. Now, here it is. It's uh, Joan's book is called Men Are Stupid and They Like Big Boobs. Yes, That's they, the name I know. I know. How did you forget the name of your book? Because I've been going for three months. Did you months. write the book? Y yes. You did. Okay. Right. I actually wrote it. How you, about that? All by yourself. No, I had a lady named Valley. Frankel, who did the most incredible research. It's uh, in store. Now, what is this book about? It's about everything you ever want to know about plastic surgery. Oh, okay. It's, so it's a serious book. Oh, but funny. I make it funny. Right. But it's, you want to know about facelifts? Go to page 12. You want to know about tummy tucks? Here's a, tells you everything. Now, have you had everything that's in the book? I really started <laughs> checking out just about. She's had everything. <laughs> Except for a titty implant. You never got the titty implant. No, no. You're sorry you, you're sorry you didn't. You could have these big... I could have been Mrs. Playboy. And you could have been unbelievable with those yeah. big... It's just a big chest. On yeah, your I, I used to look like I was selling M&Ms when I was making... Who's better in bed, you or Barbara Walters, do you think? I'm going to guess you, and I'll tell you why. I think Barbara. You think so? Yeah. She's done black guys. Oh, she's done everything. She had a very good time, Barbara. <laughs> her. Barbara's had a very colorful life. Right. To someone told us, uh, Paul Mooney said he believes that uh, Barbara Walters made love to Richard Pryor, the great Richard Pryor, but I don't know. I don't have confirmation on he that. He never told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Scandalous. He would have told me everything. Uh, Joan's book, Murder at the Academy Awards, yeah. a red carpet murder mystery is in stores February 2nd. And another book? I've always, I love murder mysteries. And I've always wanted to do something about the Academy Awards because it's so ripe for a murder. Yes. You know what I mean? They can yeah. kill you on the red carpet. They just step over you. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we came up with a plot that's very funny, and it's about, guess what? A mother and her daughter, and one of them has a dog. <laughs> and they're on the red carpet. You wrote this yourself? I wrote this with a, no, this I had a mystery writer. All right, so you're very busy. Yeah. That's what you're saying. You want and people to know you're out QVC. there doing QVC. QVC. With the jewelry. Yes. Yes, you're still selling the jewelry. Oh, God, yes. And doing I think well. November 17th and 18th. I know it's a big day. So you're a very wealthy woman. I'm a very busy woman. Yes. Now, you're very wealthy. You can say it. And you are still as edgy as ever. You say that. Thank God. You said, who is the stupidest celebrity you ever met? Do you know who you said? Do you remember? I, oh, they, they changed so often. It was often. Angelina Jolie, you said. She was at one time, because yeah. she probably swallowed the lip slap, so you can't hear what you're saying. I'll tell you what you said. You said, I've worked with Angelina Jolie. She saw a sign that said wet floor one and time. She and she did. And she did. did. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That could also apply to Pamela Anderson very easily. <laughs> So when you Paris Hilton, she goes into the voting booth. She comes out, the sweat is backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Listen to me. Yes, my darling. You're doing well. Thank God. You're going to go vote. You're going to go vote for Obama. Right now. Voting for Obama. I'm going to see what happens when you vote. I'm going to see if your vote counts. Yeah. Do you think he'll win in a landslide? Not in a landslide. Do you think it's going to be we close? Forget... Is it going to be close? Oh, don't you think with the Midwest and the whole... So Flyover states, as we New Yorkers call it. You know, it's so true because, like, even and people lie about who they're going to vote for. The Bradley effect is what they. Yeah. Call it's called the Bradley effect. They say they. I gonna... worked so. I was there when he said no. I stood on the platform with him. Mm. We have a guy, where, Sal, for example, who works for us. He writes comedy and stuff. And Sal swore to me he was voting for Obama. Somebody drove by his house yesterday. He's got more McCain signs on his lawn. Are you serious? I swear to God. That is funny. And he said to someone, no way. Am I, uh, he says, I lied on the air so that people wouldn't give me a hard time. Uh. Oh, here's what he said also. He was for Obama up until a couple of days ago, and then he read something in the New York Post that changed his mind, but I don't know what he read. Oh, the Post. Did he read that Palin died? <laughs> yeah. I mean, God forbid. But, I mean, that was, I think that's what scares me. You know, that eight vice presidents through death became presidents. I mean, this is not like, oh, she'll go away. Right. No, I know. This, this is very, go this away. Is this very is serious. She was a critical decision. You went to a, a funeral. Decision. You went to a funeral recently. Robert Rauschenberg's funeral. Who is that? One of the great American artists. He's the one that really changed the look of art by taking things off the streets and putting them into paintings. And I got very friendly with him the last three years. And, and you sat near Bill Clinton? Right next to between Bill Clinton and the nurses. So did you ask him anything? He was busy with the nurses. You didn't say to him, he, who should I vote for? He was busy. He was really? Busy. He, he was, was occupied. Chicks. He was having a good time. 
Mm. At a funeral. <laughs> oh, what wow. did you see? Did you see? Was he fiddling around in wow. the, at a Robert. funeral? Ralph Fiddly Robert. He's horny no matter where yeah, he is. He had two funeral. nurses. He's yeah, two up nurses. Women. Uh, you know, when people are ill at the end, they have nurses. They're usually they're big, heavy, old women. Robert Rauschenberg, who, is, who liked anything, <laughs> chickens, men, women, they had great looking nurses. And they were all in low cut dresses. Oh, and and they sat- put them near Clinton. They were not <laughs> stupid to make sure he'd save the funeral. That's the greatest. I love it. One of the nurses, I just want to tell you, when I die, don't have anybody sing Nature Boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dying. Uh, not any t- is your health good? Oh, are you kidding? Like a, like a, a horse. Like a horse. You're like a horse. Aren't like you? a horse. You're very much like a horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. No, I'm saying that. Thank God. I, know, I, I, know. I worry about your health. No, my health. My God, are you kidding? You'll live forever. For, uh, as, as long as I can write a joke, I'm fine, God. And you're going on all the talk shows and things? Uh, Everything. It's great. It's great. Life is great. To have you on the View ever? Oh, all the, all time. the time. And they're, they're treating you well? Not that I could have had Whoopi's job. <laughs> they yeah, didn't right. offer it to me. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Everybody's Isn't, fine. Everyone's fine. All right. I Listen love you. I adore I you. Wanna, Best to the little woman. And I want to tell you this. Joan Rivers, tonight through Friday, November 19th and December 10th at the Cutting Room in Manhattan. A chance to see a legend. A legend. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. And uh, Joan will be there if you look good. Maybe you get oral. Maybe you get lucky. Right. She's ready. I think she's that. She's not dating. In love with her audience. <laughs> uh, for tickets, you got to go to spincyclenyc.com slash Joan Rivers. And you got to get this book, Men Are Stupid and They Like Big Boobs. It's not out till, it's not out till January. December, I'll be back. It's back in December 30, 30th. Yeah, like I'm going to promote it then. And Joan's book, Murder <laughs> at the Academy Awards, Red Carpet Murder Mysteries, and Stories February 2nd. And she's got the jewelry line on QVC. Is that one of your uh, pieces you're Everything wearing? Everything I wear is mine. Let me see. Necklace, big giant bangles. Look at you. You're yeah. completely adorned. Yeah. Always. All dolled up. No, I'm, I'm going to be stupid. I, I design it. I wear it. Give me a guesstimate. How much does it cost to get your hair together for an appearance like today? At $200. $200, you give the woman, she comes, she blows it out, she sticks more hair in there yeah. and everything. Yeah. And then the makeup I see is professionally done. Another, it's beautiful. How much another, is that? Another $150, $200. So thank God you $400 didn't. $400. Just, that, I could have given that to your animals. Thank God you didn't. Next time Better I'll come. Better go into your look. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll scare the hell out of you. <laughs> and I'll give you more money. <laughs> Joan Rivers, I love you. I and love you uh, we will be back right after these words. <laughs> Joan Rivers is here, anxious to talk to her. She knew George Carlin real well. I didn't realize how well she knew him, but she wrote an article in the newspaper today about Uh George. Uh, Also, what else is she promoting? I don't know. Is she on that Family Feud I saw her talking about? Maybe she's promoting that. She's on Family Feud. She's going up against Ice-T's family. Well, who's she bringing? Hey, Joan, and then I saw a picture of... Who did I see a picture of in the paper? Oh, Kathy Lee Gifford's family is on Family Feud. Yeah, I saw that she's going to do it, too. So Frank is being rolled out to do that? It's Cody, Cassidy. And Frank? And Fra- what? Hello. Hi. I'm doing a documentary of my life. Wait, wait, I can't hear what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> Howard. Yes. Hello. Hi there. Hi hey, John. There. Hello, my own darling sweetheart. Hello, hello like, sweetheart. Like a bag. Woman. She's hello, like, my she is, she's moving in. She's got yeah, I'm moving in. <laughs> I like your pink jacket. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, if the girlfriend were as stylish as I, you look she would good. Have, yeah, right. You look so good. Let me just say, I'm doing a documentary of my life, and they won't let them come in. I understand right. that. Yeah. But she came all. Can I just bring Ricky Stern on? Because she is the. Who's Rick, Ricky Stern? Ricky Stern is a documentarian who is up for an Academy Award. You want me to meet her? Just let her say hello to you for a second, so she didn't come 300 miles for nothing. Uh, you want, first of all, why didn't, you, why didn't you tell me she was coming? I could have found out something about yeah, her. I asked them yesterday. They all said oh. no. Oh, they said no. So you they brought her no. anyway. I brought her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say hello to her? Just hello. So I she would feels, say hello to her. Could we just bring Ricky in for one second, please? Bring Ricky in. Ricky, my own darling. <laughs> Sounds like Joan's ass is on the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Ricky. This is Ricky Stern. She's wonderful. Stern? She's a, Stern, documentarian, liberal. Why what? is she doing you? What have you done? Thank you. Right. <laughs> no, she wanted to do you, bitch. But, uh, <laughs> Ricky Stern. <laughs> she reached for the stars and landed on the roof. R- right. Ricky, am I related to you in any way? I don't know. I always get asked. Let me understand this because Joan's in a frenzy. You're <laughs> making a documentary on the life of Joan Rivers? Yes. 
And what have you learned about Joan Rivers that we should know? <laughs> what is it that we haven't heard already? I've seen uh, many, many things on Joan. Uh, the, probably the most controversial is the death of her husband. The is that uh, what you're getting yourself yeah. thrown off she TV has a shows sex and all life that? Than yes. most 18 year olds. She has what? A better sex life than most 18 year olds. Really? You're gonna be doing a documentary on Joan on Rivers' sex, sex life. life. No, you're not. <laughs> it's going to be a very short documentary. What is this documentary? Where will it air? And what are you learning about Joan that we don't know? I really want to know this. Well, this is an independent documentary, but we, we make films for HBO and yes. other companies. So it's up for grabs right, All right now. And what will happen on the documentary? What will I see on there? Well, you won't see how it's turned. No, that, I'm, not, I'm not part of it. But where, where, uh, what, what are you going to do on this documentary? We're going to film her over a year. About a year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joan year will be in line. heaven. She's praying for the death. When she heard Comedian Dead yesterday, she thought, wow, what an ending. If you were shooting and Joan died while you were shooting, it would be pure gold, wouldn't it? Yes. yes. Uh, do you think the family, like Melissa, will try to stop you from releasing it? Did Joan sign enough papers that if she dies on film, we will get to see it? That is guaranteed. Like, you're going to keep the cameras on her no matter what. Yes. 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 And Melissa, as long as she gets a piece of it, will be absolutely thrilled. How many hours a day do you film Joan Rivers? 24 hours. 24 hours. And, uh, of course, when she sleeps, you're not there. And, 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 and quite frankly, I'm being serious now. When she has sex, you're not there. But if she goes on a date, well, you're there. That means she's always there. Right. So she's always there. So, <laughs> there's every time you're having sex. It's the only time she's not there, so she's always right. there. So uh, th this is uh, amazing. This must cost a tremendous amount of money to have a crew 24 hours a day for a year on Joan Rivers. True? She's worth it. Yeah, well, how well, much money are you spending on the documentary, honestly? You don't have to tell him. He didn't let you in. No. Just say a lot. A I lot. let her in. How much? A uh, lot. In terms of a crew and 24 hours taping, I know what those kinds of things cost. Yeah. You're talking about a major production. Excuse me, Howard. I'm an icon. No, 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 you, no. I'm not saying. You know, that, I no, get no but... respect here. I come here <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like Rodney Danger. No, you are an icon. <laughs> now, what did you get paid to agree to this, or do you just love having a camera? Around? I like having a camera around. You do. I'm a lonely old woman. Is, she, is that true? Do you didn't have to pay her anything? Nothing. Nothing. She <laughs> loves it, right? She soaks up the camera. Yeah. She, she loves it. I make love to the camera. This is so unbelievable. <laughs> She's for been Joan. waiting for this all her life. Yeah, I mean, really, she has been. <laughs> You've been waiting your whole life for something. You know like how that. sad it is when your documentarian yawns. Now, what will happen? Will, you, will Joan share in the profits? Is that what's going to happen? I hope. Yeah. Did you sign an agreement with this production company? Not yet. Right. And you're not kidding me when you say you're going to follow her for a year. Yeah, we will follow her over a year. Wow. And do you find she sticks it up for the camera, or is she being real? Uh, Joan, you answer. I'm being real, so it's very boring. Right. I it, thought you would spice it up. What about no, when you, you two are two big machas now? Her what whole you, life is a. Have is we it seen out. anything go down between her and her daughter? They do have volatile arguments. Do you see any of that? Not yet. Not yet. How long has this been going on? Not very long. Started yet. this morning. Oh. <laughs> what? What? The most interesting things to me is probably when Joan goes. Will you turn off that fucking camera? Or something's going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, she starts fighting with you. Do you, do you fight with her about that? No. Do you say no? Do you, no. Has she ever told you to turn off the camera? No. Nope. Tell the truth. She tells me to turn the camera on. No. Did yeah. she ever say to you, "You need to shut off the camera now"? I'm very uh, upset. Not yet. I don't believe it. Well, nothing much has happened. We were talking about George Carlin. Right. But I figured she's not going to do a whole section on George. All right. Do you feel pressure now to do something outrageous because the camera's on you? No. You don't? I'm just worried she's going to sit there after a year and go, nothing happened. <laughs> well, that's right. I mean, what is it they're going to they're find? That's what I'm trying to get she to the bottom of. She does hair and makeup every day. <laughs> I mean, you know what people want to see. They want to see like a bimbo like Paris Hilton. You're not that type. You're brainy. You know what you want. Are we going to see Joan go to a gynecologist? Oh, that's a good scene. There you go. That's what I want to see. I want to see her in the stirrups and her legs spread. I can do a high colonic. And she has no bush, you know. She shaves. <laughs> really? I know that about her, right? I don't know. You, you well, no, at this age, you just lose it. Well, let me tell you, this <laughs> is fascinating. Old. It's fascinating. I hope it turns out to be interesting, and I hope it's successful for you. And okay. Stern, where did you grow up? New York. New York. Maybe I'm related to you. Maybe. Stern. How many Sterns are there? Millions. There are? I don't know. Is that true? I don't know. Well, you're a documentarian. Go find out. <laughs> All right. Well, wait a minute. What inspired her to say, I want to do the life for a year in Joan Rivers' life? What inspired well, she her? contacted about 800 celebrities, yeah. and Joan, Joan was, was the, the only, only one that said, responded. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, my, I'm an R. Nobody has ever come to me first. Right. <laughs> was she the first celebrity you went to? Yeah. Was she, I, we only went to her because we only wanted to do her. Because she's 
an icon, as I she said. Well, I, I agree with that. Hysterically funny. Right. And, uh, I'm a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> not that many Jews willing to be filmed. <laughs> yeah, they How many went, Jews in New York? <laughs> they went alphabetically. Alan Arkin said no. Adam Arkin said no. <laughs> and it went down the list. Well, thank you. A pleasure to meet you. I hope you feel vindicated coming here today. And, uh, and I'd rather be filming. Well, forget that. <laughs> She's okay. very serious. She was up for Academy Awards. She... Tell what the Academy name of your documentary. Yeah, documentary. <laughs> She's a documentary. <laughs> documentary. No. <t> <laughs> what is the name of your documentary? As Jones said. Technically, it was on the short list for the Academy Awards. That one was um, the Trials of Daryl Hunt. You were on the short list. What does that mean? Short list. It means the they choose fifteen documentaries and then they narrow it to five. And so you were you one were on of the, the five. fifteen, not the five. You the but you didn't win, did you? No. What did you uh, lose to? Some. I don't want Some to say. stupid thing right, about when you win, you dead can come back. children. When you win, you can come back and film, okay? okay. I don't need a loser in here. All right, thank you. All right. Isn't that amazing? Lovely All the woman. documentaries, and she was on the short list. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's just What, were fabulous. you a film major in school? No, I wasn't, actually. Yeah. What, were you like a hippie Are chick? you sure she's actually a documentarian? Yeah. I never saw her before. What are you? Are you a hippie? <laughs> You strike me as one of those chicks doesn't wear makeup. You're very serious about your after work. After I went to jo after I've been filming with Joan, I've been wearing um, mascara. Although not today, but yeah. mascara. You're she a serious me. girl. Yeah, yeah, there's no nonsense with you. Right. All right. I, I, She's I, wonderful. I, I know exactly who she is. She's a very serious, very bright girl. But uh, there's no makeup for her. No, she will. By the end of this year, she's going to look like a tart. She's a pretty girl. She's she very can, pretty. She can put a little makeup on and wear something hot. Fix yeah. her up. I'm what do you think? She thinks it's a one-way street? <laughs> yeah, clean Tony's her up. going to get her doing Botox that and everything. That girl will be without panties by this evening. <laughs> Good. Talk to me about Celebrity Family Feud. Who is in your family? I'm on tonight. Oh, who is, who okay. is on Celebrity Family well, Feud? Well, you know, you? we... <laughs> We're Jews, so we we play to win. Uh -huh. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jews always you brought win. in some ringers. So I brought in. I smart. I said we're not going uh, for cutesy wootsy. We're going for smart. So we brought in my nephew. He's a guy. He's a uh, cardiologist. Okay, he's smart from Pennsylvania. We brought in my niece Caroline, who is so smart, who writes books and a column for Forbes. Did uh -huh. you bring your daughter? Uh, of course, Melissa. Right, Melissa. And then we needed a fifth, so we took Sabrina, who is our. Uh, assistant for 20 years out in California. That's hardly fair. She's not family. She is to us. <laughs> no, she's not. And she's black. Oh. So we all stood there. It was uh, like Roker Jew, Jew, that. Jew, black, Jew. So I said, my father cheated. <laughs> so this really. She won for us. This is not really family feud. There's a well, lot of Well, it's people... family plus feud. Right. So you're in it and you're up against Ice T. Ice T, who also brought a friend. Did you know who Ice T was? Did you? Were no, you aware Melissa of... knew. I Melissa. knew Ice T sort of. Right. But you didn't know he was a celebrity. I knew he's on. Uh, he's the guy from Law and Order. Right. And he's a rap star. Yeah. Well, I didn't yeah. know him then, but I knew him now. He's very serious now. Yeah. Oh, He's yeah. An actor. Yeah, serious actor. And his wife. Coco, big Coco. tits, nice big looking girl. Very nice. Nice. And then they bring on their mothers. You know, they all bring on. It's mm -hmm. hilarious. Wayne Newton brought on the mother and the You didn't bring your mother with you? My mother's dead. That's so uh, you're cruel. You're kidding. No, that's so cruel. How when did you, did you lose her? <laughs> I just How remember. I lost her 20 she lost years ago. 1929. Push above. <laughs> So you're telling me... You just break my heart. Yeah, so you, you're you telling me that you go up against Ice-T's family. Yeah, and Raymond Simone. Uh, Raven Simone's family? Yes. yes. Oh, so obviously you survive. <clears throat> well, <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you who won. You won. I would imagine you won. You had ringers in there. You had a doctor. You had a, well, is it, is an right? assistant. Yes. I mean, and then when you get down to that lightning round, do you send in the ringers or do you have No, Melissa go? and I did it. Yeah? All and right. we never left. They stopped the show and said to us, be more demonstrative. Al Roker, I said to him on this show, I said, that's the greatest gig you can get, Celebrity Family Feud. I would love a job like that. Yeah. pay you a ton of dough, and really, what are you doing? You're hosting a game show. It's not that hard. And you don't really have to do that much. <clears throat> and no he pressure. is having the best time. Well, of course he is. What yeah. does he say? Come on down, or whatever. I mean, what is, is it? Let's play the Let's feud. Let's play the feud. Have to say. And right. he doesn't kiss you, thank God, yeah. like that other ass did. <laughs> Richard Dawson yeah. right. kept you from doing the show, right? Man yeah. coming at you with a cold saw. I wasn't really that excited about Family Feud, but then I saw Kathy Lee Gifford and Frank and Cody and Cassidy <laughs> are going to take on some people, and I got uh, excited it, about that. I think it's hilariously funny. And Kathy Griffin is on it with her family. Everybody's doing it because, except, and I said to Melissa, and you were worried about our relatives? <laughs> right. You know, because you always think, oh, my God, I'm so ashamed right. of my whole right. family. Mm -hmm. Right. And then I took a look, and I realized, we're the winners here. This is good. <laughs> you guys look good. I'm proud to All be with this group. Now you wrote, not so bad. 
good. Are you, uh... We're on tonight, 8 o'clock. You know it would be good? The Giffords versus the woman's family that Gifford cheated with. Oh, that that, that, that. That's, that's good. Show, but they never do anything fun like that. Wow. Yeah, that's Susan right. Susan Johnson's family, come on down. <laughs> Susan, Susan Johnson's husband, who just found out. <laughs> right, come on in. <laughs> So you are in the newspaper today yeah. because you wrote about George Carlin. Yeah. We were talking about George Carlin. We we loved yeah, his work. Guy. I mean, who, who didn't love George Carlin? But you actually knew the guy pretty well. We started together. It was Pryor and Carlin and me and Woody and uh, Dick uh, Vilcazi went a little bit ahead of us. Right. But we were all down there in the village. That was your crowd. That was the crowd. Those were the days, weren't they, in the sense that there were so many geniuses around. But you didn't know it. Cabot was down there. You, you know. never thought of them as you thought of them as contemporaries, contemporaries who were trying to make it. And everybody was smart, but everybody was smart. And Car, excuse me, and Carlin and you never had any sexuality between the two of you. Uh, did you see what I looked like in those days? I didn't think you were bad. Oh please, my vibrator <laughs> turned off. Oh come on, stop with the jokes. You yeah. never made it with Richard Pryor. No, I never made it with Richard Pryor. And, and, and no. no George Carlin. No, I liked actors. I didn't like comics. You were one of the guys. I was one of the guys. Right, and uh, and it was darling, and I was the only girl, and we'd all sit and wait, and we'd all, and they felt no competition with me, really, right, because I was a girl. And you knew so it was that a wonderful atmosphere to be in. Nobody was angry that you did well. Uh, were you shocked when George Carlin began to grow his hair long? And get the ponytail and refuse to wear a suit and all of that. I mean, that's what I remember that was very, very yeah. shocking about George Carlin. He used to be a guy who came on, they had Sullivan Shore or something in a suit and tie, and then all of a sudden he became like a hippie. And I remember, I talked about it in the post this morning, mm -hmm. I remember standing there under a marquee in Vegas thinking, he's ruining his career. Right. And I, then I had such a He went to his own beat. Went to his own beat. He didn't. You're saying he could have lost a lot of work just because of the clothes he they wore. They fired him from Vegas at that point. And you figured he's insane. Yeah. Because you're saying, well, he's doing well. Why and, would he care what he wears? And they're not going to be on. The, he's not going to do Sullivan anymore. You know, because Sullivan was very conservative. Conservative. Right. And I thought he's he's blowing it for himself. Instead, he became bigger. Yeah. See, you were wrong. As, as always, look what? where I'm sitting here today. I'm what? sitting on a couch begging to let a woman come in with a camera at the age of 106. Will you now become the hippie comic? Will you grow your hair uh, yeah. long? Grow I'm your I'm armpits long. My yeah. armpits, I stopped shaving. Drop the pearls and become... Oh, the whole thing. A, right. And stop doing your hair and oh, no makeup. So that was a very brave decision you're saying about George yeah. Carlin. Now, when you see a guy like that die... It's scary, right? I mean, this is a guy who came up with you. Uh, it's it doesn't scare me. I'm being very honest with you, right? Uh, because I figure it's all golden time now for me. Right. You know, as people. Do you count the days now? Do you sit there and go every day? Go how many years could I have left? Let's say I got yeah. 10, 20, 30 years left. That's it. Uh, yes. Do you really yeah. have yeah. left? <laughs> <laughs> because I at a certain point, that's supposed to be the I'm, age limit, and everything I'm going else is gravy, right? Full fettle. I don't think I've ever worked better. You know what I mean? I really yes. think I'm at the top of my game. There's no question about it. Because I have no fear anymore. Do you want me at your funeral? Yes. You do. Do I you want you to him speak. to speak? You want me to speak at your funeral? Yeah. I would speak at your funeral. Yes. I'm not good at that kind I'm, of thing. I don't I invoke beg tears. You. Seriously, yes. Let's set this up now so Melissa knows, and yeah. I can have the tape, and I'll play it for you. You better put it in the I lighting. would love you. Let's say five years from now you drop dead. Yeah. That's it. You're done. I would like you You're and welcome. a man named Peter Tilden. Me and Tilden. Peter Tilden worked with you in television, didn't he? He's the most brilliant comedy writer. That's right. You should use him. He's brilliant. Are you saying I need a comedy writer? No. I'm just saying he's so brilliant. <laughs> as, a, as a writing partner, he's brilliant. Well, that you know what? I was watching Larry King last night because everybody, you know, like he had a I, big... I, uh, I dropped long. out. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Why did you drop out? I dropped out. They called me early, and I love Larry King, and I always do the show. And they said, come on, fine. Then uh, they called back at 6.30, and I said, I'm going to a dinner party. Please, please, please. We don't... Come on. Then they called me at 6.30. I said, I have to leave the... They said two segments to uh, Jerry Seinfeld wants to be alone. Fine. Fine. Two to Bill Maher. Oh. Wants to be alone. They said then you'll go on with Roseanne. Fine and uh, Black Louis Black. Right. Okay. You know it'll be and now for New York, Joan. What did you think, Joan Rivers in New York City? What did you think, Roseanne and so right. And they said then the final segment is George Carlin's family, and uh, his his daughter, his son. And Hugh Hefner. I don't understand that book. Okay. So I thought, I'm leaving a dinner party to do six minutes, of which I'll be asked two questions. And right. So I called back, and I said, um, if you don't need me, if you need me, 
I'm there. Right. But I don't think you need me to leave a woman's dinner table at a, a sit-down dinner. Right. Uh, to go say, and now, uh, Joan in New York City, do you do you believe that he was a good man? Yeah, I, he, he, you're <laughs> yeah. absolutely right. First of all, Jerry Seinfeld. Why did he have to be alone? And Bill Maher have to be yeah. alone. You get lumped in with a bunch of other people. You absolutely made the right decision. And in fact, you knew uh, George Carlin better than any of these. Yeah. I was there at the start. I was there when he broke. I, not that you mean. To, but what I, was he worth, do you think? We, uh, what, well, George was very funny about money. What do you mean? He always claimed he was a hippie, and I said this again today in the Post. Me and I was wearing a $12,000 watch. Right. You know, I hate hippies With that really have it. Yeah, don't give yeah. me hippie, and then you're on a private plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, if you're a hippie, hippie sit in the economy right. and tell me how you love the unwashed. Right. So have you ever said that to him? Yeah, I said it to him one time. We had a big fight in a restaurant. I said, don't give me this shit. He's elitist. Look at your watch. Right. You're wearing a Rolex. So he was no real hippie. Someone told me they think he was worth one hundred million dollars does it sound right to you i i don't know if he owned his own show if he owned his own shows it sounds right right it does yeah You're well, saying he, and plus he worked uh many, without many a big, stop without and a he stop. didn't live that big you know i mean he didn't no. have the mansion that you know of yeah he, he had the houseboat but a houseboat can count he, he had a houseboat he lived in a houseboat for a long ah, time I didn't know that. you see the type of comic that got laid a lot early on in his career oh, all comics get laid a lot Do women they? love funny men you know that uh, you're kidding me and uh, he 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 was a ladies man uh, he he loved his work he i did. remember we were doing a mike Douglas, the show that's how far back in Philadelphia, hundred years ago, right. years ago. Right. and we were both upstairs working on our material till we went downstairs to go on the air. Wow, he would hone his craft. Yeah, he worked like a, everyone that's around does. You know that. Did he use writers, or was he a guy who came up with everything on his own? I know he used. He bounced with somebody. Right. But you have to. Yeah, it's impo He came up with a lot of material. Oh, that doesn't take one. I owed away from him. Is he one of the top five greatest comedians of yeah. all time? He is? All right, we were making a list yesterday. All right, let me okay. hear the list. I said, Lenny Bruce, right. number one. I'm talking middle... Why was Lenny Bruce number one? Did you ever see him? I never saw him. How He was too young. He was amazing. Yeah. He was the funniest. Took your breath away. That good. That good, that smart, right on target, and sexy and funny and charming and... Could captivate. Oh, God, Maybe yeah. he was beyond the stand-up comedian. Maybe he was something more. He was, I'm telling you to this day, in his 50 years, you still go, no question, Lenny Bruce. That's All the right. guy. Okay, so he's second, number one. Second? Second in my head. Richard Pryor. He's brilliant. All right. No touching Richard, I'm sorry. Right. Second one, no question. Then would come, uh, I would think, uh, who would I put next? I would put probably um, uh, Dame Edna. Dame Edna? Dame I think Edna. he's brilliant. Dame Edna. All right, listen. Uh, I'm just saying, on the Dame same Edna. line, yeah. on the same line would go Carlin. Yes. And on the same line would probably go uh, Robert Williams, even though he steals. He does steal, you say? They tell me... He, that the young comics say he steals all the time. Do you do you agree with that, or you just I, really I'm just telling you what young comics tell me. You They're, know, and I wanted to ask Richard Belzer about that yesterday because he was saying he worked with Robin and he was like the comedy police, and everybody accuses Robin of stealing. Yeah, I I, I, I don't know. I think he's brilliant. He's come up whenever I've interviewed him. He's been amazing and done things right off the top of his head. Seems like he's quick. So I think he's beyond quick. Did you ever have sex with Lenny Bruce? Were you? Uh... Uh, he made a pass at me. He did. And yeah. why? I was stupid. I was stupid. The people I could have slept with. Gene Hackman. I was stupid. I was Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why stupid. didn't you have the great Gene Hackman? To, to put his penis in your mouth would have been fantastic. Yeah, but I was stupid then. I mean, he's a I met him through George Firth, a comedy writer. It was all wrong. You met and he said to you, look, I need you. He just liked me. You know, it was like yeah. cutesy flirty words. Here. Right. But and, I didn't remember. And Lenny Bruce wanted you. Yeah. Would have made me. How did that happen? Uh, he came to see me in the village. Go ahead. And I was cute. You know, I was a young college kid, a little Smart. black dress. Yeah. Trying hard, desperately. Decent body. Yeah. Nice yeah. Teddies. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. I mean, go, right. ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> and uh, what happened? How did he make and it? And I, I was at the bitter end, and he sent me a note saying, You're right, they're wrong. And then he came You're back. You're right, they're wrong. I was bombing. Oh, you were bombing. So Lenny Bruce said, No, 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 no. You're not bombing. 
You're yeah. good. You're good. The so audience doesn't understand. They're right. You're wrong. So How that's about a guy, that? I still didn't sleep. That's a guy who wants to get laid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a guy. I have a feeling that was his come on. Everyone every else night. is wrong. With you mean right. every girl comedian from that era? And she says, you know, Lenny Moose came to see me. He had a uh, Xerox of that letter. He would send it out regularly. So you're telling uh, Tony Fields has a letter from him. So you're telling me that you, Mama Cat. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me that uh, Lenny Bruce wrote you this note, and then you, uh, then and then, then we talked backstage. She liked me and invited me for a drink. Go and ahead. He was coming on to me. Did you go to the drink? Yeah. Yeah, and you're sitting there with the drink. Yeah, and but he was nodding off. Oh, jeez. He was on the heroin. Drug, yeah. He was drugged up. So you never got it on with him. Yeah. You were afraid of him. I was, and also, I was a good girl from Larchmont. St- it was different days. You made a big mistake. You're telling me? All right. The latest incident featuring your, uh, your, <laughs> your latest big adventure career. is that you were over in England. Yes. You were on a talk show. It was their version of The View, I've yeah, been it's told. Called Loose Lips. Yeah. Loose Lips. You're, you're big over in England. Everyone loves you there. And while you're on the show, you say fuck and... and you were talking and about shit. Russell Crowe. And Russell Crowe. And the woman said to me, she's on the red carpet with us. You know, she said to me, who do you like the least mm-hmm. on the red carpet? I said, who do you like the least? I forget who she mentioned. I don't right. like working with so-and-so. Who do you like the least? And I said, get ready to bleep. I said that. Yeah. I said, Russell Crowe. She said, what do you think? And I said to her, get ready to bleep. Okay. And there was a pause. And then I said, he's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, but you don't even know that they had a bleep. Well, I assume they had a bleep. Uh, I assume everybody has bleeps. And in everybody, on radio, you have the seven-second bleep. Right. Uh, when I had my talk show, when I did the Fox show, when right. I did Carson, there was a bleep. Carson had a bleep? Yeah, there was so a seven-second bleep. You're delay. telling me that this show had no bleep. You assume they had no a bleep. I had no idea. It was live. Yeah, it was live. Right. And, and, and live on the air, they threw you out of the studio, or they went to commercial? They went to commercial, and two guards... Came on either side of me and picked me up. And they said, picked you Come up with physically. us right now. They physically picked one you on, up. One under one and one under the other. Come with me right now. Were right you now. humiliated in front of humiliated. the audience? Humiliated. I didn't even say goodbye to the audience. Do, were the women shocked? The, yeah, everybody was shocked. And so I got, and I said to myself, Don't you dare cry. Don't you, you were gonna dare cry. cry. Well, it's such a shock. Right. And I said, You're 75 years old. <laughs> don't you dare cry. I had a similar incident where I was uh, forcibly removed from the Arsenio Hall show. Well, it Are was actually serious? Joan's yes. show. Because uh, remember, they, Joan they, was dismissed and they put Arsenio in the chair. That's right. Right. So they, I had that similar and it's On the very, air? Or, off, or uh, during commercial? I forget. Well, it was a similar situation. During commercial, during commercial, during commercial they break. ushered me out of there. They didn't like what I was saying. Uh, I was giving it to him pretty pretty hard, and uh, I gave it to the Fox executives. I, I told them where they were at and what bullshit artists they were, and uh, they went to commercial. Do you remember exactly what you said? No. You said they were responsible for Edgar's death. That's what it was. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they were. That's what well, he, saw, he I went, told them. I went on Arsenio's I love you show, and I said... I said, all of you Fox executives be ashamed of yourself. You're, you're responsible for Joan Rivers' husband's uh, suicide. Right. Ooh, what do I know? So, uh, Arsenio said, oh, Arty, Arsenio curled up in the fetal position. Yeah, <laughs> and I was going and going and going. And then he said, um, oh, you'll come back later. And he says, we have a group from Africa coming out to right. sing. I said, Africa? Who the, f- who the hell wants to see a group from Africa? Get somebody relevant on here. And that was big because the audience was mostly black. And they're like, boo, hoo, hoo, hoo. And then they, they go to commercial and they escorted me out with a, uh, with the guards. Yeah. And uh, I was traumatized because, you know, this is, this takes a lot out of you. Oh, you can't believe it's happening. You can't even believe you're in show business. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> Where, yes, why am I we? putting my body through this? And I was all charged up. And I got on a plane. They 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 threw me right on a plane to California. I was with Baba Booey. I upgraded him to first class so I'd have someone to talk to <laughs> to get over it. And what does he do? He falls asleep, that big dummy. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and I go, Gary. What just a, happened to me? Well, <laughs> Is there any orange juice? I mean, I mean, I needed someone to talk. You know what this does to you. It's. I said to them, <laughs> uh, by the time I got to my dressing room, I said, I'm turning this around. And there was my poor PR guy. Cause we're out, you know, I'm doing a show in um, Edinburgh and then in London. So we're out to this play that I wrote. So that's what we were there to talk about. Yeah. So I said, this is going to sell. You watch. Let's get everybody, let's start going. You do not throw out. I said, they're an icon. <laughs> Suddenly I became an icon. 
Well, you are an icon. Listen, well, you were on, say weren't that. you on Broadway with Barbara Streisand herself many, many years ago? Yeah, off Broadway. Off Broadway. Actually, above Broadway. Before she was the big name that yeah. she is today. Bam. She had all the A's in her name. How did you, you, you got on a show with her, an off Broadway show? It was an off Broadway show called Driftwood. Yeah. And, it and was, she was a nobody. Yeah, it was her first show. She was still in high school. And you were a nobody at You're that damn point. Right. Yeah. You were both nobody. Yeah. And you played lesbians. lesbians? Yeah. Did you make out with her? You're damn right. She's a great kisser. Did you feel her titties? I didn't feel her titties, but she's a, she, she goes for it. Any fingers? Uh, well, once. She fingered you. <laughs> yeah. You're saying Barbara Streisand fingered To this fingered day, you. though, I, I think James Brolin is a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me Barbara Streisand put her finger inside of you. Is that what you're telling my audience? <laughs> All right, have her escorted out of you. <laughs> Do you ever speak to Barbara Streisand anymore? Every once in a while, she you says do? things to me like whenever we see each other at a party. And remember, we started together. Right. We worked together for like three months. Right. And she'll say to me things like, so you're still in the business? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know. Is she so out of it that she doesn't know? She just is so busy being Barbara. <laughs> is that insulting to you that she doesn't even know you're still in the business? Oh, she makes me laugh. We went to a dinner party. And I like her because, again, I like people you started with. Right. It always... And I always say to her, hello, Barbara, with all the A's. And she always says to me, hello, Joan Malinsky. That's right. like our little greeting. Yeah. Barbara with all the A's. Because she was then B-A-R-B-A-R-A at that point. I see. Barbara. Barbara. Right. So I'm, I go to this big dinner at the Israeli embassy, and there are ten people at the table, and she's one of them. I haven't seen her in seven years. Or all, so I waved her, Barbara, hello. And she takes her first finger, and she waves to me like, she cocks her finger. She can't even wave with her full hand. She waves with one finger. One finger. Like a princess. Yeah. Thanks. Hello. Yeah. Thanks. Is that insulting to you? I mean, you know no, this girl. No, that became my joke. Right. If you go that like... Maybe that's her only moving part. Maybe she, <laughs> when she fingered you on stage... That, maybe was, she, the finger. that was the finger. Maybe she's reminding you. She was yeah. trying She's saying, smell my you. finger. I still can smell you on trying there. Trying to remind me of the good times when we were young. Well, let me tell you something. Oh. I, I read something recently, and I have to question you about this this is important to me you're so serious this when you're yes all this is in it you're an icon i have to, yeah, have to yeah. Oh, by the way i see joan rivers on celebrity family feud tonight yes. at eight o'clock that's why she's here she's not here no i'm her. here for harris on saturday all right see joan oh. this saturday at harris in atlantic city see joan rivers every wednesday night at eight o'clock at the cutting room in manhattan and thursday night at the cutting room because it's gay pride week we have a second show that Good. we put on you see, see an icon before anything happens before you know she goes saying? listen she's i'm not, telling you she's, she's no spring chicken you know what would be terrible if i died here on this show and they didn't get to document it that's right that would be terrible don't yeah. drop dead there on my show Stern. <laughs> She'll get over it. Let me tell you, what is with that Ricky Stern? She into guys or girls? I like, oh, no, 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 very much into, into, into guys. guys. Yeah, uh, children, the whole thing. No kidding. Uh, your dog, Lulu, yeah. who died, passed you away. You losing animals. What is it about you and dogs? I mean, they all die. Well, you? wouldn't you? <laughs> this is how I'm going to end up with that fat so. And the, and the fact of the matter is, uh, you even tried to save your dog's life by laying hands on her like a healer yeah are you now into healing how would you, are you i was so desperate you were going to heal the dog i howard when you love a pet don't start with me because i'll start no, crying it's I only love three weeks it. go ahead she lost a leg right and my joke was you know paul mccartney's dog is trying to pump her <laughs> <laughs> i did all the jokes and she was wonderful and she recovered from that and then she just but rather died of cancer and i was so upset one night i just sat there with her and just tried to put good thought and i was saying god please save my dog please help this dog joan, please help this dog. and the next day we have to put it down i'm not making jokes but yeah look at this yeah, rather than lay hands on i want to take it to the vet i mean oh, uh, trust oh, me you want to see vet you want to see vet bills <laughs> are you saying joan are you cheap too cheap, cheap, to, too cheap to go to went, a vet you know who took me which was I, very sad and very sweet. My Filipino neighbor went with me when we took her to the operator. And I thought, isn't that sweet? And then I realized she was carrying a jar. <laughs> she, she, was <laughs> gonna, apple sauce. she was gonna have the dog for dinner. Oh god. Oh that's you're terrible. terrible. That's a very racially insulting joke. So you're saying to me Is it true after the dog passed on? Yeah. You contacted that wacko uh, James Van Prague? And uh, oh, no. you contacted the dog in heaven. Is that true? No. Did you read that? Somewhere? I read that somewhere. Is that he true? You contacted the dog in did, heaven. Did you contact the dog in heaven? No, I didn't try you did not. to contact my dog. <laughs> didn't you con try to contact Edgar one time through a meeting? Yeah. You did. You fell for that. Yeah. You I was hoping you'd tell me there was money somewhere. Do you think that that's all true? I wish it were true. Would, what could be? Uh, Oren Lehman died. He came to see me three times afterwards. Where did he see you? 
Torn was your boyfriend. Yeah. He died recently. Died recently. He didn't want to see you when he was he alive. He wasn't at the seeing you when we he didn't was see alive. each other for five years. <laughs> so why would he come see you when he's dead? Now because he's finally he tried, free he of you. He used to call me, which oh, is said in the uh, middle of the dementia. When did you me. see him? Uh, he came in. Um, didn't see him, but the bed shook in Los Angeles when right after he died. Earthquake. I thought it was an earthquake. Right. It wasn't. The bed again shook very hard. It, it was Los Angeles. I was in London. The bed just really went. Was I he alone or was he with some girl? It was a, and then the bed should get in New York. So I called this, uh, Sally Glassman, who is this woman I know in um, New Orleans, and she said, oh, it's Edgar trying to reach you. I said, he's taken 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't Edgar. It was Orrin. And then it was, she said to me, well, who has just died? I said, Orrin, she says, unfinished business. I said, yes. And so said, you believe in an afterlife? I believe that they really want to come back. They can do something. And Do you think you. Edgar and Orrin are fighting over you in heaven? Is that oh, why yeah, the bed right. is shaking? Have you ever seen what Edgar looks like? Do you think Orrin was <laughs> shaking the bed so that you, so we could just throw you out of the bed and onto the floor? <laughs> why would he shake your bed? Just to say. Joan, is that what happens when people get older? They start to believe there's yes. a heaven. They get very scared. Probably when you were younger, you never gave it any thought. Never thought about it. Right. Now you think the bed moves and suddenly... <laughs> this is the uh, first time the bed moved with you in it, didn't it? Well, for years. Right. Orrin, Orrin must have been quite impressed. Well, let me tell you something. You are an impressive woman. You are an icon. I love you so much. I love you very, very much. You invited me to the wedding. You promised. I said you're on the list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to write an essay? No. Most <laughs> people have to write an essay. <laughs> Who are we voting for here, Barack or McCain? I imagine it's a tough choice for you. I hate them both. I think what the Republicans have done, you know, George uh, Carlin's eighth word should have been Bush. Right. You know, but... Um, uh, I, I think what the Republicans have done in this country is terrifying. That's I right. just came back from China. It's over. Right. And I, uh, Barack changed. Tell me what the change is. You don't know what the change is. You haven't made up your mind yet. I don't know. I know when it comes down to it, I'll probably vote for Barack. You think Barack? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so, too. I'm not sure yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll go yeah. that way. And, uh, <laughs> by the way, according, this is impressive, according to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Oh, we trust them. Joan uh, has uh, made 500 million selling her jewelry on QVC. I don't doubt I, it. Yeah, right. Then how come I'm selling my country house? Oh, you are? Yeah. You're out of money? Are you no. like Ed McMahon having uh, yeah, I, You know how that, I met Joan Collins in London, and the two of us stood there and said, <laughs> Ed McMahon, <laughs> we both got so scared. What well, happened to you that you don't have money for your country house? Uh, I'm doing fine, don't you? Right. But uh, I, you know, I have to buy my company back. You remember when the, right. the guy absconded? I've been paying up for my company for the last, my name and likeness I paid for the last 15 years. I've been paying it off. According to the New York Post, you do not like New York real estate mogul Barbara Cochran. Joan I don't even know her. So why does it say Joan refused to share the same Today Show dressing room with Barbara Cochran? Oh, that was such a lie. I walked in the, God, they can just, I walked in the dressing room and this lady was sitting there. Right. And I said, uh, I'm sorry, I think it's my dressing room. So right. She said, well, I'll get up and leave. And she left. And I said to her, if you want to stay, you can stay. I'm all dressed. Right. She said, no, 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 I'm out of here. That and was it. That was it. So Literally, that was it. No. It, you don't think she didn't like it because you're Jewish? Oh, I know. She hated it because I was Jewish. <laughs> she couldn't wait to get out. She took my matzah and stepped on it. I never asked you this. Did you have sex with a black man ever in your life? I wish I had. You do. You're sorry you never had sex with a black man. I wish I had, yes. Harry Belafonte, someone like that. In a hot second. He could yeah. have sang. I could have hit. Harry cameras. Belafonte is very light skinned. I'm talking about a very dark skinned black man. Like Sidney Poitier. Right. Oh, yeah. That's, that would really be a, a, a trouble for me, yeah. Not uh, too late to make love to a black man. Why not now? Look at No black man has come at me. Uh, a black man would take you. No, at this age, Howard. Gary, they, bring they, in a black man to Bang Joe. <laughs> Quickly. They don't even look. You know, I carry tampons in my purse. You do, just to see me. Just on. so, no, no, no. So when I'm at a party, no one talks to me. I drop one, so they think I'm still like vital. <laughs> yeah, of course. And I go, oh one. my God, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, it's my time of the month. <laughs> um, I still got my visitor. Let me tell you, that is the best <laughs> facelift in the world to carry a tampon with you yeah. as you get older, isn't it? Robin, carry tampons I'm with you. I'm going to take that tip. <laughs> All right, let's review. Joan Rivers on right. Celebrity Family Feud tonight at 8 o'clock on NBC. She won't say who won, but I would bet you she won. I think she does pretty well. That's right. She carries birth control pills and tampons in her purse. Yep. So that people will think she's still active. vital. Vital. I can still give them that child they want. Do you still get wet or do you need KY? <laughs> oh, I always need a KY. Always. Even I didn't know where woman. to put it. I no, mean, oh, come on. I used to put it on my lips. <laughs> Well, you do look good. No, my my point is that uh, there's a time in your life you don't need KY, and then suddenly you do. Well. Right. 
Is it embarrassing when you're with a man and you got to slap on the KY? No, because they can't see and they can't remember. <laughs> These guys are so old. These guys are so old. They're like, wow, you're really wet. Everybody's happy just to <laughs> be You know there. what I'm We're having sex with an older man. He calls out at the moment of climax the name of his nurse. <laughs> Is it gross having sex with these old men? Ugh, you just keep it very dark. Yeah, I mean... If it's we, gross having sex with me. Because in your... No, stop it. In your in your mind, you're still a young, vibrant yeah. lady, right? Yeah. I mean, and then all of a sudden, you're in bed with like a 90-year-old guy. Yeah. It's got to be shocking to you. A lot of flesh slapping. <laughs> <laughs> when they get naked, it's got to be yeah. something else, right? It ain't pretty. It ain't, <laughs> no wonder you need that gel. But uh, there was a time in your life where you got turned on and you didn't need to be artificially <laughs> wettened, right? Yeah, and then I got married. <laughs> <laughs> did you use uh, <laughs> Did you use KY with Edgar? <laughs> when, Poor Edgar. when Melissa was uh, conceived, she, that was our KY baby. That right? was <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen to me. Let me review. Yes. Because this is what you're really here for. That's she, not so. I'm here to see you. Mm, please. I love you. I love you. Know that. Thank you. And, and the same. And Robin too. Write a I nice. Love you. In case I go first, write a nice article about me. Like I well, you know, the thing that Thank I was going to say. Who do you think will <laughs> show up when on Larry King to talk about the two of oh, you? Oh, they're going to get the worst. <laughs> yeah, they're going to get you like Freddie Roman. You're very nice comments, but they're not going to get Jerry Seinfeld. Is going to come on. I would, come on, I would go on Larry King and talk about you. I beg you. I really would. I don't. I would not I want, want you, you to be embarrassed. I want Roseanne. You know, I want yeah some aid less type. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm B less. But maybe I'm possible. <laughs> Who knows what I am? Robin can come on. Robin too. Yeah. I'll be in the round. She up. has to be in the round. <laughs> Who don't you want? I'll keep them off. Oh, so many. <laughs> By the way, speaking of Larry King, you seen the paper today? His wife suffers yeah. from some sort of uh, headaches or something. Of Did you course. see that? Yeah. You seen Larry? And, yeah, but you know what? She <laughs> she attributes it too. to uh, what did she attribute it to? Tension. Tension. Like tension. Uh, if Larry King was on top of you trying I'd to hump tense. you. You think he still bangs? I think he, at this age he's looking hot. <laughs> <laughs> you like his look. See, it's, it's a man. I see a guy with gray hair and a cane, and I get, I slow down. You salivate. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> All right, look, see Joan Rivers, uh, and if you do, you really want me to speak at your funeral? Yes. Maybe you want somebody uh, better than me. I would love you to. Really? Because I know you for who you are. Would you do me a favor and yeah. write down what you want me to say so that I can read it, and I, and that way would, <laughs> it, that way you'd get everything you desire. Okay. Will you be uh, cremated? Yeah. Should I keep your ashes on my mantle? Like I keep everybody. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> See Joan Rivers. I, I would be too sad to even go to your funeral, but I would go. If you you have to go. See Joan Rivers on. Will it be in New York or California? Probably both. Well, I'm not going to California. We could do it in the middle of the country. I love you, but I'm not going to California. <laughs> you, Joe. <laughs> See Joan Rivers on Celebrity Family Feud tonight at 8 o'clock on NBC. Yeah, everyone's looking forward to that. I'll also see Joan this Saturday at Harrah's in Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. That's the place to yeah. go. That's yeah. fun. You go, you gamble, you watch you, you have dinner. It's going to be very nice, very nice. Good weekend. Yeah. See Joan every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock at the Cutting Room in Manhattan with a special appearance this Thursday. Who is the special appearance? Me. Oh. Gay Pride. Gay Pride. Gay Pride. Thursday, gay Pride? Night, <coughs> Thursday yeah. night, second show, Gay Pride. I thought you meant a special guest beside you. No, no please. All <laughs> you need is Joan. Oh, no, you're we would play at the cutting room. Exactly. A special guest this Thursday, and it turns out it's Joan. <laughs> Believe me, it's a surprise. Robin, tomorrow's show, we're having a special guest. Guess who it is? You. Me. I booked myself. The tickets, how dare you advertise a special guest, and it's you. For Stop tickets, trying to choke Joe. She tried to drink some For coffee. tickets, go to the cutting room NYC dot com. The cutting room NYC dot com. All right, look. I love you. I, I adore love you. you. Go on, I make your documentary. You, Try and do something silly uh, on your documentary. Yeah, well, she's in, she's crying. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll be back right after this. The great Joan Rivers. Thank you, Joan. Like a, really? I thought that was Pam Anderson in the green room. And they make that mistake all the time, don't so they? <laughs> I said, you know, I just was reading about Pamela Anderson. She Thank went you. to Hugh Hefner's hotel room <laughs> naked for his birthday. Like she stood there stark naked and delivered a cake to him. Oh, that's desperate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Desperate. I would Gee, love what that. can I do now to get them to notice me? <laughs> well, she's going to do a reality show. I told oh. her years ago to do a reality show. She said I'd never do that. But now suddenly she's doing it. When nothing else is happening. Yeah. Are you doing it? You do do a reality show? I'm would you doing one with Melissa now. I would That's watch right. That. I hear about that. I do anything. You know, I'm a whore. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're you desperate. I'm desperate. <laughs> you my whole career has been one desperate <laughs> dream. I don't, I don't feel you're desperate. Are you no. desperate? Are you out of your mind? No. I, I'm, I'm asking you. If you <laughs> yes, I am out of my mind. But are you desperate? <laughs> no. No, my career is like an upsurge. 
Do you turn things down ever? Never. Never. Did you That's ever... why I'm still working. Never. You never turned anything down. No. You <laughs> always kept working. I just turned down Donald Trump's celebrity. I got to bring. Oh, you did turn. I just yeah, no, that's yeah. beneath you. That's beneath you. Uh, I just don't want to be told off by Ivanka. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you want to say, you know, uh, come on, you know, you're a lovely little girl, but just shut the fuck up. You right. Know? But and I like her. I like them very much. But I, I just know. thought it was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but to me, you're like a legend. I mean, you <laughs> like a legend, but not really. Yeah, I mean, not a real legend. legend. You've done amazing things with your career. I can't see you going on The Apprentice. It would have been fun. I wanted to do it, and I think they made a big mistake. I said, I will do it if I'm on one team and Melissa's on the other. And it has nothing to do with The Apprentice. It would be so much fun yeah, but wait a second. to be against Melissa. Why? Oh, no, that would but be you, fun. You love Melissa so much. And I know I have the love of my child, yeah. too. But I'm saying you can't force your kid into every mm -hmm. situation. You've got to stop. What are you taking, pills? That's not what, no, I'm taking water. I was thirsty. But, um, Why are you so thirsty? <laughs> well, I was drinking so heavily last night because I was waiting for Richard Widmark and Chuck Heston. We always have this poker party. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Show up. You bring up a good point. Oh, my goodness. At your age now, and I'm not going to ask you, do you give your age or you do not? I have no choice because they they give it for me always. How 70, old do you know? It's so disgusting. Don't even say it. 74. 74. Wow. It makes me throw up. Robin, wow. it has nothing to do with me. Talk I to meet 70-year-old me. men, and I get nauseous. Well, talk to me. You are a young-looking 74-year-old. Yeah, There's I no barely question. look 70. <laughs> you look, no, you look younger. You still look kind of fuckable, you know what I mean? I know. You're desperate. You really You're do. so bad. No, I'm saying, I don't think I'd have sex with many 74-year-old women. No. And I think maybe I would do it with you. <laughs> if you were very drunk, and the next day you knew you were going to die. You have, first of all, one of the things you have... I notice when women hit older age, they all get these horrible hairdos. They look like men. You've got a feminine haircut. Yeah. You still have, like, nice hair. Yes, so, you know how pathetic that is, Howard. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean yes. pathetic? You have beautiful hair. The women, they get these haircuts like men when they yes, get their 70s. But the meanest thing you can say to an older woman, first of all, two things. Uh, the, Why? One of the meanest sexy things, hair. No, that's lovely. No, I... You... You're being serious. I'm being dead serious. You look good. That's... <laughs> Why? Why is that bad to say? No, that's fine. But uh, the meanest thing people could say to older women is, oh, you have beautiful skin. That means everything else is gone. No, I'm saying, why do women hit a certain age and then they cut off their hair? Because they have no hair. Is that it what it is? It goes. Every one of my hairs has a name. <laughs> is that real hair I'm looking at, or is that this a is weave? This is real hair. It's, it's not real. weaved in? No, this is what real hair. Hair. Here. Hair. hair. But, but each I mean, one, this your is lips, Bernice, do you put, Barbara. Do you put collagen in your lips? No. You ugh. have full lips. No, that I don't. Those are I like put the Botox in the face, though. You do. Oh, well, that, now, that I did know. you hear that Botox is migrating to the brain of mice? Are you worried? <laughs> She could kill us. Yeah, but the mice Are look you great. Serious? Yeah, they said that the Botox has a tendency to move around. That explains <laughs> Paris Hilton. Right. <laughs> I'm suddenly liking her. <laughs> All right, let me ask you a serious question about age. Now that you're 74, it sucks. You've got to be wondering. You see a lot of people, they get old and then they go to an old age home. Yeah. You've got to be nervous that you're going to end up. In an old age home, or a you know, you, you see people your age, they start to go to these homes. Uh, Everyone I, I know goes to visit their mother at yeah, the home. I, yes. You think Joan is on the road? I think but, she's on the run. She doesn't want <laughs> Melissa putting her in a home. Oh, I think that Melissa would put her in a <laughs> home. Melissa would put seconds. me in so fast. <laughs> she would and I, visit me once a month. I believe she would. You don't think you're joking? No, but I'm, I'm not. not. Because I'll tell you something. <laughs> she wants to get her hands on your money. Oh, <laughs> you know she it. wants to be running that. Empire. I want to get your, my hands on your money. <laughs> if I could commit you, I would. No, but in all seriousness, do you worry about a home? Could you I imagine don't... Joan Rivers laying there and the attendant at night sneaks in and, and, and does shit to you? Oh, and... that may be good. <laughs> <laughs> do you have that fear? I don't want. I made my will. Up Go ahead. That if I do not resuscitate unless I can come back, and my lawyer went nuts with this one able to perform again on stage wow and he said to me we can't oh no no no! what if you come back 90 percent and i said i don't want to come back 90 percent how many minutes do you mean a full set a full set all right you're saying to me that it would you'd rather be dead than not be able to do your act yeah wow. because that's your life 
my life is show yeah. business. I love my I love my business. If I couldn't do it, I don't want to be live. When you were home, you you're just hanging out. Are you just thinking about show business? And yeah. Think, yeah. It's sad it in a way. It's very sad. Yeah. But it's. Do you have any other interests? I paint. You do. And I they, read tremendously. Are they horrible paintings? Yes. Yeah. You're not terrible. I can't oh, imagine. Nobody. And I've been painting for 12 years. Nobody has ever walked in my studio. Any friend had ever said, oh, can I have that? <laughs> no one wants to hang your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I would hang one of your pictures. Robert Rauschenberg yes. is an acquaintance of mine. So I sent him one. I said, you're the only per This is rarer than yours. If I, if I ask you. Because you're the only one that has one. If I ask you a serious question. I want a serious answer. Okay. At your age, I want to know for myself. All right. Do you ever actually get horny? Oh, yes. You do? Yes. You get craving. I have a great sex life. I'd rather have a partner. <laughs> <laughs> you still use a vibrator? <laughs> you told me They you have a shop erotica yeah. on DirecTV. I <laughs> found it in L.A. It's hilarious. Really? And they're two nice-looking girls. One has glasses. And they discuss... You have to do it. Yeah. But they discuss it like, oh, now feel this one. Now look at this one. Oh, now this one I like because it's clean. This is what I love about you. You, you <laughs> see, you're a young woman at heart. You are still looking at the vibrators. You're still, like my mother, I, you know, she she doesn't even shave her bush. <laughs> Never did. I know you shave your bush. Oh, uh, of course. I, I wax it. You wax it. <laughs> I believe it. That's why you have a blind waxer. My mother should. My mother's still married woman. She should. She should shave down for my father. But what if your father likes it the old way? Oh please! You know he what might it is? like a jungle lady. Do you know what it is to get through that hair, as a man? <laughs> yeah, machete. His, yeah, his penis is like a machete. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm in the jungles of Vietnam. I mean, stop it! And the fact that you care and you groom and you've got, what do you have? A landing strip. <laughs> What do you have down there? Hitler Actually, mustache. I have uh, my initials. Do you have like it a little says, bit? Ha, ha. Are you completely bald down there, or do you have a little bit? <laughs> well, when you reach a certain age, you only have a little bit. Even the hair down there goes. Everything goes. Isn't that something? It's very sad, because you go to shave your legs, you guys. I've been using the same... Sh uh, sh I've been using the same razor for three months now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it... Have a lot of your friends died off? No. Thank, my friends are never my age. Were my you, friends are always, and I don't pick them that way. My friends are always in the 40s and the 50s. Really? You don't... Uh, That's why you, I feel comfortable. You 60s. Weren't, you weren't friendly with Charlton Heston? Chuck and I had a big thing once. You did, no, did you? Did you ever no. have sex with him? Did I you had, blow him uh, or anything? No, I had... Uh, <laughs> there was... There was uh, two actors that died that I had... Uh, sex with. with? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Who, and I, it who makes you very two? sad when they die off. It's weird to have had yeah, sex with someone who's dead. And then they die. partners who've died, yeah. yeah. That's and when you know you're Orin, older. Oh, the man that I was going out with just died. He oh, did? He did. Died. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, while you were going out with him? No, no, no I stopped no. seeing him four years ago. And then uh, he died while I was in California. What were you sad? I was very sad because I heard the last two years were bad. Yeah. And he was a very active man. Nice and here man. we go back to what we were saying. I don't think he wanted to sit with a tube in his stomach. Is it weird? Do you? Th oh, he didn't want any of that. He just wanted to go. Yeah, and I'm sure they kept him alive. Yeah. Is it weird to think back? Wow, the guy I his <gasps> penis was inside of me is now gone yeah. from the planet. That it's, is weird. It's very weird. It's got to be it's weird. Very and you remember the great times. You remember, the, and you go, ah, oh, he's gone. It's depressing. Yeah, but I don't dwell. And I'm very shallow. And didn't Oren leave you for two women in their 80s? Oh. He left, didn't leave me. I kicked him out. You kicked him out. Because he was going out this real slut who came in. <laughs> this <laughs> You're just pathetic a lady in his tights. Who, who was the second one that uh, died? Uh, the other one that was an actor. And I, I don't want to... But, uh, Why don't you want to say the name? Was he a married man? Yeah. He was? Yeah. You were, you were dating a married man? You were man? having an affair with yeah. him? Yeah. Wow. Is the wife gone now? I don't know. I'm, I'm really not going to send her a Christmas card to Fabric. Return. You're saying... Joan Rivers had an affair with a married man. Was it Heath Ledger? Is that no, it? no. God love Heath, though. He tried. <laughs> yeah. He tried to get in your pants. He oh, heard you shaved. You know, I, he died because of me. All right. They think it was one of those little skinny Olsen bitches. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you, is this true? A famous actor and you were yeah. lovers. Yeah. James Brown? I'm not going to tell James <laughs> Brown. Why are you against black people? I love black people. You love black. People. Have you ever had sex with a black person? Yeah, actually no. No, because no, they never. They love me though. Black men love. Me. They do. 
They go wild. It's the ass. I swear to God. (laughs) Got that ass thing. (laughs) But you're telling me, when was this affair? Uh, 15 years ago. 15 years ago, you were with a married actor. You carried on for how long? Uh, Six months. Yeah. Wow. It was great. A name we'd know. A name we'd know. Wow. How about that? And he died recently? Yeah. I'll give you a hint. A hipper. <laughs> Can I take a guess at the person? No, no, no. Let's move on. Charles Nelson Riley. Uh, oh my God! How'd you know? Is that who it was? <laughs> Boy, you just can read me like. Was a his book. husband pissed? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is intriguing. I never knew this about look you. At Joe. Look at Joe you, you temptress. No, but you know comedians. Look at you, comedians of. Was it Tom Poston? Yeah. Oh, it was, wasn't it? No. (laughs) No good? No good. He's not hot. No. He's dead. So you still make, uh, you still discriminate in the sense that some guys are not hot enough for you. Oh, uh, all these old guys that come up to me, you just go, ugh. Was it Eddie Albert? No, he was attractive. Yeah, you liked him. I, I think it was Eddie Albert. No, it wasn't. But he was attractive. <laughs> he was married to Margo. Oh, Margo. A Spanish vixen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it said when you mention any names that no one knows who the heck you're talking about? So in your will it says, if I die. Or if I. If I, I do not resuscitate I mean, me I, unless I can come back 100%. Wow. 100%. But suppose you have one of those long, slow slides. There's no... I would kill. I think the minute the doctor says you're in the middle of a slide, that's the time to... Really? Every... But you don't know till you're there. Was right. it Robert Goulet you were having an affair with? No, but he tried. He did try to get you. Yeah. yeah. And one Christmas Eve in Vegas. He wanted it. He tried. Why not give it to Robert Goulet, a handsome man? Uh, it was a handsome man, but he was a crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you know... You took your clothes off and he started crying? <laughs> He used to carry a gun. I thought, oh. Now, who is going to make the judgment that your act is 100%? Would you leave that up to me? I'll leave it up to you, <laughs> yeah, not <okay>. my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't so good the other night. You know, <laughs> Time to put her down. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the plug, Melissa. I didn't think that was a fun. I've heard those jokes before. Robert Goulet came on to you, huh? Yeah. No kidding. He hit me on the rear end. If we were backstage. A, he's a very physical man. Yeah, he was a rough. beautiful man, though. Right. He's so good looking. Right. And he said to me, are you wearing a girdle? That's real. Ooh, you work out. <laughs> and that you think is a come on? No, no, no. Then I was down in my dressing room. It was at the fr- Frontier Hotel in uh, the Desert Inn in Las Vegas. Right. And I was watching so my my dresser and like, knocky, knocky, knocky. Really? <laughs> door, look yeah. at you. Christmas Eve. Who knew? Yeah. Well, look at what, what a great life I had. Christmas Eve sitting in my dresser. <laughs> <laughs> and he knocks on the door, knocky, knocky. And, and uh, he had Bob- Champagne. He said, it's Bob. <laughs> Make it. <laughs> it's Bob. And he comes in the room. And you know right away. You're a woman. You've been around the block. You know what's going and on. And I said, look who's here. Annie is my dress. <laughs> you didn't want Bob Goulet? Oh, I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> so so he said to you, let's try. You had to be careful. I had to be very careful because I don't like uh, to meet them again afterwards. Right. So, you, so no love affair there? No. But he was a handsome man. A nice were, man. Was the man Mike Douglas, the talk no. show host, <laughs> that you carried on with? You are picky. It was, I wish it was Merv Griffin. <laughs> I'd like to be the widow Griffin. <laughs> You're not kidding. Everything in your life is getting depressing with this aging. Because Everything in my life is it, great now. No, your dog even had to have a leg amputated. Yeah, that was... What? Yeah, yes. my dog. I was out at the Geffen Theater doing my play, which we're now taking to... Scotland, to Edinburgh Festival, and then to London. There's a show based in your life? It's based on my life, but it's also, it's a play within a play. Right. So, anyhow, so uh, they call me up, and it's two days before opening, and they said, uh, she's got cancer of the bone. Your dog. My dog, Lulu, and we have to amputate, and I had to make the decision over the phone. I wow. was out of my You mind. wouldn't let the dog go? I, I said, No. No, no, let's give it. Let's do this, and let's see. She's fabulous. She has, she has, she has three legs. Do people make fun of her when you're walking her on the show? Well, Paul McCartney's dog is after. Her. <laughs> yeah. Here come the jokes. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm now, using it now as a tripod for my camera. You know, I. You you do you? Uh, I had heard that you hate Victoria Beckham, the wife. Of oh, 
They cannot hate her. bear her. Well, how did this feud start? Um, she doesn't know it. She too, I don't think she knows anything. She's, she's, so a sp- she's a Spice Girl, right? She was a Spice Girl. And she right. was a Cockney Spice Girl. That, uh, you know how you know. Any <laughs> place you... To, any it, place, Cockney means what? Low class? Low class. Anyway. Okay, go ahead. Um, any place you go, you're always asking in the... Um, in the airport lounges, the limo drivers, who'd you like? And they'll give you names, and who cares? Right. And then you say, who didn't you like? And certain names come up. Tommy Lee Jones comes up very often. They don't well, like Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, what's his name? Uh, um, uh, oh, uh, the, the actor, the, the Australian actor. Who I, I Mel can't. Gibson? No, uh, anyhow, we'll figure it out. Right. But, uh, and then uh, her name comes up. She's very entitled. Entitled. Yes. Very entitled. She I walks like she's entitled. She's entitled. I am me and you're not. But you must admire her thinness. You love skinny women. I love skinny women. And she's a fashion plate. She's always wearing right. yes. right. designs. But then, but when you hear these one horror story after the next. But now, you've never met her. Never, nor do I wish to if she's so busy with herself. You I just still, look at her and you know. I still tune into that red carpet on TV Guide or E, and I miss you. We're going to be doing it now for AOL. We started all over the That's world. That's not fair. You started it, and yeah. now it's on AOL? It All over the world. But it's, it's, uh, all over the world. But it's a come down. I, no, I, we, I, we got uh, two TV. million shots. We got two million uh, hits? hits. You did? More than we got on TV Guide. <laughs> <laughs> but you hurt people. Helen Mirren recently admitted, the famous actress, that when you criticized her clothing yeah. on the red carpet... She went into a funk. She said, I'm watching the telly, that's yeah. what she calls it. And Joan turns and looks at the screen and says, Helen, get your act together. You've got to start dressing better. It was like the TV was talking to me. I cried. Yeah. Yeah, but she, she got her act together. And we're friends. And she cha- you are? And she became Dolce & Gabbana, took her over, and she looks great. And she, cl- and she says to me, cause of you, cause of you. Wow. And and you still perform in England for the Queen of England? Yeah. Is she a friend of yours, the Queen of England? No, Charles is. You're friends with Prince Charles? Yeah. You must love that. I love him. You would love him. He would love you. Oh, look at you. He's got the greatest look power. Look at you. Look at you. Howard. Friends with the aristocracy. No, friends with That's individuals. Not you. No, he is hilarious. Hilarious? She is hilarious. Really? Camilla. You and would love him. What do you mean them. you're friends with him? How far does this go? Uh,. We send each other funny notes. On email? No, email we don't do. Little letters. I send them funny letters. They send me funny letters. Oh, back. look at this. So have you ever, pen pal. Have you ever swung with them? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't I know don't how far so. this goes. They're great. He is so funny. He gets everything. What are the perks of being friends with a prince? Do you get on their plane? Do you get, uh, nothing. I mean, the perks are that he's just, he gets it. You, you know what I'm saying. He Gets it Did you ever say to him, it. Jesus, you had that beautiful lady die, you didn't pay attention to her. Ugh. Camilla, you, ugh, lady die? Look, crazy Joan wacko. Is firmly in the Camilla Cra- camp. Uh, crazy wacko. They tell you this. I, oh, come why on. Why are the boys mother. so happy to be with Camilla? Because they were there for the whole other thing. This one was a wacko. Because she was good looking. you think she was she was crazy. Aren't you surprised? Prince Charles could get a lot of different women. He's with Camilla. I mean, she's because not a physical beauty. You see, I bet they have a great sex life. You do? I have a feeling they have a great sex life. She's and very... And by great, you mean anal? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, but you look at her and you know, uh, you know that she's a great... You just know she's... Wow, she's... Re- she's earthy. Joan's really in that camp. I she love them. Loves Look at Camilla. her. Wow. I adore. I adore. How do you get them? to be friends with all of them? We went painting together. Is that true? Yeah. How do you get to go paint with them? I'll go paint with them. <laughs> I mean, were I mean, y'all in Habitat? Yeah, but you might be good. Uh-huh. I think they brought me along originally because they knew I'd be the worst. <laughs> so you don't, you don't, uh, you go painting. Where do you go painting? Now, in the south something. of France. Re- Look at you. Yeah. And, what and do you mean? they're sitting there in front of easels, and you're all painting. Yeah. Well, she and I went off together. <laughs> it's great. We painted. We painted green fir trees. Well, I don't understand something. You got to back up on this one. Somehow you you get to know Prince Charles and Lady Di, and they got to be careful who they become friends. No, I didn't know when he was. I mean, not Lady Di. I mean Prince Charles or whatever. The new one, the Duchess. Camilla, the Duchess Camilla. So you, this is unbelievable. So how do you ingratiate yourself and get their trust so that they'll take you painting in the south of France? Uh, It was through a mutual friend. A mutual friend knew them. Yes. And they invite you all to a party. And they go to paint. 
and they knew I painted, and they brought me along. Oh, they and go I, to paint. Okay. Yes. So all of you go to paint. Do you have a painting outfit? Do you wear a beret? Do you, I, what do you show up in? <laughs> you, <laughs> you wear all clothes. Cause I get the paint all over me. So all of a ask. sudden, you you must be digging this. You're painting with the Prince Charles and Camilla. And he's a, but he's a wonderful. He's a great painter. He's a very good painter. He's not a great. He's not Roush. And, and what? And you just so don't paint. Good. Then you go to dinners together. And you have dinner. Do you stay with them in their house? No, we stay in a friend's house. All of you. Yeah. No shit. It's great. It's great. It's great. You're staying at some big. They don't just stay in houses. No, but they're not. It's not what you think. They're you know what really? I think? They're fabulous. I think when you say she's wild, you heard them having sex. No, but and that's why you think <laughs> they're they in great the room sex next Well, door? I was busy with my actor. Oh, I don't know. I bet you that broad puts a strap on and uses it on Charles. I bet. I'm telling you, he is so attractive. Really. You would never say this if you didn't know him. If he was oh, yes. a friend. I would yeah. never say it until I met him. He's very attractive. You I want him. Would you. you do him? Oh, and I wish I were 10, 15 years younger. And he wasn't married to her. Right. I'd have an affair with him in a second. Wow. In a second. You're temptress. Yeah, in a second. I think he's, a, he's so, he's got great style, great charm. And then what do you do? Like, you guys sit around and drink at night and hang out and talk? And, and you laugh. And you laugh. And you, and what, what do you do with all your friends? You laugh. And you what tell are you talking stories. about? Oh, those stupid subjects of mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think the he, people <laughs> disgust me. You just talk. You just and, look and at I, you. Yeah. What, you. What do you guys wear at night? Do you get into jammies? No, you get into, he always wears, um, he looks good. He, uh, I don't know what they were, it was like a, what? A, a blazer. You know, because you're in the country. Blazer. Oh, June, I tell you, die was such a cunt. I'm so much happier now. <laughs> but, and, uh, I always look, uh, you try to look good. I wear a lot of John him? Rivers jewelry. What do you call the cat? Do you call him Prince? Sir. You call him Sir? Sir. You never say, hey, Charles, what's doing? No, Sir. Do sir. you have to wait till he sits down? What's the deal? you got to uh, call this fucking guy Sir? You? But it's right. It, you got to be kidding me. No, it, it, what, you just say sir? sir and you call her ma'am now. Ma'am, her ma'am. You She's can't call her Camilla. Oh. I did, but I don't know. I, I've never even attempted to. Really? But you don't know. You you, 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 he laughs. I've always said, well, he knows I'm going to come out and say really bad. I always say, with all due respect, sir. And then comes, she can go fuck herself. You know what I mean? Right. But, uh, but, and he always starts to laugh because whenever I say to him, with all due respect, sir, he knows something's coming out of that mouth. I can't believe you got to call him sir. Everybody. It's, so weird, it just, but it's um, like it's a friend. And also, you're, you know, age wise, you're, you know, you're. Yeah, you're but he's so. She call, she should call, he should call you sir. He will be, I uh, will be in a room. <laughs> and you go over and you always do a little, like a, a, little, oh, a little curtsy. curtsy. Oh. And he will always take me and kiss me. Where? On both cheeks. It's, really? great. it's fabulous. I adore him. I adore him and I adore her. And you think she's wild sexually? I think she's very, yeah, I think she's terrific. Do you Does she have to call him sir? Oh, yes. Oh, sir. <laughs> do you think you think she urinates on him? I don't know. Do you think no, he gets no, that crazy? Yeah, she's a, a Now we're back to Rhoda Barrett and Danny Thomas. That's what <laughs> I heard. Uh, well, Joan has exciting news. Every Wednesday night. Yeah, this is exciting. Oh. At 8 o'clock. Starting tonight. At the cutting room in Manhattan. I've seen her there. You have? Yes. yes. And Joan is at the top of her game. She's great. And for tickets, you go to thecuttingroomnyc.com. The woman is married to her career. Honestly. I have two more things I have to tell you about. Well, first let me finish this oh. little thing. <laughs> I don't want to push. <laughs> You're very aggressive. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, the, the cutting room. I would, you know what? If I was hanging out with Prince Charles, I'm not calling him sir. I'm just I would, say, hey, you dude, would, sir. Dude, you, you know, we're would hanging. because let's, let's drop the pretense. You got a bow no. when you walk into the room. No, it's. I'm telling you guys, he's fabulous and she's fabulous. Uh, Joan will be at the Cutting Room NYC. Uh, you go to the CuttingRoomNYC.com website so you can get tickets. Go see Joan. You'll have a great it's time. It's a good night. Yeah. Yeah. Do you go out yourself or do you have an opening act? No, there's no opening act. It's just you. All Joan. <laughs> no, but I like that. You know what? I just want to see you. Yeah. Honestly, who am I going to put on there that i got to go see? Yeah. I want you to come on, go, and then I'll go to dinner. Exactly right. That's it. What time are you going? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Every Wednesday night. You wrap it up by what time? Uh, 9.30. 9.30 is fine. Yeah. That's good. So they eat before they eat after. Right, or they eat there. there. Oh, they do have food. They have food there. All right. See Joan this Sunday and Monday on QVC. QVC Jewelry. Uh, Back to reality. Still going strong with that, huh? Oh, thank God. Yeah.
<coughs> that saved my that saved me when the career went away. A girl, uh, you know, a girl I went to high school with designs Jones jewelry. Patty Foster. Is that right? No one designs on Judy but Joan. But no, I mean, I mean, she didn't tell me that. She, she worked with you. She, she yes, she did oh, a work. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do you know who that is? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? <laughs> She's telling you fibs, Artie. <laughs> Joan, she may have worked for a while for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she was fine. proud of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she, <laughs> that's why she told us. Yeah, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm proud back that we all loved Patty very much. We were sorry when she left. <laughs> you, you, she was a good employee. Oh, she uh, was Mary oh, very pretty. Marianne from Brooklyn, go ahead. You can say. John Rivers, I would think Rick Domeyer was more your type than Prince Charles. Rick Domeyer is adorable. Is he hot? I mean, come on, Joan. Are you kidding me? He's adorable. Rick Delmar's on QVC, and you'll see us together this weekend. Irish John, you're on the air for Joan Rivers. Hey, good morning, Howard. Hey, Joan, I saw your Geico commercial. You were hilarious, and you looked incredibly hot. I would love a shot at spreading those 74-year-old legs. Oh, that's oh, so God. sweet. He's Thank not you. kidding. You could get a, how old are you, Irish John? I'm 38 years old. I just yeah. got engaged, but I'll dump my fiancé. Oh, that's old. nice. That may, I see a good marriage coming. All right, now, who are you supporting for president? That's what, You're always political. I hate them all. I think they Equally. should all be... Excuse me, fucking the shame for two years <laughs> running around the country. Take care of the country. They are so, everyone is such an egomaniac. You're saying they're all senators. They should be in the Senate. They should be in the working, Senate. Not running around the country. You're goddamn right. And spending all that money. I but you're going to have to pick one. Are you saying you're not going to vote? I don't know who I'm going to pick. I despise them all. Yeah. I think Obama is interesting. I think you didn't notice in 20 years that the guy is saying uh, Americans are terrible. He didn't know, and the, the guy, I, I found the minister very bad. I found right. Hillary uh, so power hungry that it's just stop it already. Right. She won't tell you hello unless she gets a poll. <laughs> I find McCain, I'm sorry, I don't want a Republican. In. You don't. So it's. it's so it's, you don't know what you're going to do. It's, this country is pathetic. Who right. are you for? Who am I for? Hillary Clinton. Okay. That's it. That's what I'm going to tell you. Fine. That's fine. I like her. I like power hungry people. I'm power hungry myself. I don't think she would go you from here. You notice in a booth over She here. wouldn't go across the street unless she knew the polls are with her. And I so find what? Just, uh, That's what politicians do. Oh, they but stop win. being a politician. We're in such. Look where this country is. Where is it? This country is. We're now so we're in below. Trouble. We're always in trouble. Terrible trouble. How can you even afford to go to Europe? Do you know in every? I go to work. Uh, yeah. Do you know every it's election ridiculous. they go? This is the biggest. This is the worst no, time in our history. It, and we got no, this that's really not true. is. That's not true. We don't say we that every so election. We are so disliked. I was doing we a quiz are. show in England, and they 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 booed. I said, so they, "Oh, leave Americans alone," because every joke was anti-American. Right. And I just turned to you and said, "Oh, stop." We helped you in World War Two. Now, come on, guys. Yeah. yeah, my husband was English, and somebody from the audience called out, "You didn't get in here fast enough." And you want to go? What? Wow. Well, they some, hate us. They ha listen. As someone who's always been hated, I uh, <laughs> I don't pay attention. Matt, go ahead in St. Louis. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Thank you for my quickly call. for Joan. She's very busy. She's got QVC. She I has the cutting that. room. And I'm in a new I'm in a new show called Z Rock on IFC. Quick question: Who's got the hugest dong in Hollywood? Who's got the biggest penis you've ever seen out of all the men? Oh, the oh, Ellen DeGeneres. You think uh, so, huh? No question. Are you friends with her? No. No, no, not even friends with any of the young comedians. Uh, yeah, Kathy, I'm friendly with. Kathy Griffin. I'm friendly with Rosie. Right. I'm friendly with uh, Margaret Cho. Okay. All right, that sounds good. That yeah, sounds I'm friendly with the ones that. Are that are funny. They're funny. The funny ones you like. All right, and, you, and Joan has a reoccurring role on the IFC comedy series Z Rock. The Being show is based on the, it's the it's based on the lives of a real rock band. It's right? hilarious. It's a good show. It's hilarious. Well, you're certainly in your prime. I mean, really, you're working uh, like crazy. I mean, this is wild. I never would have thought that. Uh, I thought maybe you would have slowed down by now. Howard, don't you love what you do? No. <laughs> then do something you love. I'm, I, I, I don't no, this, lose this. This is all I can do. <laughs> By the way, are we on serious? Yes. Can I make a protest? Sure. Your stupid Broadway show tunes, which I listen to when I'm not listening to you. Yes, my mother listens to them. never that. played uh, Starlight Express, and I had people listening for six weeks. Starlight Express is what? Starlight Express is a great 
uh, music. What is that? I never even heard of it. Yeah. No Great. wonder they don't play it. Well, they play every other piece of crap. Starlight Express. You particularly like Starlight Express? Play it once. What song do you like? How does it go? I don't even know. Starlight Express. Da 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 da. <laughs> you're, you're, you'll never be on American Idol, I'll tell you that. I'll have it done right now. Fred, <laughs> make a note. Starlight Express on that channel. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know have that song? I'd I, like to hear what it's I'm a, looking to see if it's in here. It's a musical. We Starlight have, Express. It was a musical in the 70s. It's a great score. Nobody knows that. That's why they don't play. They play plenty of scores you don't know. Yeah, really? All right. Well, As I said, okay, I I'll, listened I'll, to a lot. Just out of fury. I'll look into it. Trust me, I'll do that I'm for sure you. I'm sure that's Thank an you. oversight. Because I, I love you. <laughs> Joan Rivers, you are a delight. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. One day I want you to come in and tell me who the big Hollywood celebrity was you banged. I promise you. I want to know. Two of them. Well, one you, you said, yeah, but I want to know the second one. Yeah. That's the one I'm yeah. most interested in. Uh, why you didn't bang Robert Goulet is beyond me. Well... Not your type. Not my type. Yeah, he's a little rough. He's physically rough. He used to beat up Merv Griffin all the time. I know. Well, I know. everybody did. Yeah, everyone took a shot at him. <laughs> Merv that. begged for it. <laughs> Were you friends with Merv? Yeah, he was a funny man. He's gone too. I, I know. I wasn't that friendly. You should have banged Carson. Then he would have left you alone. <laughs> sure. Everybody else did. <laughs> right. Uh, and go see Joan at the uh, Cutting Room, eight o'clock in Manhattan. For tickets, go to the Cutting Room. The Cutting Room NYC dot com. That's a very long website. Now you say every Wednesday. Every, every Wednesday. Wednesday when I'm in New York. All That's right. right. All right, Joan. I love you. I love you. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Okay. Hey, look at Joan. Oh, look at Joan. All. Give me some tongue. <laughs> sweater time. Thank you, my darling. What are you wearing a sweater for? Show off those tatas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I baby. I am. They're right below the sweater. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Joan? I'm what? How about I am wonderful? so sorry for you. Yeah, let's hear this one. <laughs> well, listen. First of all, you know, you were the host of The Tonight Show. Yes. You have had an unbelievable career in television, in comedy clubs. And let me tell you something. Hold it. I'm going to tell you why I'm upset for you. And I'll have you leaving here it's suicidal. Yeah, yeah. You thought you were having a good life. I thought I had a good life. <laughs> you were a pioneer for a lot of women out there. Yes. Okay? And when you would do these red carpets, I'm going to talk about this year where this disgrace occurred, where the TV Guide channel took away your gig, and E! Channel took away your gig, and you weren't even there for this red carpet Emmy stuff. But here's my point. A lot of these people come around, these young stars who are famous for three seconds, and they won't talk to you. Why are you treated that way? You should be an icon. I don't, truly, and I don't even dwell on it, because fuck them all. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, my life is so great that it's cool. Right. Uh, uh, I don't know. Who is I am not so talking disliked. to you? I'm going to give oh, you a name. Uh, so, ma uh, so many of them won't talk to me, but I don't know who they are, so it's good. <laughs> no, you know, you say, you know, I'm going to give you a name, okay? Now, and I, when I read this, I was a little bit shocked. Uh, Carrie Underwood, who... Carrie Underwood, that's right. That's right. This is an American Idol winner? This is a girl who got tapped on a TV show, on a reality show, to be a star. She she happens to be doing well. Yeah, she, she had a whole engine behind her that pushed her up the hill. She won't talk to Joan Rivers. She's who too is good. She? Who is well, she? I mean, uh, honest to God, I'm not bullshitting now. I am telling you, that disturbs me. It's the business, and what it's you, the people. You know, it's it's all about it, the egos become so huge. Carrie Underwood and I don't watch American Idol, so you know, but Melissa does. You know, so I okay. I knew who she was. Uh, chose not to walk walk past us. Chose not to talk to us. Does she realize your history in the business and all this, kid? It doesn't matter. Oh, you know, I mean, you go. Yeah. I you know how when I'm in the business now, forty five years, I've seen them come, I've seen them go. Right. And every time someone walks past me, I go, "You got six more minutes." Is that what you say? No wonder they were talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder no one's talking to you. You got six more minutes, bitch. <laughs> no, Five it's got, minutes. It's got to be four somewhat, and a half. It's got to be somewhat humiliating. Here you, when you were hosting yeah, the Tonight I, Show or your own Fox show, right. everyone was dying to sit there and talk with you. To right. get a seat next to you would have been show business mecca. Right. And now she's walking by you on the carpet. Is this the thanks? But this is what we. That's why 
We walked away. When t- when fa- uh, what are, uh, TV, TV guy? Don't even say their name. They're such okay. low lives, alleged low lives, alleged scumbags. Not alleged. If you say that they are, then it must be. <laughs> you have proof. When that was over, I was delighted. Those are three most unhappy years of my life. Okay, oh. what happened? You were on the E network. Obviously, the red carpet got good ratings on E oh, when you did incredible. it. Incredible, incredible ratings. Never, never got back to them. They, they E in typical E fashion didn't offer you too much money to continue. Uh, came and asked me to take a cut. Okay, that I don't understand. <laughs> you were doing great. TV Guy Channel stepped in and met your price. Uh, yes. And you went over there. And we went over there. And you had a. And I remember I had never even heard of the TV Guy Channel. I started watching it when you and Melissa right. were doing this coverage. Right. And now I watch. And even now I watch them in the sense that if I know this coverage, I'll watch. You try it. going over there. Huh? I do. Yeah. What went so wrong? I don't understand. I don't know. We gave them the highest. I'm telling you honestly and seriously. TV Guy. We gave them the highest ratings they ever got. The Go last Os- Oscar show. The highest ratings we ever got for them, and the highest ratings they ever got, period. Right. And they let us go. We didn't know. We we were in shock. Were they difficult to work with? They were non-existent. What does that mean, non You never met anybody. You he ne- used to at least meet with a, you. I knew everybody. Uh, e, I knew everybody. Right. You know, it, it was, you never, it was non-existent. There was a deal where I was supposed to do a show for right. them. And I would send in ideas. Never met with anybody. You know, like you send the idea in, yeah. and it just you don't even know where it goes. No, for three years we used to send ideas, so we used to recycle them. <laughs> See, Allegedly, <laughs> I'm going to get sued now with those bastards. Is it? Is it? Are you hard to work with? Do you think I, that it could I, be you, G- Howard? Wait a second. I'm asking the, the question. The easiest person. In the, are you out of your mind? Is it possible Melissa is pulling no. you down? No. Is Maria? she pulling? Is she led no. weight? No, not at all. You should. I watch. know you love I your daughter. I love my daughters. She is amazing. We just did this thing yesterday that w- went so well. And they got the highest. Here we go again. So probably let us go too. They got the highest ratings ever on VH1. Who is this? On VH1. And we. What did, did you do on VH1? Don't ask me because I'm a fool. But we did a. You did simultaneously everything you can do in the internet. You, you know, did, we had you a were blog, on the internet. and we were on the internet. And we were answering questions. And we were on podcasts. You were on VH1 internet. Answering questions while the red carpet was going on. And blogging. And well, blogging. We did a huge, you can still see it. It's uh, Emmys with Joan, Emmys with Joan dot com. Okay. And now you're blogging. Yeah. And uh, they got the highest, they, they, the machinery, a lot of tuning. the machinery just clogged for a second. It was so, okay, so it's yeah. all fine. It's all good. And but you would they, rather be on television than the internet. Yes, but you know what they let me do? I could say, and you know what I'm talking about. I could say everything I wanted to say. And I'm 74 years old. I just let it rip. What did you say? Did you, did you come down if on If someone's anyone? a big fat pig, I said they're a big fat Who pig. Who was a big fat pig? Uh, oh, well, not a, not semi, well, some of A semi pig. Uh, <laughs> Who was there a were certain pig? women. I don't know all their names. You know. I like the honesty. I like when you see someone. I, the the hair, Sally Fields. Now, now, I thought she looked good. No, I'm just talking about with that speech. Now, they believed her speech. They were, I was begging them to. You, you, you don't think you it was... You know what we learned from her? Mm-hmm. You, the osteoporosis does not hit the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so boring. She's a bore. Oh, oh my God. She actually up. livened her up by bleeping her. Is that I think she's saying? looking for another commercial, but for, like, mental retardation. I had a problem with the Emmys that they actually cut people off. Like, I was interested in hearing from David Chase, the guy who wrote The Sopranos. He was in the middle of a heartfelt speech, and they would play this music. To get him off. And then they would, yeah, I would like to hear the guy. And then they have Tony Bennett and Christine Aguilera that singing. That was so sad. Well, what oh, I'm wait saying a minute, is. Forget them. What about the the four, the four guys from the Four Seasons? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. The, I, and they were shooting boys. the girls to, to, to uh, Frankie Valley. Yeah. They're, they're showing Adriana get yes, Frankie oh, Valley. So, so, is this a tribute to the Sopranos? My point is, if you're going to, if you're going to, first of all, the Emmys were in the round. Did you watch them, Artie? Yeah. It they was, were in the round. So a lot of people got back. They got rear ends and farts. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. If I'm a celebrity, now I see, for oh. example, um, uh, Rebecca Romaine and her husband, Jerry O'Connell, yes. are sitting and staring at the backsides of the performance. Right. They're on the back of the performance. And this is Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Yeah, really? Julia Louis-Dreyfus. This is my night. 
I'm supposed to be honoring the television industry, and I'm sitting and watching the back of someone who. How do you make a show I'm in the round? I'm supposed to be being honored. I'm in the television industry. You're just praying <laughs> that Wolfgang Puck didn't serve beans. I Is mean, it that people are trying to reinvent something that can't be reinvented? It's a award. You know, the English do it right. I was over. It. And I was uh, at the BAFTAs, which is their Academy Awards, right. you know, all this stuff. They do it. They haven't got production numbers. It's done elegantly, fast, done, gone. This is, don't make it into a show and don't push your own. I found Fox was so bad pushing their own people, pushing right, their own right. people. And the set was like my favorite episode of American Idol. Well, let me ask you this. In the years gone by, when Johnny Carson was the host of the Emmys, it was a very prestigious event. Didn't they do themselves a disservice by taking a no talent like this Ryan Seacrest but, and putting him on there? But he's the biggest star on Fox. But 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 in a way, I mean, he he didn't embarrass himself. He got no, up he there. Was, he was and perfectly he, fine. He was, he, was fine. he was an MC. But this is a job for someone who does comedy, who makes cracks about people, this kind of, of thing, course. right? So why what, what what kind of broadcast is this? Is this it, has it lost its prestige? I think the you want to know the truth? I swear to God, and it's not sour grace. I think they're over. There are too many of them. Every time you turn around, there's another show. They all now look alike. That's when I said to Melissa, I don't want to do it anymore. They all, the dress is the same dress in a different color. Right. They all have now, you know this, they have the PR person right off camera. You can't ask them anything. Right. You can't discuss anything with them. They're all wearing this. I recognize the jewelry now. Did you stand on the red carpet this year? No. You just sat and watched. We it. sat and watched and blogged and talked and did podcasts and it was great. Yeah, How did you think that uh, Christina Aguilera did with hiding the bump? Who cares? <laughs> I think she looks good. Why, why is I she thought she hiding? looked pretty. No, I, I so think she's stupid. hot. She's hot. She's, she's hot. pregnant. She's, she's hot. pregnant. She's carrying Tony Bennett's baby. <laughs> that was the big secret. Yes. Did you see the wife next to Tony Bennett just trying to kill him? <laughs> I was uh, the guy from Lost had a very heavy set wife. I saw. I, yes, I knew. Yes. You know, when I saw yes. Terry O'Quinn's wife, I said, "How would will be commenting on her tomorrow?" Yes. Well, yeah. I, I think they're putting her on Lost. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if she's on Lost, they can all eat for another year. <laughs> she needs to lose a little weight. I, I, I mean, she's an attractive woman, but she needs to lose ah. a little but weight. But maybe he's a chubby chaser. Maybe. Maybe he's, he's happy with her. He called her beautiful. Yes, I, I thought that, that was guy. great. I love that guy. Yes, I love that guy. He's even like a good husband. Yeah, I'm yeah he's, he's a good actor. He's been married yeah. a long time. He's not one of those Hollywood schmoes. I'll bet you you'll find stuff in his drawers you wouldn't believe. <laughs> you if a network going on. If uh. a network said to you, Joan Rivers, look, yeah, we want to bring you back. We want you to do the red carpet, but we want you solo. We do not want you and Melissa. No, you will not do it. No, Why? I think it's with. They don't see our mail. People love the mother daughter. I think the generational like thing. Absolutely. I think it's terrific. But what if they say you still have to have it. your own career? What is this? Yeah, I have my own career. But this is one thing. I love it doing it with her. And she's so fucking smart. And she knows them all. And she's charming. And she knows the younger generation. I don't know who I'm talking to with some of these idiots. I think Melissa would do it without you. I think if the network Good. came to her and said, listen, Melissa, I would want say you? do it. You would? In a second. Disloyal. This law and a second. You said you don't like uh, the girl from Ugly Betty. Uh, oh, I'm so. Oh, I think the show is so. Here we go. Stupid. Oh, oh, ugly. She's going to make it right. Enough already. Right. Number two. Oh, wow. She's wearing glasses and braces. She's ugly. If you're that stupid that you're working in that kind of an environment, you don't pull yourself together, you deserve to die. You do. <laughs> You're saying that people in Hollywood who work in Hollywood should pull themselves together. Lose they a little do. Work. They have to. Look at them. Look at just the comedians. How better we looking we all get. Look That's at right. Lily change. Kathy change. Uh, uh, Rosie looks. We all are ugly girls that get better looking. Are Anyone you, gets better looking. Are you angry with Rosie O'Donnell that she didn't have you on the View? Oh, she did. She did have you on. She the did. View. I love her. We, we love we, Rosie. We uh, email. You know why I love her? Because she tells the truth. See, I like that too. But uh, Barbara Walters would not. Uh, Barbara Walters was on the phone with me this morning. She would not talk badly about Rosie O'Donnell. No, well, she, she took can't. The liver. She can't. She can't talk. She badly. can't do that. Barbara's above that. I see. I see. Barbara's above. Do you get invited to Barbara's dinner parties? Are you out of your mind? Never. Maybe someone has a, there's a waitress didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. No, we're not good. We're too competitive. Why can't you be on The View? Why can't you be a guest host? I'm too old. They, they need one old person. They have Barbara. They have Barbara. And but they have two black people. Yes, I know. And I think that's a mistake. You do? 
You think it's wrong? I think I'm, I'm telling Too you. Too many I'm a, blacks on the view? I think I'm a Midwestern housewife ironing in my kitchen. Yes. White bread as they come. And I tune in. I'll take one black lady. I'll take one oriental lady. Go ahead. Give me a wasp. Good. And then either a Jew or an Italian. The mix was brilliant. Right. Now it's, wait a second. There are two women and they're both saying, hello, girlfriend. I'm nervous. Too much. I may ruin his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> one too many blacks, Robin. One too many blacks. I don't know, Joan. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> saying, that's well, controversial. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think the original mix was brilliant. Joan. You take one of everybody. Tell everybody here the truth. The truth now. Yeah. You threw Phil Spector out of two parties yes. that you hosted. Because of guns? Yes. yes. Is that right? He went after do you think he's guilty? Oh, do I think he's guilty? I'm asking you, is he guilty? <laughs> no. I think this this girl picked somebody that she didn't know to go to his house and take a gun and, and shoot herself through her cat. Somehow Why would she go? House, she doesn't know. She found a gun and she managed to commit suicide. And Why would you the go cats, to... The one good thing that was left. Why would you mouth. go to a guy's house who looks like the Bride of Frankenstein? <laughs> because he's rich. He's and because rich. you're 40 odd years old and you're not making it in Hollywood. And you're hoping something will happen. And you hope you'll become Mrs. Spector. Yeah. Really? Oh, my, my ex assistant, and I want to mention her name, because uh, yeah. was going out with him. She testified at the trial. Yes, I guess. Why, why can't I say her name? Dorothy. Dorothy. Because I'm Dorothy. scared that if he gets off, I'll go kill her. Oh. Listen, well, what happened with Dor name. Dorothy went out with <laughs> Phil Spector? Yes. Are you shocked she that she dated him? I, when he walked in, I didn't see him in the beginning, because he was so short. She came to you and said, jo you and Dorothy she were loved, very close. Yes, yeah, she loved him. Do you he still talk to Dorothy? Uh, more or less, but she's into the Kabbalah now. Oh, is she? Yeah, you know, everyone goes through different periods of life. Right. So, okay, she's Dorothy... She's eating chicken and walking a temple. Uh, I remember Dorothy, very lovely. Yeah. So she dated Phil Spector. Yes. And you probably, in the beginning, were like, hey, great, a rich record producer. A you rich, didn't know he was cuckoo. A rich... But she called me from the... From the uh, the Waldorf Astoria, and she said to me, I'm locked in the bathroom, and he's got a gun. Wow. That was the Waldorf. Then she went out to California, and this happened again, and then he came to my Christmas party, and he pulled a gun on Walter Cronkite's daughter. Oh. What? Yes. At your party, At he pulled party. out a gun on Walter Cronkite's daughter? And also on my, my darling neighbor, Cynthia Maltese. How are you not testifying? They called me. I didn't want to go. Really? Can you turn down testifying? I yeah. thought you have to be. You have to go. No, they, they. I wouldn't talk to them on the phone. They could never get me. I see. They would call. No, she's not in. She's not. So they just could never get me. You just don't want to be involved in that. I don't want to be involved in that. And I figured it was a slam dunk anyhow. Right. And then will he get off? Well, they're still oh, and he, he pulled a, another gun on Dorothy when she testified out there. She pull, he pulled a gun again on her? Yeah, she testified. She was lying on the couch. Exactly what happened with this girl. Why and did she he woke pull up and there was a gun. Back up for a second. Yeah. Why did Phil Spector pull a gun on Walter Cronkite's daughter? How do you do that at a party? Because it was a huge Christmas party. Right. They got better after you stopped coming. Well, listen, I, was, I never yes, had fun. You came to the entertainment with I went, incredible. To, I went to Joan Rivers' house. I, I, left, I, I looked like I was from Dachau. I couldn't even find anything to eat. Look, I had a little I, sandwich with a bread cutter. I would have gone away. back if I knew there was going to be all this gunplay. There was finger sandwiches. I never. I don't care what's going on there. I could. All I could get was a finger sandwich. Well, I'll tell you, but Phil Spector doesn't like not being fed either. I can't. Right. I'd pull a gun at Joan's party, too. I'm Joan. I said, Joan, you got to get me some food. I'm going to kill you. Are you kidding me with this finger sandwich? <laughs> had, uh, uh, even the crust was cut away. I said, kill for some crust. <laughs> anyway, listen and, to me. So, I didn't know your parties were like these rap stars. Like, yeah. People come and pull guns. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. yeah. Oh, extra security. A lot happens there. It's not just the gay men's choir singing. Well, well uh, look, you're saying to me, he gets into a conversation with Walter Cronkite's daughter. Yes. What could she say to him to make him pull out a gun in the middle of a Christmas party? I don't know because I wasn't at that conversation. I but see. I had to send Louis Tanazo, my security man. I know Louis, yes. Up to, to get him and take him out. Wow. Yes. <laughs> take him out. And he held the gun up at your party. Yes. Wow. Yeah, allegedly. I don't need Allegedly. <laughs> no, I, what I'm saying is, I don't want to be, you know. You don't want to get, in case I'm he gets fine. out. Can you imagine that the jury can't come up with How anything? stupid. How stupid is this jury? Is this yeah. what goes on in California? O.J.? And no, look at the, yeah, what look happens at OJ, out there. Look at Robert, Robert Blake. Blake. Robert Blake. 
<laughs> Robert Blake. Yeah, he's innocent. He is innocent. Oh, look, I've left my gun here on the seat. I think I'll walk out now. <gasps> look, my wife's been shot. <laughs> <laughs> now, Phil Spector, so Dorothy, your old assistant. Yes. She had to go testify at the trial. And, and she, she claims she was on a date with him. Right. And she had to lock herself in the Now, why did, she, why did he pull a gun on her? He was, I think well, he, what, he what did did drank and he got crazy. I know he used to urinate in the limo. Oh, he did? Yeah. I've done that. Yeah, well, so no. that was, <laughs> That's not so crazy. But no, wait, you mean on, on the floor yes, of the limo? But you're a gentleman. Did he have a bottle in no, there? No, that's what she told me. You're a gentleman. You always put it right into the liquor bottle. Absolutely. So people don't know. They drink it, but they don't have to see me doing it. So you're telling me that Dorothy goes on a date with Phil Spector, and he pulls a gun out. What do oh. you got there? Oh, okay. somebody just gave me a whole thing about dating women at my... Is that sweet? Somebody sent me jokes that if I wanted to talk about dating women. No, oh, but, but wait okay. a second. But never mind that. Yeah, I know. This is fascinating. <laughs> so she goes on the date. Then she, after he pulls a gun on her, she goes on another date with us? Well, well, that's why... Women are desperate sometimes. Yes. Yes. But don't just... Phil Spector, you, oh, you all forget, beyond rich. Is he? Oh, he stole from all of them. Those poor, uh, <laughs> who are they? The Mandrells, the 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 Dinky Doos, the who are they? The Bluebells. You know, Ronnie, what's the name? Spectre. Ronnie Spector. Right, yeah. Good. <laughs> I know that name. Uh, uh, they got all their residuals. All right, okay. So he's very rich. Yeah. And also to a woman of a certain age, it's Phil Spector. Yeah. Right, Mrs. Phil Spector. So do you think Dorothy? Wall of Sound. If you so, can hang Wall in there for a couple of years. Mrs. Wall of Sound. <laughs> she really was crazy. She's crazy about him. She was. She, she liked him. Liked him. Gave it to her good. And 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 also you go to Elaine's and you sit at the best table and you go here and the limo right. picks you Suddenly up. Suddenly in yeah, Hollywood, but I mean, is someone. he good company? Right. I don't know. I never doubled. Up until the gun. <laughs> till he pulled the gun a couple of times. <laughs> Some girls like to have a gun on him. <laughs> he is going to get off. But wait a second. Now, the second time, why did he pull a gun on her? Do you know? No, I just know. And the third time, they third, had some kind of... Third. Uh, yeah, I think there were three times. <laughs> <laughs> that ridiculous. Think, I Joan, think. I know you're desperate, but you don't go out with guys with guns. No. Of course not. Of course not. Right. Maybe a knife. You've had See, some... OJ, I would say. <laughs> You've had desperation in your life, but you <laughs> never went to that. doesn't carry the gun. How about... Joan, Joan, what you're saying is... Three times now you're revealing. In theory, I, th I think. And she'd call you each time and tell you? Yes. Yes. She was mad about it. <laughs> it's mad amazing. about it. It's a man's world, isn't it? It's a man's world when you're uh, very rich. Right. You yeah. know that. I go out with, I go out with some of these people, I'll sit at the table, I look at the husbands, I look at the wives, and I go, right. you're earning every carrot in that ring. <laughs> every <laughs> carrot. I mean, There's not enough earning. carrots to put in the ring. Oh, my God. Wow. Aren't you lucky that in your career you were that successful? You had your, aren't you lucky you could afford to be alone? No, aren't you lucky that you ended up alone? <laughs> you're so How lucky, lucky you that you're a lonely woman. Yes. Oh, wow. my God. How nice you. it is. You can sit alone in your bedroom at night. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have tremendous respect for you. I'm no Carrie Underwood. I am telling you, I Carrie you Underwood so should speak with you. Now, let's remind people what's going on in Joan's Yeah, what is now. going on? You can check out Joan Rivers' Emmy coverage at emmyswithjoan.com. Is this going to be now a yearly thing? Uh, it's going to probably be all the time. Yeah. All the big all events. The big all events. the big events. And it's hilarious. So you're telling me I log on and I will be able to see you? you or see I got to read something? I see you on you TV. Read us. And we real time commentary. Uh, we did real time. We did. A podcast. We did little vignettes. I went out in the street, which was hilarious. I interviewed people. How does the money compare? Can you get paid? Oh, there is no money. There's no money. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm planning to do <laughs> advertising, maybe for guns. Maybe that'll happen. What is that pill you're taking that you're My life, in case you say goodbye to me, I have an Alfoid. <laughs> an Alfoid? Oh, if I kiss you goodbye? Oh, well, you know that as a host. I'm not going to tongue kiss you. It's yeah. okay. You yeah. don't have to How many that. people have you talked closely to on a couch and you go, I'm going to kill myself with the commercial <laughs> <laughs> True. You have these beautiful women that say, hello, you're, oh my God, Diane Keaton. Ah. See a dentist. Allegedly. Who did you come down on in your blog last night? Who did you Everybody. Really, you we, did. You were vicious. Oh, we, not vicious. We sat the way if you and I were sitting together. Alone. Alone. Laughing at the Emmys. All right, I like that. Now, I'm going to go to emmyswithjoan.com. Emmyswithjoan.com. And to see Joan every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock at the Cutting Room in Manhattan is pure magic. For tickets, go to <laughs> the Cutting Room in NY... Here, here, let me give you the right website. <laughs> TheCuttingRoomNYC.com. TheCuttingRoomNYC.com. Right. That's such a small room. I get four people in there. I say, ooh, busy. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> I say anything there again. Too. I'm reaching the point in my life. 
I don't care anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, you're still on top I of your know. game, though. You're, I, I understand when you do a club, you're still great. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. I'm, what about I'm Don not... Rickles? Does he still have it? He's my very good friend. He's a good friend. Does he still have it? Yes, of course he still he does. has it. Okay, all right. Of course he still has it. <laughs> of course he still has it. <laughs> Who the hell knows who's breathing? <laughs> all he's, right. he's the funniest man backstage I've ever met in my life. Really? He and David Brenner are the two men backstage, Howard. You still friendly with David Brenner? No. And that makes me sad. What? I, never what? See, what? I never see him. Oh. He just went, he just, you know, he, we have friends during our lives and you move move on. No, I, we're not enemies. Who's your best friend in show business? I have not, in show business? Yeah. Nobody. No one. Nobody. No one. Not in show business. It's sad. No. Oh, yes, uh, but, uh, my, I have very good friends, uh, writers, very good friends, um, uh, painters. Sad. Robert Rosenquist now is my very good friend. Oh, big deal. Like? Painter, schmainter. Easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Joan Rivers' Emmy coverage at emmyswithjoan.com. I love seeing you. Mm. I love you so if much. If anybody disrespects you, I'll take care of it. I know you will. Don't God worry love about you. it. You're goddamn right. I love you both. Well, thank you. I love you, too. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after... Oh, you want to hear from one guy on the phone? What? Mel? He says, oh, no. It's going to be mean? No, he was like, I worked with Joan, and she's great. Oh. What is it? Here's Dan. He's got something nice to say. Go ahead, Dan. Hello. Hello. Hey, Joan, I want to say I'm 32. I'm a young guy, but I, I've always loved you. I think you're one of the greatest female comedians. You and Sarah Silverman, they all otherwise, most of them suck, but you're, you're definitely hysterical. You've always been funny. Well, thank you very much. I think so, too. What is it, I got, Mary? I got a question, though. What is it? Um, what was Jesus like as a child? Uh, what was Jesus like as a child, Joe? Very cute, but he, you know, he, he wore sandals, and then Mother Teresa stole the whole look from him. That sandals look is horrible on a man. Oh, and on a woman, too. Dirty feet. What about Mother Teresa? <laughs> Terrible. Get yourself a pump. Mother Teresa, very whiny. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Marianne from Brooklyn. Howard, what a show. Tap of the Stevens, Barbara Walters, and now John Rivers. I'm a huge fan, John. I absolutely adore you. I can't believe that you weren't on TV last night. I agree. That's I watched Lisa sweet. Renna. There's nothing, nothing on the Emmy stuff. And that preview show you used to do was the greatest thing around. you got to come back, Joan, produce your own show. Absolutely. That's very sweet. Thank very you. Very true. All right. Listen, enough of this. How sweet. Check out Joan Rivers' Emmy coverage at emmyswithjoan.com. We'll be back right after these. We're so good seeing you. Same here. Joan Rivers is here. And uh, she stopped by to say hi. Probably promoting 50 different things. Oh, I know what she's promoting. The Oscars red carpet pre-show Sunday, February 25th at 6 p.m. on the TV Guide channel. Joan does that all the time. Uh, a lot of commotion out in the hall. Why? I don't know. It's just very busy out there. We get 57,000 people work on this program on this channel here she is there's joan rivers oh, no. you have something for me what is that <laughs> you look good it's always hustling you always look good you always hustle sure now i'm going to come here and look bad so you can discuss how old i am <laughs> you will anyhow <laughs> i brought you vincent price oh what oh, oh i got my vincent shit. price Oh, my God, that's so sick. <laughs> I'm going to have a piece of Vincent Price. In your Everyone, house. I got more email about that. Joan Rivers actually, and this is not a joke. Are we on now? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Joan Rivers actually has a, a collection, a collection yeah. of dead people. They're, they're ashes. <laughs> I'm trying to get Adam Nicole Smith. <laughs> uh, if you got that, I would uh. like that. But, uh, you know, the her ex-husband is there. Yeah. Uh, there are, my who else? dogs. Your dogs. Uh, Vincent Price, Carl Brown, Little Bits, all my old hairdressers. Wow. Uh, two very good friends, my friend Tommy Corker. I, and I, That's I the most bizarre thing I ever heard. And I don't know if Joan does this to be sort of bizarre, bizarre and a little no. quirky. My mother, a little bit of my mother, even though she's buried, but I just took a little finger. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, is there no, a piece, that, is a there a piece of your mother? No. 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 So you have a piece of Vincent Price, and Robin said... She has a little of his ashes. A little a, of his ashes. I was a huge fan of Vincent Price. May I have some of his ashes? Yes. And you agreed. And I, and I, I thought it was absolutely odd to be giving away pieces of Vincent Price, but okay. I wasn't the only one. <laughs> See, this is why you shouldn't die. People but do every, this with We got nobody, so much email. Howard, nobody knows till they're there. And if someone is a very good friend and you can keep a little bit of their ashes. And what does that do for you, really? I don't know. But it makes it's, do you, people do keep you, their pets. I owe my pets. Do you look at the urns every single day? They're not urns. I eat them in little bags in one big Louis Vuitton zip. You keep them in little bags? 
In yeah. a plastic bag. Little plastic bag. And Are they labeled? Because Louis... you don't even yeah, know the ashes are. They're labeled. <laughs> in a Louis Vuitton bag in your closet sits these people's ashes. Way and, up in the corner, yeah. And how often do you think of that? I mean, how often I do you... I don't, but you know, I took it from L.A. to New York. It's comforting. I know it's stupid. It's comforting. And then I have all my dogs in those little stuff. But how often do you think about it? I guess every time I go to get a Louis Vuitton pocket, I'll go, whoops, right. wrong one. Wow. I can't believe it. So, Robin, I received more email about Joan Rivers' last appearance and people saying it was wrong of Joan to give you a piece of Vincent Price and wrong of you to ask for it and wrong of you to <laughs> accept it. I think it's wonderful. Yeah. The man was adored by her. Do you think he wanted I, I it? I think he would be so flattered and so thrilled I don't know that somebody remembers him ten years later. Where are you gonna, and where are you gonna put that? Good luck. Where are you going to put luck. that? You know what? I have one of my cats in an urn, <laughs> and I'm going to get a little... Ernest. Yes. And I'll put my Vincent Price in there. It's just a little. You yeah, like but a... I'll get a cute little I egg of it, some sort. I find it very, very uh, unsettling. But I do. I'm going to have I a feel little very you. Well, well, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm never, I would only be buried. Some people I'm taking put... a finger. Yeah, but some people put... <laughs> Are you going to be buried or cremated? I'm going to be cremated. I want them all mixed in with me. That's what the whole point is. Is that right? What do you mean? You want Vincent Price mixed with your Yes, all my good friends. Uh, all my friends, yes, and my dogs, everything, once they cremate me, mix it all up. Do you think about death a lot? And then throw it in my fucking agent's face. <laughs> Do you think about death a lot? I think about death every day I wake up, I think, is this it? Do you really? Every time my eyes open, I go, another day. Do you ever have a major illness, or have you been Never. I am Never. so healthy, it's disgusting. No, the no insurance... chance of the vagina, nothing. No, oh, well, my yeah. vagina... Let me look at it. It's out of the floor. <laughs> no, because I, I can see it every day, so I can keep it right. neat. Because, uh, you know, you, are, you always appear healthy and young and vibrant. Healthy. And I think part of your secret is the amount of stuff you sell and jobs you have. You're like a Jamaican. I mean, you're constantly <laughs> out there. Busy, busy. You really are. You're Wait, busy. I could have gotten you a better deal on the wedding, on the engagement ring. What'd you think uh, about me getting engaged? I think it's great. That Do you? I, I think you better get a prenup. Of course. We've already discussed it. Yeah, I mean, even though she's wonderful and terrific. And, no, it's you know, the way it's going to be. Paul McCartney. No, listen. Is he sorry now? Oh. He's Beth, left with Beth three and legs I, and 12 shoes. Beth and I had a discussion as recently as last night. As recently as last night? That's right. And I said, you know, this is going to be a prenup situation. And she said, I always told you I would sign anything. And oh be generous. Goodness. Sure, I'm not going to be an asshole. You're, you're, I mean, you're a nice guy. You're yeah. not going to say, and I want it all back. You're, right. See, I think uh, it's just a fact. I think it's great. I think you should have gotten her a bigger ring. Uh, now, now, I'm going to ask you about Five carat for nothing. a Jew, that's nothing. Helen. Can I tell you that something? That is swimming jewelry. Can I tell you something? You didn't see the diamond. I don't care if it's a great time. She should, you should get her a bigger ring. No, how big you know, but is that's enough? A, but that's because you're an old Jew. How big yes. is enough? What how how, how big is enough? Yeah, where should he start? What's the the twenty carats? Oh, oh I'll get out of here! First now, of all, let me explain something. Are you out of your mind? Wait till you get engaged. You'll talk all, differently, Joan, Missy. Joan, I don't know if you're for real or not, but I got to tell you something. Twenty carats. Are you, are you joking? No, no, because because no. I got to tell you something. Yes and no. Some of these rings, and, and when you told Kevin Costner's ring sucked, I agree with it you. It did. Even Beth said to me, she says to me, my God, this thing is so flashy. She's, yeah. the, the she's spirit, right. She's right. Uh, you can't walk around. With too much more. With too much more. No. Yeah. It, 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 you got to be able to wear the oh, thing. So look, look, he's in love. He's serious. Yes, this is so I boring. Know. I'm this always serious. What do you mean I'm so boring? Look at boring. what happened to him. Look what happened to him. <laughs> He is so boring. Well, I get yeah, insulted. I think the ring should be this. Or no, should be that. I put a lot of thought into this ring, well, and it wasn't stupid. cheap either. <laughs> Why am I stupid? Because you just. It's wonderful, and you're terrific, Thank and you. you shouldn't worry about the ring. Just be happy. I'm happy. And good. But I knew you'd Are be you such happy a... Are happy or I'm happy? I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would be a Yenta yes. and say, right away, you start commenting on the ring. That's why I had to go buy a big ring, because of we her. We told you it had to be presentable. Yes, because in, it really, it's stupid the way a man wants a great car. And that's I what know. a man says, hey... I'm doing well. Look at my car. A woman, when she goes to a party, after a while, this says, I am great in bed. And that's what I tried to do. <laughs> yeah. I really did try. I hope I did the right thing. Okay. You look at the ring and then you'll comment yeah. on it. I, I have know to you... buy a gift now. No, I don't want a gift. Thank God. I, really, I mean, I'm, I'm too old for that. <laughs> you, know, I, uh, you, you know, a lot of people don't realize about Joan. What? She was married twice. Twice. Not yeah. once. Yes. Yeah. And then lived with a man for, so it was like two and a half times. Her first marriage was horrible. How yes. long did that one last? Seven months. Seven months? Seven months. And in those oh, days... Oh, oh, oh. That's scandal. Yeah, that's a scandal. Yeah. You, when you, you didn't get out of it in those days. Is that guy still alive? Do you know? I don't know. He tried to see me like about ten years ago. Why wouldn't you see him? 
because, you know, it wasn't a happy marriage. So I took a vote. I asked every part of my body, do we want to see him again? <laughs> Girls, do we want to see Jimmy Sanger? Nobody wanted was to see him. Was he shocked when you said, after seven months, I need to get out of this? I think he was so glad. I was so neurotic. I wanted to be an actress, and I didn't dare do it. So I wouldn't go to the movies. I wouldn't go to theater. Yeah. Was because, it was, because it was painful for you to see a movie. Yeah. You said, I'm so jealous. I want to be up there. Yeah. That uh, I can't even look I at. I can't movie. live yeah. with this. Yeah. Wow. I, I was, understand that. Yeah. So I would. I, I did what you were supposed to do. I got out of college, married the rich guy. Because everyone said, "Hey, this is a rich guy. What did he do for a living?" His father uh, was with Bond stores. I see. So he had a good job. But, yeah. Major. The, the plan was, "Hey, this is perfect. I'll, I'll, I'll latch on to this guy. I don't, don't ever have, have to, to grow up. Yeah. He'll take I'll, care of me like the way my mom and dad took you got, care of me." We had the great apartment. We right. had. I mean, we had everything. And, and what I, would you do all day? But did you work or no. you, you would sit home? It was. It was horrible. What would you do? Because you're such a go getter. Horrible. But he didn't what? want a wife with a career. Dave, he like... want, he wants, I once bought a pink, white, and black bathing suit, and he said to me, you can't wear those colors. What if I see somebody in business? It was too wide. You were too showbiz for him. Yeah, it was too showbiz for him. And so, he, w did you ever say to him, listen, I need, I need a little space here. I need to go out and maybe audition. I was too stupid. You know, yeah, I was you very can't... young. I graduated from college at 20. I was married at 21. No. And I'd been sleeping with another guy, so I, had, I knew I wanted to get married. I had to get married because the other guy... Uh, had gone off, you know. Yeah. It was one of those. You were you were already soiled goods. I, oh, so, oh, soiled, <laughs> soiled, boring goods. So when you always present yourself as ugly and this, meanwhile you were getting guys, rich guys. You were always. Uh, I was always okay. Well, you know, there could be rich guys that are blind. Do you think there could be also ugly rich guys? No, you're a nice looking woman. You know, I you was are. I was a cutie. Pie. I was you cute. Were, you were cute. I was cute. And and the guy marries you, and you had a wedding night and the whole oh, thing. The whole thing. Did you dress up in a lingerie? Oh, you know? I did the whole thing. Yeah. The we the wedding dress. You know, I then, the whole thing. Now, wasn't this a terrible scandal in your life? Didn't your family... My family was... Uh, first of all, at the wedding reception, I turned to my cousin and I said... Can you believe this? So you, I knew from the beginning. Were you of the generation like you wouldn't even give him oral? Your first husband, like you wouldn't even give him a blowjob? I didn't even know what all so you sex a, was. So you didn't a, know you didn't put I your mouth on his penis. I thought, what is that doing in my face? <laughs> Did he put it in your mouth? Yes. I didn't Whoa. get that far. Did you say stop? I don't. Oh, what are you doing? You, that dirty wrong piece. end. <laughs> Did you say that? I mean, you really didn't. Yeah, I, we well, don't say wrong end. We just go. What is going? Nobody told you anything in those days. I Harry. know. I'm anything. telling you. When oh. I, I was a kid, nobody told me anything. anything. Well, so, when you talked to Melissa, what did you did you tell? When him? Melissa was going. Oh, Melissa learned. I don't Melissa was in her? high school. Yeah. Uh, even and she was going over the guy. I gave her the money they would have a nice hotel there wouldn't be a back seat of a car <laughs> really yeah i said it should wow. be nice the first time what a princess but it should i don't want to hear my daughter got boffed in a, in a uh, cellar somewhere right I so you gave her the money yeah. you told her I, what and uh just that you, if you're are you in love with uh, all the stupid things you say are you really in love and yes mommy nice? <laughs> mommy yeah yeah, yes, you, yeah no. <laughs> Listen, i'm going off to get laid now at the hotel that's so sweet See you. Oh. we went to the doctor we got a birth control I mean, we did it the way you had to do it right but you so this guy, you, on your did you have sex with the guy before your wedding uh with uh the one i married yeah right before yeah, yeah. i knew to break off with the other guy i'd have to have sex with this guy and, and and you're serious? You never even put it in your mouth? No, wow. I didn't know what that was about. And you would just spread your legs and close your eyes and hope yeah. it would be over. No, so even sucked. the sex sucked. Yeah, and, and, and think of England. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, right. Poor you. And then as you get older, so you how learn. did you get out of it? You must, I, it must have been scandalous. It was scandalous. And my father, God bless him, when I called, I said, "We're going to finally not. I, I want to leave." My father came to the apartment. Yeah. And said, "Just take your clothes and let's go." You told your father you want to leave. Yeah, my dad came, to, and to this day I'm still furious with my father because I couldn't. Well, I had great china, uh, I had great <laughs> silver. Right, why don't you take back, it with you? The goddamn Riviera. Let me ask you I left you call, thousands of dollars of stuff. You called your father and left. When did you tell your husband you weren't coming back? Ah, uh, we had a terrible fight, and then once I went to my parents' house, uh, I never we didn't go back. You never even it. spoke to him again. Ah, uh, we saw each other in court. In court, you had to go you to court. Had to you, had go, you got annulments in those days. Right. Oh my. And was he yelling at you? Was he saying, "How dare you leave me?" Was he? Oh, I, I can't remember. It was so long ago. I mean, he was probably missing you. He probably loved you. I hardly think so. Right. <laughs> but and so then he when you became a horrible man, why didn't you want to see him? He was. He was a lovely man. We just were wrong for each other. And then other. when you became famous, at what yeah. point he must have contacted you? Said, "Shit, I was married to you." I'm sure. But the, the funny thing was, I met his parents. 
at a resort called the uh, uh, Round Hill, and I was married to Edgar. I was famous, you know, the whole thing. And you had to go to lunch outside and dinner outside up the steps of Round Hill. His parents were coming down. Oh, no. And they were going up. up. And I said to them, ten years later, yes. hello. And they cut me dead. So the oh. owner of the rest, the owner of the ho hotel said, this is, uh, why are you so upset? I said, because my ex in-laws are there and they've been so rude he said you want them out this is jamaica oh, you want great. them out of the hotel today <laughs> oh said, no, well, i don't know he said we'll take care of it so they went back to there no so they did it they so great they went back to the perfectly nice people the sangers they went back to their room there were no towels <laughs> so he said to the housekeeper excuse me there are no towels in the room a manager came with a friend of edgar's and said I understand you're not happy the way we run Round Hill. Here is your bill. Here is your thing. You are out this afternoon. And they were Wow. Gone. Now, didn't you feel guilty? But, you see, I, my worst enemy, I wouldn't do that to. I didn't know he was going to do that. Well, he said to you, if you want them out, they're well, going to be she out. she told him no. She, yeah, didn't, she yeah. didn't exactly say that. No. <laughs> well, they weren't that nice to me. That's an amazing story. Yeah. That's how he got so they were, they were resentful of you and your family. They were, they were like, oh, Joe Rivers, the guy who you, left yeah. the woman you, you who had left no our children. Son. You had no yeah, children with this guy. You you were, you were honest with him. You got out. It was like a bad date. It was a bad date, but I kept right. the ring. You did. Wow. Kept the ring. Was it a big ring? Yeah, it was a good ring. It was a good ring. Well, it wasn't that big. It was nine carats. How big is Beth? Nine uh, carats. You had a nine carats? <laughs> no, she's no, lying. She had no nine carats. <laughs> I didn't say. So you walk around with anything bigger than five, you look like you, you, your hands are going to fall it off. It should only happen. Uh, I, like ever... to sit, I like to have a ring you can't get a glove over. <laughs> I want a ring, they say. She must be great in bed. Look at that old bitch. Look at the ring on her finger. <laughs> what is going on with Anna Nicole Smith? If anyone knows, you Oh, know. it's so sad. No, but, but don't, no joke. I want to know no what joke. is going on. Well, Here's what I see. They did know the autopsy. They found yeah. no, uh, uh, what do you call it? They were looking for um, drugs. Drugs, no drugs. They found a lot of sperm in her, but no drugs. <laughs> You're saying that she overdosed on sperm. Oh, I'm so sick of this. That's funny. Coming. Yeah, she overdosed on <laughs> sperm. I never thought of that. She could probably died from too much sperm. It was a bad reaction sperm. to too much sperm. She died at 39 double D. You know, double D, all D, the D. jokes and stuff. Unbelievable. And you heard that Playboy, they're flying back to California. <laughs> Playboy wants to photograph her one more time. Well, you know, they better get there quick because she's going bad. You know, no. she's, you know, she's decomposing. No trim spa put out an ad guarantee she's going to lose 30 pounds in two weeks. But you don't. You, uh, do you feel compassion for her? Not at all. Not at all. You I, feel she's, did this, she, she dug her own it? grave. Truly, from the beginning, I thought this is such bullshit and such a stupid message to send out. I feel sorry for the child. Right. Uh, you got dealt such great cards, you stupid. Stupid. She's gorgeous. Go right? Gorgeous. Could you have a more beautiful face no, than that? No, a face that you notice that face and, and a body. million face and the body and you got it all and they all came to you and you were given this life. Could have had any man, could have had any anything. modeling job, uh, you she know. Would, remember those guest jeans? Yes. yes. You stop, you would hold a magazine, you go, oh my God, who is this? She was, well, how about some compassion? She's a troubled girl. Oh, she I'm so bored. Trouble. You know, don't get over your that. fucking trouble. You don't care. I, it. I, you know, no, Howard. When you're given those cards and you blow them, you blew them. Goodbye. Now, what about me? My name is damaged in all this. Howard I know. K. I know. Stern. What do I do about that? I think you ride on it. Uh, you think I take it for I think you get a hold of that kid. <laughs> you want the kid now? You're the father. <laughs> is that kid going to really be worth all of that money? Is that what's going to happen here? They're now down to only 80 million. I love the way you talk. It's, it's only, only 80, 80 million. million. Well, then she's hardly worth it. Oh, no, now, here's what I think. I hear people running around saying, oh, Howard K. Stern is guilty in this. And I say to them, you got to be kidding me. Here's what, of course. I say to them, listen, here is a guy whose only client was Anna Nicole Smith. He, for whatever reason, this became his whole life. I guess he couldn't get a... I don't know if he could have gotten a law job somewhere else or what, but he seemed he like had he had one. A, he represented her right. in her first case. He did the... He questioned her. He was the lawyer on the case when they were doing that uh, uh, the estate hearing to see if okay. she could get some of her so here's a guy. money. So his whole life is this Anna Nicole. Right. I believe... Okay, I believe her son was taking drugs and she was taking drugs and she overdosed. What the right. fuck? What is he going to do? You can't sit and tell uh, somebody. And he's probably druggy, too. I don't know probably. if he is or not. I, no, I don't no, know if he is or not. What I'm saying I don't is, think he is. But he's not guilty. Yeah, what is he guilty of? Guilty of nothing. Right. But you know, you is he a leech? Is he a, very, is he, Joan, if, you're, what is he guilty if of? your daughter has a problem, right, yeah. or your husband has a problem, or your friend has a problem, do you enable them, you, or do you 
It's so easy to say you don't. Let but me say something. If you something. know they have it, you try your best. You're right. Because and that's it. Let me say something. Or and, and, you, you join you, in. Look. And or then you join in. Yeah. Let me say something. Like Artie has said to me many times. You know, and Artie, if I'm speaking out of school, well, you tell me. He said what? Uh, with, with, with heroin addiction, he said, you know, <laughs> Dana, <laughs> da, like, like Dana and over. this one you know, should stay with him and be supportive for him well, through see, it. Well, see, that's Dana didn't but, do that. That's right. But well, he, yeah. and he's mad about that. He feels she should have stayed but with him. But at one time, you, I have, I, I, to be honest with you, she stayed with me through a lot of crazy Good stuff. Good for but, you. But deep down, honestly, if there's one bit of anger I have towards her, the one fault I give her in a sea of my faults is maybe she could have hung out a little longer. You know? Oh, please. She had but enough. But at one point, you I, say you know, that's I enough. Robin, I think Robin's right. But Artie's saying people... what about loyalty? You see, it's not clear what to do what about all the stand time. stand by your man there, Patsy Klein? <laughs> well, what should I do? Should I say to Artie, oh, you're on heroin? Get, you're no longer on the show? No, I mean, we, I care we about We can him. use his heroin use. Yeah, no kidding. I <laughs> You know, that brings in a whole other group that will us. never change the dial. Right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, not we have the heroin channel, uh, channel 87. This is fabulous. You keep this guy. This what do you is do? good John, what did you say good for you about that I was being, that I was mad about her leaving? Or what, what do you mean good for me? What, what were you talking about? She doesn't know what she's saying. No, I think it, no, I, don't, I don't know what I said. I know, I, I think... You try to help somebody, and then at one point you say, I can't do anymore. Oh. i got to get on with my life. Well, all right, so she's siding with right, Dana. Yes. I mean, a no, lot of people. Not. We're all no, adults. Lot of Anna Nicole has got to take responsibility look, for Anna look, Nicole. Look, right. Wait a minute. We have all had these arguments when Nicole Kidman marries a guy who has to go to rehab after the wedding. Right. You That's said, some well, honey. She you, sure knows how to pick could she be thinking? Right? right now, Howard K. Stern gets a buy because he's not a buy. Around. But what are you supposed to do? What is he guilty of? Of Nothing. what? He's Sticking, guilty of being in love with her. Being a bad whatever he was. But maybe he was right. so in I love with her, he's hoping. Yeah. And we, I, I've never dealt with people on drugs. I've dealt with people that. Uh, Friends of mine that were, you know, ad addicted to alcohol, uh -huh. and you try, and you love them, of course, and you love them. You, but also at one point you just say, "I got to get out of here." She, she See, that's the right. point I'm making. To me, what she just said about Howard K. Stern, maybe he was so in love. To me, if Dana was blindly in love, she would, she, nothing would have made her leave. That's oh the way, my God! But that's the way I would be. Which, if I like, that uh, is the worst thing you could consign. To a person to be blindly in love. I've heard Artie say that before. Maniac. Look, yeah, a maniac. Yeah. Yes, a person I'm a maniac. Am I You're a maniac? maniac. You are a maniac. Let me tell you, maybe if you put yourself you together. Who's gonna come over there and punch you in your beaver teeth? <laughs> he should have had an extreme makeup. <laughs> oh, I could, I could use You don't one. know. You know what? You guys are right. First of all, I told Howard that in private. I was like, fuck. No, 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 no. You said it to me. You've said it to me a couple of times. I told you that on the phone. You've said it before, though. You took the wrong job, you idiot. <laughs> I've been in, believe me, I've been here for I'm six gonna, years. I, no, had sparkling, say, I, I had a sparkling reputation words, before this job. In other words, my point is, and if I said something wrong, I apologize. Wait a minute. I, I, didn't, I, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm going to work for Howard Stern, and I, nobody's going to know my private now life. I feel like, now I feel like I said the wrong thing. No, believe me, they know my private life. I know my darling. No, what I'm saying is, and I don't, I don't want to reveal anything. You know what? Sometimes, Artie, some of that stuff can burn. Burn out the love. You you get so. <laughs> what are you doing over there? I'm, I'm accused of overeating every day, Joe. <laughs> you? I would ask you if my mouth is full. <laughs> no, but my point is maybe love it should be an everlasting flame, right? Oh, stop it. Oh, you Does, know. Do you have any, you have any Luther Vandross album? Stop it. Uh, <laughs> and look where he ended up. <laughs> All I know is when Artie said to me someone should be loyal, I, I almost fell off my chair. Uh, look, <laughs> <all right. laughs> You're right. I'm an enormous fuck up. I am. I am, and it's hard for anybody to deal with. So I'm wrong. Let's move on. Yeah, no, no. everybody <laughs> screws up. I, I love know. You. I know. I know. We Artie, all I love, love you, you Artie. I know, leave. but of course, like Joan is right. You could uh, exploit me to death till I die. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And Never leave that desk. <laughs> Joan, you're gonna go work for Martha Stewart and make cookies. <laughs> you're very lucky where you are. What Once about again, the Joan. motherfucking subscribers I bring in? <laughs> Joan, what My about angel. the fact that you are now preparing for the Academy Awards? Yes. This is very big for you. Very You're going to be big. on a uh, television TV Guide Network. TV Guide Network. And, and it you looks and like Glamour is back. Glamour is back. And we are You're on the glamorous. two hours what before. 
Uh, we do the two hours before t the actual award show on uh -huh. TV Guide. Glamour is that they all looking great. They even the Grammys. There was yeah. no fun of the Grammys. Are last looks weekend. are looks the most important thing to you in life? Yes, they are. A, a woman must look. A good. woman, not a man. No. A man. A man can be a big to, slob. A, a man can be like that Artie. charm. And oh he's my God! You know that he's smart. The slob maniac over here. Uh, Robin, right. I'll go take a, a nap. A woman. It's, it's all. A women have to be. You know, that's so easy. I love the Who's best. Who's the hottest girl right now that you always see consistently? Oh, gorgeous. Uh, oh, go Who uh, is Penelope good? Cruz. Penelope Cruz. Oh, Jennifer Lopez. In really? real life, exactly. what about the ass? The ass is big. I've a gorgeous, seen it. but it's a woman's ass. Is it? Oh, I think she looks great. I think I've she looks I've seen her great. in person. I always thought she was beautiful. He's Absolutely. never seen the her in person. The skin is Howard. It's like when you mix coffee and cream, and really? it's just perfect. She's she's breathtaking. Breathtaking. Yeah, and they're all they all walk up to you and they're all fabulous. And then every once in a while, you know, one of the others walks up and you go, Oh my God. You know, I was I'm gonna, tired I was of gonna... the Sienna Miller. I've seen enough of her. What is Ugh, it? and comb her hair. Yeah, uh, she's all over the fucking place. Almost... She better have talent. <laughs> I thought I had an opportunity to bang um Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Believe it or not. You did? Really? Well, here's here was well, my thinking. Well, he's talking about a close, almost close encounter. Well, here's my thinking. Good thing you're not she a maniac. She was going out like with me. Diddy, and I figured, well, you know. you be dead. Diddy's not the prettiest guy on the planet. You know, maybe she'd go for a, a big, ugly man. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Booker, our friend Booker, was dating Jennifer Lopez's sister. And he right. kissed me. I said, Booker, I'm single. This is when I was single. Right. I said, uh, I'm, I'm on a pretty good roll here. I'm thinking maybe I could get this what Jennifer about Lopez. The hookup? Bring her over to my apartment, and I'll see if I can bang her. Right. I mean that would be huge. <laughs> Great. And even Great. this guy she married. I mean he's no looker. Yeah, but they're very. That would have been a notch on the bedpost. Oh, big time. Why is Pete Diddy a good-looking guy? No. Robin, no, but he had a posse the size of China. Next. <laughs> okay. Well, so, so he's not good-looking. Listen to this. Booker goes calls me one night. I'm cruising around with uh, Jennifer and Linda. We're going to go out and eat, and then I'm bringing them over to your apartment. <laughs> I said, I will stay up because, man, I am religious about going to sleep early in this job. Right. But I said, fuck this. This is my this moment. is my meal ticket. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you understand? This yeah. is my moment to be A-list, too. Yeah. I'm mobile, I right? got a meal ticket. All right, this is big. Because even if I suck on the radio, if I'm married to Jennifer Lopez, it, yeah. everybody's got five years. That's right. Plus you got the yeah. Latinos. Yeah, I mean, but it's it's, it's, yeah, like, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's me, it's huge. Malibu. So what are you doing Courtney around the Cox, house while Arquette. you're waiting? I start down. I, I'm bathing. I'm I'm like a woman <laughs> at this point. I'm, and I'm trying to look good, you know. And me trying to look. I'm putting on outfits, you know, like yeah, to look yeah. casual, like I don't give a right, shit. Right. And I go, you know what? Though I, I was on such a roll with women, and some famous ones. You can imagine. I want. I, want I thought this was. A, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and let me tell you something. And I was banging different women every night. But, Models, actresses, old actresses, young actresses. I mean, you name it. Anybody who had any kind of fame, you're immediately in my bed. Right. I right. needed to live my life. Right. If I got the juice, I'm going to use it. He had scary and ginger spice. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you. I'm not saying, you know, I'm a stud, but, but I know i got to work good time. Out. So I'm waiting. 10 o'clock, 10.30. Never shows up. Never shows up. Never had my shot with her. And, and he claims that she wanted to meet me. And why didn't he then bring why her why did he then? bring her there? Yeah. And I'll tell you How why to this day. There? I'll tell you yeah, to this day. Yeah, let's hear why. Because he didn't want me having her. So he cock-locked. Because Booker's one of those guys. I love him, but he never invites me to anything good. Uh -huh. I always invite him to stuff. And he's always talking a big game, but when it came down to it, he didn't want me hooking up with J-Lo. Uh, that makes I sense. I know it. I know it jealousy, to this day. Absolutely. Absolute jealousy. Right, so let me ask you. You had all these women, all these models. Not all uh, these models. But, uh, I had a good role. Yeah. Believe me, uh, there were strippers there, in there. Not is there strippers, a great but difference in bed? Should have been. He bought a stripper a car. There is differences oh. in bed. There are women who, first of all, when they... I'm not a big uh, blowjob guy. Right. I don't care about it that much. I'm germ-phobic. I'd right. rather wear a rubber when I have sex. Right. So the mouth on my penis, I'm nervous about it anyway. Right. So, okay. thank you. But let me say something, and this is the God's honest truth. There are women who can put their mouth on you, and I don't know how they know how to do this. I don't know if it's... I swear See? it feels so good, I can't even last a second. 
There should be a school for this. I don't think you can teach it. Oh, you've got to be able to Andy teach Dick it. Andy Dick teaches. Uh, uh, oh, does he? He's a teacher? Andy yeah. Dick? No, you've teaches got how to, to give a blowjob? There's no, got to be some place you go and you take a girl in a room with like a hundred bananas and you just no, stay there until she figures it out. I figured out what it is. There's some women who love it and there's some yes. who are just disgusted by it. And they, and they get the mouth wet. And I mean, it's wild. And I'm like, oh my God, I love this. And then there are some women you have sex with. It is impossible to even hold out a second. They're so hot in bed. Right. Right. It's not. It's just like a physical thing, and Thank there are some that are just dead wood. You want to take them and throw them away, no matter how beautiful. No matter yeah. how beautiful. Do you find the less beautiful, the better they are in bed because they're trying harder? Yes. Yeah, because that was. <laughs> oh, uh, Robin, I tried everything. Can I tell you, you something, John? I'm oh, well, John, you're, you're, no, you're, you're, let I'm me not tell making you a joke. Let me tell you. I something. always said you, you got to make up for imperfection. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I've had sex with women. Who you would look at and say, you know what, tramp or whatever word you yeah. want to use, you would say, oh, they're gross, you know, not as hot as his girlfriend, let's right, say, whatever, right. you know. But man, oh man, do you have a good time with them? Yeah, the and good I, they time love girls. You. They love it. Yes, yeah, they love it, and they will take. I met a girl who took my penis and put it right in her behind. <laughs> I mean, Whoa. right, like, 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 like it went in there, like. Like, like a butter. glove, right. like it was fitting and into I'm not the into that. glove. And all of a sudden, I was into it. Is that that's? Now, what do you say about that? Well, you didn't I'm even say thank honest. you to me. Uh, <laughs> you, you would never do that. that. <laughs> you would never ever open up your anus to man, would you? Uh, well, at this point, I can't even get my legs to go up the stairs. No, so but you would never think of that. I now. would take a while to discuss it. Would you? Have you tried it? I did. Howard, you did it all. Had a good time. Really. Still I can't have a imagine good time. you with the buttocks. Yeah, a lot of people. But You're what, such a lady princess. in the living room, <clears throat> whore in the bedroom. Wow. That's, the, that's what I you tell what? Melissa. I'm, I'm, I'm going to applaud you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to say. Oh, I really am. I'm going to say that. I would never think that you would do that for a guy. Uh, not for Edgar, but you never did it with Edgar. Uh, let's not get in there. Did you, did you ever do it for Edgar? That's how Edgar started out with me. I was you, in shock. I mean, Edgar wanted that first. Yes. Edgar was a shock. Freak. And Edgar was English. Fall, 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 fall. Wow. Are you he telling was, me... He got into bed with a, t a tie and a, and a bed. Are you telling me... I'm not going to go any further. Oh, but you're, My let daughter's going to hear this. Forget her. The old lady has to be put away. She, she's 40 years old already. She's not 40 years old. All right, but she's 34. All right. All right, 34. You're telling me the first time... First time I went to bed Edgar with said, I want... Yes. He didn't ask or he just put it there? Just started in. Oh, my God. Yes. Wow. Were English, you shocked? shocked. Shocked. I still have the teacup in my hand. Were you so in love that you allowed it? Uh, I won't go. I won't go any further. But I was gonna, you. It's never the ones you think. Wow. Sometimes the ones you think are so hot and so fabulous. Well, Robin describes to me when she oh, was boy. in that. Here we go. She's done it twice. The guy got her so hot that she just opened up to it. <laughs> yeah. Like, like and like had to have it. Well, Robin would be very wild in bed. I would say. <laughs> I don't know. Because she's contained, she's this, she's that. Then those glasses come off. All right. Well, she's very loving. Yeah. I know that. Oh, she's... loving is boring. No, no, no. no. Loving I mean... is great after. I know that. And she wants it bad, and she has vibrators. And, she... and the whole thing. Yeah, and she loves to orgasm. She can sit on her foot and orgasm. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Can you do she... that? Oh, I do it all the time. That's Seriously? why I, when I used to be on the Carson show, I always had a smile and a song. <laughs> her, foot, her foot is dating three models right now. <laughs> See, as you get older, you can't get your foot up. <laughs> I'm shocked to learn that you had anal. And and first time with Edgar. Let me tell you, David Brenner once took a little old lady across the street, and she said to him, as I was crossing, young man, don't feel sorry for me. Done it all. Been there. Really? Yeah. And David said, oh, that's something to look forward to. <laughs> at least you know, at least you're not, gonna, you're not dead. There's right. a guy who's got a lot of women. I got the yeah, better David had me. women that looked anorexic. Let's go. Anna Nicole Smith would have been, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Nicole Richie would have been fast to him. <laughs> really? Well, let's could pick him out. He waited at the doors of Auschwitz <laughs> with a pen and pencil. Hi, what's your name? He knows how to get it done. Yeah, he loves thin ones. Uh, Ralph, go ahead quickly. Hey, now, Joan, Joan, always a great guest. But uh, you're losing credibility when you say Penelope Cruz is the hottest chick out there. She's not even hot. She's got that fucked up nose. Oh, no, you, no have you seen her in person? Sometimes in person. She is she glows in. Per I'm telling you, I see yeah, them all. They all come down the red carpet. She knows. Carpet. She knows. Like judge it though. You look at the paparazzi picture. Like Jessica Biel is the hottest chick out. No, there. I don't. I disagree with that. Oh, oh I like her. She's I don't find the, her let sexy me tell at you, all. You're kidding who wasn't me. so good looking? Oh, kidding me. And the camera loves. Uh, Cameron uh, Diaz. Cameron Diaz. The camera loves her. She's hitting the wall. And in real life, 
She's a nice-looking girl. Right. Does she have a skin condition? Terrible. Terrible skin condition. Yeah. Joan, doesn't she look horrible with that black hair and those red she lips? I disagree. I find like her very sexy. Like she came out of an erotic painting. I cannot... Dis and look, I'm a woman. I have no lesbian tendencies. And certain... And she just... She blew me over at the Golden Penelope Globes. Cruz. Penelope Cruz. Jessica Bielo, that's a woman. I agree with Ralph. That's yeah. a thick... Yeah, but we're talking like two different things. We're talking real life and we're talking... Camera. Camera life. Jessica I, Bill, is she good Sophia look? Lauren looked like a used car deal, dealer's wife in real life. Really? <laughs> and then... I, I never found her sexy. It's a happy used car. I, I, Raquel I, Welsh was sexy. Raquel Welsh, she I, sent the vibe before right. she hit the room. I could... I could... I would die for her. Yeah. I mean, to this day, I think I would. Yeah. Joan, she had it. She Joan, knew would you how agree, to work Joan, it. Joan, would you agree Terry Hatcher is not hot? No. Yes. Uh, I think Terry Hatcher, again, I, too much work? I'm not a man. Wait, Joan, too much work on Terry Hatcher? I don't even know. I know you she looks, know. No, She's no, getting no, way no. too much work. I, I think she <laughs> she <laughs> looks so good and close. I look at them differently. I'm right. a woman. They walk in, you go, look at Terry. She wears clothes like a million bucks. She, too skinny? Oh, the, too skinny. Never There's too no skinny. There's no such thing yeah. as too skinny I agree. these days. I agree. Would Jessica you guys believe that. they should have a ban on the skinny model? Yes, I do. Yeah. But they, nobody, I love it. Did you see the one they said is voluptuous in People magazine? <laughs> she had no breasts. Look, right. Two M&Ms and, and a pencil with two M&Ms on it. This is voluptuous. I can't believe you never got boob implants. Why not? Look at my breasts. They're so big. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you have nice breasts. I have good boobs. Right. I have you good boobs. I had very tiny waist. That's true. And then my thighs would rub together and cause electricity. I tell you, I think you're so great. I don't feel a lot of these young up-and-comers give you enough credit and give you enough um, respect. I really don't, especially some of these young female comics. I, 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 I don't like it. I don't like what's going on. I don't look at them. Off. I don't care. You know? I work at the cutting room. I do my... You know, my, my concerts, I have my own show. What does it matter? Who needs them? Yeah, it doesn't matter. If right. they don't give me respect, fuck yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, they <laughs> want to wait until I you're still dead. can take them on stage. Teddy Room I know, you're LA. great on stage. You know, as long as I can take them on stage. Who's the best male comic? Is it Don Rickles? Still? Don is still wonderful, but uh, no, I go now for. Uh, oh, I, well, of course, Borat, but we're all into it. Borat, right, yeah. But uh, I think uh, still Chris Rock. Chris Rock, he's Knocks great. Me out. Yeah, Closest to good. Richard Pryor. Isn't he's Dane Cook horrible? Yes. He is. Cool, I don't mean to say this. I, I watched, I tuned in one night, and I see this close. I was like, oh, this kid is not funny. He's very good looking. And then it pulls back. It's an arena of 5,000 people. And he's going, and so her name is Betty. And they're like, ah! There's no right. punchline. Do you, and don't you feel like, well, gee, I must be getting old or something because I'm yeah. out of touch with well, it. I'm missing this. Yeah. yeah. He's not funny, but he's very attractive. He's going to have a great career. Right. Will Smith. Meanest son of a bitch walking around. Is he? He and Carrie Underwood, Grant, the Grammys, everybody was wonderful. Everybody walked the red carpet, the bigger, the sweeter, the nicer. This one has attitude. Carrie, Carrie Underwood. Underwood. Carrie, Miss American yeah. Idol? Who American, she she is? You know when you come out of a trailer and you get your dreams too fast? Yeah. Yes. Very... I am a star. Do you think she thinks... I am a star. Do you think this is, she thinks this is the way you're supposed to behave? I think it's that stupid moron thing where they think this is how you act. Right. Oh, Only Naomi Campbell can slap people and then ask for tea. Hit them with their, her phone. <laughs> oh, I love her. She, she beats love, her help with her yes, diamond-studded phone. Yes, and love I'm, that. In, I'm in favor of this, Howard. <laughs> you like, <laughs> you would like to beat your staff. Slap, what did Will slap, Smith slap. Do? Fuck what did Will you, Smith now bring me my coffee. Well, uh, Rob's right. What did Will Smith do to you? I love Will Smith. Oh, he was oh, nice. Oh, you mentioned his name, though. Like, he, he the was meanest. in the mean yeah. category. No, 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 oh, not Will Smith. Um, Elf, the so Elf. Uh, uh, Will Farrell. Will Farrell. Oh, not, oh Will Smith, yeah, no, I Will adore. Farrell, I interviewed him. No. You, you oh. said Will Smith. I'm glad you corrected me. I beg you. Oh, I love Will Smith. Will Farrell is, I had him on the show. He seems very odd. He's very proud to be Will Farrell. No. Another, he, they should mate him with Carrie Underwood, <laughs> take the DNA, and drop Jonah's it. Jonah's right. I think, you're, I think, you know, I... I Darling, I've, you haven't interviewed well, him, and I have. And you're an elf, so he gets work, residual checks from us. You're an elf. Yeah. I work with him three times. I spent days with him. He's one of the well, nicest guys I've ever met. Good. Enjoy him. <laughs> <laughs> I did interview him, actually. He can pick a finger. <laughs> so rude. And, you know, the bigger the star, the nicer you should be. Of because course, well, your life is perfect. That's right. You your life perfect is life. perfect. Of course. Your life is perfect. There's a limo. There's someone to massage your feet. Say hello to everybody. Yeah, be a little pleasant. Be pleasant. you got a $20 million house you're going back to, you stupid ass. Do you sign everyone's autographs? I try, you, you try to be so you try nice. try to be nice. It takes just as long to say, leave me alone, as it takes to say, of course. 
Well, that's very I'm nice. I'm going to try to remember that. No. Robin yeah, is you've got terrible. to, Robin. I've seen, you, I've seen you with your fans. You are a bitch. But have to leave me alone. <laughs> you're, but have to leave me alone. You don't have to sign anyway. <laughs> now, you got to go see Joan Rivers on the Oscars red carpet yeah. pre-show, pre-show Sunday, February 25th. She does an excellent job. God love you. Uh, now, do they have the TV Guide listings rolling while you're doing the show, or do they stop? No, well, in theory, they're not supposed to have the, the rollings anymore, but they're taking a little longer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to get rid of the rollings. Do, they really change the Do they network. treat you well? Better no. Than, they don't. A TV Guide channel. <laughs> you ask what I got from Chris, for Christmas for them. What'd you get? <laughs> you're the only thing on the channel. And that's... <laughs> What'd you get? Zero for Christmas? Zero. Uh, and you're so generous. How is that possible? That, that's not possible. Maybe it went to Joan L. Smith. Joan L. Rivers, who is the friend of... Uh, Where do you go on vacation? Where do you relax? We take a private yacht and we go away. A private yacht? Just on the yacht. Who is I we? Uh, I go with we get the same group. Six of us go every year. Who are the year. six? Let me hear. Uh, I, I, no one famous? Nobody famous. Well, they're famous in their own field, so they're not. Right. It's six people. Six and friends forever, and we have... Women, all women? All no, no. Some they're men. all couples. Couples? Couples. And uh, Melissa used to come with her husband, then she came with the boyfriends, you know, and we go with Cooper, my grandson, and we have the best, the best. Wow. Because you're you floating sit there in on a, a world. boat all day? Now you swim, you snorkel, you scuba, you go in for dinner. It's Howard... You don't do any of that best. stuff, though, Joan. You don't swim and snorkel. I encourage. You don't ruin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to ruin your hair. I went like crazy. My hair. I got it done Friday. Do that you actually go weeks. in the water? When was the last yes. time you were in the water? With my grandson, I have to pretend. <laughs> 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 in the water. It's really not that much fun having a grandson. Yeah, Granny's in the water with you. Okay, take a picture of Matt here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. See, I loved you. See, that's rich living. That's people who know how to live. You got it's a yacht. Co- no way. Yeah, well, maybe called... maybe we get a yacht and do a show trip. Fuck that. Oh, oh it's great. It. It's great. And I'll tell you which boat. Which, you have to call them yachts. You right. call them boats. Right. Means you don't know. See Joan on the Oscar fashion wrap on the TV Guide channel. And this weekend, TV, I'm on QVC. Saturday Look night. at you. You don't, don't, you don't rest. No. Joan, I always wanted to ask you, do you feel bad you, you wasted all that money in your daughter's wedding, that millions of dollars you spent no. for that, Sam? I, Gary, I had the best time doing the wedding. I produced the wedding. It was you a would have thought it was wedding. Joan's wedding. And we it was Joan's wedding. <laughs> we, and the best wedding. She looked fabulous. And I knew from the beginning it wasn't going to work. I never liked him. You never liked him? You told me you didn't like yeah, him. I never liked him. <laughs> you Just never liked her. that guy. Never liked him. I know. Yeah. She didn't. She, she he's not a bad guy. Now he's going to give Melissa hell. You right. say anything, he's no, down on you okay. like a you fucking snake. You didn't, you didn't. So I like him. I like him. Right. He's a very nice man. I like him. Uh, I like him. We don't need any more of the shit. I like him. Why didn't you Love sit, the new wife. Like them a lot. Why didn't you sit down with Melissa and say, I don't think this is the right man for you? Because she was with him for seven years. Right. And you never know what's right for somebody else. Right. You didn't want to seem like the pushy mother who says... All I said was on the pot or off the pot. Right. And out of it, as they say, we got a beautiful little boy. <laughs> right. But she could have had a wedlock. But nonetheless, we right. got a beautiful, and she got a great dress, which I'm trying to sell on eBay. She really? See, oh, really? She's seeing any, is she seeing dress. anybody now? She just stopped seeing somebody else. All right. Well, so she's got a, do you think she'll get married again? I think she'll be very careful. She was very burned. Right. I hear I'm you. single, John. I know. I know. And if you're straight for two more months, we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the heroin thing might be a turn. Well, the heroin thing, she'll be encouraging, but at one point she'll walk away, and then you'll be bitching about her. Uh, by the way, on that yacht, is there any heroin taking activity? Yes. Uh, every no, morning, drug room. You know every morning you you swim, you take your heroin, and then you float. Artie gets out of bed at 5 p.m. <laughs> I'll tell uh, I'll tell Howard how I feel about and Melissa you know privately, nice? and you'll hear it on there's the show. There's a crew, <laughs> so they wash your needles for you. Oh, no, he doesn't oh, do needles. Thank you, John. He doesn't yeah, do needles. you don't have to do your own work. So what do I oh, that like makes care. it okay. What do I look like, course. a degenerate? <laughs> uh, the man's a class guy. <laughs> uh, Monday, February 26th at 10 p.m. That's the wrap-up show. I'm yeah, how yeah, pathetic are these? With John Hyde? And you can see Joan every Wednesday night at the Cutting Room in New York City, where to this day she still does stand-up comedy. Yeah, and she's best. threatening to go, and we you haven't got, gotten We had the there best yet. time last night. Right. You know what? Right. Jackie right. on that. Right. We should clean do that. Up. Yeah. Uh, Jessica, Jack, you got her suit cleaned after really? the accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are delightful. I love you. I'm I so happy you. for you. Thank so you. So happy for you. Thank you very much. Maybe one day we'll hang out. Yeah, I would love to. I would, well, we'll you know what, John? I'm going to go one Don't day. take him. Right. I'm going to go with Robin Jones. I, I actually do stand up, and I'm, I I look up to you. I, I yeah, really, well, you're a fool. I, but I would love you to come, my darling. And I'm going to go with Robin to the cutting room. Anyway, it's a date. It's a date. I'll see if they can knock the minimum off for you. I would go with him.
would go, but I'm very busy. I know. Uh, no, I, I want to see you. I want to see you there. And uh, so, so see Joan on QVC all the time. And Watch going, the TV Guide channel for sure. You know what sure. amazes me about that whole Q? She'll show up at 2.30 in the morning. Yes. Yes. I love my product. She does, isn't that We're the biggest jewelry company in the world sold on television. Is that wow. true? Yeah. And our cosmetics have gone up 47%. How about that? Women admire you. Also, it's good stuff. You know, Joan, I went, to high, you... I went to high school with someone who designs your jewelry. You're not going to believe that. Tell me who. Patty Foster. I love her. We graduated high school together. She's great. Tell her I said And hi. here's another thing you didn't know. Artie's sister is some big shot designer. She's a designer. Big shot. Yeah. She design, she was, she's a fashion designer. Yeah, I wear she... a size four, anything. I'll get you whatever you need. Where does she work? Where does she work? She worked at Polo for years. She just went to American Eagle. You know what? That woman was a fool, Dana, to leave you. <laughs> you married into a, you know, aristocracy. She's going to marry into a wardrobe. I have Joan you know, oh, I meant to ask you. Joan, I meant to ask you. Do you know the uh, prince who is claiming, you know, Shasha Gabor is Oh, this wacko. Yeah, now do you think he Alleged actually, wacko. do you think Are he, you uh, crazy? He can't even push a wheelchair. <laughs> you don't think he made love to Anna Nicole? No, I think, she, well, I think he, he didn't, she didn't know. Why would he come forward if Be he didn't make love to her? Excuse me, when was the last time we discussed the moron. prince, yeah, the right. prince, yeah. who bought his title, by the way. Right. Did it you hang out with him socially? I was a big fan of Zsa Gabor. I always thought she was funny and a good talk she show was guest. Smart. I wrote for her. Oh, you did. I was a, one of her writers. I didn't know she wow. had lines. Who knew she had writers? Howard. Wow. She had lines. She no said, kidding. "Darling, give me a line," and you'd give her a line. That was I, one of my first jobs after college. That and hemming her clothes. She was not stupid. <laughs> Darling, why are you thinking? Could you just fix this dress for me? <laughs> and I'm sitting there, the wall of a story. Phi Beta Kappa, I'm having a fucking dress. I thought, this is not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she always had great one liners on talk shows, so there's no way she wrote that. Yeah. What'd she pay you for a joke, Joe? She used to get $4. You're kidding oh, me. Gee. But that'd be a lesson to you, Artie. Yeah, but this is 1830. <laughs> <laughs> that was big money, Joe, right? She married this guy. Money. And now we're all talking about him. E I'm, I, it could be my child. Right. I want to get on into this picture. D I think Larry Burkhead is the father. I hope so, because he seems nice. He seems what about, like a nice guy. Yeah, what about the white fresh mother and the sister who wasn't talking to him for 12 years? They all <laughs> oh, came out on Larry yes, King. Yes. I, I loved it. When was the last thing you saw? 1982. <laughs> My favorite interview so far is China. China Doll yeah. was on Larry King. Yes. They found out she didn't even know, hardly know she this. Would, Anna and, wouldn't take her call. That was the best. <laughs> that, was the best. <laughs> that, that and the guy whose husband, the woman whose husband owns a slim Trim, bag. Trim, Trim Spot. Trim Trim spot. spot yeah. She was a, another one, too. Well, we're very happy. We're very close. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joan, you are continuing to use the N-word in your act, or you are not? <laughs> I started out by saying, yeah. You I use the N-word. I use them all. I'm like, sure. I did the Lenny Bruce thing. Right. I walk out and say, Nigga, 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 I got to the minute that, uh, that he Michael started Richards. it. Yeah. And then I say, okay, now we got that over. Kike, kike, kike is on stage. <laughs> Where are the mick, mick, micks? You know, and you go, so who cares? It's also care. stupid. It's, all... it's so stupid. So when, when this guy got on stage and started screaming out the N-word, it wasn't funny. I though. think he, you know, in the wrong, you know, he's a comic. You, you got to know the, the right ones, way to do it. You got to know when you're funny. Right. He wasn't funny. He wasn't funny. All right. That's it. Now you, got, now you know everything. Now there you know you everything. That's the secret. This woman's that's lived. That's how she knows things. Yeah, and this you know. This is not some, some punk. You know when you're a comic, you know what you can say. And what you can't. And that's why. If you're self aware. The, on the, on the, on the, the red carpet, when they. You can't push Dame Judy Dench's breasts. Right. You can push uh, uh, Jules' breasts. You don't know whose breasts you can push. <laughs> you can push Jules' breasts? Because nice. I wanted. I, well, I did the Tonight now. Show she's behind bars. But in the no, old no, days. I, but, wa I want to. Oh, she's a, a little hot. She's smoking hot. Yeah. I was on the Tonight Show with her. Yeah, she's Again, I thought maybe there was a vibe, but uh, obviously not. <laughs> I love you. Anyway, I know you're trying All to right. get rid of so I'm going to go. I'm not trying to get rid of you. I'm well, moving you on. Move on. I know when show. you kill, and then you, I know when to end it. All right. Do I say no? Joan Rivers on the Oscars Red Carpet pre-show Sunday, February 25th at 6 p.m. on the TV Guide channel. See Joan Melissa. with Melissa, of course. of course. See Joan on the Oscar fashion wrap-up with Melissa, Melissa. Of course. on the TV Guide channel Monday, February 26th at 10 p.m. And, of course, at the Cutting Room every Wednesday in New York City. Right. Thank you, Joan. I love, I you, love you. I love you. Congratulations. Love you. Thank you. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Uh, Joan Rivers is here. She's great. Joan... Uh, just got a great review in the newspaper for a special she's out promoting. It's a comedy special. On Bravo. Yeah, the name of the special is called Before Melissa Pulls the Plug. <laughs> uh, it's tonight at 10 o'clock on Bravo. 
There and she, she got it. And Linda Stacy gave her a three star review in the paper today. Yeah. She probably doesn't even know that. You, you got a good review. Yeah, in the post, no less. Oh, that's. They don't like anybody. Yeah, they were good to you. <laughs> well, Linda Stacy is talking about your stand up on Bravo, and they're just she's just beside herself. She says you're on point. You're How good. great! Yeah, three stars. Jokes about old people, ugly people, <laughs> cremating her mother-in-law. Did you have to cremate your mother-in-law? Oh, yeah. I only got half of her. Is that right? Wait, just split her with who? Oh, I have the legs. I'm going to give them to Heather McCartney. Oh. <laughs> Is it true, though, when you cremate, certain people get certain, like, like they get a certain portion of the ashes? I do. I divide it. I have my... My closet, I've got my dogs. I've got Vincent Price, part of him. Do you have part of Vincent Price, really? Yeah, I have Edgar. I have... Uh, <laughs> I have Do you ever confuse the ashes? A whole closet no, full. I, <laughs> Do you ever combine them? I, well, I'm scared that when I die, Melissa will mix them all together with me. Are and there's some people I don't want to be cremated with. Yeah. Are you going to be cremated? Me? Yeah. What? Vincent Price, I would love to. I'll have give you a piece of Vincent. Okay. A little right. piece how did you come to own the great Vincent Price's ashes? You know, Howard, I happen to have another life where people respect me. No, I know. <laughs> so you're friends with him. You were. I, he was like my surrogate father. He and his wife, Carl Brown. How really? did I that happen? I adored them. I met them in California. They were English. Edgar was English. Right. And we just got friendly. And I, when she was dying of cancer, Carl, she would see me and not Vinny, and that's how close we were. And I adored them both. They're like my parents. I have uh, John F. Kennedy's toe. Oh. <laughs> Do you really? I've yeah, got two. Toenail. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It doesn't burn, that guy. <laughs> it, it was actually intact. I have Jackie Gleason's liver. It's... <laughs> well, I use it as an ottoman. <laughs> but what do you do? What do you do? Uh, with the ash, in other words, it's it's a strange thing. Like, is it creepy to have Vincent Price? I find it very comforting. Really? I got all my dog's ashes. It's up in a corner of my closet. It's like all the people I love. Now, are you like Anna Nicole? You know, she used to have that urn sitting on top of her TV. Well. And she talks. <laughs> you ever yeah. talk to the urn? I know, but my dog's urns make me cry every time really? I see them. Do, but th that's what I would think it would be a painful reminder, but I guess it's healthy. But it's and also very comforting. How you haven't you, buried them yet. But take me to the process. In other words, Vincent Price probably had children and had yes, family. Yes, had a daughter. Did you and request the ashes? Yes, I said, can I have a little bit of Vinny? Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and, and the family said, okay. Yes. Yeah. No kidding. He loved you. Yeah, I have a, a um, yeah. And I have how do you, my you friend Tommy call? Corcoran died, who and I gave him the people, the, the family. Well, my who I called call? people at his wake, my friend, and I said, "Who wants some of Tommy?" No, but who do you call when you want Vincent Price's ashes? You I called, called his daughter. You called his daughter. Yeah. And she said, "I'd be happy to do that." Yeah. I, I'd be. Does it make you nervous to make a phone call like that? Not when you're that close. No. All right. Well, I never I, thought I, of it. Well, I'm going to trust stranger and me. Oh, I think it'd be <laughs> great. How about Rudy and family? Like, hello, your father and I had an affair. Can I? Do you have your mother-in-law's ashes? No. No, you didn't like her. I flushed them down the toilet. Did you really not like her? Or you're doing a shtick. No, doing a shtick. No, you're doing a shtick. No. Doing a shtick. I had you a great mother-in-law. Oh, all right, so everything's cool. Let me ask you about this story in the paper, Joan, because you would know about this shit. Oh dear. When when uh, a, the 23 year old girl had a double mastectomy. Yeah. But she didn't have breast cancer. She's perfectly healthy. Her mother had breast cancer at the age of 40. Her grandmother had breast cancer at the age of 39. Her great-grandmother got it at 50. She got tested. She said she has the genes. She has the proclivity to have uh, right. breast cancer. So she said, I'm going to take a preemptive me measure and just lop my tits off. What do, you, would you, do you think that's the right thing to do? I think either she's... A lesbian? She wants no, to look very No, she wants to have children. No, no, no. She wants to have children. No, she probably got implants. But she took off her titties. I don't get it. But no. that's fine. Is her body do what she wants? I mean, I didn't cut off my nose at nine. I saw what was going horribly wrong. <laughs> exactly. Right. I didn't, uh, I didn't chop at all. I didn't get rid of the yeah. yeah. You're saying it's okay to do. I think it's your body. You can do any damn thing you want to with it. And now, what do you think of Madonna going on Oprah today to straighten out? I feel bad for Madonna. I never thought I'd be oh, saying this. If she wants a starving black child, adopt Nicole Richie. What is she <laughs> looking at? Uh, she doesn't nice have to go one. To Africa. Where are you going to Hold it a second. <laughs> There's the joke. See, that's the joke. Yeah, that's the joke. Everyone's looking for that current event. <laughs> I don't understand. Stop the, you got, she's sitting right in front of you. I don't understand something. You can all almost miss her at this point. Uh, all jokes aside, <laughs> wouldn't you... I look at this kid. His father gave him up in an orphanage. Uh, exactly. Now the father claims he didn't know what an orphanage yeah. was. His father didn't that? know what a big check was. Right. And now all of a sudden, he wants the kid. Yeah. 
He wants the kid back. Makes sense. Yeah. He wants to have the heritage of sitting in shit. Right. With flies all over him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just like dear old dad. So yeah. don't you feel bad for this kid? I He's... feel terrible. Truly, I think it's insane. Right. In well, what... fucking insane. Thank but you. But what is the world outcry against Madonna? What is Why that all about? Look at the terrible things you did. She took a kid out of a nation that they're eating shit with ketchup on it. Really? The father <laughs> threw it. Where do they get ketchup? It. Yeah, the father <laughs> threw it. Well, that's the vegetable for the month. Right. They threw it. Father put it in an orphanage. Right. She's going to give it, even if she never says hello to it, it will have nurses, it will have an education, it will have well, hygiene. Okay. Artie even said this kid is is is, is a few minutes he's away a from... Away. He's yeah. a week away from blowjobs, yeah. a bungalow away from Nikki Hilton. Yes. <laughs> hey. I mean, he's going to be famous. This kid could have really been in trouble been adopted by Michael Jackson, and even that would have been better. But is it, I mean, this kid could have a great life, and you know what they're going to do? They're going to ship this kid back, I'm afraid. Right. I find I that said. insane. This kid is going to kill them. Yeah. When, he, when he grows up. <laughs> moment that Madonna touched his life, he was on a private jet with a nanny. Oh. And they want to send him back. You know, and he was in an orphanage with nothing. And with the father nothing. wasn't visiting him. No, of course not. Because I, I thought Madonna was going to return my son to, to come back to the yeah. village. Yeah. yeah. To go back there and be a, a Right. A After farmer. living with Madonna yeah. for 18 yeah. years, he was going to come C back to the farm. Come farm-y. back and, and, and hit a drum. <laughs> and do I feel what? so bad for uh, the kid. I think it's outrageous. Thank God. Yeah, you know, but then again, if Madonna was, she should adopt the kid. They don't know the parentage. Right. right. Surrey. Cruise. That's right. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> no one can figure it out. There she is. And your love life is going good? Or are oh, the men please. dating you? No, I mean, you look better than ever. Your body. I mean, you're in great shape. You really are. You're, you're, I am all for old sex because no. a man on top of you is a great bone density test. <laughs> is that right? If your bones don't break, you know, you, have, you oh. crumble. Do you, do you take a lot if of you calcium. You don't crack. You know. I want to make a request. <laughs> If you're going to be cremated, I would like to have a piece of you. You got it. I'm, I'm not making a joke. Yeah, please put that in your will. And you think I'll make a joke? I'm not uh, making a joke. I would to have a piece of Joan Rivers who <laughs> I would I'll love. I a piece of Joan, too, uh, yeah. but I want her to send me a piece of Vinny. <laughs> I, you will get I loved him. I promise you, you will get yeah, But oh. you don't have a right to have Vinny. Oh, stop it. If she loves it, she has the right to have anybody she wants. Yeah? That's right. How many people are in your closet? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> my hairdresser, pieces of, my hairdresser, Jason, a friend of mine, Mine from uh, Chicago, uh, my friend Tommy Cochran, <laughs> Edgar, uh, my all my dogs. How Vinny, many dogs? Three, three. four, four dogs four remain dogs. Okay. in the closet. Uh, Vinny, Vincent, uh, and his wife Carl Brown. That's it. That's it. And Edgar. Hey, yeah, Edgar. You got all, all Edgar. Edgar. Full Edgar. <laughs> Can we have some of Edgar? We'll put him here in the studio. You got it. He to loved the studio. <laughs> Uh, it is it creepy out? Do you buy no. the urns or do they come with the urns? They come. Uh, my friend Tommy Cochran just came in like a bag, a plastic bag. And then they put it in like a velvet bag because I, I sprinkled him at Buckingham Palace. You did? Yeah. Wow. I asked Prince Charles. <laughs> did you? Because <laughs> Tommy was... Who's going to deny you? It, uh, I said, sir, may I just sprinkle a little of my friend in the garden? Said. <laughs> And he said, he's so dear. He said, yes, of course. Yeah, what do I, he said, what do I care? And I sprinkled Tommy in. He <laughs> says, hey, listen, you coke, go ahead. You wacko American shit, <laughs> Yeah, a horse just probably took a crap on it. Meanwhile, the poor bastard's in a vacuum cleaner bag now. You know that. Please, he's out in the garden. The horse is using him for a toilet. <laughs> but so it, do it, men, do, are men afraid to date you still? Afraid? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because she's also, witty and she's the funny. The funny women don't get dates. Funny women, men don't like, they like. Big tits, you know that, and you blonde nice hair. You have nice. Tits. Yeah, but look where they are. Right, they're not in the right place, but they're nice. <laughs> yeah, a midget would really have a heyday with me. <laughs> Your tits have sunk. Have they gone down? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the joke? I can have a pedicure and a, <laughs> and a breast exam at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for you. The nice thing, I keep reading a paper while I'm having a mammogram. <laughs> Nothing helps, right? Nothing's in the way. Right, it doesn't go there. And your and your sex life is still bad. But My you, sex you say, life is still terrible. But you do have sex. You have certain go to. What do they call that? A, a booty a, call. A booty call. You have yeah. guys who do you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not that. Nah. But uh, even these old guys, you know, and it's it's uh, they have flavored condoms. Old people. <laughs> do they? <laughs> Brand. <laughs> They have flavored condoms? Oh, why? Brand. Brand and prune. 
<laughs> what are you, is, are you really having sex with old guys? Uh, every What's time the oldest? I, uh, I, I was going out with one man who was 75. Jesus. You ever think you'd be banging a 75-year-old? No. It's unbelievable. That, I don't know if I have it. The room is so dark. Oh, my God. It must what, be pitch black. Do you have blackout curtains? Blackout curtains. <laughs> what do you have I have a there? blackout nightgown. <laughs> I mean, would you take your want to take your clothes off in front of a younger man? No, <laughs> I swim in what I'm wearing now. You do it, a full I'm dress in my, and a coat. I'm in my bathing suit. <laughs> Jeez, I feel terrible oh, for you. Dear, hey, it's gonna happen to you too. What, oh, you what do you mean it happened to me? I don't even get in a bathing suit. You got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, as long as you and you're out in the Hamptons. Oh, all the time. See yeah. Connecticut. Oh, I see. You can make up stories. Oh, I don't swim. To, I'm working in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're you're really uptight about taking your clothes off in yeah. front of these older guys. But I always was. You were. You were always shy. When I look back, like Melissa's got this great body, and she doesn't show it, and it gets me crazy. Yeah. What do you, like, you tell her to wear sexier outfits? Oh, I and... beg her. You've got a great. She was supposed to do Playboy magazine. She turned it down. You wanted her to do it. Yes. Really. Because she, the body. Have you seen her naked? Yes. She well, had a great body. If you body had Howard. seen her on that, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. She's got. She a was great... wearing bikinis, and she is. She's beautiful. She's got a great body. She doesn't get it. Why what did she, she got another ten years? Why did she turn down Playboy? She's very. She's such the antithesis of me. You know wow. what I mean? Uh, uh, she's. She doesn't want to. She looks very. She dresses very California. Wasp, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I mean, you got a midriff of Christ, they show it. It, it, it. Dress youthful. Yeah, but dress sexy. Right. You Sex. tell. So do you still give her advice? Do you yeah, still, you, just you, listen to me. Yeah, I mean, she's at a one very point, nice boyfriend. I always say to her, it's all about underwear. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I think when you when you're going with somebody for ten months. Don't get into that habit of, right. you know. Right, right. Yeah, you don't want to show up in the period drawers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to do. You know, Joan is sexy. Joan is so right. I mean, yeah. if, if my girlfriend's in a pair of panties or like a thong, she goes to sleep in a thong. That turns me on. You see, there's your answer. And, and she doesn't even have to do anything. Just be there. You know, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll just look at your ass. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the be And she's the same way. She don't want anyone seeing her ass. Yeah, yeah but that's going on. But yeah. aren't you glad as a man in a way? Only I get to see it. No, well, she what? does show it to everybody else. Yeah, oh, all right. <laughs> oh, she does. She's going to be in FHM next month in, in lingerie and uh, oh, showing her right. ass. All right, so that's... me, she won't show it to. I'm the only one she won't show it to. It's really weird. It's so Jewish. It really is. And she's not even Jewish. I know, but she's picking it up. <laughs> yeah, right. She's learning. <laughs> Rubbing off. You and you're a grandmother, funniest, too, right? Funniest joke of my act, but Go it's ahead. very dirty. All right. But why the Jews are going to lose in Israel? Why? I say this every night. I'll be saying it probably on Bravo tonight at 10 p.m. Yes. Uh, or can I have to say this? I'll be also saying the Keswick Theater, which is not sold out in Philadelphia on this Saturday. Yeah, you got to go see Jones. Uh, not sold out. You, you got to go see her. Happen? This Saturday night at 8 o'clock at the Keswick Theater in, in Glenside, Pennsylvania. If you read Linda yeah. Stassi's uh, review of her act, it's a pretty incredible review. I mean, I, that's how nice it is. Yeah. But, uh, so I say that Arabs are going to win because they're all very ugly. <laughs> and they get 72 versions. I said, what's a Jewish guy? What's he going to get? 50-year-old woman who still won't swallow. Right. <laughs> that ain't worth no dying incentive. for. That's right. No incentive. <laughs> no you, uh, incentive to kill yourself. Did you watch Mel Gibson on TV? I can't look at him. You can't. You hate him. I find... He's a bit yeah. phony. Oh. Why he, if he came on TV and said, you know what? I hate Jews. So what? So, so does most of the world. Then I respect the guy. So you caught me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah you, caught, you caught me out loud. Because we drunk. all hate everybody. Yeah. Just say it. Yeah. I just was in the, in the dressing room with my group. You know, and I said, I want you to meet my hairdresser. He's an idiot Puerto Rican. I want you to meet the woman who does my hair. She's Polish. She's a moron. I'd like you to meet me. I'm a, a fucking Jew. And I, here's my wasp. And he's not so terrific either. Right. And that's how you introduce everyone. Yeah. That's very nice. And very we all comforting. laugh. Right. And, and tell me about being a grandmother now. Is that a drag for you? You don't, yeah. want her, you don't let the baby call you grandma, do you? Well, we're having an affair. What do you mean? You and your grandson? Yeah, he's hot. <laughs> how old is that kid now? He's going to be sick. <laughs> Six? He's a door. Oh, I'd you like to call meet your grandma. Oh, I want him to. I love Howard. You want people to 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 hear you being a grandma? It is hilarious. They say, yeah. "Who's that?" To Cooper, and he goes, "It's my grandma." Grandma. <laughs> Just kills and you, me. Yeah, it kills you. Don't don't you feel he should call you Joan to keep up your image? No, I I don't care. It, it you know you do, you love your grandchild. I want to meet someone who says I hate my grandchild or I have an ugly. 
I'd like to read someone who has an ugly grandchild. Right. Nobody Where do all these pigs that grow up come from? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can tell if a kid's going to be a pig early on. Oh, immediately. You can. Oh, you look You're... at some of these kids. I remember Melissa's pigs and bitches. Right, right. There you was... can tell the personality early on. There's one girl, right. I'm not mentioning the last name, Christy. Right. No last name. Okay. Right. And we used to do jokes to Governess and I, which was right. in pre kindergarten. If you can't keep your husband, you don't deserve to keep him. And it was all there. Right. In other words, it's it's really the, the personality develops by the time they're 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 almost like yeah. two or three. Oh yeah, that yeah. you know you just where right they're away. going. And and is this the best time of your life right now? Here you have a hit show on Bravo that's going to be airing uh, tonight tonight at ten, 10 o'clock. And, and also you uh, have a, an almost sold out show <laughs> at the Kensington <laughs> Theater. Kensington Theater. I feel I'm <laughs> pleading with anyone. <laughs> is this the happiest time in your life? I'm having a great time. You are. You're not a Upset. You're happy to be alive. I wake up in the morning, I think, I'm 73 years old, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. So I just ignore it. You do ignore it, and you go on with your life, and it's good, and you still have a lot of celebrity friends. Yeah, but only famous people. You only, you know, I noticed that. You only hang out with famous people. Oh, yeah, only famous. Babsy Streisand? Yeah, but you don't have... Like this. No, come on. You don't even... You, you, all the people in, in your closet are all famous people. They, they, <laughs> they're very, except for your dog. <laughs> no, Honestly. My friends and... Who my are your friends, friends? Who are your friends? My friend... <laughs> Who are your famous friends? I don't have famous friends. I, mean, I do jokes in my act that I have famous friends. I don't Who do you say is your famous friend in your act? Oh, I, Julie Andrews, who calls me every morning. <laughs> <laughs> she lost her voice, right? Yeah, she yeah. Is that true? I don't you think that's she a mental like thing. She sounds like a pirate now. Yeah. <laughs> Off with their hands. Tell me the truth, you think? <laughs> Julia Jim, Andrews. Jim, Jim, Jim. Julia Andrews had a beautiful voice. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. One of the most beautiful voices. Yeah. And, and now she's. How does she sing Chim Chimney? <laughs> so awful. And she's such a lovely lady. How do you know it's awful? Did you actually hear her sing? <laughs> Every morning she calls. Me. Chim, and she tries to do Chim Chimney. Well, I give it. I give her requests. What does it sound like when she sings supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? <gasps> it's a mess. It's bad. It's bad. Who else are your celebrities? Friend. My celebrity friend, Babs, as I said. Barbara but she doesn't call me because that costs money. Right. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she invited me to the concert. Yes. And, you know, every Wednesday night I'm in the, the um, cutting room. So she invited me for a Wednesday night. Now, the cutting room holds 180 people. That's where you perform your stand-up. My stand-up. I right. do it every Wednesday night. I just have fun. Right. So she invites me on a Wednesday So I wrote her a note back said, I Dear Barbara, isn't it funny you invited me to your show? I was going to invite you to come see me in the cutting room, but I don't have any tickets left over. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really go to the Barbara Streisand. No, I didn't go. You didn't even get invited. I did. You That's really did. Actually, too. That's she actually wrote just... you a personal note and said, I'd like you to come. No, they called. No the kidding. Called. Barbara would like you to come. Oh, that was nice. I think she's getting older and she's looking back because we started together. She got heavy. Heavy? Yeah. She ate Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> is, what happened to Barbara Streisand? She married a very handsome man. Very, very she got, somebody guy. said, which is very smart, uh, somebody said she ma she became Fanny Bryce. She, he's her Nicky Arnstein. But do you he's feel... Great looking guy. Do you feel he really loves her, James Brolin? I mean... Uh, I hear he's the nicest guy. Yeah, but he's, she's very fat. And she doesn't look good. You know a guy like that could get a lot of good looking broads. Yeah. Do you think do you think he looks at her and goes, Jesus Christ, can't you lose a few pounds? I think he was hanging around and things were getting a little tough and he was turning the collars as they say, you know. Right, right. And I think uh He's comfortable he, with it. He latched on to a good thing. I think. He, he, and yeah. he has to bang her a couple of times a month, probably. Shut your eyes. Right. That's it. Yeah. It's all the same. It's all the same. Turn I asked Michael Jackson. He said, one kid's just like another. <laughs> <laughs> Joan Rivers I love you, is doing a comedy special. And it's tonight. Uh, tonight. Congratulations. You know, Bravo. You're Bra still funny. And, and that's what she says in the paper. What did she, she say? Says, Here she goes. How nice um, of her! Cause I didn't even. I swear yeah. to God, she, she 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 goes through. You know, she reviews the show. She talks about how you joke about ugly people. Hate them. You hate ugly people. I hate ugly, and they know who they are. And I tell them right in the audience. Who, who are the? Uh, you point out the ugly. I people. I just say, you know who you are. Go home now. Why wait till the? Because you're going to go home. You're still going to be ugly, but we don't have to see it. Wow! And then people must get very. People start weeping. They sure. really start leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about your mother-in-law, nine eleven widows, Heather Mills. Her stump. Yes. You talk about Heather Mills' stump? Yes. See, most women in comedy your age wouldn't be doing that stuff anymore. You're cutting edge. Uh, yeah. What Thank women God. in comedy her age are there? None. Nobody. <laughs> 
Not since Toadie Fields died. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm kidding with you. You didn't like Toadie Fields? She did the mean. She was very competitive. Toadie Fields was an old uh, comedian. She and was a big she fat remember? woman. She got diabetes. She and lost they her started legs. Started cutting off parts of her, and she still performed. She still she performed. Still I saw her on Mike Douglas. Yeah. She was, they propped her up on a piano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did she do to you? I'm sure. uh, I was just starting out. She was at a height, uh -huh. and she told everybody. Um, filthy, don't book me, and they didn't book me for years. Are wow. you kidding? And then we found out she was the one that spread the rumor. Wow, that's she awful. was not. She was not a nice lady. That's not very giving. She no. couldn't share the spotlight with you. No, that's, well, I wouldn't do it either. Let <laughs> some little bitch try to show up. Now you understand. I'll so, say the opposite. I'll say she works clean. <laughs> it's uh, it, no. Then she quotes a bunch of things from your act, and she says. Uh, uh, her riff on in our inability to catch Osama bin Laden is pretty darn funny, too, but unfortunately points up clearly just how the hour might have been better. Ha no, it might have been better used for more political commentary and fewer dead mother in law jokes, but she gives you three stars. That's good. And I, I just read, I read that, like, yeah. that was the only negative thing in it, and I just picked that out. I am so bored with comedians doing political commentary. I don't want to hear hear it anymore yes we know we don't like bush shut the fuck up i'm here to have a good time she makes fun of donatella she makes fun of donatella versace's oh, looks yes, that's ugly. the funniest thing jackie onassis's wall eyes her pal julie andrew's new frog voice <laughs> and she says you're terrific how nice is that i mean terrific three stars so it must be very very good she's, good. she's a tough critic uh joan maybe rivers, you should come and see me at the keswick theater the plenty of she's not that into you <laughs> <laughs> See, Joan, uh, this Saturday night at 8 o'clock at the Keswick Theater in Glenside, Pennsylvania. But most of all. But most of all, it's a big <laughs> night for you tonight. I'm going to watch 10 o'clock sure. tonight. <laughs> all right, I have to go to bed early, but otherwise I would we'll watch. Tape, we'll tape. I don't tape. Oh, stop it. Joan Rivers comedy special before <laughs> Melissa pulls the plug. Yes. And Melissa has the right to pull the plug. In other words, she is. She's the, trying now. No, she's in your will that if if everything, any, if anything happens everything. to, she gets everything. Everything. What a now? Catch. How is your financial situation? Terrible. Look, I'm so worried. <laughs> no, I she, make it. I spend it. Joan's stop got a it. lot of money. I have read a good time. somewhere that you had you were at one point twenty three million dollars in debt. That was what? an old story. From your jewelry company? Oh, that's an old story. Some that's asshole. <laughs> name. He went to jail, Arthur Toe. Did he? Yeah. He went to jail for him. I, I know it's cool. I don't want to be sued by this pig. Alleged pig. Well, don't, don't, I don't yeah. want to go into that. Do you yeah. sure, you, he you went sure to jail. Him? So, oh, And right. everything's all right now. Everything's fine. All yeah. right, okay. good. All right. Well, I worry good. about you. No, yeah. don't. No, I'll come sit here. <laughs> you know, we were having a conversation out in the office. I know that you work because you like to work. But if, you to work. if you stop working today... Could you continue to live the lifestyle forever, or do you still That's have to brilliant. work? That's brilliant. That's a br I would have to probably sell my country house. You would? Really? Oh. Well, Howard, it's double the expense. You, I mean, you I, haven't saved enough money after all of these years that you could live and have your country house. Uh, not the way I live. What are you spending on? I what do, you do, do. Oh, let's put what, a pond clothes? over there. Oh, really? Oh, I'm crazy. Let's. I, I think we should put an LA of trees. Yeah, I just have you turned it into like, it's fabulous. Buckingham Palace. It, yeah, what turn it into the ultimate country house. Yeah. What do you think you spend a year? A lot. A couple of million dollars, huh? Yeah, a lot. I have a lot of. Uh, yeah, I spend a lot. But I've, you want to know something? I believe. I swear to God, have a good time. Everybody's taken care of. Right. Everybody's fine. And I'm having a good time, too. How long do you think you'll live? Do you have any uh, clue? Like, do you ever say to yourself, well, I've got ten good years left? I. I, I I say, I, I figure, I have to bet, because my mind is like that, you know, right. very well. Uh, 85, probably. 85. So you yeah. figure, might as well spend the money now. Have a good time. Buy right. that jacket. Plant that tree. Uh, the jacket you're wearing today looks very expensive. This was given to me by a friend named Margie Stern. A woman gave it, a Jewish woman gave it to me. Relatives ask you for money all the time? All the time. All the time. All the time. What do you say to them? Fuck off. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joan Rivers, comedy special before Melissa pulls the plug. Tonight at 10 o'clock on Bravo. See Joan this Saturday night at 8 o'clock at the Keswick Theater in Glenside, Pennsylvania. And we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Joan Rivers is stopping by. Joan's been to Satellite. We had her on once already, right? Did we? I, I believe. Uh, I'm not positive. I don't know. I think so. I, re I recall her being in here. I don't have such a good memory. I don't of uh, that either. I don't remember if she's been here. Yesterday we cut um, a special for uh, Howard TV uh, for the 9-11 shows. We do a whole thing on that. They're doing a whole, a whole presentation on Howard TV. Oh, there's Joan. I did my interview for that. It was weird. <laughs> hey, you, you were in there so long they, they bumped me for a while. 
Well, no, they they immediately rushed me out when you were ready. Actually, really? Look at you! Oh, oh look at Joe! Gorgeous. Well, she looks good. Yeah, nice. I always expect you to walk in and fall apart one day, right. but you she look looks good. Great every day, every time. Hey, Joan. Sure, I ruined the hair. <laughs> now, After the all that hard work. All oh, this hard work. What time did you get up this morning to get yourself prepared? I didn't sleep at all. Right. They've been constructing you for how long? Oh, well, they start with the putty. You look very glamorous. Oh, well, you try, Howard. Also, I'm working this week. I'm pushing you on that stupid Emmy pre-show. Right. I can't believe you're working. I, you see, you know... What I, am I going to do? I don't know. I would just chill. Oh. If I had your money and just would, you know, relax and just be I cool. I love my work. <laughs> really? I'm working tonight. At, at, you never came to the cutting room. I'm not going there. Well, thank you. <laughs> just as well, I have to pick up I don't even check. Know, I don't even know where that is. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. Of course I would. I've, come to, I've seen you many you times seen live. Many, You're fabulous. Many times. Yeah, I have. You don't even have know that. Have you seen her live? I saw her at Westbury Music Fair. He Absolutely. Was 11, it was his bar mitzvah. No. <laughs> I saw you a couple of years ago. You don't even remember. Uh, what does it matter? Shame on you. Sh you didn't remember I came here and sat here. Well, that's, I'm a busy man. I can't, I can't <laughs> keep track of everybody's coming and going. people sit in that chair. <laughs> what, are you kidding me? <laughs> this chair smells. <laughs> no kidding. You should see what's sitting on yeah, there. Yeah, believe me, you know, you don't know, want to know what it is. <laughs> you should be relaxing. It's 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 time and to relax. What? I don't know. I what is she love gonna my work. Do at home? She got tons of fancy friends. I heard you made friends with uh, the like the Queen of England. I, I'm, you know the how Queen it, of England. Let me explain. To the you. Queen of England, Qu Camilla well, Parker Bowles. She's not a queen. Princess. She will be. Please. She will God. be. <laughs> what? What if How'd I you work that out? <laughs> How did you work that? A big box of jewelry. <laughs> Joan so badly wants to be in with these oh, yeah. types. No. And it's good to be in with them. Yeah, that, I'm, no, I'm, I'm really happy with people that sit around and eat with their mouth open. No. <laughs> she wants Joan, to be a lot. I like being with people have you I been, like. Have you been to the palace with Prince Charles yeah. and, and you've sat and eaten dinner with him? Yes. And is he a bore or is what? Is he the cutest, sexiest oh, thing? Oh, stop it. I'm telling you, <laughs> you oh, guys boy. don't get oh, it. Oh, boy, Joan. Oh, you're yeah. too funny. You, <laughs> didn't you used to make jokes about him being like Dumbo no, with big we, ears and no, flapping? Me, and, I like elegant men. You do? Yeah. Well, then what are you doing here with me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm you not, would like to be the Princess of England, I bet, right? You I would like to marry her. Actually, sure. my sadness is I'm not Mrs. Mel Gibson. <laughs> you have a problem with what he had to say? or Not yes? at all. I believe it. There's most of the world, but you believe that the Jews Six are responsible. Six million Jews spent World War II in Boca. Right. <laughs> you don't believe for a minute that the Jews were really put into ovens, I hope. No. His, his, right. his bumper sticker says, my other car is an oven. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you uh, feel that they're being too hard on Mel Gibson no, or I not think, hard enough? I think it's nice to have that little shrimp boat. Right. It's an anti Semite. Right. You knew it all along, didn't oh. you? You could smell one out in a minute. Well, it, yes. he used to turn to me at parties and say, What would Hitler do? Right. <laughs> all the time wondering, What would Hitler <laughs> do in this situation? He blames the Jews for his height. <laughs> he just blames the Jews <laughs> for everything. That's uh, so great. You know, uh, you talk about this. You'll love this. Do you know Arnold Schwarzenegger? The governor? Yes. Uh, you do know him personally? And, well, I'm not best friends, but yes. Uh, on our phone is Arnold Schwarzenegger for the real deal, the governor. And, uh, I love he, him. Yeah. Um, Mr. Governor, and, I, and Joan will get... Yeah, I, I, I kind of screwed up my timing here. You were supposed to call in at 9, but I'm thrilled to have you. And Joan yes. Rivers is here. You're colliding with Joan Rivers. Right. Oh, fantastic. Joan, how are you? If this is really you, it's, him. it's yes. wonderful to talk to you. Joan, this is great. I have not, I wanted to talk to you for so long. How are you? I'm great. Last time I saw you and your wife were, was at, I think, the Oscars. Right. Uh, with right, Back before right. you got all how, serious. How, yeah, right. How is uh, Maria Shriver, your wife? Maria's fantastic. She's sleeping right now, Howard. And, and, and you know, we were sitting here waiting to get on the air. And you, you made me wait. I well, real, real quick, it. Mr. Governor, we're talking about Mel Gibson. Do you know him? Absolutely. Of course, Howard. He's a great friend of mine. Yes. A but, great friend. But Joan uh, just made the statement that you know, she does not like Mel Gibson. Where do you stand on Mel Gibson? And the statements uh, always, he's making. You know, Howard, always trying to stir it up. You're always trying to stir it up. Well, give me your honest answer. You've been honest on this show, and I'm sure Joan wants to know. Mel, Mel is a great friend of mine, and what he said about the Jews, no big deal, right? Why no big deal? <laughs> Because, I mean, come on, the Jews, right? Everybody knows Oh, point. stop come it. On. I know you're kidding around, Mr. Governor. No, listen, Howard. First you know, of it's all, not, it's not a big deal. He you was know, drunk so. driving in your state of it. California. Yeah. This is not Robin, it. It's the governor. No, Robin, listen, always Robin giving me shit. Stop <laughs> it, Robin. Oh, you're crazy. He's, no, been, what, listen, he's listen. the reason, I, I mean, I would say that we had something to do with him getting elected governor. Yeah. 
Listen, you guys, all, you know, it's early in the morning. You're asking me questions about Mel Gibson. He's fine. What, say he's a little drunk, right? Well, aren't you offended? Uh, Even as a politician, if you say stuff. If the... Mel Gibson had said the word black for Jews, he'd be out, gone forever. We what do you think of that, that. Uh, Mr. Governor? Yeah, I don't even think that's a big deal. Everybody makes jokes about the black jokes. Well, you do, Howard. You guys always tossing around the N word over there. Nobody cares about. Look, no. a cop stops him for drunk driving, and he points out a media. Are you a Jew? I'm like, what is that to get out of? You're the one in the wrong. He really? makes the cop wrong just because he's Jewish. Robin, Robin, everybody. I throw back to Werner's Gruner here at the house. And well, we start, we start talking about the Jews. Nobody gets upset about that. Oh, well, your father was a uh, Nazi sympathizer. Listen, Howard. Listen, I said before, when Grandpa comes over here for Thanksgiving, you wouldn't believe the jokes they make about putting the turkey in the oven. You know what I'm talking about. I guess you won't be doing a reality show. Joan, uh, yeah, yeah. If this really is it. Is. I cannot believe it. <laughs> He's the governor. Listen, Joan, we always get nuts here on the show. And I what know. You, what are you yapping about? My <laughs> wife buys you a goddamn jewelry. I can't take it anymore. In that case, I love Mel Nixie. I turn. Is that necklace one of yours, Joan? This is one of mine. Joan is wearing, Mr. Governor, a yeah. fabulous necklace. It's beautiful. It is a faux something. I'm not what, but yeah. Yeah, it's a faux. It's faux, all right. It's faux. <laughs> to match my face. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's not not get into that. You know, Joan, I saw you on that E! channel. I thought that uh, they'd resurrected Jim Henson's Muppets. You look like oh, oh, for Christ's sake. You know, this Arnold, is outrageous. you've had a few nips oh. and tucks, I can tell. You've had a facelift, Mr. Governor. Oh, give me a break, Robin. You, you know talk. it. You should talk, Robin. Your knees look are under you. your chin at this point. <laughs> Robin, you like... Do you think the governor's had a facelift, Joan? Yes. You do? Yeah, but that's uh, California. Why do you deny it, Mr. Governor? All right, maybe I've had some work done. Maybe, <laughs> maybe right. Of course. Well, coming up next, uh, Governor Pataki is going to be on to wish Osama bin Laden a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Thank you, Howard Joan. Thank you Thank so you. Much. Good to we talk did. to you. We're okay. joking around, but keep your face stretched tight. That was <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Governor. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, what do you make of that? If that was, if that was him... <laughs> He said that it's okay to joke about the Jews. It's okay. Mel Gibson's a good friend. That's right. Well, that wasn't the governor. Don't get too... Wow. I was going to say, my oh, God. I didn't have the heart to keep that one going with oh, you. Wait, wait, wait. Joan's face looked I like... I know. She was incredulous. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say too much because you always go back to yourself. That's right. And I figured if they come down the red carpet, I wanted them to say hello to me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I, I'm thinking, how much? How important is it? Also, Melissa lives in California. Right. You don't want to say you're a son of a bitch, anti-Semite. You should only drop dead. Right. You goddamn she fucking ass. Yeah. Right. Which is what you're thinking. You're kind of like laughing. Ha, ha, ha. How old is your grandson now? Five. Five. Does he, do you have any of your interaction with him? or do you? I, as little as possible. Do you let him call you grandma? You must hate that. No, I love that. You love that. I, he just spent a week be, with me. You want to be How, grandma? Why doesn't he call you Joan? Because when you have grand, it makes me laugh when he walks in or something and goes, It's my grandma. <laughs> just you like kills, that? Kills me. I'm shocked. Kills me. But you say you spent a week with him? We slept in a tent. What? We went fishing. What? You? We, y y yes. Yes. Well, I had servants. But the, <laughs> Did you? I brought staff. Did you? I out in the woods? <laughs> you went to the woods and you brought staff? Yes. On my property. But nonetheless. You were on your property where? In California? In, in, Cal in uh, Connecticut. In Connecticut. Yeah. We, and you, you, you set up a tent and brought staff out? Yes. How is that? What does that teach this kid? It teaches this kid that you're very lucky. Grandma's got bucks. Right. It would be horribly uncomfortable to be out. And you slept outdoors in a tent? Yes, in a wonderful tent. And in a bed or in a sleeping no, bed? No, we blew up the things or had somebody do it for me. You didn't blow anything I up. love people without green cards. Right. <laughs> no. They can blow up anything. They'll do things. That's right. That nobody else would. And you sat there in this tent with your grandchild. Yeah, we had a week out in the country. You fished? Everything. Oh, Everything. Geez. Wow. Every, it's great. Because, you know, he's going home at the end. Stayed in my bed. We watched cartoons. Mommy's asleep. Shh. Let's get the cartoons on. How much of that can you really take? A day? I do, well, maybe a little less than a yeah. day. He's <laughs> with me for a week. It was fabulous. fabulous. A week. And, now and we it was go, all fabulous. I'm going out Friday night. We're going to go bowling. 
Bowling. Bowling. You're going to have a heart they're, attack. That's what it, They're going to find you dead in a bowling alley. <laughs> but they put up those sides, you know? Right. So you, so you can't lose. Oh, right. so you can't get a gutter ball. Suddenly, retarded I'm like, retarded bowling. Retarded bowling. Retarded my, bowling. my grandma bowls 200. <laughs> those are called, yeah, they'll put up the bumpers for you. <laughs> what uh, <laughs> What is going on? I read that you uh, you had a boyfriend. You yeah. broke up. I was born, yes. No. And, uh, yeah. No, but that was a few years ago. Yeah. No, yeah. they broke up again. And, uh... Uh, and it's sad. He's and uh, he's had. He's been very ill. And he called me to want to have dinner. And the family won't let me have dinner with him because they're scared his Euro trash friends will get mad. Oh. Yeah, these two women, so you two had gotten back together? Not back together. But when someone's ill and they call you for dinner, you say, "Of course I'll see you." The yeah. family doesn't want you to see a sick guy that you because dated? they said it'll make the Euro trash girlfriend upset. Because okay. uh, well, she's old, so she's Euro retrash. She's a Euro, Euro recycle. You're a very jealous woman. You want him back, and no, I and don't the want woman him back. Stole him from you. I don't want. Oh no. You're I, Joan Rivers. And I got him. I got rid of him. But um, if somebody calls you when they're sick, you want to close the circle. Right. right. And I said, if, if he can make the phone call and like to see him for dinner, I would be delighted to see you for dinner. And you're taking out ads on in, in MySpace and things, looking for dates. I Match. heard. Match.com. <laughs> Match.com. Is that true? No. Yeah. I went on that. I, I had a couple of drinks with my assistant, Matt. Yeah. And we put in what we thought was a funny ad. Yeah. <laughs> it was we, all a big joke. Right. And we got, and we did it on the Today Show. We got five responses. You, so you're going to go out with these guys? I went out with one man. He went to grade school with me. How about that? Had pictures of us in grade and school. And you lie on your MySpace account. You say stuff like, I'm, uh, I'm a comedian who makes about $130,000 a year. And I'm a com I'm a ri I write for a comedian. Right. Which because I you do. Don't, you don't want them to know you're Joan Rivers. No. Well, can you imagine? Star will Starfuckers will, will, will want you. Yeah. yeah. Right. All the, a lot of gay men would show up. Right. Yeah. You've dated gay men. Oh, uh, listen. You've had Why, Liza has a, 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 a lock on it. Right. <laughs> and you are starting a new television show, which I think is a, an interesting idea. You're going to have a gay view. You. It's, yeah, I like to call We're not going to have it until January, so I'm going to be back to push it. It's you but, and a bunch of gay guys, yes. like on The View. You're going to bring in your co-host when you come back? Yeah, I'll put, if they're four, they're going to be four. What it is, is the best dinner parties I've ever been to. Are the gays. Are gay men who are smart and funny and bitchy and they'll say things mm -hmm. you know Robin. oh absolutely and i said we should do the view but with four gay men right this would be fabulous and so we interviewed like two thousand gay men now did I was you get the, heaven. did you get you the former at, governor yeah. jim mcgreevy yeah he's you fabulous. got him you signed him up oh uh, we're going to use him yeah he's going to be on the show yeah he's, he's one of the gays he's going to be one of the bitches yeah, that, no no <laughs> he's see that just it he's, he's a bitch fabulous. No, isn't he's, the view already for gay men he's smart and he's terrific. Yeah. And he's also going to be my... I mean, he was telling me who he thinks is going to be on, for, for, going to run for president. I mean, it's wonderful. So this is going to be a good show for you. I hope. I think so. It's going to be like a talk show with a lot of fun, very edgy. And you're going to have guests and all, everything, too. Yeah. But mainly gay people. Now, all Joan, gay people. No, 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 and then real guests. <laughs> When's the last time you got laid? Uh, 1947. No, seriously. Have you, have you had a... Yeah, I had a big affair this year or something. No kidding. Yeah. How old a dude? He's a boca now. How old a guy? 80s? Uh, no, 71. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it was very good. And he got it up? No problem. No problem. Camilla no Viagra? And Charles no Viagra. Can you imagine? No Viagra, 71. Yeah. Did you hear that woman talking about Hugh Hefner I've never been sex with, a... with Hugh Hefner? He takes Viagra. <laughs> oh, please. He has it intravenous. That's right. It's a drip. <laughs> it's a you're telling me you found a 71 year old man. You yeah. got undressed and you had sex. Well, it was a very dark room. Yeah. My favorite words. And and I, I love you. you. My favorite words are, where are you? Right. <laughs> and he took where you. are you? And he took you. He entered you. <laughs> Howard. Did he enter you? I'm not going to discuss that with you. He entered you. Apparently. Wow. Well, you look somebody good. did. I'm going to tell you. you look maybe good. it was a dark room. There's no reason you should be sexual. Look how you look, keep your body nice and your nails nice. You, and, your, uh, and your waistline looks you good. You try. And you got the titties. You yeah, look you good. Try, you try. No, but, That's a lift or the implant? Neither. Really? Neither. Those are your real tips. Uh, my mother had good breasts. You, you know what? It comes down to look at your parents, and you're going to be your parents. It's yeah. very depressing. Seriously, <laughs> look at Joan's breasts. I mean, that, like, she's yeah, right. I was going to say, they look good. Okay. She's right. My father's dead. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> my mother said I look just like her. <laughs> <laughs> and no problems with lubrication, getting wet for these guys. Oh, well, you throw everything in your can. <laughs> you do. Everything but the kitchen sink. Robin uses a lube, too. Oh, every once in a while. Yeah, Not just, all the time. Uh, yeah. I can use this for this and for this. It's a lot of tubes by your bed. Oh, my, my nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like... 
Unbelievable. What do you use? What are you girls using? KY? What do you use, Robin? KY? KY, is that it? Look, the usual. KY. Is it embarrassing when you say to the man, hold on a second? I don't say my... hold on. Like Joan said, you throw everything. You just you throw everything in. Unbelievable, right? How yeah. things change. Everybody is so nervous about themselves. It's wonderful, like right. they say. Right. You right. know, right. the man is so worried about himself. The woman is so worried about herself. I look like a Vita. My hands are always up so the breasts look good. I mean, you I'm keep always yourself. always saying, look at the chandelier. You keep yourself in beautiful shape. You Everyone try. knows it. And, you and, try. And, when you're and then with you a, buy a lot of clothes. Is it hard good. to get a track? Because in your mind, you're probably still a 20-year-old girl. Yeah. Is it hard when you see these seventy-one-year-old men get in your bed and you go, "What the fuck is this?" But I keep the room dark. I'm not making a joke. Right, because you're like, "Well, wait a oh, second. Oh well, when they walk up to your door and it looks like Grandpa's coming to say hello. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But then I figure I'm going to open the door. They're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spirit of Christmas past. <laughs> yeah, you know, getting older sucks, doesn't getting it? Getting older, there is nothing. Remember this, because I won't be around when you're my age. Nothing nice about it. Nothing you don't good. get wise. You're just as fucking stupid as you ever were. <laughs> but you forget. <laughs> People don't want to talk to you because they figure you don't know how to do anything. You can't keep up. They feel you're like a child. Right. Like even these people in show business who owe so much to you, they treat you like you're some sort of... Uh, God. No, yeah. they treat you like your baby. Like, like uh, oh, you're irrelevant. You don't matter. You're older. Oh, who I, cares? No, they treat you like, oh, you, you broke the door open for us. I can still take you. Right. You know? Right. In other words, think of the past. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fuck you. Fuck I'm better you. than you, and I'll take the audience and wrap them around my finger next. But nice. the only bad thing is you find it's hard to get up. It so is. I don't like to drop things. <laughs> <laughs> You're running still? You, 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 I run. I do my regular bowel and, movements. And, like clockwork. Clockwork. Well, how do you attribute? Well, how is that possible? You don't eat that much. What do you do? Do you take flaxseed meal? What, what is it you take? Oh, you're taking some of that yeah. Metamucil or something? What do you take? Metamucil? The only thing is you have to be careful. Because go ahead. Are we finished Warn us. back then? Yeah, go ahead. Give Joan some dignity. I found. Yeah, not for the fart noises. Yeah. I found that Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Gives vaginal farts. Oh, you're A kidding. A friend of mine told me that, so I noticed the next time. I what do you mean? You have pussy farts? Oh my no, I, only when I took Cool Whip. A friend of mine. And it comes out of you in your in Women benign? of America. Allegedly, because I don't want Cool Whip to zoom right. Why? Like you say, like it's a bad thing. A vaginal fart can be very attractive. <laughs> well, on the right this person. friend of mine said, I'm getting vaginal farts from Cool Whip. So that's ridiculous. So I took some Cool Whip. I said, oh. You sucked it out of the can, you mean? Because you got the air in there? No, Cool Whip doesn't come in there. That's can. in a tub. Yeah, it's in a tub. Yeah. And you Everything. eat it and you get vaginal yes, farts. Yes, my friend got vaginal farts. Wow, you know what? It's funny. When I eat M&M's, I ejaculate chocolate. <laughs> there you go. I'm not kidding. So it's a similar kind that of thing. But I had a gay friend <laughs> yeah. who made all his tricks eat strawberries so the semen would taste good. Oh, that's disgusting. You don't sw Did you swallow semen? Honestly, would you swallow a 72-year-old no, man? No, too many calories. Would you swallow a 72-year-old man? How many ca too many calories. It's gross to you, though. Right, I can't picture you liking it. Did In you ever time, like it? You did like it. I, how I had a very good life. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Robin won't swallow it. <laughs> I don't it's protein, care and for it's it. very good for your, your skin. Oh mm. sure. <laughs> <laughs> But, but Why do you think Benji looks so good? <laughs> really? So, so you're a happy, content woman at this point. Happy, not content at right. all. You're angry. Oh, how? What you're makes? You're still angry. Do you see a psychiatrist? Yes, Ever? you do. But one, like once every two, three weeks ago. Why what not? What good is that? I once, like <laughs> once, once every two or three weeks. Yeah. Is that enough? For the towns. I call, maybe you would lose some of this anger. You're angry. Then I wouldn't be funny. That's right. You, you don't want to lose your anger. Absolutely not. Aren't you still angry? Uh, I can't get rid of it. Don't. You'll get rid of it. You and I be sitting on a park bench. Believe me, nothing can take it away. I don't know. It just seems to keep boiling up. Yeah, somebody should get rid of a little. It builds right back up. Absolutely. Now, Joan Rivers is going to be live on the red carpet at the Emmys this Sunday. That's right. Pre-show. The pre-show on TV Guide. And they have to find it. But Melissa and I will be there two hours before TV Guide pre-show. And it'll be back to you, Mom. Yes, God love her. <laughs> Melissa's banging who now? Who is she? She's adorable new friend. New boyfriend. This really one you like? like? I adore him. Are you lying? I adore Sometimes him. you use I don't want to say it because, you know, Why the do you mother like likes this one? Yeah, they get. Yeah, because yeah, he's terrific. You want her to marry this guy? Yeah, I would you love know, her to. You would like her. You would like her to get married again. Yeah. I don't know. She had such a rough go of yeah. divorce, a rough divorce. 
And, She's uh, a white guy this time? He's a white guy this white time. White guy this yeah. time. All right, good. All it's right. a good change. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> nice Does Chinese count? Chinese count. Is he yeah. Chinese? No. Oh. <laughs> Joan Rivers is going to be live on the red carpet at the Emmys this Sunday night. You know six... who else is going to be on the red carpet is John Hine, but he, I don't think he's working with Joan for the TV Guy channel. He is? Why yeah. is he going to be there? I don't know. He's doing some red carpet stuff. Who he may be doing the pre-pre. There's a pre-pre. Oh, they start at 6 o'clock in the morning nowadays. Oh, uh, really? He started three weeks ago. He's standing <laughs> there on a red carpet. still there at the red yeah, carpet. Yeah, no, John's doing the pre-pre. That's exactly it. Wow. See, I, I know these things. For TV <laughs> Guide? Yeah, I got a, I think, John, are you wearing a tuxedo? Yeah, just John, when did you get to be a, such a personality? How did this all come about? Watch out, Joan. Yeah, here's hey, your don't competition. change my lighting, son of a bitch. <laughs> John, look at, the, look at this guy. You didn't even, I, I, when did you get to be such a big player in Hollywood? Joan, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> she sees. What, 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 seriously, you're working for TV Guy Channel? That's yeah. great. How um, did that happen? On Sunday, they told me they wanted me to be at the uh, Emmys coverage and to do the show with Kimberly Caldwell and Rosanna Tavares before Joan and Melissa's before show. Me, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Good. Good. Are they going to dress you? And up Gary's or? coming too? No, no. I'm looking at John's itinerary because he gave it to JD so JD could tape everything. Okay, live from the red carpet pre show, he's doing that. That's on Sunday. Then he's doing live from the red carpet pre show. Uh, uh, I got to watch that. Shoot a segment yeah. of Watch This with John Henson. Then he's shooting a segment of Reality Chat on the fourth floor balcony with Rosanna Tavares. John, am I crazy? When did this all start happening? Uh, I mean, I know I hired you, but what is this? Like, well, when I sold my site to TV Guide. Part of it was they wanted me to do some of the TV stuff. When Joan just said here. you just got better looking. Yeah, he, sold this, he, he had this website yeah. called jumptheshark.com. He sold it to TV Guy for a couple of million. Now he's walking you around. You sold it to TV Guy for a couple of million? I can't say how much I sold it for. How much? It's over I'm a million. getting so over, upset here. Over a million. How much did they pay you? They paid me a decent amount. Millions. They paid you a fucking decent amount. Well, listen, I work with the peanuts. Millions he oh, got. Oh, you're going to see some show this Sunday with me. Millions uh, he got. I'm not going to open my mouth to anybody. Joan, man. Never mind that. Spread your legs and get ready for him. He's a multimillionaire, <laughs> and it's someone who could really put you places in this that's business. That's right, network. Yeah, that's right. Now, Joan, yeah. uh, aside from John Hine, will be at the red carpet at the Emmys this <laughs> Sunday night from 6 to 8 on the TV Guide channel. And you can see Joan every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock at the Cutting Room in Manhattan. This is an opportunity to see Joan <laughs> live, uncensored. Furious. You talk, you talk about new jokes, uh, political oh, things. Oh. Wait, I thought you would stop doing that. I love it. Yeah? Every Wednesday night, I get out there. Tonight, it's all going to be about Tom Cruise. Oh, boy. I'm so Tom upset. Cruise yeah. you're going to talk about. Oh, well, did you see that poor thing got fired? Well, mm -hmm. Why not know something I didn't like that? I'll tell you why. Uh, I, I felt that uh, Viacom was out of line bad-mouthing Tom Cruise. They had 14 years with this guy. They made countless Millions. billions of dollars. And this is what these companies do. They, 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 they go and bad-mouth you. And try to make it seem like you're a worthless pile Something's of junk. Something's wrong with you. But yeah. Howard, Go that's get up the there in business. That cutting room. That's, that's the, business. the business. It's ridiculous, and that's why... Joan has been through it. I've been through it twice. Yeah. Well, and she deserved it. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I left NBC as a good... They destroyed me in well, the Well, wait a second. You left NBC to try, to, the, to, try to beat Johnny. I, no, I left NBC because my contract was up. Because I was offered 15 times what I was making, and I was off my own show. And I left, and I called everybody. I was You're so right. honorable. They didn't need to disparage you. And they knocked you are, me. You are absolutely right. I've been the victim of it myself. That's what I'm saying. What did I do? I left when my contract was up. Right. Please. So that's the way these people do. And so Tom let me Cruise see you get okay. up at that cutting room. I love you. And let me see. Wait a second. Don't don't rush out of here. Oh, I think you gotta out. go. No, I no. have nothing to do. You believe me, you have nothing to do. When, Trust when, me. You, you're not you're not busy till my that cutting room. My staff is cleaning. When you when you uh, go up on that stage at the cutting room, yeah, you should say to people, it's not right what they're doing to Tom Cruise. Even though he's a rich guy and all that other stuff, he didn't deserve that kind of uh, attention. Just because he got had a baby and jumped up and down on a couch and it, and criticized somebody and for what he thought was wrong activity. If the last movie had done well, they'd say, isn't he charming? I got news for you. You know that. Yeah, of course. So, that, that's right. They, you, you say to a guy, line. thank you for making us a lot of money, goodbye, yeah, and good luck to you. All that's all. That. You didn't have to disparage him. What is it, Richard Christie? You want to play a uh, quick game about Joan? A the game what's, about the what's Joan? older game? Okay. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> Let me hear okay. it. What is this? Game? What's older, Alcatraz, Federal Prison, or Joan Rivers? Well, why do you got to? Do you know that's going to upset her? Alcatraz has got to be older. Well, wait a minute. No, come on. Alcatraz say... started in '34. I'm going to say Joan's older. I'm old. You're right. Joan's <gasps> older. Oh, I was born in '33. They already closed that, Joan. Mm. I know. <laughs> and don't feel bad, well, Joan. We played this game with Howard too. So. They have 
Good it was job. depressing. <laughs> Don't depress the woman. One more and that's it. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're going to depress her. Joan or the Hoover Dam? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I would say the Hoover the Dam. Ho- no, Joan's older. The Hoover I'm Dam. Older. The Hoover Dam has no. cracks in it. What are you kidding me? <laughs> Hoover Dam doesn't go to plastic surgeons. That's right. The Hoover Dam. Is the Hoover Dam older? older? Joan is older. Joan. Hoover, yeah. Hoover Dam was completed in '36. You're kidding me? Yeah. Huh? Joan, I know. I just saw a documentary. Joan, I'm so sorry. Yes, Gary. Yeah, there's one that he had in there that I loved. It's uh, it's Joan or Flash Gordon. <laughs> well, I would think Flash Gordon is He's older than Joan. He's got to be older. For Christ's sake. Nope, Flash Gordon oh. started in 34. All right, here's one. Uh, who's older, comic books or Joan? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that, Joan? Uh, you know, so I swear to God, it has nothing to do with me. Right. Do you know, I right. feel so great. And you My look life good. is great. My career is great. I can't, and I hate old people. You know what? I want the next time you come in here, I want you to hop on the Sibian. You know what that is? It's there a, you go. That's a young thing to do. That's a very young thing to do. That's what all the porn stars do when they come in here. Um, let's um, let's just say that you need to go see Joan Rivers every Wednesday night at eight o'clock at the Cutting Room in Manhattan. She has it all going on. She will be at the red carpet at the Emmys this Sunday night. I'll be on QVC. I'll be in San Francisco. I'll be in Seattle on Labor Day. How much money are you making with that QVC? You're selling your own line of jewelry. Yeah, is, it, is it incredibly profitable? No, but it's, oh, stop it. it! It's not tragic, but it's not you know. It's not the big. I'm not you Estee think? Lauder. I'm no. not buying these paintings, but to design something and make it and they buy it, it's heaven. It's heaven. Who's older, ballpoint pen or Joan? Oh, no question, Joan. <laughs> You're older than the ballpoint pen. Oh, I'm sure. By I know when they came in. By five years. I started with quills. You remember the quill? <laughs> I remember the quill in grade school. Carrier pigeon. They had all. Oh, that. it was such an invention. <laughs> Joan Rivers is the best. out late, send the pigeon. <laughs> is you... it possible for this statement to be true? What? The day Joan was born, her mother uh, had a busy day because she also had a vote for president. <laughs> For the first time. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Come on, you can't say that. No, I believe women got the vote. In, the, like, 1912 or something. Right, now. exactly. Women got the vote before Joan was born. That's about right. <laughs> okay, of course. Uh, listen, Joan, I love you so much. I love you. The tickets, if you want to get tickets to the big show. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let me do it. Yes, it does, because afterwards I'll hear about it. You didn't plug <laughs> us. SpinCycleNewYorkCity.com. SpinCycleNYC.com. And uh, we love Joan Rivers. I love you so much. It's good to see all of oh, you. Oh, it's always good, it's good to have you. It's good to see you. Here. And uh, you are here on satellite. You can curse now. For, from now on, I want you coming in here cursing like a sailor. I, but the joke is, I got satellite because of you. You did. Yeah. That's was, a joke. There's no joke there. <laughs> no, I mean, that's the only reason. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. Joan, goodbye, I love goodbye, you. Goodbye, and I'm going to take a break here so I can say goodbye to goodbye, you. Goodbye, sweetheart. All right. Who's older, Joan or the yo yo? <laughs> the Joan. No, the yo yo beat you by four Thank years. God. The yo yo is older than you by four Thank years. Thank God. <laughs> the Donna party ate them. It's very <laughs> depressing. Uh, We're going to uh, be back uh, right after these words. <laughs> Joan Rivers was recently all over TV crying about Johnny Carson. I know. We got to talk to her about it. There she is, looking good. Hi there. And then eventually she finally started saying, yeah, that Johnny wasn't so great because he never got over. She's talking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she talk- You're talking. Dude. She's talking. You're <laughs> hello, all talking. Hello, hello. Thank you. That's my free snack. She wasn't talking when I was talking. Yeah, she was. You couldn't hear her, but okay. uh, believe me. It's, Nobody could hear her. No then. one could hear Joan. <laughs> First, I'm so upset. Good. Yeah. I come here an hour. I don't mind you talking. That's fine. Then they walk in and say, we haven't got time for your plugs. Excuse me? Give me the plugs. An hour were, and a half. You I'm were late. I'm waiting for these stupid plugs. You were late. I wasn't late. You were late. No way. I was waiting for you, and then I got into the Eric the Midget thing because I was trying to kill time. I'm very glad you got in the Eric Midget thing. I always think, because he, he should date... Those horrible little Olsen twins. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be the same height. He wishes he could get them. Ugh, have you seen them? You don't like the Olsen twins? Ugh, I no. would do them. I'm They're a man. So skin. Does my so skinny? Does my tampon show? Does it make me look fat? But don't I you think them. you're someone who's so into your appearance that yes, all I of am. these women are driving each other crazy? That's why they're all starving themselves to death. Yes, they I are. eat. Yes. You do When it. did you start eating? I'm a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Jewy Jew. You tell me anything bad, I can't ask you because my mouth is full. <laughs> Let me ask you a couple questions before I plug. Then you gotta do it. I'll do all your plugs. Give them to me. Yeah. No one even wrote up your plug. No, because I wouldn't let him have them. Because he said to me, we can only do a few. Oh, you know what, Howard? We didn't write him up because Joan wouldn't give him the will because he I couldn't get I said them all. that. Did I just say that? Because Will said, told her she couldn't have her plug. She can't said, tell her that. That's said, why she's here. 
She ain't coming here for fun. I do come for fun. That's the. Jo- I'm probably the only person that comes on the show to have a good fun. Because <laughs> we don't even come here to have fun. So, Joan, this is my life. there's a lot to talk about. Yes, my darling. There's so much to talk about. First yes. of all, uh, we'll talk about Carson in a minute. Because, believe me, that was crazy when you started crying on the Good Morning America show. No, I'm going to say, I'm going to be mean. I'm going to be the one mean one. I'm going to bell the You cat. hated Johnny. I didn't hate Johnny. I just think it's a little revisionistic. I think John. I get Johnny's point with you. You got to. You got to come to grips with this. I figured out why he never spoke to me again, and I finally figured out why I was banned from all late night. He never owned a piece of my show. No, that's not it. Tell me. I'm going to tell you. He owns a piece of Letterman. Owns a piece of Leno. Owns a piece of Conan. Yeah, and but those were NBC me, shows. Yeah, but he could come to me and said. Letterman wasn't. No, Letterman was Letterman on NBC. Yeah, yeah, but he still owns it. You went CBS. to Fox. I went, but if I think if I said to him, you want a piece? No, let me explain it. To Tell you. me why he was right, so mad for all, 17 years. I can't figure out why Leno and Letterman to this day don't have you on. You're a good talk show guest. I'm a great talk show guest. Yeah, you're good. You come on, you say some funny crap, you talk crap about people. It's you always good got stuff. something going on. Yeah, I always make So something something's right. up with that. I, I don't, don't know what to, did you, Have you talked to Leno at all? Uh, Leno's uh, producer... Debbie, who I got the job originally for, yeah, says she does, yeah. You Debbie got her Vickers, the job. I got her the job. She's an office temporary. Said so she's smart. Hi. So you call. You, so, so you, My you, manager called her like every three weeks. And what'd they say? She said no way. No way you can be on the Tonight yeah, Show. No Why? way. I wouldn't go on now. You want to know something? Uh, don't yes, do you me would. any. Fa- Coward. You wouldn't go. Don't do me any. Get ready to bleep. No, don't uh-uh. don't do it. All right, I won't do it. All I won't right. do it. Say, what do you want to say? The F word. Don't give me any effing favors. Right. I need you now. What about Letterman? Would you go on oh, there? Oh, Letterman I love. I think he's brilliant. Okay, have you asked them why they're not booking I went you? on once. Oh, you did? In 17 years. And what happened? It was a very good show. He kissed my hand at the end. And that was it? And that was it. No call back? No, but I... Th- I no, no call back. I'm surprised. You're a good guest. I know. But let me explain the Carson thing to you. I, th- I thought about this. Here's the way it goes. Johnny takes you. You were a staff writer. Gives you your first job. Right. Big job. Plucks you out. Puts you on camera with him. You kill. You do great. Johnny, lo and behold, makes you the sitting guest host. You're such a good guest host, you get higher ratings when, when, when Johnny's on. Right. So you're killing, but in Johnny's mind. Now, I'm Johnny. I've taken Joan. I make her the guest host. I make her uh, a, a featured guest on my show. I talk about what a superstar she's going to be. I build her up. She goes ahead and makes the deal with Fox. Like, I've said to you a million times, you had to go do it. You took your shot. But from Johnny's point of view, you backstabbed him. Yeah, but let go me ahead. tell you. Hey, okay. I get it. Oh, I, I, listen, hey, I thought about this. A, I was there for 15 years. Right. B, I thanked him every way I could. C, NBC wasn't giving me a contract. Right, I know. So I'm, I'm, I'm what, saying you did we the right were, thing for yourself, but Johnny's not going to sit there and, and suck up to you afterwards. It's a guy's ego. Yeah, but at one point, it, not the well, first What, did year, he own her? Well, no, here's, here's what Johnny's insecurity was. At that point, when Joan got that late night TV show, it looked like Joan was going to... Might gonna, be able to beat him? Yeah, uh, it yeah. really did. I understand the beginning, but I'm talking... He introduced me to Edgar. I'm talking when Edgar committed suicide. Didn't write me a note. He introduced me to him. He's furious with you. But you yeah. know what? I his have to son admire died, Johnny. and I wrote to him. Right. He never answered. Me. This isn't about ratings, you idiot. This is about life. This is about your son was killed in on my. But what was and the I'm most so important thing to him? What Johnny's was the kid wasn't all that important. You know what? The show. Yeah. The show. Absolutely. That's what it came down to. Yeah, but Johnny's life was the show. He didn't care about the kids. Yeah. Well, that sounds like me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Melissa. <laughs> I mean, Melissa's nice, but really, would you would you oh, give up yeah. your career for her? No. No, little Copper Cooper, whatever his name is. Right, who cares? <laughs> I get him in and I take him out. No, no seriousness. I mean, career comes first, doesn't it? It certainly is my second child. And it's right. Uh, it's your 50, first child. 50. Now, what, now, now, so anyway, so then Good Morning America calls you. Yeah. And you have to go on and cry. Well, Diane is my good friend. But I did cry. I felt coward at this age. We're under this jacket as a shroud. I'm <laughs> ready to go. Would you have uh, gone to Johnny's funeral? Uh, no, because uh, I feel it would have been inappropriate. Right. But I'm so sorry. I always say to Melissa, wouldn't it be great if I saw him in a restaurant? I would go over to him and say, you idiot. Now sit down. Okay, now let's talk about the time that this happened. Let's talk about the time when Freddie the Court of a He didn't thing. like you. But, he was mad at you. But for 17 years? Yep. What kind of a shallow life do you have? I, I forgive. I forgive him. I can't hold a grudge for 17 years. Yes, you could. Not even Hitler. 
You oh, could. stop. You said you would never party with him. He's not back in your social circle. I would say. Did Johnny ever come on here? Adolf, you were wrong. <laughs> Do the real Johnny tribute. Johnny was a cold son of a bitch. Johnny Carson was the best straight man in the world. Okay, whatever. Johnny Carson. No, no, no. <laughs> Gotta give him credit. Cold son of a bitch. The show was brilliant. He did was the guy, a cold man. Did the guy ever talk to you off the air? No, he never talked to anybody off the air. All right. Never talked to you off the but year. That was, uh, that was, that was him. He was he he lived for that show. Yeah, he did talk to a few people off the air. He had those card playing buddies yeah, and yeah. Wow. and the girls, of course. Yeah. Girl, he know. banged a lot of the chicks who did that show. Did he ever attempt to have sex with you? I think that was it. I attempted to have sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he had sex. Never with, forgave me. And the, all the tributes. I don't, he had sex with Carol Wayne, right? The, 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 you the heard rumors. Rumors. He but had it was sex. Angie Dickinson. Morgan Fairchild, you heard there's a big romance. Oh, really? I don't know. You heard this. Why are we not well, reading Angie about Angie Dickinson, that? God love her. She had a very good life. She did. She was with some of the top she guys. She picked yeah. a lot of great guys. But didn't God pay her back by making, uh, she made love to Larry King? Isn't that got a, isn't that got a, <laughs> did she? Oh, I yeah, think so. Romance with Larry King. They had a big romance. <laughs> but would you, know, you ever look, do Larry King? Oh, in a second. You would. You would do Larry What's King. What's it going to do for my career? <laughs> I am the Madonna of comedy. <laughs> you really have outlasted everyone. You even outlasted Johnny. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah, you outlasted them all. Oh, yeah, well, them all. That was, Why? Well, were you shocked? I imagine you, you uh, were shocked when you watched Jay Leno do a tribute to Johnny Carson. When you know. The truth. The truth. What is the truth? That's called revisionistic history. Right. Talk about that. Okay, Al. Let's trash Jay. <laughs> no, Jay I don't is know barely, Jay to trash I know Jay. He's barely human. He <laughs> is the guy who pushed Johnny out. Johnny didn't mention Jay on his last show, didn't offer him any kind of kind words. Yeah. And on Jay's first show, he didn't, he didn't mention Johnny. How can you not do that? How can you when you're, you're taking over? Ah. Yeah, you got to mention Johnny. As they're redecorating the, the office... Let's do the real about. tribute. Yeah, well, nobody's going to do the real tribute. Talk about uh, Jay Leno being a fake. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I've never truly met him. I've met him. Nothing yeah. behind the eyes. Yeah. There's nobody home, Joan. Yeah. Well, I'll never get to know that, will I? No. <laughs> I'll nobody never home. A gift. <laughs> nobody home. He says, "How you doing? What's going on? How you doing? Okay, all right. See you later." I've said to him, "Jay, you're a horse's ass." I've said it to his face. "You're a horse's ass," and he goes, "We're still friends, aren't we?" <laughs> I go, what, what, did you not hear what I just said to you? There's something wrong with you. Well, you know, Jay may be sitting around 30 <laughs> years from now going, eh, he, would, he never gave me a, a break. I wanted to apologize. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> it's about? funny about, oh, you know, anyone dies. I'm always saying I spend half my time going to funerals looking in caskets. Right. Because you hear, they'll start saying this is a wonderful person. You go, that's Who? not Howie Greenberg. Right. <laughs> right. That's right. Who right. are they talking what about? Are you talking about. I have that in my own family. Like, a, like, a, like an aunt will bitch about an uncle the entire life, and then the guy dies. He was a saint. 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 Listen, I had an aunt die, and they were all crying. They all went over to kiss mother. And one of them stole her ring. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, I'm still stuck back on. Joan says under her outfit is a shroud. So you are ready if you die I'm right re now. You're ready. Over sixty. <laughs> but Johnny, Johnny it's was a golden time. Johnny was a private man. Very if you private. die. Which you probably won't. But if Ever. you do, <laughs> would you want a big funeral where the yeah, show what are you business? Plan? I have given Melissa such a list of who is not allowed in. Is that right? Yeah, because I don't a... want them making People Magazine the wrong people. Have you really yeah. discussed your no. death with I can't Melissa? With Melissa. No. Who have, is there a written will where we will know what to do should you die? Yes, and you're going to be very happy. <laughs> what do I? What, what do I? What, what is my role in all this? Your role is finally to come to my house and eat my hors d'oeuvres. No, no, no way. I don't want to die. I die of starvation if I went to one of your parties again. And Joan doesn't serve any food. No, she says she's a Jew, but I don't know. Uh, that was no Jew party to me. I ate all the hors d'oeuvres. I'm in the kitchen eating all the good. Would stuff. you want a big funeral? Uh, no. You don't. You want a private ceremony. I couldn't care. I'm one of those people that say, Vincent Van Gogh, yeah, you're getting $20 million for a, pic a picture. He would have liked $5 while he was alive. Can I tell you something? Be I'm nice to me while You I'm don't alive. want the comedians no. to get together to... Oh, look who's <laughs> going to get together. They're going to roast me at the Fries Club. Better dead. Well, I will be. <laughs> Do comedians get together at uh, all? 
do they? Do they all like uh, party to get do, like? Is there like a group like when you were coming up? Yes. Uh, w- was Bill Cosby part of your crowd? Uh, not part of my. Bill gave me my first break. So yeah. really, yeah. Well, what, what do, do you, you think? think of all this stuff that's being said? Well, and about by the way, let me say what's in the paper today. Today, yeah. There's a, a lawyer, a woman, thirty something yes, years ago, came out. a white woman. Yeah. Who what's is saying? Do with I don't know. Well, I'm just like throwing it in. It makes it taboo. She's saying <laughs> that where she. Where are the white women at? Exactly. It almost was and like he... Bill Cosby invented date rape. He did this <laughs> long ago. She's accusing him of trying the same move, giving her a couple of pills, and she's saying the reason I'm coming forward 30 years later is that I don't want you to dismiss this woman who is now claiming these things. Right. Did right. Bill Cosby ever do this to you? Uh, well, once I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't care what he did to you. You liked it. He was my friend. Sure, go ahead, Chad. Copperfield. Right. No. You don't even have to waste any of the pills on me. You would have been happy if he had unzipped his pants. I would have been thrilled. <laughs> I was always one of the guys. Is it was Bill, Bill Cosby. And George Carl- Carlin and Woody Allen and Dick Cavett. Is Bill David Cosby Brennan. guilty? I don't know. I truly don't. Have know. you heard nothing? I've heard nothing. You hear all kinds. Of, it's like every. I'm still on Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Is he guilty? Oh, I think so. You do? Yeah. Geraldo says he's not. Well, Geraldo, no. It was another... See, they're all my friends. Let's see if Geraldo <laughs> sent his, sent his I kids think. to Michael's house. Yeah. That would be the test. <laughs> Geraldo did a special the other day for two hours interviewing Michael Jackson, and he says, I swear to God, I know Michael Jackson's innocent, but he won't send his kids there. I don't send see the them boys. going Somebody over. Told me Go ahead. That Michael Jackson has a whole different voice in real life. He does, absolutely. It's like, good morning. <laughs> of course, he's a forty-something-year-old man. He can't keep that up. He can't talk like this all the time. All I know is he's if he touched the pornography, and they're going to find what a moron. He should have worn two gloves all those years. Of course, <laughs> yeah, that's why he wore that? gloves. But what about uh, what about Bill Cosby? What do you know about this? I know they're so under the radar, Bill. He's a moron, isn't he? No, he's wonder. <laughs> oh God! And look what he did. What did he do? What he did? He showed truly. If I was an African American. That's who I would look up to. To Bill Cosby. Because he showed intelligence, m- middle class values, uh, e- educating your kids. Oh, er- all the- no, no. He bored good- everyone. Yeah, no. It's good to look at you some even of these watch this First show. of all, it's a bunch of whiteies <laughs> that watch them. Black people, they were bored of out of their mind. Of course black people you watch know, that. Yeah, no. Not every black person, no black person is walking person around with ugly it. clothes and a yo-ho. Yo ho! Whatever. Yo ho! And a bottle of rum. What are you talking? About? I'm talking about that stupid <laughs> rap stuff. Why? All right, so much. Joe, listen. I'm doing the Grammys this week. I don't know who. I'm talking didn't you about. have? Let's talk about that. Didn't Jada you? Kiss. Didn't you have? Jada Kiss. I'm yeah. sure you'll recognize him. When I already that. interviewed him. We had tea. You mean ludicrous? <laughs> no, I excuse there me. There is a Jada. I kiss. know my kisses. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Joan. <laughs> Haven't you had vindication this year? You left E. No. They wouldn't pay you enough money. They paid me nothing. They, they paid you nothing. You said to them, I want to raise. You went to the TV Guide channel, and lo and behold, yeah. you had a success. Yeah, thank what God. What was your rating? A 1.3, which sounds but low that, to people, but for, for, for cable, that's a big rating. For cable. And TV Guide channel, I never even heard of it before. People can't even find it yet. I couldn't find I looked for you, and I couldn't find it. Yeah, it's 51. It, don't worry, though. Rupert Murdoch owns... 40%, so you'll find it. Because I, I'm telling you, I said, I know Joan is doing the yeah. TV Guide channel, and I, I started Yeah, I looking. remember you saying you tried to find it, and you couldn't. I yeah. gave up. We're 51 in New York, and every... It's it's getting... You know, they're, they're working like dogs. All right. They're working like dogs to get some awareness. Yeah. But even without awareness, you got a 1.3. Yeah, 1. yeah. So you yeah w- just wait till they get on all over. Now, yeah. is the TV yeah. Guide channel kissing your ass? Uh, yes. What do you mean? What, they're how are they- sending me gifts. That, gifts? But gifts... But they're not that bright. You know, they're new new channel. Right. So they seem like bo- bobble dolls. <laughs> Bobblehead dolls? Bobblehead Rem- dolls. They sent me a big uh, red carpet to put out as a placemat. Oh. Uh, you know, so Would your name on it? Yeah. You Listen, know what it's I mean? tacky. Yeah. Uh, so they don't understand what I want is a flat screen TV. Right. <laughs> they don't get that. Right. So they're not classy TV guy they, channel. They will be. They will be. I will educate them. How do you feel about your replacement, <laughs> Star Jones? I had horrible. to think about it. No, no, I had to think. If, Tell us she's horrible. Go ahead. No, because I know Star we work on the same charity. What charity? We work on God's Love We Deliver. Is there any food left by the time she no. delivers? Yeah, is that why she's working over there? She pockets <laughs> the food first? <laughs> yeah. We deliver food to uh, people that, like AIDS victims. All right. But thank God AIDS is now chronic, so I'm bringing food to the same people year after year. Right. You so it's good. Yeah. So, so all right. You know, that's probably you again. Is Star Jones better than you at this? 
uh, I never. I don't watch my competition, Howard. Years ago, you I didn't see Kathy Griffin trying no, to be no, the, the and funny Kathy's person. my good friend. Too. Star Jones was. I'm going to tell you this to your face. Was horrible, horrible, and you know that. I again. Again, I, stop being so diplomatic. I can't. You know, I do nothing the view. bad is going to happen when Star is there. <laughs> I do the view. You do the view. What? I what? can't do Leno now. I'm not going to do the view. <laughs> Why don't you smash? I wait an hour to get on this stupid show. <laughs> yeah, you need the view. And then you'll lose Should all the you other shows. Go. All right, let knock me... everybody. <laughs> all right. And go. And I'll be sitting waiting to go on. <laughs> so when you get there, you two don't talk about the fact that you do the same thing. Now? No, we just. I I went over. Because when I was doing it for E, and they brought over Gina Davis. Remember, NBC was going to knock me off of Gina Davis. Right. And that bitch walked right past me and didn't say hello. One of the I remember how rude. So I went over to Star and said, nice to see you. I see. So you were, you were a gentlewoman. I was very gracious. All right. So one <laughs> of the best things you did when you were still on E, you walked up to Kevin Costner. And yeah. you said, you know, here you are, you're engaged. And you looked at his fiance's engagement ring. Pathetic. It was very small. Even I was shocked. Yeah, you called him out on and it. And you said, Pathetic. "How? What kind of ring is this for for a fiance?" This is Kevin Costner. You know, and he I went out the next day, and he got her a new ring. But he walked by you on the red carpet. Now, yeah. right? He, he will not talk to you. Well, obviously, there's no humor there. No you know, humor. Well, we saw we saw uh, the postman. Right. There was so. no humor in that. <laughs> when, when, boy, that was a fun movie. And you're still employing your daughter on the TV Guide no, channel? No, Melissa's doing great. Did you see her on the ad on the uh, NFL? Yes, I, I did. did. I Super noticed Bowl. that. Melissa was on, did an ad. Right. So excited. She's got to be very she grateful to you. You've given her a career. Let's she be honest. She looks great. I didn't say she didn't look yeah. great. And she's got a great... <laughs> she's doing great. Man, she's doing great. Thank God. Listen but it is kind of funny to show. hear a correspondent hand off to the other oh, correspondent by saying, uh, okay, mom, back to you. That's yeah. the charm of it. <laughs> but that's it. why they love it. And so Melissa's dating. It. She's Melissa's divorced uh, now. Divorced. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I knew oh, you never. I knew you were not into that marriage. I no. knew it. I've spoken to you. Yeah, not from the beginning. But you spent a million dollars on that wedding. Uh, and Big mistake. And a lot of money went after it too but anyhow that's not to be discussed okay because i'll be pulled into court all right so uh uh but she's dating but nobody special no one special she's going out with a rock guy she's going out with an nfl play she's having a great time so she's getting it from all is sides. she yeah. having the kind of fun you wish you had had at your age damn right. <laughs> <laughs> has she tried lesbianism? Uh, I begged her. <laughs> well, I bet you she has, right? Because I haven't been on Ellen either. <laughs> She's not putting you on. Ellen doesn't oh, put you dear. on. You were the first female comic, <laughs> really, to break big. I mean, you know, I'm not. I mean, you I know, with all due respect, with all due respect to Phyllis Diller and all these oh, women, that's a different generation. That's a different generation. You came on the scene. And you now really you're telling me barriers, Ellen yeah. DeGeneres is so ungrateful that she doesn't put you on her show? But you know, Howard, it doesn't matter. There's so many stations now. No. My career has never been better. You're hurt by this. Tell the truth. truth? <laughs> Tell the <laughs> truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres... Not hurt because it hasn't hurt the career. You know what I mean? There's well, so you, many you found your way. I, I think you're, all, you're morons because I, when I had my shows, if someone gave you a great 15 minutes, you put, you'd... you'd Bet you beg someone on. to come on who knows how to entertain an audience. Yeah. Did Rosie O'Donnell have you on? Never. Never. <laughs> wow. And you have a big gay following. Oh, and I was very nice to Rosie. I was the first one to say, be proud you're an ugly dyke. Right. I was the first one to say You were so nice to say that. That is big to say. Oh, You know, yeah. it's funny. You mention all these people who won't have you on. Jay Leno, David Letterman, Ellen DeGeneres. Maybe Rosie it's my breath. I got to tell you something. I'm thinking of not having you on anymore. <laughs> I, I think I'm the only idiot who's putting you on. You and the view. What's Wait, what going am I on? doing? Maybe you're not that good. Maybe it's all over. All right, look. Let's give you some plugs. Let's That's give what you're you some plugs all right. here. Here's Jones five plugs. <laughs> all right, boy, oh boy. Well, let's see if we can boil this Let's get this a pen down. and paper, write this all down. The Grammy pre-show, which you'll be of hosting. Hosting? TV Guide channel from 6 to 8 p.m. February 13th, which is what, a Sunday night? Yes, uh, isn't it? Uh, yes, it's a Sunday night before the show. Where are the Grammys, in L.A.? Grammys, I'm going out, I'm so excited. Who are the big stars this year? Oh, uh... Do you really know? I don't know. I have no idea. They sent me all the records. I don't know what I'm looking so at. So when these people wa walk up to you, you could care less. I don't care. I know Avril Levine. A Levine. Avril Levine, I like Avril. I like well, her. Joan doesn't like her. She I thinks she's her. rude. You hate her. She was very rude to everybody two years ago. Well, that's ago. not cool. But I like the music. I love the music, but what has that got to do? You know, then you shouldn't meet her. 
Well, she be should have gracious. a little respect. Yeah. Be gracious. Well, she's trying to be uh, an angry rock star. It doesn't, it's oh, not becoming. Oh, calm down. You're a Jewish girl from Toronto. Right. <laughs> right. Well, that's right. <laughs> Shut up. It's Pesa. Who else were you interviewed? Do you have any idea? Did they, have they given you a pamphlet of some They've kind? They've given me a book this big. Are you going to study? Yes. Yeah. I know some names. Well, Avril Lavigne is her name. You can't call her Avril Lavigne. I can call her anything I want to. But who else would you interview? Who's the big stars that are there? Uh, well, they're all going to be there. Who? who Don't you? press me. <laughs> all right. oh, You'll also be at the Kravis Center at West Palm Beach, yes. Wednesday, February 16th at 8 p.m. That's got to be a lot of fun. Yeah. All the Altacockers will come shuffling I was going to say, what's happening over there? I'm yeah. asking for old gay men in Florida to please join me at the Kravis Center. So it's going to be you and a bunch of old gay guys. I hope so. All right. The Kravis Center at West Palm Beach. Don't uh, laugh, fart. It's a funny show. <laughs> Hard Rock Casino at Hollywood, Florida, Thursday, February 17th at All 8 p.m. Right. The Great Joan Rivers. Ruth Eckerd Hall at Clearwater, Florida, Friday, February 18th at 8 p.m. Doing a little tour, huh? Yes, it's a little tour of Florida. <laughs> and the Van Weasel Performing... Van Weasel. Van yeah. Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> That's some name. The Van Weasel Performing Arts Center in Sarasota, Florida. I wow. love Sarasota, Florida. Yeah. That's oh, a beautiful my, place. Is it really? Yeah. Beautiful. Gulf of Mexico right there. Oh, beautiful. So that's beautiful. Uh, oh, I'll bring my bikini. <laughs> yeah. Would you ever wear a bikini? No way. Are you out of your mind? Do you love the Inquirer when they take pictures of, of the, the cellulite? Of the cellulite on the, yeah, on the, it's yeah. so mean. It's so great. What about, did you see Oprah yesterday that with all the people who do too much plastic surgery? Oh, I'm so bored with this already. You don't care about it. I, you know, Is there any th such thing as too much plastic surgery? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of a body lift? No. Oh, no. Did she have that? They, they, well, no. look at Oprah, how great she yeah, looks Yeah, what'd she days. do? I heard a rumor. <laughs> I heard a rumor. I'm going to tell you something. I heard Oprah got her stomach stapled. Could be. She's thin. Could be. And she's not telling anyone. This yeah, is what I heard. See, that's what's not fair. I think all... The, that's why I talk about it. Yeah, Sophia Lauren, you know, I'm just using her as an example. I don't know if she has or has it. I'm not going to get sued here. She stands there at 66 and says, this is due to spaghetti. Right. Dr. Yeah. Spaghetti. <laughs> right. No woman at 66 doesn't have jowls and bags and this and that. Come on. Tell the women the truth. I have done it. I feel better. Right. So, in other words, it's really plastic surgery. Of course. Yeah. I know uh, uh, one of the, I'm not going to mention, is a, uh, one of the Hilton girls. Yeah. I know someone who did something that, theoretically. Breasts? No. Uh, no job. You look at anybody's p faces well. and you can see different. Really? Difference. Look at, take anybody's as you become a star and look at them now and look at them five years ago. Wow. And they look better, and they should. It's a it's a business of beauty. Hey, I got to tell you something. I was watching some of the clips of you. Forty years ago, you were a fat black woman. Uh, yes, I was. Yeah, and now you I are was Oprah. Now you're gorgeous. Oprah and I split. <laughs> so you. So do, what do you think of Oprah? What do you think she's doing? I think doing? she's a genius. No, but what do you think she's doing? You think that she is? Uh, she had some work, I right? Think, oh, she, uh, she has to have had some yeah. work. Probably. She looks amazing. I've never seen her look so beautiful. Do you think she had her stomach uh, stapled? Probably. Or, that's yeah. the way to do it. It is. That's the easy way to do it. Right. You know, I would do that. <laughs> you, you're skinny. In fact, you've had it done, haven't you? <laughs> I would do had that it removed. <laughs> and placed on my breast. And what do you mean you're done talking about plastic surgery? Have you gotten so no, much... I, uh, it's, it's all... Everybody calls me up, and every interview starts out with, well, how many procedures have you done? So I say to them things like... I think it's 182. Right. It might be. And they don't laugh. No, they start <laughs> writing that down. Yes. Yeah. They take a note. But you look good. I feel great. Yeah. But if I wish I had time to do more. Right. I'd like to get the left side of my face done a little bit. What's it's going to fall? What? what are you what? thinking of doing? Uh, I like to do little tweaks. I, I wish I, you get implants. You can yeah. see the left side of your face falling as opposed to my right face side. is falling. I guess I chew gum on the right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. At this point, you got to leave everything alone. Oh, I'm not Let it settle anything. a little. It's enough. I haven't, I haven't, have, thank God I have a show in London I'm running over to do. Yeah. I don't have time to do it at this point. Would you ever get labiaplasty? What's that? That's where they. Oh, absolutely. You would. As soon as I get a guy to say, get it, honey. <laughs> Are you having sex? Oh, not, I haven't had anybody in the last year and a half. No kidding. Well, nobody actually hear old women discuss this. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you don't have that boyfriend anymore? No. We broke up. He went with a Euro trash person. All right. Why don't you Still find calls me. one of these 40-year-old guys? Who wants a 40-year-old guy... What do you mean? You carries do. your coat. <laughs> oh, come on. You want, it, you want it good. I want a great-looking man my age. You do? Yeah. I don't... I, ugh. 
you see all these women, these younger men, and you just go, aren't you embarrassed so that you you're wanted, supporting them? Who's a good-looking guy you're right, you're interested in? There's not one. <laughs> I mean, really? Yeah. I sit at a dinner table How and I look guys? around and go, that guy over there in the diaper looks hot. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's tough to find a guy. I wish you would take the respirator off so I could see what his face looks like over there on the left. What about Dick Cheney? He's kind of hot. Oh, <laughs> just the words turn me on. Like a George Bush Sr. Let's say he George was... George Bush Sr. was great looking. Say, great looking guy. You would go out with him. I he saw was, him in Palm Beach. He was right. a great looking man. All right, that's the type. Okay. That's her type. So that's if you type. find somebody like that, Barbara call Ill? Joan. Oh, she looks that? it. <laughs> All right, Van Weasel Performing Arts Center in Sarasota, Florida, Sunday, February 20th, 8 p.m. Ruth Eckerd Hall, Clearwater, Florida, Friday, February 18th at 8 p.m. Hard Rock <laughs> Casino in Hollywood, Florida, Thursday, February 17th, 8 p.m. The Kravis Center at West Palm Beach Wednesday, February 16th at 8 p.m. Joan Rivers, Grammy pre-show, TV Guide, 6 to 8 p.m., February 13th. I love you so much. No, I love you, baby. I love you, I, I love, love you, it. I love you. You gotta come I'm in so here and just get yeah. crazy and yeah. trash everyone, <laughs> even Star Jones. All right, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back right after these words. There's Joan Rivers, looking good. Always looks good, man. Hello. You know, I was, hey, Joan, I was reading in the paper the other day, about this woman who wrote First Wives Club, who died, she died yeah. while getting plastic surgery. How and lucky is that? Is that a wonderful death? Is, it, is that a good is death? Is that a wonderful death? Is that how you want to go? That's where I'm going to go. Chances are you'll probably go that way. I have to go that way. Thank you very much. I can tell you, every time I see you, you look amazing. I mean, I don't, yeah, I'm sure. not asking you your age, but I'll tell you what. Yeah, but you, you don't skin. look at whatever it is. Whatever it is, you don't look it. Yeah, but what a great way to go. You're going, think, and when they go and they lay you out, they'll say, wow, does she look great. Are you one of those women that does not tell her age? Are you? Are you? Are they tell my age because, uh, unfortunately, I had a stupid agent who said, when I wrote my first book, you must tell your age and they won't believe anything else in the book. So I tell my age. I watched Sophia Lauren go pay, get Younger, younger than me. right? Everyone. Liz <laughs> Taylor get younger than me. <laughs> John Collins get younger than me. I go, wait a second. I was watching them in high school. Right. No, you look good, and you know, 107. it's seven. But, but when I read that article about the woman dying during yeah. plastic surgery, I was thinking, you know, maybe Joan's really wrong about all this. No. Joan comes. She doesn't. Uh, anesthesia doesn't have any effect on her. <laughs> I don't have anesthesia. <laughs> you want to be there for the transformation. Yeah, I want to stay awake during all. So this. I can dictate to them. I'm an A personality. No, no, more on the lips. When you go to some of these. Doctors now, did they ever say to you, look, Joan, let me sit you down. It's enough. First of all, I can't sit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so do they ever... My ass is up behind my ears. <laughs> do they ever say, let's... T let listen. Has anybody said it's time to, to stop? No, because I don't do that much. I have a, one friend, Steve Hoffman. I mean, there's I'm not Hoffman. a wrinkle on your face. No, that's my mother. Really? Can't, wrinkles, when they pull it up, Howard, all it does is it gets higher, the wrinkles. Right. You know what I mean? Then my mother had great skin. My mother had great skin and great hands. And it's also Joan Rivers products sold on QBC. That, that, that's all done it for you. Yeah. Right. My <laughs> so that's your mother's skin. You've actually transplanted your mother's skin onto your yeah, face. Yeah, I also got, unfortunately, my mother's knees. You yeah. know? Yeah. Do you ever look at yourself and you say, oh, my, people like that shouldn't have children? Well, you look good. I'm going to tell you something. Thank God. Well, it doesn't matter. The men that like me are all dead. Well, I'll tell you, I know I know you're still doing, guys, and that's amazing to me also. And to them? Yeah. Who are you going out with now? <laughs> Same guy? No. It's all over? No, I had a guy in Australia, but, you know, it's mm. too long distance. Yeah, what is it, about 30 hours just to get laid? Yeah, good <laughs> Lord. I've done it, 30 hours and to get laid. That great you know what? Your that morning's got to you. get on a plane. You need to be a guy with a penis. We'd go 30 hours to get laid. <laughs> yeah, I've traveled. Wait, I can get laid? I just have to fly for 30 hours? <laughs> like I'm there. 30 hours in a Buick Skylark to get a little. Yeah, women don't need it as much as guys. Yeah, well, at this point, oh, I'm trying now to be, I'm trying to get into myself more. I was reading a book called, um, I swear to God, Get in Touch with Your Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds disgusting. <laughs> You read that book? Yeah. All right. And that's one of those books where you become more aware. What, what are you? More aware. About? It's a woman's, you know, like one of those women's movement books. I found it from the 70s. They had a bookstore out in California. So how do you get in touch with your vagina? Like, I is, is that, talk to it. Is that one of those where you squat on a mirror and look at and your you vagina look, and you're not disgusted by it? Yeah. It was, and someone had given it to me. I was cleaning out something like that. I said, this is so 70s. And so did old. you ever take a mirror and squat over it nude and look at I your vagina? I talked to it. No, come on. Did I you ever look at your vagina? How you doing? Have you ever looked at your vagina? Yeah, lately because it's falling. <laughs> is it really? Does your vagina get old? I walk, woke up the other way. I thought, why are you wearing one bunny slipper? <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Why? Uh, what, what, can, 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 
<laughs> Isn't there a labiaplasty you can have to uh, yes, rejuvenate your vagina? I guess. Yeah. I but that's not that your way. vagina. Vagina. Oh, Howard. I don't know. Also, the uh, bladder drops. Right. Women's right. bladder drops. And what happens then? Is it better to bang you like that or not? No. I think it's probably more interesting if the bladder is... First of all, she can go to the bathroom while you're, you're having sex. With what happens if your bladder drops? It's, I don't know, but someone just tell me about it. Apparently, it, it dro I had a cousin who said to me it dropped when she was vacuuming. Oh. Really? Oh. And you can feel it drop? I guess. Do you need diapers occasionally? Uh, don't we all? Yeah. Have you ever Oops. worn a diaper? You don't wear a diaper at this point. Well, not no. today. No, I you're in good bag. shape. You're in good shape. <laughs> all right, you're here to promote something, and I want to talk about what you're here yes, to promote. thank you, Alex. You're going to uh, promote the red carpet at the Golden Globes this Sunday night from 6 to 8 o'clock on E. I watch this. I like when you and Melissa stand on the red carpet and you enter it up with whoever walks by. Yeah, you too. Yeah, and See, you I love it, the aftermath, when they really tell you what they thought and of the outfit. And that's the next day. Yes. That's, that's the fashion police. <laughs> yes. Right, and you're going to be doing that as yeah. well. So, so. Oh, you have to kiss ass, though. It's it's, it's hard. You hate that. I find that I love watching you do it, but I know you're dying to make certain comments. Oh, you don't you want to say to half of them? You are so lucky to be Get working. Off. To be working. That's right. Look at you. You know, you are so lucky to be working, and you better enjoy it now, because we're never going to hear from you again. Did you hear what I said about Sex in the City earlier? Am I right? No, Did they you have any? Talking, they were talking. Staff, so, what'd you say? I, here's what I said. I'm reading in the paper today that Sarah Jessica Parker is upset because she can't even look at the last script of, she doesn't want to even envision yet the last scene of her show, Sex in the City. Now, the only reason it's the last show is because she doesn't want to do it. She's got a perfect gig. It hardly requires any of her time. Why is it the last show? I think they get so scared that it's going to stay on too long. But what are they scared about? I Well, you know, Howard, I'll hang on till they have to cut my fingers exactly. off. Exactly. You've always been smart about it. That's why you have longevity. you got something good. Go with it. Go with it. And you want to get a... I have a friend who left the show, and the day she left, day she left the show, Go ahead. she said to me, am I making a mistake? And you Who is the friend? I, I, Out this friend. I can't. You don't need really this friend. I can't. No. Kathy I, Lee. I'm not going to say. Kathy Lee. I'm not going to say. <laughs> Tell the truth. Kathy Lee, you know it I'm was. not going to say. I'm going to hook your nipples up to a lie detector, <laughs> and we're going to know the truth. It is Kathy Lee, and you told her not to quit the show. And I, I, I think she made a mistake. I love Kathy Lee. Right. I know you don't like her. I love her, and I think she made a big mistake. Boy, did she ever. I think she did. We she all know it's a big mistake now. Does yeah. she know it now? I don't know. She's wonderful and she's uh, into her music. How can you enter how her can music? You turn her music. On? Only one. She's how like can you turn on Regis and Kelly and not go crazy? Yeah, she I, turns it on, and Kelly Ripa now has a sitcom. She is successful. She's balancing she kids. She has the endorsements, the sitcom, yeah, the I, show. It, I would. I can't even to this. And I left the Carson show. Right. I never have watched Leno not once. Because it's too painful. It's too painful. Right. I left the show. I, you know, I mean? Right. You went to go do your own show. Do my own show. Why I, did that show fail? You were good. It, 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 nothing to do. Our numbers were fine. Why it, did you, what, did you freak out? My husband and Barry Diller came log ahead to log ahead. And uh, you're not going to win. Whoever pays. Sign. And they said to me, I had a, they said to me, uh, you can stay. He's got to go. You were doing well. Yeah. We were doing fine. We were doing fine. All right. And what? Well, oh, they made you get rid of your husband. Yeah, that's how, how you gonna, chose your husband. Yeah. How are you gonna not? How well, you made not? a mistake. I'm a Jew. I was stupid. I should. I have a friend who's have. getting. I have a friend who's getting a show of his own, and I said, "Who is going to be the executive producer?" And he said, uh, "I am." I said, "You're wrong." Big mistake. He said, "Why? Why is that a mistake?" I said, "Because let's say you decide to do something. Let's say you decide to have your wife on the show, and you or what? And it doesn't work out. How are you going to fire them?" You got to have somebody up there who makes all the decisions, and you got to have someone who's a pro, and someone that can say to you no, and someone right. that you can all say it's not my fault, it's his fault. Who is this friend? I don't want to say. Oh, so here we go, <laughs> Kathy Lee. It is Kathy Lee. All right, so you got me. No, but this Kathy Lee. I'm glad that you get to talk to her. You I should say her. to her, shame on you. No, it, oh, you don't say that. I hope you sh said shame on you. No, she's very happy. <laughs> what do you do? You socialize with her still, or, I see her. or would oh, you I rather her. socialize with Kelly Ripa? No, well, I love the terrible thing is. It's like when somebody gets remarried and you like them both. Does Regis and uh, Kelly Lee have you on the show? Yeah, a they lot. They do. A lot. They have you on a lot. Yeah. And I love them because they're wonderful. Who else has you on? Uh, uh, they have me on. Letterman. Wayne Brady have uh, you on? Wait, well, poor, yeah, Wayne is off. He was canceled. Yeah, that uh, makes me sad. Why does that make you sad? He was horrible. Oh, no, he was darling. And he, he fed me beautifully. He I'm fed you? <laughs> I never. He knew how to say... How fat was she? And then he would step step back. He was great for me. He was. Some of the best shots I've ever done on television. Did you ever hear him sing the news? I heard. No, I never heard him sing the news. Wait a second. You're not on Ellen? 
Um, what about Ellen DeGeneres? Ellen is not asked me on the show, and it really pisses me off. Why is that? I don't know. I gave her her first award. I couldn't even pronounce DeGeneres. You, you know, gave her her first award? Her first big award. What I, award did you give her? Some award, like Newcomer of the Year or something. I gave her her first award. And I, oh, I was so nice. When she was going that wacko, I was and so hate. nice. Oh, those crazy lady. I was so nice on the red carpet. I was. You uh, treated Ellen DeGeneres with respect. With respect. At a I time did. when everyone knew that it was a, a joke. Yeah. Yeah, and has never asked me on the show. Huh. Did you contact her? Did yes. you say why? Contact her. I sent her gifts. What? What? What is she saying? I don't know. I'm so busy kissing her ass. She's never put her head up to tell me. She had Richard Simmons on the other day. I saw. And the two of them, pre and then two of them pretended as if the, sh funny show it was boring. How to turn it off? They didn't. But they pretend like they're not gay. Well. Well, everyone knows. Everyone Let's talk about, about reality. I don't know. Well, what, uh, what's well, what his about Rosie O'Donnell? Who? Wait a second. What's his name? Uh, mm -hmm. Richard Simmons. Oh, he's yeah, never right. said. You don't know if he's gay? Me, he's gay. Let me tell you something. He did say to you. <laughs> you know something? Go back inside and take a nap. <laughs> yeah, Richard Simmons is great. Mom, I have something very beautiful to tell you. I'm I think Richard Simmons. he's just waiting for the right girl. That's he told right. the, him and Liberace. I, he told me that he was in love with Barbara Streisand. So. That's right. That tells you he's gay. <laughs> I want to meet I, his fiance. I worry about Brolin. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you're with Barbara Streisand. So you're telling me never that, has asked, and, and you're like, hurt. Oh, yes, hurt and very angry. Right. Yeah, that's not that's not right. And what about Sharon Osbourne? Uh, they asked me to do the show, but I don't like the I don't like the way it's decorated. Uh, is that true? No, they asked me I think once. Yeah, it's not, not for you. It. Why don't you want it? Uh, no, Tell I the truth. Be I honest. Would you would do it. Yeah, sure. I would do. I, is it, I've never seen the show. I've just seen bits and pieces. Are people nice to you when you do this red carpet for Eve? Are celebrities nice to you? Celebrities, again, the ones I know, right. are wonderful. And those are always the biggest. You know, Tom Cruise will come over, Nicole Kidman. The, Tom Cruise is nice to you. Yeah. But there are those that you hate. You yeah. don't like Kathy Bates, the fat actress. Why no, is that? Because she has no humor. What happened? Oh, I'm so sick of people that say, I'm an actor. What happened? I made a little joke. What like was the joke? Kept, she showed up in a limo and uh, a stretch limo was sideways. <laughs> uh, right, so you commented, of, you made fun of her weight. Yes, I made a little fun of that big fatso's weight. Right. <laughs> and she, now she won't talk to you. No, no she's a, and I wrote her a funny letter and she doesn't talk to me. Doesn't talk to me. Wow. Um, and some of them, they just think they're so grand, you know. Like who, Russell Crowe? Oh, Russell Crowe is a pig. He is. He, oh, Why? Crow. What happened between you and Russell Crowe? He told. One of the people that worked for me the day after the Academy Awards, the day after, he was walking down a path and she was walking that way. Come, and she said to him, congratulations. And he said to her, you're going to believe it, right? Well, no, no, no. Don't just no, say the F, F you. F you, he said. But he said that he, yeah. And she came into my room. She said, do you know what Russell Crowe just said to me? And I thought, you lucky fat S.O.B. Bastard. Lucky bastard. I saw Master and Commander. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible movie. Oh, please. Please, it's so boring. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You don't <laughs> like it. Cut your hair. <laughs> Lose 30 pounds. You're a leading man. <laughs> I don't like it. A leading woman cannot gain 30 pounds and work. And, and continue to be a leading woman. That's right. Except you're a Renee Zellweger, who I think is amazing to lose and, and gain and lose and gain. Yeah. I'm so jealous. You want, it. You want a role where you can gain some wouldn't weight. Wouldn't you love someone? You wouldn't even do it. Oh, they'd say to me, Joan... It's an Academy Award part. you got to eat this fettuccine. Okay. okay. All right. And what about Avril Lavigne? Why don't you like her? Because she's a... Uh, a well, bitch. you really get the... Whole, yeah. Um, Snotty, you're very lucky. You're a 15-year-old dwarf, and you got yourself a record. <laughs> she's a 15-year-old dwarf, and she has a good record? I don't record. know. She's 70. Right. And, and I, she was mean to you. Not mean. No, no, no. Not Arrogant. Mean to me. Arrogant. Yeah, I saw Everybody that. I saw that with you. Arrogant. I watched you on the red carpet. I saw that. And Alec Baldwin you don't even like. Well, no one likes Alec Baldwin. You don't I'm like him. She, he comes into a uh, club in the airport. You know, why don't right. we talk all these? Let's talk positive. No, what, which is so what do you want to talk about? Uh, just tell us this. Julia last Roberts. Month. I, I love all the, 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 the. Somebody you adore, Dustin Hoffman. I love it. The, 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 the you are a woman who has done it all in show business. These people should give you some respect. Yeah. No, no, I'm being serious. Well, if I were black, I'd demand it. Right. You see, when you're white and Jewish, you don't expect respect. You're just lucky no one beats you you're up. You're lucky. Hey, thank you. All right, so you love Julie Roberts. Yeah, I Get love back to Alec Baldwin. Why do you hate him? Uh, he's rude. He walked into a club he at the airport. He walks into the airport club. They all scatter. They all say, you take care of him. No, you take care of him. No, you take care of him. <laughs> he's that bad. He's just arrogant. You want to say, what have you done? Tell me the one thing. Oh, my God. When I forgive Alec Baldwin because he was so great in 
somebody fill in the blank because I haven't got the part. Why? You, you, understand? I mean, you, yeah. haven't got, you have to earn your arrogance. Barbara Streisand has earned her arrogance. Because she's great, you say. She's great. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You've got to earn it. All right. Okay. You've been around. You know. Got to earn your arrogance. If somebody told me a rumor. You know, you're always painting yourself to be ugly and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. But you're an attractive woman. Yeah, sure. Someone told me that Frank Sinatra, who could have banged any chick he wanted, tried to bang you. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, isn't that great? You have never revealed that before. No, you never asked me before. Well, who the hell would think that Frank Sinatra was Thank hitting you. on you? I mean, yeah, that's after Ava Gardner and Mia Farrow. <laughs> who knew it you were in that line? It was a charity thing at the Caesars, at Caesar's Palace. Go ahead. And I was on, the, and he was wonder. I adored him. Right. And he was uh, producing it as well as doing it. You weren't afraid of him, like he was a well, mafia or something? No, but no. Oh, he was so attractive. He what? Frank Sinatra was attractive. Oh, Frank Sinatra, Lenny Bruce, a lot of them. Oh yeah. Really? Let me tell you, any male star that that really gets it. Big, has a great has a charisma. There's a charisma, and he was producing as well as performing because you know, it was like some charity he wanted. I don't even remember what it was. Like. And he was a fan of yours. No, and I was working with him. That she started to like me. Yeah, and uh, I wasn't that ugly. How old were you back then? Uh, maybe thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah. So you were married. Yeah. Wow. I didn't do it. Now I. You never kill. cheated on Edgar. No, no, and Cary Grant made a pass <gasps> to me, and Robert oh, Mitchum right. made a pass to me. Now wasn't Cary Grant gay? Yeah, well, not that nice. Right. He wanted you. I don't know if he wanted me, but he sure was very attentive. How do you, what did Frank Sinatra do? Did he say, did he come right out and say to you, no, Joan, I want to bang you? The hand brushes again. You On your know, ass? You know, coward. What Show me what he did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'm beginning to think this is like when Stuttering John says he thinks he could have banged. Yeah. No. I mean, you're making a claim that Frank Sinatra wanted you. I need to know what saying. gave you this signal. Well, I could have banged Cary Grant. <laughs> could have banged George Washington. Talk about George Washington. Moses, <laughs> yeah. Moses was so attractive when he came down for that mouth. Did you make out with Frank Sinatra? You want to be no, honest about it now? No, But, you know, you go home and you think, wow. Isn't was that it nice? Frank Sinatra really... Kind of made a pass. What do you mean? Did he invite you over his apartment? Did he, he look just, at you he, while he was singing? Him and you know what I'm talking. No, we were backstage and he was producing, so he was sitting at the little desk and I was standing next to him to go on. And, and he was, took his penis out of his pants. <laughs> a lot of talk yeah. and a lot of touching and uh, yeah, you could just tell he liked you. And were you getting aroused? Not aroused. I was so thrilled it was Frank's and I thought I can't. I always think it can't be happening. Right. Because I'm the, I'm that kind of woman. You have a bad feeling about this. Can't be happening. Right. Yeah. And uh, then uh, years later, you look back and you go, now that was stupid. He was falling for you. Yeah, not falling for me, but it would have been, you know, a one-night stand. By the way, according to many books written about him, he had a huge penis. Really? Now you tell me. Yeah, I don't know if you could have handled it. I thought that was his assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, is that your assistant? <laughs> or are you just happy to see me? Yeah, that's Joey. <laughs> but it's so funny when you look back now and you think, because I tell Melissa who's single, have a good time. Right, do you feel you missed out on a lot? Yeah. You did. I was you missed out on a lot of experience. Yeah, and I'm really, I'm, I'm Robert Mitchum, I look at the movies now. He wanted you? I, and I got him at the very end. You banged Robert Mitchum. No, I didn't, but he... he so really you don't tell me. people that it was the old Robert Mitchum. You tell them it was... You yeah, know, you Robert don't say Mitchum. it was like 108 years old. <laughs> but you could sort of see he was in there. <laughs> yeah, like if I ever got to bang Cher, I'd say I did it 25 yeah. years ago. Not now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cher still looks great. Does she? Oh, I haven't seen her in about 10 years, but she still looks great. And they, I, I would be scared the wig would fall off. Right. That would be, and also, how could she have an orgasm? She has so much Botox. What were you doing? She'd be like, ooh. What were you doing with Robert Mitchell? Did you bat, did you did you did he you smoke weed with him? Show. You smoke weed, right? Yeah. And did you smoke with Robert Mitchell? No, he's on the Tonight Show, and he, yeah. they, they brought him into my dressing room to say hello. And I guess he just he just liked women. He just mm -hmm. and I you know, tried to have a drink after the show. And, uh, oh, really? And, uh, you know, and Mrs. Look at Goody, you. Yeah, Mrs. Oh no, I'm going home to my husband and my daughter. Yeah, that was some party. Oh, that husband of yours. Bitch. Oh my God, <laughs> that was some party. I look back, I think what a book I could have. Had. You're not kidding. Well, small, but but poor. it was a pamphlet. <laughs> but each one would have ended, and he broke my heart. Well, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> now, I, I don't want you to get too big ahead, though, because uh, Robert Mitchum came on to me, too, on the show. <laughs> so it's no big deal. All right, Joan Rivers, let's let's go through it. On the red carpet at the Golden Globes this Sunday night from 6 to 8 on E. Yeah. You can also see Joan hosting the Fashion Police for the Golden Globes on Monday, January 26th at 9 p.m. on E. And if that isn't enough, Joan, for you, you get to see her live every Wednesday night until the end of March at Fez in Manhattan. You've never come, Rob. I didn't realize you were still doing it. Every Wednesday night. Wednesday night we're in bed. Together. Yeah.
Check out Joan Rivers Classics Collections on QVC January 30th, 31st, and February 1st. Still selling all that stuff. Oh, yes, great. Raymond Norman, go ahead. A couple of quick phone calls for Joan Rivers tonight on E! Part 2 of the Gay Anal Ring Toss. <laughs> Which is a very exciting television. Joan, no, you can't be a part of that. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I'm very proud of it. <laughs> yes, uh, Raymond. Hello, Howard. Hello, Robin. Hello. I wanted to first of all say hello to Lady Rivers, if hello. you don't mind me calling her that. How are Lady you doing Rivers. today? I, Lady I'm Rivers. I'm doing very well, thank you. And how are you? Uh, Boy, the gay men love you. I, well, first of all, God I want to say to Joan, I don't men. you know what the word means. Shmi. 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 Raymond Norman, yes. All I'm right. Shalom. All right. Oh, and shalom. That's right. <laughs> what oh. the hell? <laughs> shalom means Jews, you know. Wouldn't this guy make a good son-in-law for uh, you? I'm, I'm, I, I'm looking for, I should make it an aunt. Melissa, who is, would kill me. I am looking for that wonderful Jewish doctor now for her. Uh, Enough. On. Enough well, with you the Jews. The best doctor. Yes, well, tell me. All the time. That's right. The Jewish people are the best doctors. Yes, go to a Jew. Very, very much so. Well, Raymond, what is it you and want to ask? And for the, the fee. <laughs> what do you want to ask Lady Rivers? Well, there's nothing that I want to ask her. The only thing I want to tell her is that um, she's a wonderful person as far as me following her career. I mean, she's funny. I've taken up some of her things, especially her main word, the word tramp. Because yes. when I see a tramp, I know a tramp when I see Oh, one. yeah, and you see more and more each day. Every day, that's oh. right. And with everything that's going around right now with all these pedophiles going around, we won't say who, but how would it give you a little in-depth in that in private? I got a little something going on now as far as something that's very strongly that I feel about it. All right, yeah. Raymond. I, I, you know what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Call me later. Dino, you're on the air. Hey, now, you got to believe in hot, wet bitches. Hot, okay. wet bitches, yes. Uh, Joan, uh, <laughs> didn't you used to be a comedian? No, no, I no. Think I think the plastic you surgery got oh, all the funny out. Oh, you know, uh, <laughs> boy, you got your minute of happiness. Hey, no, no, I got a question about your daughter. I couldn't. Uh, just turn it off. I'm not interested in what this pig thinks about my all daughter. All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, hot, wet bitches now like to talk about your daughter. How is she? <laughs> all right, hi, Pichard, go ahead. Hey, Joan. How are you? Oh, fat. How are you? All right, great enough phone calls. Really? <laughs> All right, Joan Rivers. <laughs> That's who I love when you do this red carpet. I love you for loving me. I think that. you're very good at it. Let me ask one question. There was some, uh, I forget what magazine it was, but they, they decided to critique you and Melissa. Yeah, which is great. After yeah, one of the award show uh, red carpet yeah. things. And oh. uh, actually, they were very complimentary of Melissa. They said she should show more. Yeah. Because I, she has a beautiful body. She should show more. She yeah. works so hard at Pilates, and then she covers it up like a crazy. Yeah. Well, why don't you dress her? Why don't you ever say to her, you're not dressing sexy enough? I how about I tell her that all the time? We did a lifetime special where I dressed her and she dressed me. And it was and she looked good. She looked hot. She looked like Barbarella. You know, she looked like Jane. Right. And we got in the limo going home. She took it all off. She's she's not into exposing herself. No, oh, and the hair was good. She's like great hair. She won't use it. No. Well, because when you have me for a mother, it's the reaction. Right. You know? Because you're a pain in the ass. Because I, I won't get out of bed if there's a fire. If I were in the, the Twin Towers, I would have been putting lipstick on before I jumped. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what they said in the article? They said that Joan should tone it down. Joan's doing too much. Really? <laughs> you're trying too hard? Of course I'm doing too much. Now, you look good. Believe me, you're holding yourself together. You know, that death power. <laughs> Go see Joan at the uh, Golden Globes Sunday night from 6 to 8 on the... I like the Golden Globes because like, a lot yeah. of big celebrities yeah. show up. Everybody That's shows up. It yeah. looks like a fun award show. I like that stuff. You know why? Because all the parties afterwards are in one place. Right. So everyone... It's like college. You all go party to party. It's so much fun. And I think now that people know that you almost bang Frank Sinatra, it's going to put it's you in a whole other league. Oh, you know, whole... everybody's going to run over to talk to you now. Oh, I know. Did you ever get to bang a black guy in your life? No, and I think black men are fabulous. You do. And black men love me. They do. They and understand never, my rear end. Did black men come on to you? and? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Not even a Mexican. You haven't had that. <laughs> Italians like me because there's so much to pinch. Right. Well. Italians like anything. Tony, I got a girl. She's terrible. She's disgusting. She smells bad. She's got warts. Stop, stop. You're turning me on. I make you feel like women. Well, let me they tell you something. Women. Joan's modest. I have a tape, a sex tape of Joan and a black man. Thank you. That, right? that I'm going to play. Michael Jackson. Oh, I can't do that. Say, me.
Now, when, when did you do this? Michael Jackson. That was Michael Jackson. He, he puts on that weird it was voice. His birthday party. <laughs> that ought to be the 60s because it was just revolutionary. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, let me I take... brought him a, a scratch and sniff book. <laughs> let me tell you something. Doesn't matter. Joan Rivers, check her out. She knows what's happening on. You know, I she you really. So you, I love you too, baby. I swear I do. I know you know. You know I, I do, know. and you know I do. I know. You do know? No. Nope. Right, okay. All right. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Joan Rivers just popped by. She's got about twenty billion dates to. Uh, she the wants plug? to get. Once well, she wants to get a plug, yeah. Sure. I don't know why she's still doing it, but like she's got more money than God, and and she. I don't know though. Nope. Yeah, I well, Jackie and impression. Fred. We're asking me that too. Like maybe she's broke, but she's not. She's got. She's a millionaire. I just think um, she has a, a high overhead, a very, very expensive lifestyle. I disagree. I believe that she has tons of money, but she has this incredible desire to be in front of people. She's performing a tattoo. Yeah. Joan. She, she'll never tell you how much she's got, but you're very. You you could retire if you wanted to. Smart. Who? I have a high overhead. <laughs> no, I don't believe that. Hi, Dorothy. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, Joan. How are you? Good oh, to see you. There. Still on the Steve Forbes kick? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I was in uh, Arizona yesterday, and they had a woman running around the airport with a gun. Wasn't that you? Yeah. What do you mean running around with a gun? What? What do you mean? Apparently, they had a gun convention. I don't know these things, Howard. <laughs> and this woman apparently was sneaking her gun through, and they caught her. This was this was around you in Pittsburgh in uh, in uh, Phoenix. Oh, in Phoenix. So everything stopped there while they were running, looking for this idiot with a gun. So and you think those are the candidates? Send a live animal through. She'll be a moron. She'll shoot us. You th well, I don't understand something. Was she there hunting the candidates? Uh, so, oh, no. no, no, she was hunt. They had a gun show. They I told you the other day. Cannon was there, so yeah. all these loony fringe right. showed up. Right, you know. right, right. But that's my candidate. Right. So uh, Th that means all laws have been suspended, and we can run around with well, guns. I now. went to a party for Buchanan. In the How I scary is that picture of Buchanan really? in his cowboy yeah. hat? You went to a party for Buchanan? Yeah, a Nazi jumped out of the cake. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought it was kind of funny that he was running around with that big cowboy hat and the holster. Yeah, like he always runs. Like it's, <laughs> this, this is insane. It is insane. It's insane. There's well, here's a guy. Fringes on the top of his Surrey. He's just, he's not a, if you, if you were actually a Republican, you couldn't be for Pat Buchanan mm -hmm. because he's not a real Republican. He's anti-big uh, business. He's, uh, he's, he's anti-immigration. This moron, where did his mother come from? The woman swam from Ireland. Well, he's anti... He's she, not, held a, she held a potato and came across. <laughs> he's anti... Uh, he, he's for giving uh, South Korea atomic weapons so they can fight their own battles. I mean, I mean, the guy's just whacked out. He's wacky. But anyway, uh, who cares about that? I, mean, I don't care about that. I just say that's a bunch of hillbillies uh, voting for these guys, but... I think it assures a Clinton victory, quite frankly. Well, uh, all I know is somebody, I was on a radio talk show, right? Yeah. And somebody says that they called me up, and I said, because is a, a Nazi, and the guy got hysterical and wanted to debate me. I started to sing God Bless America. I can't debate anymore. Well, you got Reverend Don... I mean, Let me you, hear you sing God Bless America. God <laughs> Bless America. You mind debating? <laughs> I'll debate with someone that's got a degree. Yes. You're not going to sit there and debate. So anyway, I'm Joan... a guy that's <clears throat> seen K-ration with a spoon. Talk to me about this drive to perform at places like Tattoo, like you're going to be doing. What, what's going on? What, you I do have know, a lot of money. Worked I worked out new material Let me tattoo. say, I was going out with a younger man. Yeah. You know, it's not just Liz and Larry. Yeah. And we, we broke up. Oh, you did break up with I'm your going husband? I'm Larry now. I mean, the man or whatever that guy yeah, is? I'm going out now with Larry. No, 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 don't joke no, around. No, she's joking. What are you doing? Yeah, who is that guy you're with? I'm Larry Fitensky now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at least I've got two good What's hips. going on? Why? You have plenty. <laughs> oh. Uh, we don't know about that. We, uh. <laughs> I had a great pelvis. You... That Larry, he's quiet, but. And he's redoing my kitchen. You ha listen to me. Stop joking about this stuff. I want to know what's really going on. Yeah, tell us the real dirt. She's rolling. Joan, you got tons of dough, and yet you are driven. You do. You're a a, are you a millionaire? Life. No, I live a very. You're not a millionaire. You thought, he's got to be a millionaire. Me, you're if you're not a millionaire, then I mean, everyone ought to get out of show business. Yeah, let me tell you, you're looking at a conduit. No, come on, be I, honest. I'm very I got Why are you playing me? tattoo? Because I love to break in new material. Is that really true? You love it. I you love, love to be on stage. I know. I love to be on stage. I love to do new material. I love. New material. Because you don't really love people. But you How love... Thank you, Howard. You're not, you're not a lover of people. What I know you. love celebrities. People. She loves celebrities, but she's, she's very down on humanity. Them. No, you're very down on humanity. I'm not down on humanity. I'm just down on stupid humanity. Right. And you, but you like getting in front of this audience, and love. you are driven to do this. My audience is smart, truly. My you know, like, like Richard Lewis hates doing stand-up comedy. Right. Joan loves it. I've I never love heard her say any, a bad thing about being in front of an audience. I love it. Jay Leno loves it. He does? Yeah, but like Letterman hates it. Yeah. 
Then don't do it. Well, he doesn't. Yeah, I love these people. I love these performers. I don't want to be there. Then don't. Right, but you love it. You don't care. You don't care about the money. You want to no, just do I this. I love tat tattoos. A little woman holds eighty people. How you, much can I make? I mean, that's like being in a living room. It's yeah. like being in someone's living room. It's like in my living room, but they don't, I have to wear they're going to soil my fabric. Literally, it's eighty people. It's eighty-eight people. It holds tiny. And you will sit there and talk to them. It's I like playing say, a bachelor party. I can say anything. Right. Yeah, but I can wear my clothes. And this is to test out material because you were on tour with Don Rickles and yeah. everything. Yeah, and it's how it, it when they're eighty-eight people, you can say. Anything. Do you know I what see. I'm saying? Yeah. And if it's bad, they all go, You can't say that. You go, Who cares? People. Who cares? Right. You don't care what you don't care what they think <laughs> because you're television. testing stuff out. Right. You're gonna write me a letter? How long does Don Rickles have to live? Oh, oh. <laughs> he's pretty good the last time I I don't know. He sweats a he's lot. He's having a resurgence. He's you think so? He's missing great... potato head in Toy Story. No, big deal. That's he's a having... potato head. Let me tell you. Gee. He's a joy to work with on the road. You yeah. like him. Pleasure. Uh -huh. Gives you the good dressing room. Right. Is adorable, funny. Very nice. nice. You. Sex? No. Yeah. Well, we've had sex oh. twice, but that, well, I don't call it sex. I and you were doing a lot of groping. I see. And you're doing a lot of work for the E Show. Uh, the e -channel. e Channel. E Channel. I keep busy. And you always bring your daughter on the E Channel. Now my you? daughter's book. My daughter uh, does separate stuff for E. She does. She's going to do the Olympics for E. She get the Olympics for E. Yeah, exactly. E is going to cover the Olympics. Yeah, she's going to do the Jewish Olympics. I see. Yeah. And what does that involve? <laughs> <laughs> You're not playing to 88 people now. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you. How fast you can circumcise a newborn? Uh, I don't know what the Olympics would be. Now this guy that. Uh, to make it, how much chicken soup you can make from one chicken? I don't oh. know. This guy who punched out Stuttering John, Marty Richards. Yeah, he's my very good. You friend. dated him. I, I I dated I dated everybody Ooh. in New York. You dated Marty Richards before I went with Larry for ten. Years. He, boy, he he throws a mean punch. He does. John not. almost John was going to take him and bitch slap him into the ground, but no. but he was kind to the guy because he's an old man. And he's not an old man. He's a. But is he really? Does he have a hard on to get famous or something? Because he's no. he's planting stories in the paper every minute how he socked out stuttering John. No, no, no. Marty's a. I think the best producer on Broadway today, <laughs> and a great movie producer. And you should go to him for your movie. I mean, a rich. That's right. I'm all set. I'm with Paramount. I don't have to go to Marty Richards. You, uh, Marty Richards me. can eat me. Oh, oh, you, oh, I don't have to go to him. I don't owe myself to anybody. No, I'm with Paramount Pictures. Good. Yeah, I don't need a Marty Richards. Paramount screwed. Who is he screwed? Who have they screwed? Yeah. Not me. They've been very kind. I know. I'm just saying. Let's hope. Just oh. watch your back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, come on, come on, come on. There's nothing to watch here. So when are you going to make the movie? We start shooting in May. <gasps> Isn't that exciting? Uh, yes. So who's going to play you? Me. <laughs> Who played you, Joan? Yeah. <laughs> Shelly Winters. <laughs> Ivan Reitman, of course, uh, producing. That's great. Uh, genius. I've. Ivan. Yeah. And uh, Betty Thomas directing. Ba Baby T. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what you're, you're damn right. You know wait, you wait, you wait, you wait and see this movie. This I'll, was, I'll go this out. Is, this I'll is going to be some movie. I'll do it. I'll go out and stomp it for you. What do you mean stomp it? Yeah, you know, like do the... Oh, you will go out and uh, do sure. publicity for it? Sure. You would do that for me? Howard. Do me a favor. Get my wife breast implants. Never mind oh, that. Oh, no, she can't so do that. Yeah, that she can't do. Right <laughs> you no know, kidding. You scared her off. <laughs> I scared her off. You ruined it. Now, you'll be a tattoo tonight performing. Nice. March 22nd, you'll be at Tampa Bay Art Center with Don Rickles. Yeah. That's Thank a big you. gig. Yeah, that's big. March 23rd, you'll be at the... I would rather see you in a room with 88 people, quite frankly. I would frankly. see you in a room with 88 people. Yeah, because they, I, I, you're probably wilder. Anything. Right. Yeah. Uh, March 23rd, Broward Art Center in Fort Lauderdale with uh, Rickles. Don Rickles. March 25th on E's Live Oscar pre-show with Melissa. Yes. Boy, Melissa's got to love you. What a mommy. Yep. Melissa, yeah, but they like, they love Melissa. She brings in a different... Well, they love you. And I don't think Melissa works unless she's with you. Oh, yeah, she works a lot without me. Really? A lot without me, yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish my mom could get me some work. Oh, Howard. <laughs> when the only mother... When is she going to get married? Is she dating? She's dating Larry Zlatensky. <laughs> 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 You hate most of her boyfriends, though. Do you hate this one? No, I like this one. This you do. Very nice. Is this the you same do. one with the horses? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's still yeah. with the oh, horses. Oh, that's the one you don't like, but you have to say you like. I like oh. this one. Oh, this is the one off camera you say you hate, <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing you can do about it at this point. I like it. Because you're afraid so that if you say bad things about him, that'll no, drive her into his arm. He really is a good guy. Oh. Really. You don't. You don't feel he's the best for her. I think he's wonderful. Do you want them to get married? I, if they want to get married in a second. Really? Because I have no money. They'll have no money. I have no money. You know, I would, cause I was gonna, uh, she's saying that for the guy. Right. I, I, I get it now. She's like, I have no money. I have no money. You've got to get a job. What does he do? Trades horses? Not really. He actually, he's dating Elizabeth Taylor now. No, come on. What does he do, the boyfriend? He trades horses. He they tra do very well. They do? You get an old dead horse. You prompt it up. You give it a shot of adrenaline. But if I was a guy and I was dating Melissa. No. If I was a guy 
and I was dating Melissa, I wouldn't plan on working that much longer. I'll be <laughs> and honest with you. And all he's doing is maintaining a job until the wedding. Yeah, That's you right. know what? So what's his incentive to work? <laughs> Melissa's going to inherit the mother load. Right. I mean, you know, Joan, God bless her, how long is she going to be how around? How much longer? How much longer? And she's <laughs> got millions. The There's no other sisters or brothers. I mean, like, what, what, what would be my incentive I'm to work? I'm already not feeling well. No, but I mean, you've already, you've already, you've already set up <laughs> Melissa for life. Melissa, by Thursday, I'll be dead. She'll be so well. Melissa has a great lifestyle. Mm -hmm. She's got fabulous apartments in Manhattan, and she has her place out on the West Coast. Right. And right. Melissa really doesn't, you know, doesn't work. She works. What Please. Work e, I know what he pays, okay? <laughs> Ask any one of us. We, you're not fooling anybody. Uh, she works. She also has, she also is in the horse business. She does very well selling these dead horses. Oh, I'm sure. Let, listen, let me, uh, dead, yeah. let me see just the place for the wedding. Yeah. Uh, right in the Brinks truck. <laughs> so that... So that the new husband doesn't have to back it up. <laughs> yeah, can, they, can you get married in the brink truck? <laughs> that has never been done before. No. They can cater it right there. I, I, around doesn't the it morning. kill you sometimes that you work man. so hard and you work your entire life uh, and that some guy's going to walk in and trade uh, horses and he's going to inherit the mother love? Yeah, but, that, but you see that all the time. It makes you crazy, and doesn't no it? No one enjoys the money the most. It's always the ones that, that, that get it. Of course, because for you it. don't yeah, like spending it. Right. You're, you're probably like, oh my God, I don't want to run out of money and be an old woman and not have any money, well, right? Well, here I am. No, I'm saying, though, you've always <laughs> saved your money. You know, you're not that old. Uh, let's not go into that. Right. But that's, uh, <laughs> There's still plenty of couple of years left on you, Alan baby. I think I'm very attractive, but I'm younger than her. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Doesn't it I kill you? Active. I mean, you're at a tattoo. You're with Don Rickles. You're running around. You're bringing Sorry. in the mother load. And then, and then, like, you won't spend the money on yourself. I, Howard, believe me, I spend it on myself. You do? What do you buy? I buy clothing. I buy... Uh, oh, yeah. How much can that be? What's your, what do you spend a year in clothing? Oh, 100 grand? No. Not even. No, no. Right. I beg for a lot of things. Okay. I go to designers and just sit there and cry. All right. So what do you spend? Fifty grand a year on clothes? Less. Okay. But I spend. Good, I spend on clothing. I buy. Uh, I buy. What's gifts your? For what is your? What is your vice? My vi Oh, my vice is uh, food. Oh please! No, no please! You, you don't, don't even eat. eat. You eat rice cakes and jelly. I, I take everyone out to dinner. When I go out to dinner, my friends become Venus de Milo by the end of the. She buys sex toys <laughs> and young Chinese oh, guys. Well, my uh, blow up doll. Right. Those now, male blow-up <clears throat> dolls, you know, they wear a house. You uh, rightly so supported Joan Collins in her fight yes. against yes, uh, Random and House. I gave her a huge party. Was it Random House? Yes. Yeah, okay. And you didn't invite us. Thank you You threw much. a big party for her and you didn't invite us. <laughs> I, I, how many invitations could I send? <laughs> right. You don't want to be rejected. She looked, didn't send me a thank you note. Now, let me ask you something. <laughs> you went to these parties. You were a big party didn't send me a note. Well, let me understand something. You yes. threw a party at your apartment? For Joan Collins. Okay. All right. You like her. Yeah. And I don't love her. I'm not a lesbian, but I like her. Right, you like her. You used to make fun of her a lot when you were uh, hosting the Tonight Show and stuff. That she was a little of a, she was younger then. She was more of a tramp. Right, and you used to make fun of her, but yeah. yet you became friends with her. And these were different time zones. I had all kinds. And of And you stuff. throw these parties in your apartment, and what? And was there any food there, or was it like your last party? Uh -huh. and there's a where lot you throw, of food. We would, throw we throw. We actually spend some money on this party. Well, she yeah. throws a Christian kind of party. You know, Jews usually have like tons of food, and Joan's a Jew, but now she throws right, these Christian parties, and like she has like a Christmas tree. You don't you don't serve food at a party. Where the party I ever was, was at Joan Rivers' Thank house. Thank you, Howard. I served great food at that party. You didn't go in the dining room. I was starving. We went into the dining I went, I, room. We would, believe me, if there was food, we would have found it. <laughs> the guy walks around, he hands you a cream cheese sandwich. That, that little, was what was in the sandwich. dining room. He had little shrimp. You know, yeah. you know, like, little, I couldn't see them. They were like baby shrimp. He had a group <laughs> very grand. I mean, I never saw a party like that. And no food. It's six thirty at night, and there's no food. Sandwiches in the dining room. You know, and the party's going on. It's about six thirty. You figure, well, I figured at it was going to be dinner. We had buffet. You know, you threw me out and had buffet. I had great buffet. She goes, well, a couple of people are staying for dinner, but uh, unfortunately, everyone else has to leave. She didn't tell us that. We I found that out a later. Great party. Right. You people just don't understand an elevator. No, it was party. awful. I don't want to hurt your feelings. It was the worst party I've ever been. To, swear yeah, to God. That's okay. You know, I mean, I love being with you, and it was that's cool fine. to be in your apartment. That's fine. But there were people, there, there was a woman there. There were people fainting. There was a woman there fainting. There was another woman. It was a sad story. There was a woman there who had AIDS. Yeah. And she, she had nothing to eat. She needed she like, food. Yeah, she was like, you remember the, the woman with AIDS? She, the young girl got AIDS. She's sitting on the couch. She's like, Give me food. Woozy. Yeah. Woozy. <laughs> Remember? I said, don't come to my ass and they'll say you're sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get better. <laughs> Stay home. All right. So, so you have this party for Joan Collins and that uh, horrible Yenta, that despicable woman, uh, Sally Jesse Raphael, shows up oh, at your party. Uh, why would you love her? Uh, why do you hate she her? Is, so she's nice. a, a vomit. She's an animal. Oh, she's, Sally she Sally is an Sally. animal. Sally because she criticized me, and I'm going to tell you something. What did she say about She's saying that I'm bad for broadcasting. Let me tell you something about that pig. Never mind that. Let me tell you something about that pig. And I've seen her plastic she's surgery. She's a pimple on the ass and of she, civilization. She's a pig. Whoa. Let me tell you why she's a pig. Because 
She sits there on a daily basis exploiting people, yeah. getting them up, young children on the air with their cuckoo parents, sitting and exposing them to all of America and somehow thinks she's doing something good and I'm doing something bad. I she is the biggest vomit on the planet. I would not. I don't want her in, uh, in your life. She'll never. Howard. She's a life record. Oh, life record. Do <laughs> yeah, you think it's right what she does? Hey, you're my best friend, Howard. Well, I, I happen oh, to be funny. I hate At least, Sally at least I'm honest. Right. Yeah. Oh. She wasn't even there. I had an impersonation. No, when she walked in, and, and <laughs> did you make fun of that red hair that looks like no, Bozo? I, I didn't know you didn't like her. Uh, oh, up please. Now I liked her. What about the facelift? Yeah. <laughs> did you make that fun of it? That could be any woman there. You've, got, you've had plastic surgery and you look gorgeous. I've never had plastic surgery. No. Why can't you she recommend was. her a doctor? Yeah, who's, who was the doctor that did that to her? Or was it, was it just that, her, that, her, that she's so despicable that her face just caved How in? You take it, huh? I don't think it was the uh, plastic surgeon's really? fault. I, think, I just think that Sally Jesse Raphael is so ugly on the inside uh, that her face caved wait in. Wait a second. She has, if she hasn't listened to you, she doesn't understand how good you are for humanity. Right. That's the whole thing. You're damn right. So I have to do is bring her up here and make a whole... She's a skeeve. <laughs> if I bring her up here... Don't bring, bring her up here, I'll spit on her. Yeah. Now, now, now. She's a skeevosa. <laughs> we can't have this hatred. You have a movie coming out. You need her She's show. ugly. Oh, I don't need her show. If I need her show, I'll, I won't do a movie. How's that? I'll give up on show business. <laughs> So what do you mean you're friends with her? Like, like you talk on the phone to her? Yeah, I've had dinner with her a couple of times. They're very nice. And she acts all civilized. But do you ever say to her, how in good conscience do you Could bring you these have people on? people on your no, show? that's why I, I left for two weeks. I left one because of all this. I didn't want to do this. Until my show was canceled. So I left for two weeks. And she, and she, comes, up, and she comes up on uh, to your apartment and acts like she's a normal person. No, she actually did an interview. And did you see her close staff. up? Did you see her close up? Uh, well, I'm blind. Mm. How's close up? Can I get and you, tell me about her plastic surgery. What she went wrong? great. You think Nothing she looks good? Nothing went wrong, Howard. You think she looks normal? Howard, let me I read you. in the tabloid she can't even smile. <laughs> well, <laughs> What's the smile about? When I say that when I mention your name, Howard. No, 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 stop protecting everybody. Stop. What do you think she about smiles. it? She smiles. She uh, smiles. And she said, I only wish Joan I had a music. Do you think her hair color is, is the same color as Bozo's? I don't scrutinize my guests. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> and who else did you have? That that pig, Cindy Adams? <laughs> I didn't have Cindy Adams. <laughs> was she at the Joan Collins? Cindy Adams. Yes, she was. She that's there. a pig. That's another she's friend that you friend. shouldn't have. Another good friend of mine. Why? How do you? How do you? Listen, you're always Howard, on the right I side. for you to have, to have a social life. Cindy Adams My defends. <laughs> Cindy I Adams defends Cindy Imelda Adams. Marcos. I, well, Imelda Marcos. That was please. Her guy. Please. Ah. Oh, you know that she a, lives in my building. She's a vomit. She, she lives in your building. She eats dog. Oh. Yeah. I don't, I'm not saying she eats dog, but you know, you hear her, Thanksgiving, you hear barks coming, and you hear a muffled sound, and you hear voices. Melda Marcus and, lives in your building? And she has a leash How hanging out of her mouth. There? There. Do you see her in the elevator and yeah, stuff? Yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, she doesn't talk. None of them talk to me in my building. I really? don't know why. You're so famous. You think I people should. would want to know you. Yeah, but it's the stuff I cook. Oh, God, I tell you something. And your friends. My, Cindy I, Adams, I, next to Sally, friend. Jesse, Raphael, and Cindy Adams, you must look like Elle McPherson. <laughs> <laughs> you walk around with those two cows. That's why I hang out with everybody. I'm not, no, I'm going to hang out with Elle McPherson. <laughs> you don't need that. I look like Elle McPherson after somebody squished her. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, but these models are stupid. You ever talk to these models? They're dopes. They are dopes. They L T W A. <laughs> and they have trouble with it. <laughs> you know, we do a thing, Stuttering John goes out, and whenever these supermodels are out, we always ask them to spell something, and they get all insulted. But they never spell it. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. It's smart enough to know how to spell All right, let me give you Joan Rivers' itinerary, because okay. the rest of this... Yeah, because I couldn't keep track of it before. Give it to me. All right, let me, let me give it to you, because uh, this is a rare uh, opportunity to see her a tattoo in New York City. Night. Well, in, in Tonight. Well, in a room, in 88 yeah, one, people. Give us a little notice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> March 20, this is a surprise visit. Well, it can only hold 88 people, so you don't want to cause a stampede. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> you went out to Arizona and um, and pitched Camp, Steve Forbes? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so, Are you friends with him? Uh, very good friends. He's terrific. I can't do uh, He's jokes. rich. Let me tell you so something about Steve Forbes. Rich. <laughs> you're friendly only with rich people. Alexander's poor. Name somebody who you're not friends who you're friends with that isn't rich. Uh, Henry Edwards. Oh, you are friend, friendly with him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know who that is. All right. So wait a second. <laughs> oh, you shut me up. This guy's gonna wake up. Nobody's morning. friendly with him. All right. So you're telling me. I'm gonna me, wake up this morning and say, "John Rivers, you're poor." <laughs> Well, let me, let me uh, say this. Steve Forbes would have been out of the race already, like Phil Graham, if he didn't, he didn't have this have personal fortune. Excuse me. True. How, what, what, I don't hold it against them. Rich and Bush wasn't rich. Every, no, people uh, say they want an outsider. Rich. People say they want an outsider. He is an outsider. And he's terrific. He is terrific? He's terrific. All right. I can't make sure. He's terrific. Right. And look at the look at the choice. And what do you do? You go out there and do what? Uh, Steve, I was doing movies. Uh, Clinton is um, waiting to inhale. 
a doe is dead man walking. I mean, right. Obviously. I see. You do material out there for Steve Forbes. And Steve is sensitive sensibility. I can't remember that. It's so clever. I see. Uh, can he spell T-W-A? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Joan will be performing tonight at Tattoo in New York City. How are you, Dorothy? I'm well. You're well? She's running now. Oh, she's running? She's meeting very good attractive men running in the park. Are you still looking for a guy? Hard yeah. to believe. Hard to believe. You have such a lovely body that uh, I would certainly uh, give you a good roll around. Thank you, Howard. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Say thank you, Dorothy. Gonna be Dorothy is Joan Rivers' assistant. Yeah, and if any of you guys who, who uh, want some sex... Her manager. Oh, that's what I mean. Manager. Excuse me. Manager. Assistant, Anybody but they call her a manager. Sex, go to Dorothy. The, now you can't call your assistant assistant anymore. You got to be manager. She has manager. other assistants. Jonathan, mm. do you know we? What do you do again, Dorothy? For Joe? Manager. Everything. What do you mean? Everything. Oversee everything. Yes. Including the jewelry, everything. All right, whatever. By the way, we mentioned on this show that we were lesbians, that it happened in a cla in a uh, wonderful, in the elevator, in an elevator, and we were outed. Really? By uh, what's the magazine? Steve Forbes. Forbes? Advocate with it. Advocate now? outed us. Did they? <laughs> Are you two dykes? Yeah, well, not die. It, what, every once in a while, when we're both hot, take out the vibrators, nobody else around, work on each other. We were in an elevator. Wow. I'd elevator. pay to see that. <laughs> so you haven't found the man yet? We're doing that at tattoo. What happened to that boyfriend you had? <laughs> you dumped him. You dumped him? Yeah. Used him up. They get boring. They do. Yeah, yeah I know that. <laughs> All right. Tonight at tattoo in New York City. Yeah. Will Dorothy be there? Of course. Well, guys. Yeah, check it yeah. out. You want to you want to uh, have sex with Joan Rivers' manager? That's a pretty I'm good sure story. You get to hang around with Joan a bit. Yeah, <laughs> bend her over a chair, tattoo, and take oh, her. Yeah. I don't think she wants it right there. Performing tonight at Tattoo in New York City, March twenty second, she'll be in Tampa Bay Art Center with Don Rickles. March twenty third, she'll be at the Broward Art Center in Fort Lauderdale with Don Rickles. And March twenty fifth on E's Live Oscar Pre Show with Melissa at four o'clock Pacific, wherever Pacific is. March twenty ninth, E's Oscar Fashion Review with Melissa. That's where she then trashes uh, what everybody wore yeah. the Not day before. I say, what, no, I say what you really think. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. Then don't you all sit and watch those shows? She show? tells everybody they're beautiful well, that night. Sure. And then they leave. <laughs> and then she rags on them. She rips them. I don't blame you. I wouldn't do it to their face. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say to friends. They're walking in. Are you going to say to someone you look terrible? They're walking in. You don't want to ruin their night. Right. You want to say it afterwards. Great. Oh, look at that. Actually, say, could you believe it? Joan Rivers is Mr. Blackwell with boobs. Yes. <laughs> Joan, I want to thank you, of course. I'm happy to see you. It's always Howard. great seeing you. I'm glad that you're friends with uh, all those fancy people. Well, I'm, I'm, how... Sally, Jesse, Raphael, shame on you. No, I'm, I'm, that's that's I'm, one you got to dump. Howard, I give you a party. What is she I worth, do you party. think? What? What is she worth? Money. Yeah, there's money. She on the, money. She owns part of that show. Big bucks. I was glad to see Joan Collins win that lawsuit because I think for all working people and anyone who in show business or just regular yeah, working contracts people. contracts to do work for people. I think that you've got to abide by these contracts. In Random House, it was a clear-cut case that Joan, that Joan Collins, right. you know, maybe she wasn't as hot as when she was on Dynasty and they just tried to get out of a contract. That's exactly what it was about. So I was on the air uh, screaming about it, but of course yeah. she didn't no, thank me either. You ignored him and didn't invite him to the party. He was a big supporter. That's right. Well, so I'll invite you to the next party. This is some parties, huh? Yeah. Do you guys have guys there? Does Joan Collins bring a guy with her? Uh, no, we usually have guys just come in. Does she Famous look good? Guys. She Joan Collins? Great. Really? Great, like a real movie good star. Good body. Looks great, yeah. Looks great. How long did she stay at the party? Uh, Twelve minutes. Yeah, really? <laughs> was it real quick? <laughs> was it quick? No, it was a sit-down dinner. Oh, how many people? That's why I had no models, because I couldn't read their place cards. How many people? Um, I had uh, uh, 32 people. And what did you serve? I served everything I didn't serve at Christmas. We started out with caviar tart. What does that cost you? Oh, a bun. That's why I have no money. Caviar tart. Then we had a... Uh, we had uh, uh, Who caters this for you? You hire a guy? I hire a guy. Yeah. And then we had rabbit. You had rabbit? Yeah. Oh, is that really true? No. No, no. What did you have? <laughs> I'm just thinking of everything this No, what did you have? You had caviar tart? Yeah. What is that? A caviar tart? Beef Wellington. What is beef Well, You eat meat? Yes, of course I eat meat. You eat beef? Yes, I eat beef, Howard. Yes, I eat beef. And it has a sauce on it? Beef. And I have teeth that help me eat beef. Do you eat panda? <laughs> yeah, I love panda. Panda. Wow. You, uh, you, you eat I you love serve beef? Panda. Don't most people panda now? Panda sandwich? Do you eat, <laughs> what if people don't eat red meat? What would, is there an alternative? Uh, yes, there is. What was there? Uh, we give them meat that's a little darker. Right. Now, do you, what do you mean? Like a chicken? No, we give them chicken. They have right. a choice. And we give them panda. And that's it. You just sort of, you just. And they can have a potato. You give a salad. I give a salad, and yeah. I have dessert, like like a real party house, like growing up. Right. Growing up. Growing up. Were there were there speakers or did you all just no, sit? 
He's never gone. And what do you do? Party. And, and like Sally, what did Sally <laughs> Jesse Raphael talk about? We had a part. We had people. No, but what did people talk table. about? What was the topic? I didn't go and listen. Who did you sit next to? Who? I sat. Yeah, I who sat? Someone talking about you. Who was next to you? Uh, next to me on my right was, I believe, the King of Spain. Oh, come on, no, who is, who is, <laughs> no, be honest. Come on, people are curious. Don't joke. Don't make Tom it. Hanks on my left. No, don't make, don't make comedy out of this. All right, you want to know the truth? Yeah. On my left was Marty Richards. Next, is that true? Next to him. Is that true? <laughs> are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> Imagine everybody. No, who would? Who was just like your I boyfriend? I can't remember. Was your boyfriend there? No, Larry was still with Liz. No, come on. Was your boyfriend there? No, yes, of course, the man I was there. Of course. And he sits next to you? No, never next to me. He sits opposite me now. Really? Well, and you're at the head of the table? I'm at the head of the table. And the he's head. at the other head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you, uh, this is funny. <laughs> and then, um, like, who, like, like, who is next to you? On my right was, I think, of, um, uh, a Robert Trump, I think. And yeah. Right, Robert Trump. And, and Blaine my, Trump. And Blaine was there. And, and who else? And, uh, and who's on your left? Who looks great. Who's on your left? Uh, I can't remember. Where Where's Joan Collins? Is she near yeah, you? Yeah, Robert Higdon. Joan was sitting uh, at my friend's right. And it? who was sitting next to Sally, Jesse, Raphael? Uh, I don't remember. And the you... worst the position would be across from her. Yeah, because you'd have to throw up while you ate. <laughs> Do you provide sunglasses for people so they don't have to look at Sally, Jesse, Raphael? Blinders. I Blinders. Dark glasses. Everyone looks good. And when you're sitting there, did your, did your boyfriend put his foot in your crotch? Yes, but it's hard because it's a long table, but he's a very tall man. And someone told me at the party, David that Brenner was... waited tables. Oh. Is that true? I once went to a party where Danny Kay waited tables. Is that no. embarrassing? What are you talking about? Embar we all went to this wonderful party, and Danny Kay wasn't getting enough attention. He was an old-time comedian, and he got up and became a waiter. And was and he was like, oh. I mean, he was kidding around. He just shut up, sit down. Yeah, right. stop looking for talk. attention. Yeah. yeah. Just sit down and shut up. I'm talking here. You're very compassionate. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, Joan Rivers, going, the great. Uh, I know goodbye, you're busy. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, she'll be a tattoo tonight. All right. And Dorothy will be there, bent over a chair, waiting for a guy. Bye, guys. Yeah, very good. <laughs> All right. We'll be back after this.